Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. You'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce and it's all very much mixed media so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows with Stamps Away. Stamperia are an Italian company. Uh, they launched in 1995 with stamps, stencils, paints and an incredible product, the world famous rice paper. They were actually the first company to print on rice paper and they're now absolutely renowned for it. So make sure you don't miss the Stamperia shows. Hi, I'm Anthea. Uh, I'm from Quilting Antics. Quilting Antics started around 2011, 2012, I'm never really sure. We love wildlife um, and often our designs incorporate lots of British wildlife. We're, we're really well known for that. At one point we nearly became the cushion company because we've churned out so many different cushions. But we'll do bags, we'll do cushions, we do book covers, we'll do things for your sewing room anything if it pops into our head and we can physically make it then we'll go for it as i said the buzzword is all about fun for us on our shows we always like to have lots of fun there's always lots of laughter and hopefully you'll learn a few things that you didn't know along the way so don't miss the quilting antique shows A very good morning to you. The time has just struck 10 o'clock on a Friday morning and have I got something for you. We are talking hobby arts and we're talking four brand new sets of stamps that I'm going to show you this morning and then we've also got returning favourites as well. What you're looking at though first is one of our brand new collections. This is the Gold Finch collection that you're looking at. 13 stamps in total and you get the beautiful flowers, the depth and the beauty that you are getting in these samples are absolutely stunning. Good morning. I hope you are well. Uh, we are talking hobby art we're talking this morning. One of two shows, but I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to be quite brazen about it. I would get in quick for the sheer fact I've got four brand new sets which they're all adorable. Even the returning favourites are absolutely stunning. They're going already, I know, already going, and we're only one minute and 12 seconds into our first live hour. Um, what are we talking about? We are talking about the goldfinches. But before I bring all this in, let me introduce my guest as well. Uh, she's sitting about a million miles away uh, from me at the moment, on the other side of the studio. Uh, it's our Jenny. Good morning, Jenny, Good my love. Good morning. Are you well? I'm fine, thank you. These sets of stamps that you have bought me today are phenomenal. You can tell from the samples, the design team have liked them too. I just could not put the goldfinches down. They They're, are. I've, my head is buzzing with ideas. Um, so at some point I'll, I'll bring them on again or, you know, do some YouTubes with them. Well, you That's can see why fantastic. they're genetic. Because what you, what, you, what you bring to us when you bring us these stamps, you don't bring us like a caricature of a goldfinch. You bring us, it is like stamping the real bird that you would find in a wildlife book, that you would yeah. find in a bird watcher's book. That is the sort of stamps that you bring us. It's high quality and we were chatting before the hour. And what you've done with the uh, the goldfinch you see, they're sort of true to size. Yeah, they, the, yeah, they are more us. or less true to size. Goldfinches are quite small, um, but we've 
uh, since we've only concentrated on one bird in the set, you know, so the goldfinches, so you've got it different sizes, you've got the teasels different sizes, so, you know, you can use them by themselves, landing on the teasels. Yeah, they're, they're, um, they're actually quite a small little bird. Look. And if you're lucky enough to see them in your garden, which we are. Uh, the detail that you are getting in here is absolutely stunning. I absolutely love them. They really, really are worth having a little look at. Look at the details that you are getting in here. Uh, 14 pounds and 99 pence. Already, already three minutes in, 20% of the stock. Oh, Jenny's face said, uh -oh. I know, it's going fast. 20% <laughs> uh -oh. uh, of the stock has already gone. £14.99, 708324 is your item number. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful car. It really, really is. And some of the cards uh, that you can wear, I will show you next time around. I want to get through everything first and then we can get to demo. Then I'll show you some of the samples. Do not fear. Uh, but you can see the samples that I'm surrounded by are absolutely beautiful. Can I quickly show one sample, Hannah? Is that possible? Uh, let me show, because the detail that you have got on this is stunning. It literally looks like it's been printed. The way it's been coloured in is absolutely stunning that you've got in there. 20% uh, of the stock has already gone. Uh, how if I told you now 30% of the stock has already gone? Um, oh, now 40% of the stock has already <laughs> gone. That's how much, that's how quick this is going. I'm literally getting updates um, and I can't fit them into my sentences quick enough without sounding awkward. Uh, so now 40% of the stock of the finches I'm moving on has now already gone. Something else that we've got brand new on the show as well. Now, I, you know what I'm like for a scene builder card. I adore a scene builder card because I feel you can do so much with it. This is your Harvey Art Walkies collection, a five stamp set um, for 12 stamps is what you are getting. But once again, it's just creating that beautiful scene. And Jenny, once again, not only do you do the birds so well, to create the scenes that you bring us as well, they are literally like photography. They're beautiful. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yes. And uh, they're, if you've got previous seen it, you can mix and match. Most of them have been done by Sharon File, um, and she just gets the seen it's and they're fantastic. But there's elements in there you can use alone, but if you want a much bigger scene, then all the elements will fit together. And these, the next set as well um, is in the same vein. It's called Over the Star, but the two mix together fantastically. They really, really do is what you're looking at. Uh, let me show you some samples here, just so you can sort of get an idea of what you can do with these. Because nine times out of 10, when you say scene, it's you think, oh, here we go. There's gonna be a lot of stamping, a lot of masking uh, to do. Necessarily, you don't need to. You can create a full scene uh, just like this, but if you don't want to create scenes like this, you can go slightly smaller with your cards as well. So if maybe you just want a slightly small downscale of using the parks, but once again, you can go slightly larger. I adore this card. This is a beautiful, beautiful, look at that. Just absolutely look at it. Even with your uh, stamp dies that you've already got at home, a little bit of a window scene that you've got going on there, just looking through that window, that beautiful country walk uh, that you've got going on. And maybe you want to go slightly small and dainty. You can also go small and dainty as well. Our Sally's done that little Polaroid photo. Uh, it is beautiful what you can achieve. Uh, 14 pounds, 99 pence on this one. Uh, how much did you say is gone? 15%, I was meant to call 10, I remember now. 15% uh, of the stock has already gone. 14 pounds and 99 pence, 435935 is your item number. The next one goes, they go sort of go better. They go together, 15% of this stock has already gone as well. I've not even given you a single detail yet. Not a single number has left my lips and 15% of the stock has already gone. 10 pounds and 99 pence, brand new today, 515601 is your item number uh, for this one again. Once again, it works really, really well because uh, you've got the big stand that you've got at the bottom and you've got the small squirrel and the pheasant that's in there as well. Uh, then you've got, you've got the little one. I love this large one at the bottom. Love the large one. Let me show you some of the samples. 
that you can do with this one. Uh, I absolutely adore. Look at the samples that you're getting here. Uh, you can sort of go slightly country file esque with these. Look at that. You imagine Matt Baker walking around in the background there, fitting perfectly, wouldn't he? Fitting perfectly. Uh, the same with these. Uh, look at this. I love these ones again, these little birds uh, that you've got sitting in there. At £10.99 is what we're looking at for this one. 15% of the stock has already gone. And I think we will ask Jenny uh, later on throughout the hour as well. But these two, if you're going to go for them individually, obviously, because there's not a little bundle with them. Uh, so if you're going to go for them individually, I think coming up uh, is Jenny. Part yeah, let's ask Jenny now. So these two seen it. These are a little sort of a little sort of teaser craft along that you've got coming up on on the sideline, as it were. Yeah, um, I, I've started doing online workshops, which have been really, really popular. Um, and I'm doing one on the 8th of May. So if you buy the sets today, you can just pop over to the website and join on the online workshop. You'd only pay for the, the workshop and... Go yeah. on, give the website a plug as well before management get in. Where do we find them? Hobbyartstamps.com. There you go. Uh, so that's where you find it all from there. Uh, so if you are going for the two scenics, uh, you can go and join. Obviously, you'd have to pay for it, and you, that's all through Jenny's website. Uh, but something that you've been waiting for. And Jenny teased us last time she was in uh, with these words that she's already got. These are uh, some of the things you're getting here. Are beautiful. The 16 stamps in here. These are the little things. A5 stamp set. 16 stamps for 14.99. You get things like uh, life is one big adventure. I adore that. Uh, never let a stumble. Uh, uh, yeah, never let a stumble in the road be the end of your journey. That's a good one. I like that one. Uh, fly. It's your story. Oh, that's like a movie scene. Uh, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Uh, you make me happy when skies are grey. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. That's not on there. <laughs> I, just, I was just singing the rest of the song. Uh, then, uh, enjoy the little things. Well, there you go. There's That's... another bit to that. There's a um, because one day you will realise they were the big things. Oh, there's more. And I think so, that's so true. That is it. Enjoy the little things. Because you know, one day it will be one of the big things. That, I think that's why I love Derek so much, because he's little. Enjoy the little things that you've got. Uh, these are flying out of the door as well. £14.99. Uh, already over 20% of the stock has already gone with this one. Uh, look at these. These are all your brand new stamps uh, that I'm showing you at the moment. I just love the sentiments. These using scrapbooks or photo albums uh, are just stunning. Imagine doing these on little bits of shrink plastic and using them as your little toppers and things yep. like that. They would look absolutely beautiful. Uh, £14.99, 205960 is your item number. Um, I love them. Right, returning favourites up next. This next one has been a talking point in the studio just before we came on air. We love him. Absolutely love him. Already, of the returning stock, so remember you now, you've seen all my new ones, you've seen these before, but you are loving it once again. A quarter of the stock has already gone here. Nine of this hair, this is. Uh, nine stamps in total. 10.99. Let me show you what you're actually getting. So you get the large hair down at the bottom, which is so cute. So, so cute. It's just the detail of the hair that you've got in the actual hair and the fluff that you've got is the easy thing to say. It is so beautiful and so realistic as well. It sort of reminds me of uh, Watership Dad, those sorts of, that sort of hair that you get, of, um, animals are farthing wood, that sort of thing. They're real story makers that you bring us. Yeah, he's got such a beautiful face, hasn't he? He ha he's, a, he's, he's got a face, the more you look at him, that could tell a story. Yes. Yeah. He's got a story behind him. He really has. And you can create your own stories with these. I could also see these on fabric. Yeah. Put them on fabric for little drawstring bags, for little ones and things like that. Or in a kitchen, if you've got sort of a country kitchen vibe going on, on the corner of a tea towel. Let me show you some of the finished samples uh, that you can create with these once you get them home as well. Because you haven't got to go really, really big. Uh, look at how cute is the little rabbit that you've got all together. I, there's so many things uh, that you can do. In, oh, wait till you see this next one. Look at that one. Hello. Look at him. Literally... It's like, it's like granddad's arrived. Old granddad who's, who, makes, who makes stuff in, the, in his little shed that you've got in there. Uh, it's sort of got the very esque about Peter Rabbit about it as well. 
Yeah. Which is what I love. I'm a big fan of Peter Rabbit at the moment. Uh, look, but look how different. It's the same stamp, but look, he, lo he, looks, he looks a bit miffed in this one, like you've kicked the ball into his carrots, to be honest with this one. This one, he looks nice and gentle. Again, nice and fluffy. He's just got out of the bath. Just got out of the shower with the hairdryer on. Puffed up like a big puffball. Love, love, love it. I really, really do. I love these stamps. I wasn't meant to go through all the samples, but I've been through all of them now. Uh, there you go. Uh, £10, 99 pence, a quarter of the stock has already gone. Uh, a third of the stock now has already gone. Uh, very cute. You can see some of the samples behind me as well. Right, moving on. Uh, flowers is what we're looking at now. These are the um, Be Kind set is what we're looking at now. These are nice, Jenny. Something slightly different as well with these. Because if you just like that area to colour, normally flowers can be quite tricky because it's really intricate detail. But you've managed to get the detail in there and we can still get in there with our pens and pencils. Yes, yeah, Sharon's um, a fantastic artist and they're beautifully open designs, quite large size. Again, that was uh, that was a sellout last time when it came on and I've done a work I did an online workshop with that one which you can still go back and um, do it obviously it won't be live anymore it's a pre-record but um, fantastic for learning how to color with your clean color pens and uh, literally using that set it's well worth having a little look. Be kind, said £14.99. Uh, let me quickly show you uh, some little samples that we've got on here as well. Uh, for the shoe fact, there is so many that I've got to get through. That's all right, I'll just keep putting them in. We'll just look at them. There we go. Boy, we're all we're very busy. Very busy across the board. Uh, half the stock have already gone. This is how busy we are now. Our Kirsty is like doing a sponsored walk around the studio uh, from moving cameras, chatting, uh, chatting to Jenny. This one moves. This one moves, look. Uh, just. Just, just what? Just be? I'll just be you. Oh, that's nice. You be just. Uh, absolutely. Love this one. Half stock already gone. £14.99. 412377 is your item number. Then you've got your cattle. Your Highland cattle that we've got here now with your Highland cow. Um, look at this and your bit of thistle that you've got on there. You've got your trees in there as well. You've got your um, evergreen Christmas trees. You've got your, bit, uh, your thistle. You've got your mountainscapes in there. Then you've got that large cow down at the front, which I absolutely uh, love. £10.99 is what we're looking at for this one. Uh, let me show you some of the samples uh, that we've got just here. Uh, we are busy, 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 uh, is what we are for all of these. If you want that goldfinch, I would definitely get in quick. I'm, that, I'm just, that's all I'm saying, but I would definitely get in quick. If you want the goldfinch, I would definitely start getting in there. Uh, there's loads more on this show as well. Well, let me do the details for this first. £10.99, 721475 is your item number 1099. Now, before I forget, what, what I want you to do is jump to the website because... If you've not got yourself a stamp and impress, we've got them on the show. It's the first time I've these had, had these on a show since Christmas Day, which was a pre-record, and I did with John back at the start of November. This is the first time I've literally seen them. I've not had them on any more shows. They normally sell out time and time again. If you want one, get one. Everyone uses these. Everyone is using them, um, if what you're seeing there. Uh, it's well worth getting hold of £24.99. pence. What was that noise then? I feel like I'm being shot at. I've got a cute angina. I could go at any time. £24.99. pence. You're stamped to impress. It's worth getting hold. I would be lost without mine now at home. Uh, check out your Why Not deals as well. Your, um, your end of calls that we call them. Uh, I absolutely love them. Your Craft 2 mats are in there as well that you've got. You've got your little uh, Craft 2 triple a dive cleaning brush that's in there. So many things. We've also got the big pens on the show as well. The Kiritaki pens, 90 of them is what we've got for a phenomenal price, which would also open up flexible baskets as well. If you want to open up a flexible basket and you want your Kiritaki pens, uh, we've got them on the show across three flexible payments. I'm guessing it's going to be there. You go, look, £93.33. and pence. If you've always wanted a set of pens, uh, you'll see our Jenny using these throughout the hour. Right then, while we all calm down and find out what's going on with stock, because it is flying out of the door, let's go over to Jenny for our first demonstration. Uh, are we looking at the goldfinches first? Yes. 
I would, I would again. be quick. Behind the scenes while you were talking, we've added some more just so that I can do this demonstration before they sell out. <laughs> They're about to go. They are going to go. They're going to go again. Can I carry on? Yeah, carry on so far, but we are so, so busy. Okay, well, we, yeah, we just literally just added some more. Right, so the card that I'm going to do is this one. Can you see that? Yeah? Yeah. And I can't see the screen properly, so you'll have to tell me if, if it's... We'll turn, we'll uh, turn if it I'm not being for clear. you. No, we, yeah, we'll turn it around. There you go. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. Um, so I'm using... Oh, let's put the glasses on first of all. That would help. Right, so I've got a five-inch base card here, white base card. My green panel was 110 millimetres. My watercolour card is 105 millimetres. So I'm just going to put that into my stamping press and I do a lot of workshops normally. Um, you know, obviously I'm doing online ones at the moment, but normally I do workshops. So um, I have a choice what I use in my workshops and I've tried all sorts, but this is the one we use in our workshops. I've got a dozen of them okay. and um, they, you know, we use them all the time. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Goldfinch and I'm just going to place it where I want it on the card. Then I bring the lid down and that picks up the uh, bird. I don't know where the... Oh, you, can you see me? Yeah. yeah, we will follow you. Don't you worry. You leave it wherever you need it. We'll get, we'll get, we'll find you. Okay, there we go. right. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm inking that bird. And if something awful happens, like you get ink on like that, doesn't really matter at this point because that's not going to touch your paper. Okay, I'll wipe it off anyway just because. But, you know, that, that's a good thing to, um, to remember. Don't have to press too hard because if it doesn't come out, as long as you don't move it from that position, it's going to go back into the same place. And that is actually why I've used the press today, because I want to go back into the same position again and again. I'm going to swap that over for another one, just because that will take a moment or two to dry. And this is one I did earlier. OK, so now um, I want to put my teasel in place and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put that exactly where before I do I, I need my mask and what I've done I've stamped onto mask it sheet which is this it's shiny at the back and it's like paper at the front but it's slightly tacky you can use it again and again and again and I've stamped onto um, the mask it and then you just take the layer off throw that away don't try keeping it but when you finished with your mask for the day then just um, put it on the front of your your um, stamp set and it'll be there next time you want oh, it on the front of the packaging yeah on the cling yeah because it'll cling to it uh, it's particularly good on anything shiny but it'll it'll uh, work on paper and it's reusable um, so that's protected now, so I can do whatever I want over the top. So I'm putting my large teasel in place. Okay. I'm bringing my lid down again, taking it up. And I'm only going to ink that top bit. Okay. And I'm using peeled paint for this. I've gone a bit further than I meant to. So I'll just wipe that off. There we are and I'll bring that down and stamp. Again, don't, um, you don't press too hard. You can re-ink if you want to, but what, um, in fact, I'll, I'll just re-ink that a little bit, but then as long as you don't move it, you can add different colors. So what I want to do is build up this picture and there we go. And you can keep going back into the same place, like this. Okay. And must be the table. 
because I'm sitting down, I'm not getting it quite as I want it. So I just put a bit more green on there and I will press a little bit firmer just because I'm sitting down. I want all the image to come out. There we are. So instead of one colour, I've got a multicoloured image. I suppose now, if you are going for the um, press to impress, you could use a brayer over the top if your wrists are a bit weaker. I yeah, I think it's just um, this is my first card of the day. Oh. My first card of the day, it just takes me a, a minute or two just to warm up. And uh, like Catherine shows, you'll be in a stride, you see. Oh, absolutely. I just get a warming off. Plus, you know, you, we've had this conversation before. I don't do early. My cousin, if she's watching it's this, will be laughing 10. at the screen. Because she gets up at five o'clock. I got up at five o'clock this morning and, uh. <laughs> what time do you normally get on those? 20 past 10 now. Are you, are you up all I'm night? I'm awake You're now, pulling... but, you know, I, it's because I've had an early morning. I think I've done my day's work. Oh, true. <laughs> well, by three o'clock, you'll be asleep. <laughs> right, OK, so I'm just doing the same. I'm just building my picture up like so. And if I want another colour in there... Um, the flowers on the teasels are mauve, and you'll see that from a lot of the samples. So um, on the larger teasel, that beautiful large one in there, it's got all the flowers on there, and you can do those. Um, you know, they c you can do those with colouring the flowers mauve. Right now, this is where the mask came in. Um, I've um, because it's masked, I can stamp over it and this will appear as if it's behind. So, again, just bring my... Just going to chip in a second. Sorry, yeah. Jenny, we've had our first sellout already. Now, it's not the Goldfinch, I've still got some of those. Um, it is the Be Kind set that we're looking at at the moment. One of the returning favourites has now sold out. We are currently frantically trying to get hold of someone to see if we can get some more. There's emails and phone calls, but no one's picking up and answering. Uh, so if I can get any more this hour, I will. I'm trying to do my best. If not, tune back into Catherine's show at 2 o'clock to see if they've got any of them. But at the moment, uh, unfortunately, it's sold out. I will let you know if I have any more. Let's go back to Jenny. Right, OK. So you can see the, the mess has gone onto the mask, which when I take it off, will um, it won't show. And one of those little flowers hasn't come out. So this is the joy of your press. You just go back in there and it's still in the same position. So there we go. Right. Um, if you, you want a border right across and you want it the same height, then what you can do is you can move your card rather than your stamp. Okay. But in this case, um, I'm going to move the stamp because um, I want it a different height. And again, just mm -hmm. going in with my... We've still got the goldfinches on the show. They're literally clinging on. <laughs> We are approaching limited stock. And, okay. We just put a little bit of extra color, different color on there. And it'll go back into the same place. As long as you've got your magnets in place. And you can see you can build up the color. Another way I quite like to use the, um, the, teasel, uh, the teasels is just to, um, if you want to fill in gaps, I could have gone back and done it with the press, but since it's selling out, I'm just speeding myself up. Um, so what I'm doing here, I'm just uh, holding the back of the stamp, putting my finger over it, and you can see you'll get a nice image that way. So you can do whatever you want Details to. Details for the press at the bottom of the screen. If you want the press to impress, it's been very busy. Twenty-four pounds ninety-nine pence. Uh, Two six eight one four four is your item number for this one. As I said, I've not seen them on a show since Christmas Day. Uh, Christmas Day was the last time I bought them to you uh, with our John. Uh, it's the first time I've seen them on any show. They normally are never on the website because they sell out time and time again. You get your magnets in there as well. You get two of your magnets. I'd just pop a bit of tape over the magnets so you don't lose them. Um, but as I said, I'd be lost without mine. Uh, it gives you that perfect stamp every single time. If you, if you go a bit wry, stamp it up again and you can go back in. Let's go back to Deborah. 
Right, what I'm doing now, I should have done this bit before. When I first masked it, I should have used my cloud stencil. This is our cloud stencil. It has been on before. It'll come back on again. Um, it's a, you know, steady eddy. Um, it, we designed it so that you, you've got different, um, you know, sides to it. And it's, be careful if you're doing it over something that you've already stamped because I could move that ink. It would have been wise if I'd done it the way I intended to, which was before I stamped the uh, teasels over the top. Okay, so let me just pull up the edge like so. I love this bit. Oh, look at that. And he's nice and clean. Um, right, the blender, no, uh, the... Clean colour pens come in uh, 89 colours on one blender, so oh. there's 90 in the sets. This is a fantastic way of moving colour. So what I can do here, because it, it's not too wet, I could use a wet paintbrush, but it's uh, this is a, a guaranteed way of just moving a little bit of colour. I am doing it extremely lightly and I'm not doing all areas I'm just moving a little bit of the color that's there and coloring in from the outline okay and is that because you've used distress oxides yes I've in. used distress oxides I used mainly peeled paint but there's a little bit of vintage photo on there and um, on the main one. But I, then I stamped over the top of it again. I use wilted violet. So, you know, if you wanted to um, in, um, in put some mauve into there. But you can see that just brings them alive. It makes them pop a little bit more. Alive. I'll get my tile over and I will just put a bit of colour onto this. And I'll use the um, the peeled paint since that's what we've so done. So the blending on. brush from the Kiritaki pen, you can also use that to pick up other colours as well. It's not going to be it's, uh, anything that's water based. Um, but I would I actually only use this on small areas, and it's fantastic for doing things where you've already got the colour there, like your oxides. Look, you can see I'm actually not adding colour. I'm just um, activating the color that's there from the oxides because they're water-based um, it just works quite well um, for larger areas like that I would probably just pick up a tiny bit of color and put that on I wouldn't recommend it for large areas um, you know and it is mainly to move the color on with the clean color Right, so just make sure that's clean. You see, can see it's come back to its um, original it colour because I will be using that in a, in a minute or two. Uh, just while you just just before we move on, I have a breaking news. Breaking news. Uh, be kind. We've managed to get some back. Someone picked up the phone. Uh, so we managed to get some more. <laughs> uh, only a handful. I'm hearing now. Dispatch now is Monday. Uh, which is the 26th, not that, bad, not that long to wait, to be honest, the 26th. So if you wanted the be kind, you're thinking, oh, damn and blast, I wish I would have got them. Uh, I've managed to get some back, but I haven't got many of them, £14.99. Uh, 412377 is your item number. There was a glare on the screen, I couldn't see the number there, I couldn't see the first three. Uh, 412377 is your item number. Uh, flying out the door, uh, they really are. The goldfinch is still clinging on, literally. Clinging on to his little bit of thistle, um, get it while you can. We are now limited stock, means I've got less than 10% left. Less than 10% of your goldfinch. If you want your goldfinch, I'd get him while you can. Your details are currently on the screen. Let's get back to our Jenny. Right, so I've put a bit of beige on the back there, and I've put a bit of grey on this bit just to give a bit of shadow if you're using red i would suggest that you always leave it till till last uh, because if you accidentally touch that you can ruin your picture now um gold finches they they're a buff color so what i am doing now is i'm using a blush color and i'm just putting that on and i will pull it down with either a lighter colour, this is vanilla, 
or you can do it with your blender pen and that literally just moves the colour I'll go on to my blender pen and it just gets lighter and lighter so you're just moving the colour but giving quite a natural look now the um, goldfinch has that characteristic yellow bit at the side and of course the red head so I'm just colouring round and it does look like you've got a really bad fringe doesn't it? Sorry? He's got a lockdown haircut at the moment <laughs> yeah a little bit of a basin I'm just going to put a little bit of black on there yes he looks a bit punky at the moment does he uh, my my lock my did you You're, notice? I noticed your I've had a haircut. Have gone. I love you, Lewis. Lewis is my fabulous hairdresser, oh. and I, I don't have to go around with a paper bag over my head anymore. Mind you, he's, he's probably if he if he's looking at the screen, he'll say, "Well, you didn't blow dry it very well this morning, but it was five o'clock, Lewis." Does he watch? He might do. Oh. He might do. It depends so whether, he, he, then again, comments. he might be really working hard well, at the moment. He should be really, to be honest. Yeah, he might be, um, yeah. Right, okay, so, um, right, so I just want to tidy that bit up. And we're nearly there. Um, flesh colour on the legs of a... Um, Goldfinch. Green goldfinch, nearly said greenfinch. Could you turn him into a greenfinch? Yeah, you could. It's, the, the greenfinch is actually very similar, um, so you could colour it as a greenfinch if you wanted oh, you to. So, the, so now we're now we're talking and there's, goldfinch. There's, um, they don't have these in um, America, but they have something similar. It's the same sort of shape. So you, yeah, you could use it there. Now, um, right. So. Now, the, the main thing that makes it come alive is wait until it's dry. So, I, oh no, it is working. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm just putting a, a few white um, lines on here. Okay. And on the grey as well, I'm just, it, it might not notice on the screen because it's quite fine, but this really does make a difference to your work um, try it and you will see so that sort of makes it come alive really and any bits that are a little bit dark you can um, and I know I don't think we've got them on the show at the moment but we uh, you know that they are on the website most of the time um, on this on the original you can probably see the sparkle can you see the spark? Uh, if you not? tip it backwards and forwards. Yeah. Can you see uh, it? Just about. I can see it here in the studio. Right. These these pens are the Winker Stella glitter pens, and it just takes it to a new level. Um, you uh, you can literally go over every line if you want to, but I'm just sort of giving a quick impression. Um, but literally, that will make it pop, and it's like a biro. You can probably see the glitter on that bit maybe are these not. the clear glitter pens um they're, they're um, a pack of pens um so yeah basically you get all sorts of colors so you've got a clear in there so even if they're not on the website at the moment pop back at some time they, they're a, a standard thing but you've got your gold you've got your silver you've got your clear and the greens are fantastic as well um, the gold and the silver I use a lot and the clear but even with your your greens literally you can sort of these are on the website if you want a clear one though on its own I can get you one on the end of course once you go back to check out your baskets there they are look at the khaki Winker Stella glitter brush pen is what I've got there for six pounds and seven pence add it into your basket uh, but search Winker, Winker Stella and the pens will come up they are on the website for you we've just checked since we, I'm going to sort of abandon ship on the um, oh, okay. on the goldfinches because they're going to sell out by themselves. But um, that that, as you can see, is um, I, I'll go back at some point and put some more glitter on the teasels. But yeah, I'm quite people, happy with that. While you abandon ship, 
I am going to give you a quick recap because we are very, very busy. Uh, Goldfinch, first of all, it is going to sell out, we've been told. It is going to go. It's limited stock. It's going to go £14.99. and 99 pence. 13 stamps in total is what you're going to look at there. Uh, you've got the teasels and you've also got the beautiful Goldfinches. It's sort of true to size, uh, our Jenny's telling me. Uh, that you're looking at there. It's just the detail that you are getting in all of these that you can see in some of the finished samples uh, that we've got here. They are absolutely beautiful. They really, really are. Go in with some of your thistles uh, from other sets as well. Just stamping them and simply cutting them out, not coloring them in in their true colours. Uh, I've got one more to show you as well. While well, you look at that lovely sample that's there, look. Uh, also, pop them in your journals. Pop them into your journals. How beautiful is that? That is stunning. And that's an uncraft card. There's the card just there. That's your craft card that you're looking at. Uh, £14.99 and pence is what you are looking at uh, for this. Couldn't do it up. Uh, 14.99, 708-324 is your item number. Let's look at other brand news that we've got on this show. 40% uh, of this next one now has already gone. This is your Seen It that we're looking at at the moment. I love the Seen It's because there's so many things you can do. This is Wookiees. All the dogs around the UK and around the world now gone, what? What is that? What did he say? Wookiees. Uh, £14.99. And, and sit. Uh, £14.99. 435. 935 is your item for your hobby art. Wookiees. Um, a5 stamp set that you're looking at, 12 stamps in total. Uh, let me show you literally quick some of the samples and we'll crack on. Uh, beautiful, I love this collection. This is your beautiful Wookiees uh, collection, 14.99. I just, how many times can I say? Uh, 435, 935 is your item number. If you're liking Wookiees, uh, you're gonna like the next one as well. This is Over the Star. Over the Sty? Style? Steel over the, over over the sty. Uh, it's your DL stamp set. Uh, stem stamps in total. Um, I absolutely adore. Once again, work really well together. And if you've already got some of the other scene in photos, it's going to work with that as well. 40% of the stock has now already gone. This works well with the walkies. Uh, 151601 is your item number. Is it over the sty, Jenny? Over the style. Oh, over the style. I've never heard them called a style before. I always thought it was a sty. No? Okay. Over this. Just me. Uh, ten pounds. I've never heard it. No. Over the style. But over the style, there it is. Ten pounds. That's what you get for living in a city, you see, in Birmingham. We don't have these sorts of things. <laughs> we don't have styles or styes. <coughs> just, just have pavements. Uh, £10.99 beds. Oh, 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 don't let me laugh, I'll choke. Uh, 515601 is your item number. Shall we press on? Let's press on to the little things, something I can talk about. Uh, half the stock has already gone of my little things. Well, uh, £14.99, 205960 is your item number. You've got things like in here, life is one big adventure. For one day, you will look back and realise they uh, the, one day you will look back and realise they were the big things. That goes with the next stamp that's coming down at the bottom. Uh, explore memories, moments. Um, never give up. Never give up. Never give up on a good thing. Uh, it's your story. I love these. Um, you are my sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. Uh, the great adventures are found in the most unlikely places. That is very true. That is, that is so true. The best nights out, if you've ever been on nights out, or the best nights in, as it were, are the ones that you've never planned. The, one, the parties that you plan are good, but not amazing. The ones you don't plan are always are always the good nights. The things that you don't plan are always the best nights. Uh, so that sentiment really does ring true. Uh, and enjoy the little things as well. Uh, these are very now as well, these sentiments, Jenny. Very, very now and very, very apt for the moments that we're currently in. Yeah, Becky, my daughter, designed that one and she's um, really into her journals and so on at the moment. It would work well with all your journals that you've got there, your happy planners uh, galore. £14.99. pence. Even as little charm bracelets and things like that, even a little shrink glass would be beautiful. Uh, 205960 is your item number. Returning favourites, the happy little bunny that we're looking at now. This is the happy hair. 
Uh, loving the happy hair. It's not called the happy hair. It's actually called the uh, March hair is what it's called. Nine stamps, two thirds of the stock here now has already gone of the March hair. Not only do you get that large hair, you also get, shall I show it in stamped form? You also get that stamp just there as well, uh, which I absolutely adore. Uh, oh, that is shrink plastic. I was about to say, let me bring that one back in. Let me put it on the stand. I thought, how have they got the small hair? on there. Well, there's no something there. Shrink plastic. They've shrunk it down. But look at the detail that you get even on shrink plastic with the sort of the uh, the woodland scene that you've got with the little bunny rabbits all there. So, so cute. Absolutely love it. Uh, little baby bunnies. Oh, I, love little, I think they're just called bunnies. Uh, £10.99. Not child bunnies. Uh, 059184 is your item number. Oh, they're apparently hairs. Uh, love them all. Uh, something else? that we're looking at as well is the B. Uh, the, now, this one has sold out already, remember. This one has already sold out. £14.99, 412377 is your item number. We're approaching limited stock again on this one. Limited stock, again, is what we're looking at on this. It's gone once. I've managed to get some more back, but I don't know if I'll be able to get any more. I'm not going to lie to you. We've, we're trying to make phone calls again already uh, for this one. Um, uh, but we keep missing each other. £14.99, 412377 is your item number. On extended delivery already now from the 26th of April. It's only Monday. Not really extended delivery on this, is it Monday? What's Monday? It's just the weekend. Just get the weekend out of the way. Have that party. It'll be the best one you've ever had. Last but no means least, you've got your Highland cow. Uh, only six people in a garden. Keep your distance. Uh, £10.99, 721475 is your item number, is what we're looking at for this at the moment. Uh, I love the Highland cow. This is another set of the scene that you've got. You've got the beautiful thistle uh, in there. Then you've also got the large Highland cow uh, that you've got. Then you've got your pine trees and your small uh, Highland cows. You've got your landscapes in there as well. The bulrushes uh, you could use for very very apt and very very lovely 1099 721 475 is your item number right then uh, oh look at the time already where does the time go uh, jenny we've not got long at all uh, we've got just over 10 minutes left okay i can do another card in that time oh yes you're a right. pro right okay so um the reason i'm going to use oh what's it called walkies walkies <laughs> Um, if, even if you don't like dogs, this is a fantastic set. The scenes in it are brilliant. Aww. And you've got people in there. And um, like I said, I'm doing an online workshop with this one. So I'm doing it really, really simply here. But you can build up your scenes. Um, and they're much easier than you think. So this is the card that I'm going to do. You've got those two beautiful scenes in there. Um, and I'm going to use one of them, two big scenes, and then all the others are complementary to, to build up. So, um, actually, what I'll do is I'll move that over. So, um, I, the, the reason I've got a piece of paper underneath, I don't like... If, if you get the ink on the foam, um, you can just wipe it off afterwards, but... It, it w might mark your card, so that's why the piece of paper is there to collect the ink off either side. Just position it where you want it, and this is where your press comes in because, actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that off, start again, let's do our memories first. That gives me a guide, really, if I put that in first of all, um, as to where I want to put my scene. Okay. Um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that didn't come out properly, which sort of shows you how the uh, the press to why press, the press is press. so so fantastic. I would have had to turn that one over. Right there we go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And now I'm just going to position my scene, but it um, the. The press is fantastic for this sort of thing because it is very, very detailed. Um, and the secret when you're putting um, a scene on, because this is rolling hills and, you know, bumpy paths and so on, look for something straight. Well, the only thing straight that I can see on there is the post. So I'm making sure that is straight before I start stamping. And 
then I I'm suppose just... these scenes are timeless as well because you could do them winter, you can do them spring, Absolutely. all depending on the inks and yeah. the colours that you use. You can almost see what time of the year um, the set was brought out because um, we tend to colour depending on depending the, on the you know the season but yeah this is fantastic this would work Another as you say make like a beautiful it. christmas card just yeah, do it, it in in dark blue with lots of glitter um there see what i mean it's a very detailed stamp so i'm just going to go back in re-ink again and instead of pressing hard which might thicken my image it's better to re-ink Go back into the same position and just... I love this scene. Is this a real place or has this been made up? No, this is... Um, uh, uh, Sharon's very or often influenced by places, but literally, if you talk to her, she will be... Uh, and you say, I want something with a style and a... She'll be literally drawing it from her, her imagination Aww. as you're talking to her. She's that. she's done books. She's done all sorts. She does. Yeah, she's she's worked with us, you know, for for many years, and we wouldn't be hobby art without her. Oh, that's nice. really we wouldn't. Okay. Very good. So um, there we go. So that's. She's the hobby. You're the art. <laughs> no, I think she's the art. You're the hobby. <laughs> right there we go. And then just onto a scrap piece of card. Um, stamp your dog if you want the dog but you know in this one you're going to get it whether you like it or not and what I've done <laughs> I've cut round it and I've left a white area around so that will you can see on there so it will pop off the page a little bit more Cute. but if you want it a bit longer and it's better to to do it so that it's a bit longer because you can always cut it off afterwards I've just made it a little bit bigger with the um with a black permanent pen and i get my scissors out and i'll just trim that sorry heidi heidi sent is one of my design team she sent me beautiful little scissors which i am practicing on i'm still not a fantastic fussy cutter so she'll tell me off for using those huge things on on screen there we are so he can be as tall as you want him um I'm, i'll probably still land up cutting it off but that's just the way to um, elongate something right on the original picture let's go back to the original picture i use tumbled glass it's a beautiful soft blue and i've uh, then made cl a cloud-like effect with um kitchen towel but because tumbled glass is quite light i'm going up a shade i'm using broken china because i think it'll be easier for you to see on the screen okay so um it is a bit darker than the original one and all i'm going to do there is i mean i could do this with the clean color but the oxides are fantastic for large areas um now if you want to stop your your paper buckling you can put water over the back before you start and then it won't warp so much can you see that's warping already but as we work on the front it'll stay flatter but it doesn't really matter if it um, goes uh you know if it goes um warps a little bit because when it dries it'll flatten out okay so what i'm doing there is i'm just putting blue on so I used the clouds on the first one. I wanted to show you different ways of doing skies. And by doing it this way, you can see it almost colours itself, actually, because I put um, clean water into the area, first of all. And just take my time. I do go in one direction. I don't go all over Lovely. the place. So um, I have gone in one direction there. And then if you get a piece of kitchen towel and just screw it up you can make sort of a clouds you can take some of the color out and make clouds in the sky um, so hopefully that's uh, no i like i like this technique i like the technique as well but i do have to tell you the be kind again could be selling out again i haven't got many left i've got down to single figures now if you want the be kind it's already on extended delivery from monday 
If you want Be Kind, it's about to go again. Uh, get it while you can. The next person to pop it into the basket uh, is going to be the lucky one. That's how many I've got left. Uh, 14 pounds, 99 pence, 421, 377 is your item number. Right then, let's go back because we've got five minutes left. Okay, so um, the, this is the way I do it. You don't have to do it this way, but I find it's easier if, and, and particularly when I'm demonstrating with only five minutes to go, it's easier if you colour everything first and then it doesn't matter if you miss bits if that makes sense yeah, no, that makes and you sense. can see which bits you want to um, you know emphasize and which you you know you want to it, it, it doesn't matter if you miss a bit okay so what I've done there I've just sort of more or less colored what would be green okay and then, you then, then you can start working on it. So I'm going to, I'm going to be colouring after uh, you've all gone. But um, you can work wet in wet. So I've just put some beige clean colour on there. And since I've got my paintbrush to hand, I will just pull that colour down. A bit more, need a bit more. Okay. And we can just pull that colour out, keep it uh, not too wet and there you are, you can um, pull the colour out. Lovely. This is my new favourite rustic, rustic wilderness, it's a new one. So it's far too strong to use direct but it gives you a beautiful wash so immediately just going to go into one or two areas Be kind and just has now change sold out. the colour. Be Kind has now told, sold out for the second time. I genuinely don't know if we can get any more. Um, you have to tune back in at two o'clock. And that's not just to keep you on a cliff, cliff edge. Keep you on sort of that, that suspense. I can't, think of the, I can't think of the word I was looking for. Um, I nearly said something totally different that would have put me in very deep water. Uh, but I don't know if we can get any more. So um, you'll have to tune back in at two o'clock to see if we can. Um, we've got three minutes left, Jen. OK, but you, you already get the idea. Um, you've got that wash on there and then you just go in with your pens. And this is the relaxing bit. You can just use whatever pens you want to and just start highlighting some areas um, if if you've got your blender you can put a bit of color on like that find the blender but do have your blender to hand before you start doing this and then you can just pull the color down only use the blender on small areas brush on larger areas but you can go into all the small little areas so let's introduce a bit of color in here and you can just, you know, add as much colour as you want to. This is just the starting point. Um, there's the, the finished one. And um, what you can do, you can put the dog at that level or you can put it at the level of the black trim. And basically, it, this is a love, fantastic one for colour. And the more you do, you can almost see it becoming alive. It really in, has in front of your eyes here we are even with that amount you can see where i'm going and you can see you know how to just build it up and, and this would work with that last collection that i remember doing with yourselves uh, with the big scene that we had the big scene that's in there with the farm and stuff like that this could be leading to that farm that you're going yeah. to maybe you're going to start creating a storybook um you're going to start putting photos in there and these are going to be on one page you're going to have photos on another page of what you create you're going to start building uh, the scenes through themselves very very busy hour if you want to recap anything uh, you can watch the shows back on Rewind as well, 30 minutes after we come off air. They go back up on the website for 60 days. So you can watch all the hints and techniques from our Jenny again. Jenny's back at 2 o'clock uh, with our Catherine. Uh, what are we looking at at 2 o'clock? Uh, whatever's left. Um, I'll be doing 
I'll see if I can get any more goldfinches, uh, but I'll be using the wording set and I'll be using the over the style. So over the style and the wording set as well. We're very busy for both of those. So if you want to get yours so you can sit back and relax, uh, the quickest, that's the quickest and easiest thing to do. But the quickest and the other way to do it is jump into the website. Everything is on there for you. You can see everything on there. I've also got the uh, set, uh, stamp to impress that's on there as well. Uh, and I've also got the big sets of pen. Your Kurataki pens are also on the show. And we've also got the colour sets. We'll see more of the colour sets at 2 o'clock as well. Uh, right then, I've only got 10 seconds left. Thank you, Jenny. It's always a pleasure. You yeah, enjoyed it. Always a pleasure. Uh, don't you go anywhere. There's so much more to shop for. See you in a minute. Very rushed at the end of that show. I felt like I just waffled on. Uh, coming up next, that crafty, uh, Joe Channon. She's here crafting away. And there's Dolly Dimples with me. See you then. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. We'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. Make sure you don't miss the studio light shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zora Designs. Zora Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. Zuri excel on the detail in their moulds and the designs range from animals through to fantasy and much further beyond. If you watch the Zuri shows I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs. We've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. We design everything in-house and we manufacture in the UK. We produce tutorials to inspire you to get the most from our products. Good morning. I had to check then. Did you see? I looked up at the clock. I had to check whether it was afternoon yet. Uh, good morning, if you have just joined us and if you've been with us throughout the morning. It's always lovely to have your company. And it's lovely to have the company of our gorgeous guests as well. And we've got Jo Channon with us again. Good morning. How are you, Jo? I'm very well, thank you. Uh, we had the 7am show together. We, we had a busy show as well. Was seven o'clock? Was there was I know. Lots of people. Everyone was lots up bright and early, which yeah. is always lovely, lovely to see, especially on a day like today when the sun's out. It's oh. a lovely day outside. It is stunning, and I must show you a photograph that I took this morning. Ooh. I know you'll appreciate it. Yes, I did put it on my Facebook page. Actually, it was just coming through and on. Oh, and the mist was rolling Isn't it gorgeous? in. We knew it was going to be a beautiful day. Yes. Um, because the sun is shining and we're getting towards May, all the flowers are coming out in the garden. So it's blooming lovely out there. And it's blooming lovely in the studio today because we have got some brand new stamps 
all featuring the most gorgeous flowers. Now, let's take you through the different items we've got, but let's talk about That's Crafty first, shall yeah, we? Yeah, absolutely. We don't talk and shout about That's Crafty enough, I think. I don't think so either. I know no. I shout about them an awful lot <laughs> everywhere. And why is everywhere. that? Everywhere, because... I just think, you know, it, it's Laura and Graham, husband and wife team, they work so, so jolly hard. Anybody in a small business in the craft industry works so jolly hard. It's, yes. it's, it's a tough industry. But do you know what? They bring us such fantastic uh, designers, designs, uh, ideas, products. So always looking for new things, always trying to, you know, sort of inspire us. We've got the most amazing design team as well. Honestly, we have. I can't. I, have, I can't praise them enough ever. And also, we've got a terrific um, That's Crafty Creatives page as well. Ooh, how and do we get that's to that? Crafty Creatives page. It's a Facebook page, um, and you it, you do need to join it. But it's absolutely everybody's very very welcome. And it basically gives you lots of inspiration, lots of ways to use the products that you've bought from here. And um, and yeah, it's just a lovely group. It's so, so friendly and welcoming. Oh, that is lovely, isn't yeah. it? That is fabulous. Now, let's take a look at those stamps that we're talking about. Uh, all brand new today. We were very busy earlier on this morning. So our thoughts to you would be, if you see what you like, get it into your basket and check on out to make sure you get it. Oh, that one's alive. That was having a bit of a wiggle. Bit of a little bit of a dance. Uh, £14.99. pence. Now, let me show you the stamps themselves because they are larger than the artwork and what we love about these when we were taking a closer look at the stamps and the details is the edge of the petals that go around like so so you've got that lovely it's almost like a like a doodle like a zentangle ish it's not zentangle mm. but a zentangle ish mm. style to them which makes them a little bit different yeah it's definitely a little nod there isn't there definitely uh, it's because melina obviously the, uh, the the designer melina Dahl, we all know and love her absolutely love her to bits because she's just such a clever clever artist in many many ways but for stamping um i love her stamps because they're so so versatile no matter what project you want to use uh, these the first set you've got a really good large set going on i think there. i'm showing you the wrong sample there I aren't think i yes you might I, was, have done. I, was, I was staring at the scene i was thinking yeah. you know i need a, a good yeah. old rummage I around think to the find one a at the front is um they've, they've sort of mixed and matched them but have a look at that yeah that's a perfect example of all is. the stamps yeah. from this is from fliss um, not just the stamps, but the sensors coming off as well. Look at that texture. It's just incredible. But the stamps are really usable. You can cut into them. You can layer them up. And look at the detail in those, uh, in the finesse of the buds and the leaves as well. I just think it, they're so beautiful. And this is a lovely yeah. example of you thinking, it? oh, I like that mm. storage. We do have this available on the show. We will be getting to it shortly. <laughs> uh, but you can see there just how gorgeous those flowers are. £14.99. That's set number one. It's like a dating show again. 292498 is your item number. Right. The next one with the sample that I was showing you. Let's get to this set. I really, really do like this. And you've got some words in here as well. When it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. But again, another wonderful set, Jo. Yeah, so yeah, a, a really pretty, very, very delicate um, set, this one. So you've got... Um, you've got some quite nice, there's a lovely abstract design there with the flowers on the top. You've obviously got the butterflies, you've got the dandelion, yeah, which that... we love. But I think that you've got that um, oval, but also you've got that lovely trailing set. Now, if you look at the trailing set, the long yes. piece, yeah, and then look at the sample that you've got in your hand, Ooh. which is one of um, Shelley's. What yeah. she's done is, because of course they're polymer stamps, and you can see where you're going with them. You can actually manipulate them around your block. And because they stick really, obviously really well to your block, so you can wind it. And that's what she's done, and then she's fussy cut it. I think that is that is a great a idea. beautiful I piece. Do, I do like that, yeah. That is it's by lovely. Uh, Shelley. It now is, the, yeah. The, Details for all the different sets. Um, One set of Rachel's. Um, <laughs> so we do have four different sets. This is set number two, uh, fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Mm. Now let me just get you another. Is that? Let me get you this sample because this is absolutely gorgeous with that uh, mm. dandelion. Isn't that beautiful? So again, one of Shelley's actually, she's, um, what she's done is she's used the um, Pergamana technique and she's actually done it on parchment. 
So she will have, what, she, what you do, when you do parchment, you tend to stamp on a piece of card. And if you're doing traditional parchment, you would then trace through. Yes. And then emboss it. Um, and, but you, what you can do, a little bit of a cheats way, is to actually stamp onto parchment paper, not vellum, parchment paper, with a white ink or even a white embossing powder, Ooh. which will do the, the job. But it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, and if you like the background, that's from a stencil that we've got it available is. on the show. I've got another sample to show you here because we were oohing and ahhing yeah. over this one at 7am. Mm. I, I think this is fantastic. That white space that's on that card mm. works so well. And I love that black line. What a fabulous idea. Mm. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And, and what she's done is, if you look really closely, what she's done is, she's actually, she's done obviously some white stamping and she's done some black stamping and she's been doing like reversing things that's very very when you break that down it's very very clever it is. yeah the white on the black and then the black on the yeah. white yeah Beautiful. i love that and in the leaves as well you can see very that very clever isn't it very very clever maybe this is something you could try at home easily when done. you get yeah when you get set number two again it's like that dating show set number two what's your name or where are you from uh two nine two four nine eight right Set number three. Oh, they get to choose. There's three people on this date. Actually, there's four. Yeah, that's uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, we love this because this has got some sizable florals in there, isn't it? Yeah. So this one is, um, again, like set one, you've got the, the, the size is really quite prominent on this set. So you've got, also the idea of this set was, and, and Melina's own words from yesterday's live, actually, um, was she intended the flowers to be bigger so that we could have them as a prominent piece on a card. And you've got the perfect example there. Yeah, I have. Look from at this. Wow. Liz. Have I got that right this time? Yes, this one is by Liz Wheeler. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Just Isn't brought it? forward with those yeah. uh, dimensions. You can see there, just taking that forward, you can see how that's been put together. I Stunning. could see that on a box. Yeah, on a box would... lid would be beautiful, like a keepsake box type idea. Oh, gorgeous. In a frame, something in like frame. that in a frame. On a canvas. Would look amazing too. Yeah. Here's another sample for you showing those beautiful flowers. And you've got the green foliage as well. And then tulips. Oh, my word. Mm. A rainbow of tulips. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't it lovely? It really is. That's set number three, 292498. Now, my favourite set um, that I absolutely adore is set number four <laughs> and this one has ch uh, give the ones you love wings to fly roots to come back and reasons to stay you've also got choose to be optimistic it feels better uh, by the dalai lama absolutely beautiful i think it's again i think it's the detail in here the fine detail in yes. the leaves and the petals yes. joe definitely and this set as I, as i said this morning they are very much the majority of them are ideal for little filler stamps. So although they, you've got that very prominent um, trio of flowers there, which is a good size, and you can see they're perfect, lovely, lovely example there on, the, on one of the um, storage boxes. But also you've got those leaves, you've got those filler trailing pieces as well that we used this morning. So I think it's uh, a, a really super, super set. And that... Um, choose to be optimistic is me because I, I can't I, I am actually I can't be any other yeah me too me too because, you can yeah. always turn a negative into a positive but you try yeah. turning a positive into a negative um and that's on the paper yeah uh, with a Definitely. plus and a minus look at that isn't that gorgeous I just think this is beautiful I think using some glossy accents as well to mm. uh, accentuate the stamens that are in there would mm. look mm. amazing I think that background is a wallpaper I, I love it yeah, I think is. that is just. I know. I do know that uh, Liz, uh, it's uh, Liz, um, Helen's. Helen. Helen's. Were, um, she was using her jelly plate, and that I think is just beautiful. It really is. I love the colour she's using there as well. Yeah. Another lovely Another sample one, by yeah. Helen as well. Using some of the stencils we've got coming up. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Two nine two four nine eight is your item number. Don't forget, you've got that gorgeous butterfly uh, from the previous set. So if you are mixing and matching, you've got the capability of doing so. And also, these will work beautifully with with other stamps that you've got in your collection at home. Let's talk about the stencils. We were extremely busy for these. People were going for the full collection. They are available in a set of four. Uh, you can buy them individually if you want to, but I, like Joe, cannot choose because they're all so absolutely amazing. Now, individually, 1198 011623 
collectively 2156 198078. These are wonderful, Joan. I just think as a set, you really tick every single box. And also, we were saying earlier, even though that fourth, the, the, the one on the bottom, uh, left or right, whatever it is, uh, the floral mix <laughs> is not really absolutely obvious as a floral. So I think they could very much work um, along lots of projects, masculine, feminine, teenagers. And, but I do think that they are amazing for your journaling. Yeah, they are. Yeah. This is a yeah. wonderful sample because this looks this. like you're getting an even larger sample uh, um, yeah. stencil with the way that it's been cut out and spread yeah. across clever. that paper. Very, very clever. And this is what stencils can do for you. They give you the detail in the background to highlight your stamps in the foreground, mm. but also gives you the capability of making and creating your own backing paper. So surely yeah, that's going to save you money as well. You can use these stencils with your inks, Joe. You make yes. your, your different mediums. Yeah, absolutely. So you can spray through them, you can ink through them, um, you can doodle through them, of course. Don't be frightened yes. of that. Colouring through them. Also, all the mediums that we've got from That's Crafty, the sand paste, the, the black texture paste, all the other texture paste, brilliant. Yeah, yeah they really, really are. Really go for it. So, very busy again for your stencils in the set of four. 21 56 It is amazing value for money when you're getting all four together. But if you want to pick them individually, then you choose any two for eleven ninety eight. So, those are are your options now let's talk about that mdf storage oh my mm. word we love this right yes. i need to get one of these stamps which i have got here yeah because we can of course keep our stamps in here but we've yeah. got a whole plethora of ideas of what yeah. we can use these for oh we had a whole host didn't we and it was really interesting because everybody that's coming through the studio going Oh, I like those. Oh, I'd use it for such and such. Oh, I'd use it for So we've had herbs. Yes, we've had herbs like in there. a window there. box yes. for the herbs. How about in the bathroom for yes. all your um, potions and like lotions? potions and lotions in the bathroom, um, that sort of thing. Maybe in the bedroom for your jewellery. Yep. Maybe yep. keep your phone in when you're charging it, mm -hmm. for example. Hand creams and bits and pieces like yep. that. That yep. could go. Uh, yep. You could put your mail in there, your letters that come through the door. Oh, we didn't have that one this no, morning. No, we didn't have that one this morning. You could no. have your keys in there, maybe your gloves yes. before you go out, for example. On the table um, near the door. Yeah. yeah, you could do. How about on the table with your condiments in? Yeah. Your sauces, your peppers, your salts, your olive oils, your knives yeah. and your forks. Yeah. Taking that to the table. Lovely. How about putting some cheeses in there, some chocolates and serving oh, it at the table? What's getting peckish? Oh, mm. yes. You could have this as a little hamper. Put some wine, some spam Ooh. in there. Spam. Oh, yes. I don't eat spam anymore, but I did used to like spam, spam fritters I'm at not, school. Oh, yeah. Did but, you have them at school? But yeah, spam. but always, whenever you get a hamper, it had spam, spam in, it. in it. It had some um, <laughs> some cheesy biscuits yeah. in there, some jam that you never ate. You never ate uh, some chocolate in there, but you could use this as a little hamper. What about? But it is fantastic. Oh. One more idea. Go what on. about making it uh, to suit your friend's bedroom colours and things like that and put bath bombs and bath, bath bits and pieces like that yes, in? No. Gorgeous present. Yeah, it would be. Absolutely fantastic. Mm. Uh, but you can, of course, keep your yes, stamps in there <laughs> and you can keep a lot of stamps as well or maybe your A5 cards as well. If you want to go for your MDF stencil holder, but it will hold anything, £18.99, 682841 is your item number before that we were busy for that earlier on and we've got some demonstrations lined up for you now something you could decorate on your mdf plaques or you could use for key rings or you could use for your decorative um, items in your home are these mini cheese boards that we've got for oh. you these are the samples <laughs> but your mini cheap cheese boards you get four of each shape so you get the square the rectangle and the circle and you also get the little holes in the top so if you wanted to join these together you could do because you could put different effects on there which would be really cool so that could be showing off your different styles and techniques almost like an artist trading card mm. but it'd be an yeah. artist trading yeah. cheese board do you know i i just think they're so super cute yeah I they really, really do. are for that price you get a 12. It, it, is it 12 14. Uh, you get uh, 16. I was no, going to say, it won't be 14 you because you can't divide that by... 4812. <laughs> 
four, eight, twelve. So you get four of each, you get twelve oh, in can't total. Can't be good at everything, Janice, can we? <laughs> um, nine pounds <laughs> and ninety-nine pence. But look at that, a single key ring, which is a wonderful idea. Whether you put real king keys or kinks, what's that all about? Uh, whether you put real keys on there, <laughs> king, king keys, uh, there's twelve. And also, just to mention, if you do make you can also sell your makes obviously don't duplicate or the design or the actual pieces themselves but of course you can sell your makes and i think these yeah. would be really lovely that's a lovely on a craft lovely table. design so just to clarify there are three designs <laughs> and there's four of each making 12 making in 12. total unless you go for two sets <laughs> then it's going to be eight of each and there's going to be a lot more uh, 9 99 363 5 Three six is your item number. Uh, I love that. Let's have a quick look at the website because we've got lots of mediums, and I know with that's crafty, we have the most amazing mediums that you can work with. Right, we've got your acrylic liquid wax. Go and have a look at the five star reviews for that. We've got your satin inks, which are absolutely divine. We've got the matte sprays, which are so easy to use and give really cool effects. We've also got your metallic interference multi surface paint. Ooh, uh, misses. Go and have a look at the five star reviews for those. We've got your texture paste available for you, your um, 3D holographic. Uh, gel mediums. We've also got your fine texture paste on there. We've got your glue. We've got your crackle glaze, which is amazing. We've got the pick and mix on the gesso. Now, the pick and mix is interesting because you choose any two. You can choose two black, two white. You can have a black and a white, or you can have a white and a black. It's entirely up to you. There's so many different choices within that combination. $9.99 for any two uh, and you choose you decide so that's the website that's where you can go to, to see everything we've got available for you uh, but let's head to joe we're actually going to finish off a demonstration that we started early this morning joe we are actually what we're going to do is let me just move the um the the piece out of the way now just in case you didn't catch us at seven um this was um my uh, take on the box so um quite uh, <laughs> quite pastel colors for me actually and quite pretty <laughs> So it's quite unusual. Um, so, um, yeah, so this is the one that... So have a little look at um, at that. So we did a little bit of stamping, didn't we? Uh, so you can do so, so much with it. You really can. Now, um, what we did was we actually had the front part of the gate um, and we were doing some crackle. Now, because obviously uh, we've come back to it... Um, what I do need to do is just put the crackle glaze back on because it was drying too much. So I just need, need to very quickly just do this just again and just to show you. But we did think that it m would be really quite lovely to put a little bit here and there on the front now, the crackle the glaze is available. The it details is. are on your screen right there. 999-101-268. Uh, you don't need to use an awful lot, do you, Joe? No, no, not at all. I, I've had this pot for so long, and it, it just seems... It's like a little magic pot, because it doesn't seem to go down, which is fantastic. I'm not grumbling. But, yeah, it's... Um, yeah. So, the idea would be to just let it to dry uh, naturally, but you don't want it to dry. You just want it to be a little bit... Um, still tacky to your finger so i'm just going to just giving it a, a two second blast to help it along i've only put it in places i'm just going it's a very quick demonstration just to show you how effective it does actually look on the uh, the front of the gate now the lovely thing about it is it will actually dry um, with the paint on top if you don't do it too thick it will actually dry let me just get my the paint. I think I've picked up a lighter blue than what I had before, but that doesn't matter. Now the paints the are also side. available, aren't they? Jo? They are. Uh, yeah. In 60 mil pots, uh, the paint you're using there is the multi-surface paint. Is it that is. Right? Yeah, they're multi-surface paints. They're they're in um, a, a whole plethora of colour. Oh, yes. there's so many colours. And what's lovely, Janice, is the fact that you, with the pick and mix, you can actually either stock up on some of your favourites, or of course you can add to your collection as you're going along. Now, the multi-surface paints will go directly onto your MDF. You don't need to just sew them necessarily. No. But if you are using an, uh, a lighter colour paint, Joe, you were saying, you know, just gesso that underneath. Yeah. But look at the paint there going on the crackle paste. Yeah. Um, it's giving you that peeled paint crackling look, isn't it? It is. And, and on, a, on a garden gate type idea, it really is quite lovely, isn't it? Now, you can see it's already... 
I've only put it in, in a few places, you see, as I said. I didn't want it all over. I wanted it to look as if it was actually sort of a little bit of an aged type idea. But already you can see here that it's crackling without me putting any extra heat on. But I am going to just show you with the heat, obviously, it's going to just move that along a little bit. But I didn't, I could have just left it and let it do its own thing so you don't need to actually add heat to it. I love that. The, uh, the, the key thing to remember is yep. that the, once you put the glaze down, you need it to be tacky. So it's basically leaving your finger mark in it. It's not actually pulling it away yeah. from it. Got you. So that's the best way to um, to actually uh, what color know. You, what color paint are you using there, Joe? Well, I've actually used, um, it's uh, a la the lavender yeah. underneath. And then I've actually used this one is the light blue. It should have been the teal to, to match the thing, but yeah. but do you know what? I put it somewhere and it was it's behind me somewhere, but it doesn't matter because it all goes. This is actually the back of the fence. So but you can see there, it really does go exceptionally well. It certainly does. Yeah, and I by only putting it in some places. It makes it look more authentic. Yeah. If you like those yeah. colours, there are more available on mm, the website. Let's definitely. have a look. Yep. This is how you can pick a mix. So you choose any three, 60 mil in each pot. Here we go. There's that beautiful teal Joe was talking about. You've got your Christmas red. It doesn't have to be Christmas. You can use that all year round. Ooh, uh, yes. You've got your bright red as well, your bright blue, your chestnut brown, your green. They go well together if you're going for that vintage look. You've got your lime, your mustard, your ocean, evergreen, bright magenta. The violet is divine. You've got your butter. Cup, your grey, your light blue that Joe has been using. If you want to go for that, select it. The apricot is lovely. The Ooh, apricot really is. is beautiful to mm. use. I've seen that. Mm. Uh, your ivory, your sandstone, your midnight, and your mint. I'm going to ask Joe a question yep. about these paints. Yes. Are they waterproof? Can we use them outside? I'm asking that question for myself, actually. Right. Okay. If you was putting that outside, I would suggest mm -hmm. that you give them an outside varnish, ah, maybe okay. like a yacht varnish or yep. something like that. Okay. They are a multi surface so they go on to all sorts literally yep. you're looking at your wood your mdf your crafty board you can paint with them mm. onto cardstock of course you can put them onto glass yeah you can put well use onto pretty much anything yeah yeah so that's yeah. why it's i've i know i say it a lot and, uh, and i'll say it even more but yeah. the thing is multi-surface paint yes you don't have to think about it it's so a multi card, paper, MDF, yep. uh, fabric, grey board, yep. acrylic, yep. furniture, uh, oh. walls, yeah, and, yeah. and so much more. Yep, so wow. much more. That's amazing. Yeah, so, um, yeah, brilliant, isn't it? it? It really is. And and I love that they've got that uh, fantastic array of the assortment of colours. Yeah. Um, because you've got really to suit every palette then, haven't mm. you? And if you want to put them on fabric, if you just warm iron them, uh, to seal them and hand wash only. So if you are going to use them for fabric, yep. then you can do it in that style. And I think you can. some of these stamps would look amazing on fabric as well. Yes, they would. Wouldn't mm. they look? Especially the 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 tulip, the ones. Uh, uh, sorry, so I must do them in in numbers. So uh, set one and set three, because of course they're these slightly bigger images. Can and, I ask you a question, um, uh, yes. Joe? Yes. With the sample here, I'll just. Yep. Is that using the crackle glaze? On yes, that? it is. Wow. Yeah. Look and at also this. the first one uh, that that um, Fliss did. So, so the first one is uh, the one that Fliss has done, and uh, the second wow. one is one that Shelley's done. That's all the crackle glaze. It's so natural. That's awesome. That yeah. is awesome. It looks like paper. Yeah, honestly, that's incredible. It's such a natural crackle yeah. and so straightforward. Do you know what? That would look really good if you were using it on kitchen cupboards to add some detail in Well. There. Go on. I did suggest when we repainted our kitchen just yes. before Christmas yes. that we could do it and Mark just looked at me. Did he? Yeah. And has he done it or not? No. Right. We shall move on from that <laughs> because Mark is in the building. He <laughs> uh, <laughs> just looked at me as if to say, no. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, just a very quick, just to show you before we move on. 60% to... of the stock, Joe. let me tell everyone at Sorry, home, darling. has gone of the MDF. Well, 60%. Honestly, it's such a terrific um, idea, project, the size of it, the strength of it. Any, every, anybody that's bought MDF kits from That's Crafty know it's only the best yeah. MDF. It's cut to precision. 
it's a beautiful project to make and keep yourself, obviously, but also to make and gift. Um, now, just to show you, it is made um, for the um, the six by fives and the and the six by sixes, predominantly stencils. So that's just a, a um, just a, a bunch of stencils that I bought with me just to show you. That there must be, I should have counted them in the break. There must have been, there must be about 15, 18 possibly stencils in there. Um, can you imagine how many you put in? What we were saying was perhaps put pieces of card so you can see what your designs are. Maybe put them in in different makes as well. Bigger you know, idea. sort of different um, designs. And now, if you wanted to, if you didn't want to do the um, the ones that we've got on the show, obviously the A5 size ones, which of course are that size in this size of the box. You had the seven by sevens from that Scrafty because these are very popular size with yeah. with that Scrafty. Put them in the other way. And they fit perfectly. And they fit absolutely perfect. But of course, you know, we've all got our own ideas as to what we would like to use them for. In fact, Charmaine saw them this morning and she said, oh, she said pens. She said, if you've got the pen holders, you could put your pens in. Brilliant. She said, you can see where they are and what a lovely project to make. Anyway, so that's that. So have a little look on the seven o'clock rewind for the... Um, also, for the way that we put the kit together, it doesn't take no. very long and to do. Because it's precision yeah. cut, it will fit perfectly, but oh, we do yeah. recommend that you use some glue. We've got some from That's Crafty available on the website. If you don't have any at home, then you've got the opportunity to do so. Um, yeah. I've got an amazing sample here, if I may share, as you're looking down the counter oh. at all <laughs> those uh, particular storage. This is another one that... We came into the it's studio and we were like, oh, this is amazing. What lovely paper has been used? No, it's not paper. This is directly onto the MDF. This is using a technique of putting off-white paint onto it, Joan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a faux wood uh, yeah. painting effect um, from um, uh, Amanda. Amanda, yeah. Uh, I'm so pleased she's done it because it's perfect it really for this is. project. So basically, yes, sorry, co cover it all in a, an, an off-white, or white or a off-white, um, and, um, and then go down and equal yes. measurements. And actually, if you find, I've got my ruler here, um, if you, f uh, uh, um, I've, I don't know, what is it, an inch wide, yeah. actually, if you just keep going along. Use a Posca pen, possibly, yeah. draw, draw your lines down, a dark brown, yep. a chestnut brown colour, or a, or a prone marker or something like yeah. that, da -da -da, all along. And then, um, and then a dry brush with a, like a chestnut brown or amazing. dark brown paint. You could do it in reverse as well if you've got a white Posca Ooh, pen. Yes, lovely. So you could do the colours in reverse, put it down as a chestnut colour, then put the white on top. Yeah. Uh, it looked like driftwood. Yeah. That is a fabulous Ooh, technique. I bet you can't yeah. wait to get them home to do something like that. It Eighteen pounds and ninety nine yeah, pence. Six eight two eight four one is your item number. If you want to go for your MDF, oh, we are approaching limited stock. Oh, don't miss out on this. I'm already looking at these, thinking these would be ideal for storing the stencils that I've got mm. because it just makes sense. It gives you the ability to make and create and sit down and be so satisfied with what you've made. But then it's practical. You've got something, yeah. you know, to organise your stencils in, which is a fabulous idea. Or it might be stamps on your mounts. You know, you might have your stamps in yeah. here. Yeah. You could have anything. You yeah. could have anything. Use yeah. it in the kitchen to grow your herbs. Use it for your crafting items. It's entirely up to you. you know, Eighteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. But are we limited or approaching? We are limited. We are limited stock. People are multi-buying. Do not miss out on this fabulous deal, Joan. I did have a little idea. Yeah. Um, actually, if some some of us um, don't have masses amount of space on their actual surfaces where they craft. But this is a top quality MDF. What you could do is you could actually drill. And put them on the wall. And actually fix them yeah. onto the wall. Do you know what? Let me so grab... So you could have... Let me grab You could have now. several actually go in um, on, onto, onto a wall. Oh, I don't know where to put it now because I don't um, know whether I'll be in vision. I, I know there that you, you can buy... Yeah. I know you can buy that fix it jobby stuff that you put on the wall as well kind yeah, that doesn't use nails that, that's that's yeah. the one yeah yeah um, um that would be a great idea it's on, just that it's out, the of the, out of the surface yeah. way isn't it then i like that especially mm. if you've got some plants in there and the plants are growing down oh really good idea really good idea oh, i that, like that one most definitely it's almost like having that window box but inside your home inside your home how fantastic is that oh we're getting too good janice i want to do that now yeah 
I want to make and create one and put it on my wall at home, uh, which would be brilliant. Uh, right, Joe. Right. What we got okay. Now? So what we're doing is we're going to do this um, this little project. So it's actually a six by six card. Yep. But obviously anything that I do, if I put it on a card, if I put it on a canvas, if I put it on a on one on the MDF or anything like that. All the techniques that we do, you, you can then transfer them to yeah. all your different projects. So, I spy with so, my little eye stencil on there, Joe. Yes, we are yeah. going to use a stencil. I have actually used the um, Junction. Yeah. I love that. I think it's a brilliant name. I think it's wonderful. Yeah, Junction. Yeah. So what I did was, um, and I'll show you. Right, so we'll go back to the um, piece of, the, just a white piece of smooth cardstock. Yep, just uh, whatever you want. Now, I am, uh, no, I tell you what, I am going to use, um, no, I'm going to use my inks. Now, of course, we do have all sorts of mediums uh, that we could use. We used the paints this morning through the stencil, didn't yeah. we, to show you how to do that. So let's just use um, um, a little bit of uh, some ink on this one just to show you. And I'm actually going to use my, stay where you are, my brush. <laughs> It's not going to take any notice, is it? Because it's a stencil. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is it's a good point, actually, because um, as it is a stencil, you are going to be brushing over it, sponging over it and things like that. Yeah. Um, because it's it's a thin stencil, isn't yes, it? And by yeah. that, I mean the actual way that it works yep. around its pattern. So are there any hints and tips you can give us to keep it still? Right. Um, yes, you could actually use your masking tape and tape it round, but I'm too... Um, I'm too impatient and I want to get this bit done That's all right. so that I can w go back onto my stamping and my flowers. Well, it's not that I'm impatient, but I like to get so much in on the hour. stippling is a good way of doing Stippling would it? be fantastic. Yeah, get a stippling brush. I thought using, um, on this uh, this example, I used um, as the sponge daubers, yep. uh, which is fine. Of course, um, using a sponge with the paint like we did this morning, that would be absolutely brilliant as well of course these are perfect for using with your jelly plates ah, yes, okay so have a little look on um, rewind i'm sure it's still i know it'll be still on there at some point with lou our lovely lou sims oh i learned so much from lou when she's on oh, here she's yeah she? um she really really knows that jelly plate inside out because i'm 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 quite a, a bit of a novice when it comes to the jelly plate yet mm. I'm I'm still a bit of a I, I play, and I get some success. I need to play more and be a bit more adventurous. I with think Lou Sims was born with a jelly plate in her hand. I think she was. I do. I, I do, do. Honestly, do. <laughs> oh, it's, it's that Charmaine giggly. I actually do think she didn't have a teddy bear. She had Charmaine a, a jelly agrees. plate. Charmaine. Uh, if you were just, watching Lou, um, email in. Were you bored with a jelly plate in your hands? We'd like to know. Yeah, exactly. Like because it, she's just incredible with it. She um, is. So, just very quickly, gone over like so. If I wanted to, I'm not going to do because we've got um, little. Uh, you know, I don't want to take too much time up inking. That was actually peacock feathers that I used on it's that one. It's a beautiful one. blue. It is a lovely blue. It really is a nice blue. It's one of my favourites. I've got Mermaid Lagoon here as well. So what we could do, very yeah. quickly, I'll just um, do a little bit of of this, just to bring in a little bit more of a different shade of a blue. So we're keeping with the same colour. Now this technique with blue. would look also beautiful on your MDF storage oh, as gosh, well. Oh it would. If you did it, Joe, would you do the, the effects before you actually put the MDF yeah. together? Yeah, yeah, actually I would because, um, and also if you're stamping onto it, on this occasion I would. Yeah. Um, now you do need to be um, careful. I'm going to just, let me just reveal this and then I'll just show you what we did this morning. So let me just show you. I know, it's just... It's it's just gorgeous. It is isn't like it? a circuit board, isn't it? It is. It is. And I no matter like what that. way that you do it, it's going to work. It's going to work. But interestingly, this I would look at that and think, oh yeah, that's quite quite a masculine stencil. But actually, it isn't. No, I like it. It is. Mind it's, you, I'm it's quite very... masculine, so no, that means no. nothing, does it? If you said circuit board stencil, you would automatically perhaps think 
masculine projects, wouldn't you? But actually, it, it works for so you know many what different things. Do you know it reminds me of as well? It just reminds me of like um, a retro 60s look. Yeah, do you know what I mean by that? And I think the circles mm. definitely do. Yeah, th the circles are an absolute, yeah. And what's um, the, I should have been born, I think I like this the This one 60s. here, Joe, mm. that reminds me of that 1960s, 70s pattern yeah. that you used to get on, on your kitchen furniture. Yeah. The, it, the name always eludes me. It always eludes me. But anyway, that's why I love this set of stencils. But over yeah. Half the stock of all four stencils has gone, proving to be very popular. Twenty-one pounds and fifty-six pence. One nine eight zero seven eight is your item number. And the MDF storage we've got for you. Oh, we're limited stock. Limited stock. Okay, uh, limited stock now. If you do want to get hold of this, and why wouldn't you? It is a brilliant project. We all need something to do, don't we? As we're heading into the summer, another project 18 pounds and 99 pence 682241 is your item number limited stock though 682841 um and just while we're here if you want to go for these fabulous little mini cheese boards that joe <laughs> and i love so much just get them because they're fabulous just... and i don't know if you could coat them in something that was I, just, yeah. I don't know food safe or if you put little cheese you can buy little cheeses in wrappers why don't you put like a little cheese on there and you, yeah, a, li a little oh, baby cheese if you know what I mean um, yeah. which would be lovely with a little snacky cracker thing oh, oh I'm I gonna know. have to do that when I get How home about <laughs> cubing a little piece of cheese with pineapple and putting it on um, a cocktail stick and just serving that there you go there's your what that would that would be fine dining it but certainly would, would. yeah just make sure that these are food dinner, safe dinner party and yeah. get that in the end. that's all really? you get in <laughs> Enjoy it. Uh, you get four of each, each of the shapes, which is 12 in total. Uh, so that's yeah. four of each shape, but 12 in total. And we absolutely adore those. They're only 9 99 You might want to pop those into your basket. Three, six, three, five, three, six, your item number. Sorry about the no, uh, break off there, Joe, I, but I not just a problem at all. People. Not a problem. Now, what I've done is I've just popped, um, using that scrafted glue, I've just popped the a uh, piece that we uh, have stenciled onto a piece of black because I think it's nice because it's going to make a real pop and then put it onto a six by six card blank. Now, before we go on to, to do the tulips, I, I had a bit of a, <laughs> I had a bit of a doodling moment in Did the background you? and I'm not really sure whether it worked or not, but actually looking at it from a, dis from a distance in the other room, it did work. <laughs> It worked, yeah. Um, so uh, I'm just going to show you really quickly. All I did was... Oh, is I, that what you did? I yeah, I've just brought a mic, got a micron pen. And my idea of drawing is wiggly lines, because that's the extent. That's but fine. I just, I didn't take all of them, and I'm not going to obviously do all of them, but just taking some of them, go wiggly, if, unless you've got such a steady hand that you can actually do it without, no one, you, do know, you know, but what, Joe, I actually... I love the wiggly line. Yeah. I was wondering so, how you did that black bit. Yeah, so all I did was just take sections, yep. just the wiggly bits. And like the like these, I actually purposely went all scruffy like this. Joe, that do you know what I mean? Idea. It was, was just, it? it was, obviously I did a lot more, so you would carry on and do a lot more. But then um, it was just fun. And again, you could do the whole lot and then just put a sentiment on the top yeah. and it would look really I mean, quite if you smart. wanted to, if you, if you did want to make it quite circuitry, um, there's a word. Oh, that's a circuitry. Yeah, circuitry. A circuitry, I like it. Mm. Um, you could put little squiggles and... Um, What's, what's that shape? Up and down, up and down. That's not a squiggle. A zigzag. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of them. Zigzag. Why couldn't I think of that? Zigzag. <laughs> you know, one of them, an uppy downy. <laughs> Sorry. Zigzag. Um, you could make it Ryan. circuitry. I was doing so well with circuitry that I just lost yeah, it on the. You, you, you blew thing. your mind. Yeah. It was, that was it. You used everything the up there and then my you mind could... just blew with circuitry. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do, just show you really quickly, a, a nice little idea to use um, with the um, tulips. So I'm, I have gotten stamped and cut out, but as always, I like to show you the how the stamp actually does stamp. Uh, I'm just using a, a VersaClair, just a, either that or a VersaFine. Is a lot, but it depends on what you're going to use hmm. for colouring, of course. Even if you don't colour those in, Joe. Yeah, the lovely. That tulip is because of the yeah. detail in there. Yeah. And on fabric, mm. that would be, be lovely. Yeah. 
Uh, we're busy on the phones, by the way. If you can head to the website, uh, which is thecraftstore.com, it's very easy to buy on the website. You can open flexi baskets, where if your basket comes to £60 or more and it's like, oh, what am I doing? We can divide the cost over two months. It's interest-free payments, if you want to do it that way. Um, and you can also become a Freedom member, triple eight, triple eight, your basket. Being a Freedom member means you don't pay any P&P. It's a monthly fee. I believe it's £7.90. Seven pence, um, and that's per month. But think about it. Say if you buy two items a month from us here at the craft store, and I bet you do. I bet you do, don't you? Yes, I bet you do. Well, add up your postage. And then when you start to add that up, you start to realise, do you know what? Becoming a Freedom member really does make sense. And we've got great discounts to Freedom membership as well. Whenever you see a blue banner or we give you Freedom uh, discounts within the shows, that means you because you will become a Freedom member. You can see all the T's and C's on the website. That's not tea and cake. That's terms and conditions. But I wish it was tea and cake. Oh. It's a lot. At 4.30 I had my call flex and I'm, they're actually beginning to think that it was last week. Anyway, so <laughs> that was the, the beautiful tulip. I mean, you can see lovely detail. Melina always puts so much, so much effort into her, her drawings. What she's also given us on this set is another size of the tulip. OK, so it's, um, it's the same depth. Uh, uh, but you've got less, it's uh, less width. So what so just we the can do, the tulip. it's just the top of the bit, yeah. Now, you could always just use that to actually build your sure. um, a floral sort of bouquet with your tulips and just pop them here and pop them sure. there. Oh, sorry. You know, if you turn that upside down, that would be a ball gown dress. And then you could doodle because that's like the little corset coming up for the corset. Do you know that's On really clever? Who's, was that you? Yes. Was it? Yes. It wasn't, was it? No, it was me. Was it? Yes. Oh, sorry, it was. Yes, yeah. oh, I thought you'd got that. I yes, know you, sort I know of. you <laughs> thinking, what's Janice doing thinking of dresses? Well, that's a whole new subject for another day. Um, yeah, I was going to say, all the years I've known you, Janice, I've never seen you in a dress. Mind you, I don't <laughs> think you've ever seen me in one, so there you go. That actually is a. Uh, a terrific idea. Good idea, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm, I'm impressed with that. Right, so I am, seriously. So there you go. But, uh, so you can add on, and, uh, and it's a beautiful way to actually create that lovely bouquet effect. Yes. Now, what I've also done is I've gone ahead and I've stamped. Um, I acquire, this is actually Harvey Maria. Um, uh, I pick up um, music, uh, old music sheets from um, um, charity shops and things oh, and idea. junk shops and things I love because and this is a really good old one um because it's it's nice and um discolored i, I would i'm going to color these but normally that would be ideal because it's got that if we didn't have to pay to hear that song i would sing it for you now i know a, it's in a, lovely in a isn't false it? stiletto yeah. Yeah. tone or whatever it is yeah it's um it's it's beautiful isn't it it really is now, what I'm going to do is I'm just oh, going the to... the tulips are in set three. Sorry, just need to tell Yeah, the that. tulips are in set three. Yeah, 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 yeah they are. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is just show you one tulip um, because you don't need to see me doing all three. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to... I've cut them out in a cardstock um, because it's all well and good. The, the music paper's lovely, but I cut, it is paper. You know, um, so unless you wanted to put something over it like um, varnish or whatever and make it a little bit firmer, it's actually, I found by doing this, was actually the best, the best way to get the music on here, but also to, um, to get that uh, stability. It, it's just How about ever somebody so simple. who had this playing at their wedding? And then oh. you could make flowers. Oh, wouldn't that be good? Wouldn't no, that, be that really because you can actually buy script, can't you? Yeah. So that would that really would what be lovely. Idea. That would be super. Now, um, what I've got here is I've got obviously the top part, but to make it even fuller, if we wanted to, we could literally just oh, get up there. We go. Just take a little bit off that one, and a little bit off. That one, and we also want to take that a bit off there. Pop that on there, but I need my gel medium for this. So, so you need to build it up. It's up to you what you use. You can use gel medium or um, uh, any, you know, sort of gel at all that you. Um, 
are happy to and decoupage. what does gel medium do? Does that give right. you a bit of height? Yes, yeah. so it's given you um, depth and it's given you structure okay. and it's going to actually... Um, the other thing is, what we can do is, if you put the gel medium in the middle, mm -hmm. you can actually like give it a little bit of shape. Just utch it while it's still wet, look. So you've not coloured that paper. That is, that is not, just not from... yet. I'm going to do. Oh, I but, like that. But it though. is actually really nice on its yeah. own. The vintage look on it. Yeah. So I'm just going to nip that bottom off there. Nip it in the bud. Nip that. Yeah. Nip it in the bud. And it is. It is the bud. <laughs> so just put a little bit down the middle, look like so. There we go. And then um, again, just pinch that in on the sides. And, and it's super because you can give it that lovely shape before you do anything else with oh, it, you lovely. see. So, um, and then I've used, um, I won't do the rest of them because we've seen one. You don't need to see three, do you? Um, and uh, let's just bring in, I'm going to colour using my satin inks. This okay. is actually the, di uh, the dark pink. Um, now, the satin inks are on the show. We've got them on the... Um, uh, in different colours. Yeah, we'll bring the details up on the yep. screen for you. Um, it is 006833. It's £9.99. You get to pick any two. Now, what are they, Jo? Right, so basically, they are they're, they're a colouring medium, lovely uh, way to actually colour. It gives you a, love, a super satin finish. Yes. Now, what we can also do, you will need to do a couple of layers to get that intensity okay. that I got there. Ooh. But Look what it dries really, really quickly. But in, it's um, it does give you that really super finish. Now the other thing is with the satin inks, I find because they are an acrylic base, it gives you a lot uh, some stability as well on the on the paper. It stiffens it slightly. It does. It does. So we can just you do need to let it actually dry between each coat. Okay. Before you um, go on to do another one. Um, because can we it, speed dry it with a... We can speed dry sphere. it, yeah. Just Let's be have careful. a quick look at the website whilst we speed yeah. dry. Yeah. Um, it's a pick and mix any two of the satin inks, uh, 9.99. So colour-wise, you've got black, yellow, orange, deep blue, deep green, turquoise red, magenta green, deep purple. Uh, you've got your violet and raspberry. Ooh, more food. Um, so those are your colours to pick and mix. You choose any two. If you want two of the same, maybe you've used them before and one of those is your favourite colour and you use it a lot and a lot and a lot, you can have two the same. Just because it's a pick and mix, it doesn't have to be different ones. 999-006-833 is your item number. We've got nine minutes left oh, of the gosh, show, No. Joe. Don't know where the So I'm goes. actually, I've got... Um, Put in a slightly deeper colour on as well now because I think just to speed it along. So I think that lighter colour would have needed three coats, but you use the teeny weeniest amount. That's a nice colour. Yeah, it's beautiful colour. Yeah, this one is without a label, but I think it's the magenta. Yeah, I'm absolutely sure it is. Um, and uh, yeah, the other thing is they work brilliantly on glass. Ooh. Yeah, I'd, I love a bit of glass painting. Um, it's something that I really do enjoy. Um, I use the pattern because I can't draw, color. but you know, I use them. Um, but it, it is lovely to, to okay. use the different colours. Now, obviously, green on the top, and then what I want to move on just to quickly to show you another project. So, so just to tell, show you, obviously, the leaves we've got um, the uh, leaf like so, or oh, the other way around, we'll put it like that. And then you've got this one, which is fabulous because it's got that little. Little you know, curl. it's just, and that's what oh. tulips do, isn't it? Which yeah, I do, do love. Oh, I love tulips. The three together, three different tones. And then all I've done is just crossed over the stalks, put a little cord around there. And, and I actually did uh, put some of the wax on top. So this is our fabulous, famous, infamous, <laughs> whatever, wax, the acrylic liquid wax. And that really, and I want to just look how firm these are now. 
really are stunning. Um, so you could use that no problem with um, uh, on a mixed media piece. Yeah, most definitely. If you wanted to, because they they would uh, last um, really, really well. The wax is on your screen now. Twelve pounds and ninety eight pence. Eight eight seven eight nine eight. So you get the larger two two five mil, and you get the one hundred and twenty mil. So yeah, that is super value for Fantastic money. Fantastic value word. for money. That is um, that's the uh, that's the set that we don't always bring those the big and the small one together so you're going to get that size bring the what together the, the, the big oh, the, the big, big, and big the one and the small one together so you're going to get that size and then you're going to get so it's the um sorry the 225 yep and then it's half again oh, i could see one. in the picture it didn't look that big yeah yeah words and so pictures it's is always a, good yeah love yeah, that yeah so it's a terrific size it lasts absolutely ages yeah it's you know it's yeah. definitely worth going for give it a try that that just seeing it there <laughs> and you see just how big it is oh, now, right let's run through the stamps for you we've got four different sets they're under the titles of set one set two set three and set four but let's just show you what you're getting first of all you've got those beautiful florals really gorgeous large elements to put onto your cards to use with your MDF projects we've got some here that you can see absolutely gorgeous um, and going for these you'll see you've got that lovely sketchy detail in there that's set number one two nine two four nine eight is your item number great for building up the layers as well set number two this is the one that includes your dandelion and it includes your butterfly as well it's also got that longer stamp in there that you can see with the flowers and the leaves that you can manipulate and you can actually turn into uh, a wreath like a circle uh, and that sample I've just got in my hand here I'll just bring it down there there you go uh, so you can manipulate the stamp to put it in that particular circle we've got the lovely gorgeous dandelion clock there isn't that amazing and another one for you which just looks absolutely stunning and very very clever as well 14 pounds and 99 pence 292498 is your item number set number three uh, you've got your um, tulips that we were just seeing there with our Joe, fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Another great set for you and good size flowers to use. Two nine two four nine eight is your item number. Excuse me if I'm whizzing through those, uh, but I do want to get back to Joe. She's got another demo for you. Set number four, my favourite. Love this one. It's got that contemporary um, retro style. If you can throw those two words together, but. I can. I've just done it. Um, and I think that is absolutely fantastic. 292498. Your stencils. We've been using these as well in the demonstrations. Stencils are available as a set of two. And they're also available as a set of four. The four have been very, very busy. But if you just want two, £11.98. The thing is, you've got to choose two. I don't know about you, but I can't. So go for all four. Zero, one, one, six, two, three is for the two. If you want all four, then it's twenty-one pounds and fifty-six pence. One nine eight zero seven eight is your item number. Um, and are you saving if you go for the full set of four? A little bit, but do you know what? A little bit helps. That's what they say. A little bit is better than nothing, says our director Jimmy. He would know. Right. <laughs> Let's go to your MDF because this has also been very, very busy. Very, very busy for your MDF. As you can see, you can put all kinds of different storage in here. Uh, we were talking about storing your uh, stencils in there. You can put pot plants in there. Uh, you can put some potpourri or potpourri or whatever it is, that smelly thing stuff. Um, £18.99, that gets you your kit put together. It's the one just down there. And then you paint it, you de decorate it to your taste we were talking about placing it on the wall you can you can wall mount it if you put the holes in the back and then you can safely mount it on the wall with the right raw plugs um, 682841 your mini cheese boards we love these we think these are absolutely fantastic and you are getting four of each shape so that is your squares your circles and your rectangles there you go and they're only 999 363536 right we're heading back to our Joe Joe what right Okay, so um, this is actually a bit of a selfish project. Is it? <laughs> yeah, because I needed a, I needed something to keep my seed packets in. <gasps> I know. I I'm not. Like uh, I'm not an allotment gardener like you, Janice. I'm afraid I'm only a container. I've got my gardener. eye on your radishes, Joe. I, I can tell you. 
Oh, they look tasty. <laughs> they do look lovely, don't they? Yeah, yes. good size not, as well. Yes, yes. Um, now, um, I, um, I started last year doing a little bit of um, container gardening. We haven't got a big garden, but um, I did thoroughly enjoy it. And I tell you now, we had some lovely, lovely bits and pieces out of the garden. Only some only, uh, basic stuff, but I needed, I thought, right, I'm going to do it again this year. I'm going to do it, get some seeds in this weekend. But I wanted something to keep my seeds in. So this is one of my pink pig books that I've got. Yep. And I thought, do you know what? It really sort of thought, mm, yeah, I like the idea of this. So what I've done is, basically, I've just done lots of, um, I'll show you some bits that I've got left here. Um, I did lots of pieces on um, with the stencils. Yeah. And um, you can see that's the, that's the flower one and then i've it done some inking i've done some spritzing whether that's crafty sprays that's one of the lusters the christmas luster that one is um you can see the all lined one that one is the circle one which i mean phew, it just it just speaks volumes doesn't it it really does so i had that so let's just take that out of there so i i i've stenciled on the background first so let's just go back Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to take that out. Got about like a minute left, Jo. Oh, okay, dokie. Okay. So what I did was I used, um, obviously, the uh, stencil. So I'll just take that. And I've got one of the paints. Let's have a look, this dark blue one. And just get a little bit of... There we go, a little bit of paint. Put it onto my block like I did before, because it's easy to do it like that. Take your sponge with your... More about surface 30 paint. seconds, Jo. Oh, no. Plenty Can't we just time. have a little bit more? Oh, it'd be lovely. Can we have a bit of your time, Charmaine? <laughs> Can we? There we go. So just very quickly, just show you. Just sponging through with one of the stencils. Oh, so that's that, that. Um, that's the circle How one. How do you do just, it, Jo? You are that, amazing. No, don't be daft. You are. And then, and then made a little pocket yep. with one of the, obviously, the uh, set uh, two with that lovely bit, bit watercolour. And then I've got enough to space to put my seed packets and then I've got a little tag here and yeah. then I can write on when I plant them if I liked them. Joe, sure, we've got 10 seconds left. Oh. I don't know where the time goes, Joe. Oh. I've absolutely loved working with you. You know I love I you. Oh, when are we going to see you again? Five well, seconds. Well, actually, uh, middle of May and it's the That's Crafty anniversary. Brilliant. <gasps> To the final second, we love our Joe Shannon. Uh, Dolly Dimple's One Day Special is coming up next. Lavinia Stamps after that. And then we're back with Hobby Art, and it's springtime. Hi, my name's Mel, and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family-run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. Our MDF products are produced in Devon, in the UK, and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows. Hi, I'm Sarah from White Gecko Craft Lounge. We have a little shop in Dinners Powers, which is between Cardiff and Barry, so right by the seaside. One of the aims of White Gecko is to really inspire you to start sewing. We'd like to uh, get people crafting and start that sewing process. A lot of patterns and kits are perfect for beginners to use. It's a real wonderful, mindful way to start that journey into sewing. So don't miss the White Gecko shows. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. 
I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. A very good afternoon to you. It's 12 o'clock, but it can only mean one thing. We've opened the doors to another, well, it's not another, it's the same one-day special uh, that we're looking at, but it, it, well, technically it is another one-day special. For the sheer fact, um, whether you've been keep, if you've been watching over the last few hours, uh, the one-day special sold out last night. We had a vast amount of stock, and as I said in the earlier hour, um, hand on heart, Charmaine included as well, we genuinely didn't think it would sell out as quick as it did. We genuinely thought we had enough stock to last the 24 hours. We thought it'd go in little dribs and drabs, but no, it flew out in the first hour, uh, which now means we've sort of come together with a bigger one-day special that you've got. This is a complete collection that we're looking at now. So you are looking at two sets of dies, which were your one-day special, with a saving of £10 on them already is what they had. And then you've got all the little cuties uh, that are there, which are absolutely adorable. Uh, they were. They are absolutely stunning. Um, you getting 87 stamps. Now, we worked out this morning, we think really, when you really look into these stamps, you were in the sort of mid-90s already. Uh, by the time you've cut them down and you've manipulated them, the things like the clouds that you're seeing there, I know our Lou Sims has done some of the samples that we've got uh, up around the top, and she's used them as bushes. So she's now used the trees with the bushes uh, that are incorporated as well. So now you can use all your little cuties. So cards like this that you're seeing here, those were the clouds. But you would never know they were the clouds. They now look like the bushes with the trees that are already as you go. Uh, then you also get your borders. Then you also get your dog houses and your little, uh, your little cat perch that you've got on there with your little tiny fish and the little plump cushion. Uh, once again, that plump cushion, the more I look at it, the more I see jello or jelly uh, that you've got there. Uh, look at the way, just the way it rolls, just a little bit of jelly sitting there. I like it. Uh, then you've got your little, uh, your... it's just the way I roll. Uh, then you've got your borders, um, but with the dice as well, you're getting all of this for three flexible payments. And on Freedom, uh, become a Freedom member on this one. It's well worth becoming a Freedom member because it sort of pays for itself. You get a £26 saving if you're not a Freedom member. If you are, 49 pounds. Well, that's a plus an extra tenner, in theory. So really, I'm not allowed to, I'm not allowed to tell you it's going to be 50 pounds and 99 pence is what you're looking at. 50, over 50 pounds is what you're saving. Shall I introduce our guest before I do all this? Uh, but, uh, here I am. I'm not alone. You've, you've, heard a, you've heard a titter in the background. <laughs> you hear her there. Uh, she's sitting through the Perspex blind date screen. Yes, indeed. Uh, and behind the, screen one is. Is it? Well, here she is. The mayoress. Everyone, please bow their heads. For the mayoress of Dolly Town, here she is, chains and all. But you, I'm not telling you where they are. It's our Charmaine. How are you, love? <laughs> You're a prophet. <laughs> What you do with your chains is things up to you. It's nearly the weekend, you can have some fun. Now, uh, this is a brand new collection that you've bought me, isn't it? It is. <laughs> it's too... <laughs> it is a beautiful... It's a payback. <laughs> it works with other collections that it you've does. bought me in the past. The first Dolly Town collection. Deep breath in, in and out. The first Dolly, the Dolly Tots that we brought out, it works in conjunction with them, so they'll all tying with each other it and really mix and match. And the designer is uh, Anne-Marie Hutchinson as well. So they are designed beautiful. these cuties. But as I said, as I was sitting in the green room earlier, uh, pondering, pondering, pondering my thoughts. I ponder, I ponder now and then, and I was lying in the bath last night p pondering, pondering again. <laughs> uh, I was having a little ponder while I was prepping for the shows today. And uh, I was thinking, these would also work with the girls that you've bought as well, because these look like the small children. Yes. 
yes, definitely. They'll all mix and match with each other. So they'll well, in Dolly Town, we've got all sorts of characters that'll all mix and match in with each other, won't they? Well, this is and the they're thing, all friends. And they're all friends. But while I was also thinking as well, once again, if you take the heads off some of these, because they're all wearing the big thick scarf, if you take yeah. the heads off, you could swap and change. We've got a thing about head swapping. We've got our Sue, who's in our DT team, who tests all the stamps and things. Uh, well, she do it. And <laughs> she loves swapping heads on things. Not only with the stamps, with objects and things. I say it's a bit creepy weird. <laughs> no, it, 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 it is. We're, but we're, yeah, it's a major, it's a major thing at the moment, isn't it, where you swap characters' arms and legs. We're and swapping stuff. all the heads over. No, Why this not? Is really, but it's value for money. Yeah. And that's what we want. We want value for money. If you're gonna, and I'm, I'm gonna be, if you're spending 149 pounds and a few pence, or you're splitting the cost onto three flexible payments of 44 pounds and 96 pence if you're a Freedom member, you want three lots of 44 pounds and 96 pence worth of value. When it drops on your mat, you want to know that you've your 149 pounds and 87 pence you're getting full value for money and that is what you're getting yes i'm showing you over 87 stamps that you're getting this collection but this is as i said if you start changing the heads and start changing the dies around this morning we only thought a die could be down the size of a page. We've then worked out you can use it as a tab system in your journals, in your scrapbooks and things like that. So once again, it bumps up the value of what you're actually paying for here. What I want you to do at home, and I don't want you to just see it as a set of stamps and a set of dies. Oh, I stamp them out and I colour them in. You don't. You can do so much more with them. And as we said this morning, yes, they wrapped up for winter, but you slightly changed them slightly. Like the one on the cup of tea down on the bar, down on the teapot. Uh, you take her earmuffs off there, and you have got nice fluffy cakes. I feel with a little cherry on top. You colour them in a slightly different. It's headphones. Yes. It could be headphones as well. Uh, maybe you're thinking this is all well and good, Adam. I'm loving all this. I love them all, but my budget just won't stretch for those three flexible payments of £44. But I want some of the stamps. Well, if you still want the stamps, I can get you the stamp £10.99 uh, for the smaller ones. I think it's £15.99 for the bigger ones as well. Indiv individually prices <coughs> is what you're looking at for these. You'll find them all on the website, but this whole collection is one of these why not deals. One of these why not deals is let me break it down for you this way. So freedom price is £7.97. That's what you pay for your freedom discount. If you buy any three things throughout the month, freedom more or less pays for itself. From there, why don't you put in that big collection of the Dolly Town? So these are the Dolly's complete collection, your two die sets and your 11 stamp sets. So that is going to combine price of £175.87. But as this is a brand new offer, We'll lower the price for you already to 14987. Are you with me so far? Then you're a Freedom member, so I'll take an extra 10% off. So now you're only paying £134.88. So where's all these savings coming from? Well, you don't pay postage and packaging for the month. So there's free postage and packing there already, and you've also got a £14.99 saving. Uh, so you are actually saving a freedom saving, including your postage, is £18.94. It's in fact more than that because you're saving nearly 50 odd pounds is what you're saving from the one day special price and all the stuff that you see there. But something else that's flying out the door are the stencils. 60% of the stencil stock has already gone. Is this one of them once it's gone, it's gone? Yep. Yep, oh, so once the stencils have <laughs> Too gone. Too much packing. <laughs> once the stencils have gone, they have gone. 60% of the stock has already gone here. 14 pounds and 97 pence. Now let me show you the boards uh, just to see what you can do with these when you get them home. So. Uh, Ash, our main blesser, has done the actual stencil. So put it down, stenciled through. What you've got here is the mop-up. So this is the clean-up that you've already got. So this is the clean-up. So you've got your main, then you've got your clear-up. So this is cleaning your stencils off. Now you're getting all three of the stencils. This is your main, this is your clear-up. I absolutely love them. Once again, your main. These don't even look the same stencil. They don't, do they? Because it's taking just elements out of it as well. These are so different. But then, from this second sample that you've got here, so from this second mop up, Charmaine did a third mop up, which Charmaine's got now. Uh, so you can see here, uh, which is absolutely beautiful. And it starts creating beautiful backgrounds. Look at this for a background, it's stunning. So that's a mixture of them and all I've done to it and there's no thought behind it whatsoever. It's literally straight through onto the card that Adam had to do the full piece, then spray it with water and press it and press it down 
onto the other side of it and then spray it with some more water, place it down on here and I've done it with the three stencils combined, just using that to clean up. So that's one cleaned up. If you want to take it to your jelly print, that's one done on the jelly print, mixing okay. the three together and just added in some little white um, gel pen. I'm into this dotting at the moment. And then here's another one that I've done with it as well, throwing some stencils. So if you want to go brighter as well, so that's there's nice. a few. Uh, so, we're very busy. Cool, but, <laughs> but no, it is. But once again, it's all start, simple crafting, though. Simple craft, and we're talking value for money. So yes. you've got three backgrounds. You've got your intense background that you wanted to start with anyway, because that's your stencil. Then you've got your cleanup, which gives you that sort of broken down, vintage esque look, because you've yep. still got ink on there, as you can see. You've but still that got your the layers ink. up, though. But it is, so you could do that again, but do it the other way. So yes. you're going to get a yes. diff, totally different lattice. Look, go in with your watercolours and just pick bits out. I love this sort of broken edge, but that's what you're paying for. That's what you're going to get. And then on top of all that, start running them through. Uh, start running them through your dye machines to start embossing yeah, with I mean, them as well. I haven't quite figured that one out yet. I've done it before, but I haven't figured out which plates go in what to do the embossing. So I need to speak to somebody who I know is whiz on the machine to get my plates right. But I know it does look awesome, and I know some of the girls have done that in the past it with that stencils as well. And it opens up another door once again. You can use a stencil to stencil. You can use them to emboss. You can also use them to stamp as well, as we've seen some of our guests use. And fourteen pounds ninety-seven pence, sixty percent off stock has already gone. Once it's gone, it's gone. Six two nine two five two is your item number. Last but no means least, on my counter, this counter is getting ever so small as the hours go on. Uh, we're talking backing papers. Now, you normally get 24 sheets, uh, but our Charmaine has thrown in an extra sheet of the borders that you're getting this time as well. We're talking 120 GSM is what we're talking about with this as well, which is a beautiful quality uh, to work with. And as we know, Charmaine, the, the card stock that you give us, or the paper stock that you give us, is quality, but you can more or less throw anything at it, and you it's going to resist. I mean, if you want to build up layers on top of it, you might want to glue it down onto some cardstock first, so give it a good covering, and make sure that the actual glue is dry before you start going in with lots of wet mediums, if that makes sense. I adore that. Look at these. You've got those deep, dark, grungy backgrounds if you want your base, them to be. the base place to start, or if, you, if you're just into your paper craft and not your stamps, you've got some of the stamped images there. Obviously, you can't change the colours, but um, it gives you a starting point for your paper crafting, or if you're frightened of the white space, you can cut piece down, which I will be doing on my next demo, I'll be using the papers, and you can stamp up. You can have a stamp over the top of it. Or you can stamp on separate, cut it out and layer it up. It all mixes and matches because it was designed to go with everything on the counter. I really do look, and even if you're just going to use them for backgrounds, they are cool, absolutely isn't it? <laughs> stunning. Uh, I lost a green pencil. I've even signed it there. Look, that'd be worth it's a fortune. It's a little cheap in notebook in there, and a, um, what, the little doggy on the front I love of it. it. And you know, you can personalise these little gifts. Two little scores in the middle of that, and some hole punches, and you've got a nice little keepsake gift for somebody. It really, really does work. And using some of the borders uh, that you've got in there as well. Once again. It just adds elements. If you're scared of what you're doing, the papers really hold your hand and go, just cut me out, just play with me. I really work. That's it. I mean, some of the girls have really gone into town with them and fussy cut the tiniest little people out. Yeah. They're easy enough to do. Uh, they really, really are, and it's worth having a little go of them as well. Uh, while you're going to go, I'd start checking eight baskets, because once again, I think once they've gone, they have gone. 12.99, uh, 372, 399 is your item number. Right then, we're 12 minutes in already. I feel we should get to demo. Let's do it. What are we up to first? OK, I did have prep to do the book, <laughs> but the book's gone again. That's sold out. <laughs> OK, so every time we bring that, that sells out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a card. So I've taken one of the fancy edge, so it's on the edge dies. Now, if I place it where it is right now here, you will you will be able to see that this is coming towards the edge. I'll lose parts of this bit. So I actually want both bits because I want to cut something and get both sides. That's only because I can then use this for something else. But then if you do do that, do do that, you end up with these little peaks which you can use for something else as well. Now, normally I don't work this way around or work to me, but I think that looks better on screen that way so I'm sliding the two in and I'm going to go in the machine so I would just want to show anybody who die cuts knows how to do it you layer up whichever machine you've got or press a, and press a button or crank it through like I'm doing so I'm cranking it through this one and back through the other side so it comes back to me again and out the other side and pray to the crafty gods Yee! 
that it is all die cut nicely as you can just guarantee that when you go on the tv it doesn't so these little tiny pieces woo, these little tiny pieces if i just grab a piece these little tiny pieces if i turn it the other way around i know the little bits but if you save some of these up and you layer them back up you can get some really really funky patterns going on i've got a pile of them on here i'm not going to do it today because uh, black and white's better than but you can layer them up using like a quickie glue pen and make some oh, funky yeah. effects. So you can actually use those little bits, but we're not going to do that. So let's pull this one off and then get rid of those bits, pop that one back in the thing. And you've got, if I just give them a flick, it's like little fires, isn't it? It is like little candles. Yeah, when I drew it out, I wasn't thinking like that. Now, when I draw out things, I draw on paper with pen or pencil. I don't I do not do onto PC first, I do it, um, and then I have to put it onto PC and painstakingly say rudy words at the PC when it's not doing what I want it to do. Oh. So you won't find anything um, perfectly, perfectly symmetrical all the time unless it's like circles and a few compasses and things like that. So it is three hand drawn. So we've got that die cut there. There is another one that goes with this which will cut out this section as well. So if you wanted it as a border, it doesn't cut here. But because my card was slightly smaller than the die itself, obviously I don't need to do any cutting. So if I wanted to extend it, I can. And that's how they all work. Um, and the border, that's a white one, so you probably able to see that. When you layer up these bits that come from the other side and you layer them up together like that, you get some funky effects as well. Is it, they're quite Moroccan, quite, yeah, you know, the little tents. Like, like the little houses and the, things. Yeah, yeah, like the little tents go into it. Yeah, the little tea, yeah. they, they're beautiful and they really, really work. And again, if you want to put them together, you know, wiggle them about, you can get, let me just move that all out of the way. And... Pop that there. Remind me of my plates underneath, Adam, because I will forget. Only takes seconds and my brain's gone. So you can see now, if we were building up something, you can get some funky patterns going with that bit. Anyway, we have a Sorry stamp. to chip in, though. Yep. That also looks like a skyline. If you turn it landscape, oh, the other way, so the points are up. That's it. It looks ah, a bit like Aladdin-esque. It does, indeed. And then if you layer up on it again... You know, you can just keep going, and depending on what colours you put on, yeah, like and get different things. This is just one die. This is just one die. Also, don't forget, you can use your dies for stencils. So there's nothing wrong with using that and inking through it. And what I have done is there is two... Let me move that to one side. There is two dies in it that do this. So I will bring the dies in because you can see what it's supposed to be. So this is the bit that die cut out. No, I'm mad about Alice. You know we've got loads of Alice, so I like playing cards and things like that. So I wanted a heart and I wanted a diamond. And, of course, these were to go in your ring binder bits. That's gone, so we won't do that demonstration. But the negative space that's there is a great stencil as well. Yeah. Not only that, if you do it out of... All I've done is put the dies in repeatedly and do two at a time and build a border. You put another colour behind it, so if you just pop the white behind that... You then got like your playing cards, if that makes um, mm. sense. Or you could die cut it out of a different colour and replace it and fill it, and you've got a border strip. So play around with these things. Don't think they're only intended for what Charmaine says, because with well, yours, you do what you want with them. Right now, what I've got is I've got one that I've done um, in my mixed media card, and I'm going to place my magnets in there, and I'm going to get my huge tree. So huge tree. Where have you gone? Oh, you're there on the block. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty burk. <laughs> That's me talking to myself. Uh, OK, That's so large say. stamp. So I'm going to roll that back and roll it back on. Because when you've got a large stamp, you may get little air blocks underneath. And if you get air blocks underneath, I call it the dirty, the dirty snowman effect, where if it's like a dome, you're inking on the top and you're going to get the middle. Now, I would say 99% of stampers know what I'm talking about when they come to get in a dirty snowman. A dirty you ink snowman. on and you get it in the area you don't want and you stamp it and you're ah Sounds like a cocktail from up north. <laughs> what are you drinking? I'm having a dirty, dirty snowman. snowman. <laughs> I've not I've not actually come across one of those yet. So no, I'm I using Mementos because I'm going to be using my alcohol pens. So that's why I've chose that ink pad. And I'm taking my stamp Timber stamp platform because it's a rather large one, and I'm going to press on all the areas as you do normally. I like this in one, there. Though. 
It's a cool one because you could just take the branch if you wanted. You don't have to th have the whole thing. It's a good uh, filler. It is indeed. And can you see it's come off the page because it's actually longer than that. So it does give you a visual straight away. Now, I'm doing this, but I'm going to jump to a different one okay. because you know I'm going to do the pl Blue Peter style e stuff. So if I put that one back on there, you'll also see. So this is from Rainy Days collection. You will also see that you're getting the rainy clouds in there, two different sizes. Remember, you can just use the clouds if you want and you're getting all these fallen leaves which are awesome and there's all these little tiny leaves on the actual branch so it's a big it's a big stamp set with big stamps um, there it is there so we'll take that off and we'll do a quick bit of coloring luckily I've got some other bits that are already pre-done so mm, excuse me stamp press over to the right to the right to the right hopefully I remember that and we're going to grab a selection of browns and greens. I'm just going to go with one green actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a base layer and I'm going to use the chisel tip. This is really intricate colouring in knot. So I'm going to scribble up and down. Whoa. <laughs> so scribble that colour on there and when I was a kid I was taught to go in the same direction now I'm an adult I'm going to break the rules I'm going to do what I want to do so I'm going to go up and down in the same directions as the um, what do they call it grain thank you right. both of you <laughs> the grain uh, up and down there and I'm going to wiggle that around and down and I'm going to wiggle that around and down wiggle it in around and down like that's a big eye in there now I know in front of you Adam you have got one of those trees where it's got some like doodles in there that our Tracy did and uh, this is colouring into another level but yes. she's doodled into it I and do. made it look like one of them oldy worldy trees that's been around for years and and all these bits are all bulging out and one of those trees that you just want to go and stroke well I do bit of a tree hugger um, a stroke there because it's really really tactile hold the line cooler. It's just absolutely amazing amazing things that must go in her head when she starts to colour. So I'm scribbled that on and it looks like a child's done it and I will agree with myself because it does. So then I'm going to take my next pen. Have you lost it? <laughs> yeah, you only showed me it an hour ago. <laughs> it's a tall, slim one when you come to it, not like me. So I'm going to go down the grains that are already here. So I'm following the line out with a darker colour. And here, here I'm going to add to it and bring it down so you can extend it. Uh, it's awesome, isn't it? Absolutely awesome. Is that if you one get a, Yeah, if you can get it a close-up on those little doodlies that are there. It's cool, isn't it? That's that. well it wicked. It genuinely that. looks like it's been printed. It does, it does. You could sneak a little bend behind and you could see she's definitely coloured it in. Uh, it's definitely not printed because somebody else would have had to do it and I'm not spending that much time. <laughs> So when I've got my samples to do, I, I need to do them as fast as I possibly can. And the thing is, uh, I want to enjoy the process of it, but, you know, I don't want to do something too, too complicated as well that, you know, I can't, can't do in the television. It's bad enough doing um, with me, my nerves. <laughs> Of, still for, nervous? Doing the regular. Oh, I'm always nervous. You know, it's, the camera comes towards me and I'm like, oh, go away. <laughs> no, you're really not. You know that I'm not a shy person. You're not a shy person. I'm not a shy person. No, you're I'm not. I'm definitely not a shy person. I can talk to the world and his wife, but you put that camera in front of me and I don't know. It's just it's I'm one shy. of the weird things. <laughs> you're shy. See, you can talk to the world and his wife and you tell me you're shy. So here we go. We've gone from light to dark and we're going to go back with a light one and we're going to scribble over the top of it again so that is pretty much what I do with a base coat you can go in darker uh, areas I need to take my bracelet off it's tinging on that blooming glass thing yeah so you go ching 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 thing. right so that's that one then I cut out so I'm going to leave that one for Ron and I'll use that for something else and I'll pop that to one side and then I'll bring one in that I've done the same process on and I'm going to show you the next process so same sort of thing but then I take my pencils and this is done on my mixed media card so I'm giving it light covering of the pencils and what it will do is give you like that grainy effect mm -hmm. does that make sense yeah so light covering if you don't know what light pressure is hold your pencil further back like that can you see that grain there 
Yeah, and down the edge. grain coming in. And you do exactly the same thing again. So using the pencils really, really lightly. And you're just touching the surface of the mixed media card. And then we can extend the line out down here. Are we just so, using the tip of the pencil? Literally, we're using the edge. If you oh, so use, using all the edge? If we use the tip, again, if you wanted those thin strokes, same as the um, alcohol pens, if you want oh, to okay. go in and define it, Use your tip. Use your tip. Yeah, define it, use your tip. And of course you can blend it out with other ones if you go in a little bit too heavy. But once you've gone in and defined it like this, you haven't got, and you've put more pressure on it, you haven't got anywhere to go with your next colour if you want to build another colour in. So all I'm doing is putting a light covering on there and then you can add more if you need to. But it's giving you that grain effect without, and it's the same with animal skin or fabric. If you wanted to do um, a fabric effect, making it look like it's actually tactile. So you can go in and you can mix up different colours in there. So if you're putting darker ones on the underneath areas, you can do. Um, work it, work it, work it. And when you've worked it some more, um, yeah. That's nice. I don't, I haven't put as much on as I'd like to do, but you get the general idea. So you can darken areas up, like say this bit was coming over there, we put a little a din in there. How you visualise it to be, you can darken the areas up with darker colours. And um, the leaves, I have to jump back to that one because I forgot about the leaves. The leaves are really, really difficult to do. Not. I don't do difficult. It's Dolly Dimples Crafting Made Simples. Yellow, 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 yellow. Yellow, 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 hello, yellow, and we'll have a touch of green, a touch of green here, a touch of green here, and here, maybe a bit up there, and of course if it was more sort of autumn leaves, you could add the browns in there and the oranges, so that's what I do with the leaves. Well, that's it. Which I've done on that. Yep, that is it, Adam. As simple as oh. that. Now, let's go for a backing paper. We all right to go with the backing papers? You we've can... still got them, haven't we? No, yeah, we've still got them. They're still there, we'll change the details on okay. the screen. Okay, so... Let's just have a mess about. So I've got a black one die-cutted with the little edge on there, and I had the white one done, which is here, like this, and we could have laid them up so we were doing something funky like that, yeah? Yeah. That was, that's the idea behind that one. Now, if you want to use a backing paper, it gives you a starting point. Oh, so this that. is one of the backing papers in there, and I actually, I like this one with it as well. So if you want to go wild and wacky, it's almost giving you the, like a leaf effect. The choice is yours, so either the voice in the ears or Adam, one of you choose. This one or this okay. one? I'm one, two. One, two. two. So it's two. two, lots of two, three. Yeah, two, two. <laughs> It does look it like does a look forest. forest, doesn't it? Right, so we will trim it down a little bit, but we will just work on it like this because you don't want to watch me gilly. So we've got the tree on what, there. What you are? Gilly. Oh, I thought you said something else. <laughs> <laughs> Is that my naughty nature? I don't know what you were saying. I was like, what were we going to watch? I was, I was watching guillotine. Mm. You do know that my bottom fish banana is me popular swear word for TV, so I've been very, very Your good. Your bottom fish? My bottom fish bananas is my swear word. I've been very, very good and not dropped a clinger. <laughs> Ever? Well, I don't, you, I don't. No, I don't clinger, think we not a clanger. A clanger. Clangers are them little people on the TV, and you'd probably tell me off for saying them. Right, what I've done here is I've stamped out and coloured in um, Milo, the doggy, and if I turn, if I turn, oh sorry, here we go. Oh. Now if I turn him that that oh, way, can you see his layers? Yeah. yeah. You see his layers on there. So I stamped him and cut out his feet up to up to the top here, yeah? And then I stamped out, obviously, the whole image to start off with. Then I stamped out the body area. And I did that. When I did the feet, I did his face as well. And then I just just inked up and pressed down on his nose to do his nose finally on there. Look. Look He's at that. He's so cute. That's fussy cutting at its finest. It is. Now, shall we have him in the woods? So he would go in the woods. So we want to glue him down first. So let's get him glued down. Um, in fact, what I would do, I'd normally use a PVA, but need for speed, we will have it's like that Fast and Furious, isn't it? It is. Other, oh, franchi other franchises are available. <laughs> Here we go. So we get the tape down. I've not seen that for years, I think. Oh, it's a cooly one. 
can see Curly Curly well. Right, so we pull off the tape. I won't do I won't do the branches, but you get the general idea of what I'm, I'm doing. The, have have you seen the flight attendant yet? No, I've not. Oh, Is that one that good. I need to write down? It's I don't amazing. watch. I, I only watch on that. You know the one where the, you can the yeah. streamer one. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. on there. Cool. Thanks. Right, so we place him here. Now, what I like to do is I like to stamp out all the bits and pieces, fussy cut, colour them in, and then fussy cut them out. So my tester ones, my tester ones are my, oh, that um, nice. are my what do they call them? Masks. My masks. They're my testers of my stamps. Um, and then I stamp them all out, I have a colouring in session, and then I cut them all out and I move them all around. So let's get some characters going on. Now, <laughs> we've got one here. This one is, I've forgotten your name, dear. Colin. Thank you. This is, this is, this is Colin. Uh, or, if we'd colour them in, in girly colours, uh, could be clean. So we could have Colleen could clean. Cuff, but, but then we start a whole new argument. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I actually didn't, I didn't colour that one in. Um, Tracy did. So she had a few bits and pieces because she does the same sort of thing that I do. She has a big colouring in session. So if you colour them in in colours that work together. Then you've got a whole scene. Then you've got a whole scene yeah. and you can start playing around by doing this. Now we could have the doghouse being over there. Why not? We could have him being naughty. Now. And sitting on top of his dog house, do you know? You remember, like the one that begins with S. Yeah, oh, Snoop's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Old Snoop Dog. Snoop Dog. <laughs> we can have him on top of there, so you can move all these characters about. We could have, um, we can have the uh, blowing in the wind. There we go, P puffing away like that. We could have another cloud because wind needs bodies. Yeah. What was that? I missed, I missed one. You've been naughty over there. It's been naughty again, isn't it? Naughty Adam oh, I and like naughty Shaman. <laughs> I like the puppy cloud. I like the puppy cloud. And of course, if you paint them green, we've got bushes. Yeah. So, uh, thanks to Lou Sims on that. Now, let's have some extra leaves. So, we put some leaves down here. So, here we'll have some you leaves. You could use the puppy cloud as a get well soon card. Yeah, you could. Like and the coffee. raining one, the one with the rain. Under the yeah, weather. Only you under the weather. So if you want to change this up, because I've cut it out and I didn't, I started cutting out the raindrops and I said, no, Shaman, you've been ridiculous. Uh, if you want to change it up, we can take. Do we want it raining? Let's have it raining. Let's have it raining. Let's have it raining. It's raining rain. Because the sun always shines on TV, according to our heart. Ah, uh, yeah. One of the kids. <laughs> oh, I do remember that one. Do you remember the video for it as well? No. Oh, I remember the Weather Girls, that always made me laugh. <laughs> it still makes me laugh. <laughs> With them cardboard cutouts of that city there stomping around. <laughs> I've sung that on, fa on Facebook Live. Have you? Yeah. What, one of the Weather I, Girls? Yeah, the Weather Girls. I am one of those people that can fill a room when it comes to singing. My voice is that amazing. you got a voice of an angel. <laughs> I didn't say that. Is it, is I said it a voice I of can a fill, a, fill a room. Now, which one? Because there's two sizes of brick. I'm going to go with the smaller one underneath my bigger one. And then I've just, because all I want really is the raindrops and that way I'll make it easier for me. So, uh, yeah, I can fill a room of uh, people. No bother when I start to sing. Wow, I bet they come flocking in from everywhere. Yeah, well, they, go, they go into somewhere else other than where I'm singing, that's for no, sure. I, I reckon, <laughs> I think, what's, what, what's that? Has someone got the radio on? Is someone listening to Classic <laughs> FM? No, that's our Charmaine throwing out a duty in the crowd room <laughs> as they're bypassing in the cars. So I just put my ink on the raindrops and, no, not you, dude. You're just desperate to get in there with your little puff face. Right. There we go. So we then take a pencil and I'm just going to grab a bluish one. There we go. Bluish one. Because I'm going direct onto the paper and the paper's quite dark, I'm using a wax pencil because it's opaque opposed to translucent and that way I can get some colour and then I would add some um, white gel pen. So I'm basically going to stick these on Adam. You want to do a recap yes, and I can I get can. it all organised and add my dye to it and then okay. you can come back. Yeah? We will come back to you shortly. Now over half the stock of the big bundle has already gone. Once it's gone, it is gone. They won't be coming back. This is the last chance uh, to get your dyes now. There's no other way of getting the dyes. You can go for the stamps individually, should you wish, but the only way of going 
claim those large dies is by going for the large collection. Now, we've put it onto Freedom for you of £134.88 with a £40.99 saving. In fact, you can add your extra tenner onto that as well because you do get a £10 saving onto your dies. And we've also put it onto three flexible payments of £44.96 today. The most flexes that we can do that are interest free. But what are you getting? You are getting 16 dies in total and 87 stamps. I know. 87 stamps. And we've even just discussed in there, you can use the clouds as bushes. You could use the doghouse as a shed if you wanted to. If you just extend the panels on the side. Uh, you get dog bowls in there. You get that large dog bowl that you've got there. It's actually a dog bed. But you could turn it into a dog bowl. If, you, if you've got other dogs from other companies, you could use these as well. If you've got other animals uh, stamps that you've already got at home, these would work beautifully with any other stamps that you've already got. Uh, and look at the amount that you're getting. Look at the samples. Um, using the dies on their own, you can start creating beautiful journals. This is just from the dies. This is not a single stamp in sight. Just using the dies here. That's our loop bins, and she has paper collection on. And she had the dies, but she didn't realise that only one of the die sets had been released at the time and I didn't have the heart to tell her when she'd made a sample but I did say, can I, and it's a Chow Bella paper so it makes same but the pockets that she's done with the dies is amazing and all done out of A4 card. She's, she's very clever, She Alice. is indeed. Very, very clever. Uh, some samples that I've not shown you yet, and then uh, we'll, we'll have to move on because we are very, very busy. Uh, there's your first one. Look at these. They're so... Even wedding cards, look at this uh, from your wedding cards that you're looking at at the moment. Uh, from there, I can't reach from now. Uh, from there, you get cards that look a little bit like this. Let me move my little sausage fingers uh, that you've got there. Uh, then, look, just using the owl and some of the leaves and brown craft card uh, that you've got. I absolutely adore. <laughs> I did it on purpose. Uh, they zoomed in on a real small card and I picked up a big one. Uh, uh, but then, oh, I'm a tinker. Uh, then you've got the little cards as well, but then you've also got, I love a shaker card on TV. Because <laughs> you can't see it. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> You're a proper boo guy. We literally, like, we literally I, lo I, I love a shaker card because to me it looks amazing. But on TV, when we get really close on it, and I just shake it, it's that's so all you see. It's so you can't naughty. see the impact of it, but I do love a, I do love a shaker card. Um, it is beautiful. Who was it by? But the, oh, is this one of yours, Charmaine? Um, no, that one is Tracy's. Tracy, let me show Tracy's card properly. Bless her. She spent a lot of time on it. There's me just giving it a wiggle. Yeah, she put those sequins in one at a time. Oh, bless <laughs> her. A colour in is absolutely The pubs are open amazing. now, Tracy. You can get out. I think, now. It, I think, I think it's Tracy's. Bless her. Uh, well, £44.96, what you're looking at, 324743, is your item number for this one. Um, I've just realised oh, I've got an appraisal coming up soon. I need to be on my best behaviour. Uh, oh, you were on with me before. <laughs> you're doomed. It could be my last week. <laughs> uh, from there, if I'm not in Thursday, you know why. Uh, your stencils is what we've got in now. 70% gone on the stencils is what we're looking at. Just using some of the stencils on their own. And you're going to get things that look a little bit like this. Let's be more professional. At uh, £14.97, 629252 is your item number that you'll be using on these. Using the stencils just in the background uh, is what we're looking at. They are absolutely stunning. They really, really are. I absolutely adore them all. That's £14.97, 629252 is your item number. Your backing papers are also very, very busy is what they are. I can't keep that up for much longer. Uh, backing papers are very, very busy. Twelve ninety nine. You normally get twenty four sheets. This time, uh, Charmaine's thrown in an extra sheet for you, which is your border sheet that you're looking at here. Uh, they are beautiful because the one that Charmaine's using at the moment uh, is in another colourway, but you've got it in so many different colourways. I love these yeah, papers. That's virtually the same, but completely. But different in the colourway, blues, yeah. then you can start doing. Uh, using some of the borders uh, that you want to do. There are so many different style cards uh, that you can use for them uh, because you can start creating so many more things. So using the borders, using the backgrounds, you can use these. Absolutely love. And just using the bit of a... I don't know what you'd call it. A bit of a what? That's from the cloud look. 
So that is just the cloud for... But that... <laughs> If you use that and turned it the other way around, it looks like a fountain. Yeah, yeah. It looks like a water fountain. I was that thinking you've got of there. one of those, you know, them speaky things. <laughs> speaky thing? You know, yeah, that's him. No, is it? Where you got you know, trumpet. and speak to people. Well, not a trumpet. A megaphone. A megaphone, yeah. We could be a megaphone. A gramophone, which is what they're saying to me here. Yes, um, yes. But I was thinking of the one that you hold and you go. A megaphone. Hello, people. And you go, hello, people. One of them. Ah, oh, one of them. <laughs> one of them, Adam. <laughs> I think she's just glad to get out, to be honest. Um, I need to get out a bit more. <laughs> bless her. She goes back to home at six. Now, at £12.99, uh, we are very, very busy. I know um, we normally say that, but we are very busy. We're very busy indeed for a 12 o'clock show on a Friday afternoon. Um, Check it out. It's Friday. It is Friday. You will be getting these uh, by next week as well, so you can be starting crafting along. Right then, let's get back to Charmaine before I get myself into any more trouble and they start clipping this release and showing me back in my appraisal. <laughs> All right. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done on there. What do you think? So you got oh, the I, like that. I did stick with the dog up there. We've got the dog ball. I've used the top um, top dog. Um, I could have done top cat because you can mix the words around. So I've mixed all the stamp sets. I've added a little mouse. You've got a couple of leaves. I really want to put a third one in there. Yeah, let's just sneak him in right quick. There we go. Got a let's have him come in off the page. And I've mounted it onto black. Now I take another piece of black and score it or a piece of white. Score it across the top and I've got a card. I punch holes and I could stick it into a journal page if I so wish. Does that make I sense? I love it. So that's love that it. one. What would you like me to demo next, guys? Um, can we have a look yep. at the stencils? You want to look at them or do you want me to do something with them? Um, do something with them would be nice. <laughs> do something. Do something Just with do them. Just do something. Do... Okay, We've still got so, 20 minutes to fill. Okay, I have got some of my mixed media card here. And I just moved the still things, just took it over there. We've got the mixed media card in the show where our Charmaine sets up. Uh, you're, getting, you're getting lots of sheets in this one. Uh, you're getting 30 A4 sheets is what you're getting if you mix media. Now everyone started using this mixed media card shop. Um, it's £9.99. It's a beautiful, beautiful photo. Ooh. Ooh. Isn't that gorgeous picture? 250 <laughs> GSM does it for me. Uh, it's in white, 822474. Look at the legs on that. 250 GSM with a beautiful saving of £5 and £9.99. And uh, 30 sheets of the A4 mixed media card. If they've never mixed... If they've media. never mixed, <laughs> they never mixed never their mixed media card. your mixed media card... I'm glad you knew where I was going with this. Um, what would you say to people? Because people get very precious over cardstock. Yeah, if they've never used it before why not that's true why not? <laughs> what, why not what can you do with it that you can't do with it? is it because it's mixed media can you throw more at it as it were so for a beginner like me if i was using it for watercolors and inking through is it a little bit more robust okay I'll, i'm gonna go through the three cards that i've got on today okay, okay. we'll make it easier uh, three cards that I've got on today, she says, and can she find one to hand of the cream? I think so. Yeah. We'll bring up the details Lovely. for each one as we talk about okay. them as well. Okay, so we've got, we've got the black, which is a 250 GSM, so it's perfect for going in your die cutting machine, it's perfect for doing your matting layer, and it's also perfect for doing your construction when you're layering up other pieces on top of it. A lot of people think that you have to have 300 GSM. Well, okay, that's fine. Me personally, it works for me. I do a lot of construction and I layer up on top of it. If I put a 300 gram and a 300 gram and a 300 gram on top of each other, it's too much and it falls over. But what we've got here is we've got a smooth cream. So we've got that on, on the show as well. And when I'm doing the smooth cream, I might concentrate more on the alcohol pens. Okay. And not with the pencil techniques like I've been doing to get that texture. Yeah. And a smooth layer of um, pencils on top of there as well. And it's a 300 gram. But more so from a die cutting, I'll use details these details now. That's that the black sense? card that we've got on the screen at the moment. 049424 is your item number 999. Uh, then we'll swap to the white card cream right you've got cream is slightly darker cream is the cream than the uh, mixed media the mixed media is white but it's more an off-white than a bright white okay and I prefer that with um, the papers the collections were done so when I was choosing this specific one it had to be 
not too in your face white white i do use white and i have had my um, super smooth white on for quite a few years um on and off but i'm torn to these three all the time if i want a colored card majority of the time i'll just color it in does that make sense Adam? no it makes perfect so sense. i use um let me go back to that one and we start working so we, mixed can, media. we can work on top we can work on top i know our emma blake loves this mixed media card she goes through tons and <gasps> oh, tons of it she was telling me said, last time she was instead here. of ordering it on the internet now she rings up and she says, can you send me X? And it's a her, me, uh, uh, her, yeah, a delivery her DP truck. and Maria, all of them. Yeah, orders. Yeah. Can we? All right, it's a Hermes order, you know. So, so she does a big it. order. She does a big order. And I said, what are you doing with it? She's eating it, but she does make a lot of samples, doesn't she? So um, I can use acrylic paint. I can use watercolour. If you're going to go really, really heady, heavy, heady, heavy on it, then you need to mount it onto something else. The more water you're going to pl play at, throw at her, the more likely it's going to start to fold and things, but you can glue it down onto something else first. So it does take a lot. Obviously, if you want to do artistic watercolours of an artist artist level, go for a watercolour card. card Makes sense. Stock. Makes sense. Makes okay? sense. But you can do, for your cards and your projects, you can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a mishmash. Nice, simple mishmash of colours. We're going bright. I was going to ask you, but we've talked that much that I thought can I be bothered now so I'm going to do a mishmash of patterns I'm going to use and I'll, I'll do the mopping up technique as well so instead of using that same area I'll use this area as well so I'm going to start with the blue on there and just like almost like straight wiggly lines <laughs> does that make sense straight I like this, I like this design I kind of, sort of I'm going quite... down straight yeah so I'm going in an angle like that because I like to, I don't know why I do. I'm going to put that one to one side. So I'll tell you what I like to do, but I can't tell you all the time why I do it. So I just like, I know that the eye kind of rests down at this area, so that's why I work that, that way. Now I can see what I've done before. I can go over the top, but I can also fill in some areas. Don't think you have to fill in completely because you don't. You can leave white space. White space is quite nice. So I'm now going to use the peacock feathers and we'll have these. So I'm going over the top. You can see that I'm going over, over the top and up and down and fill that one out a little bit stronger there. If I go on lightly again, just like I did with the pencils. So let's move that down. I've gone on dark. If I go on lightly, let's do that big ball there. So if I go on lightly with that, you'll see the texture in the paper a little bit more, which I quite like. If you fill it in solid, so if we move that over, can you see the is, texture there? Yeah, you can. Slightly. I was yeah? just about to ask that. Is okay. there, um, with the mixed media paper, is it sort of, is it, su is it smooth? It, uh, one side is fairly smooth, but it has got a two foot. As you're stroking it, it feels um, fairly smooth. I think if you can see that one, see that one there, that piece, I think that's it. So you can feel on one side is a little bit more of a, oh, yeah. a tooth to it than there is um, smooth on the other side. So it has got a kind of smooth finish, but not perfectly smooth. Does that make sense? No, that makes sense. Whereas if you feel that one there, that's the cream, which is smooth. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm carrying on with my broken circles and pulling them down here. Now, why do I bring three together because I like when I put my collections of the um, stencils on I put them on threes because threes works together odd numbers works together um, you can make more from it because you could just use like the dots if you wanted so if I want to take the dots there and go back to the blue it and only dawned on me the other day, and I don't know why it's never dawned on me sooner, that you can mask out areas of your stencils as well. Of course, well. you can place over your, um, your, your tape, tape over, over, over the top of it, and you can mask areas off. Yeah, no bother with that. I mean, that's what we used to do with the alphabet stencils. That's the first ever stencil I ever got, was the alphabet stencils. Um, and, you know, the great techniques that we've got and the tools that we've got these days putting them through your embossing machine that's great with your mediums because it means you can be a little bit what's the word you guys use thrifty on it because once you've embossed it higher up um you're putting less mediums over yeah, the top because you've lifted it and it makes it easier for it to glide over the top of it so i'm going to go in with a ch chucking cards on the floor exercise but apart from that i'm going to go in with a yellow now and we add that to it and then i'll add a red so i'm going to go red and yellow on this one and i'm literally just going to what's the word clart it on 
I'm not thinking about it. I'm not covering the whole stencil. You've seen what the whole stencils look like. Just moving it about and getting some coverage on there. I'm going to throw that over there. I'm going to grab some red. Now we could spray this while it's on the actual paper um, and let it all merge about. So, you know, there's options that you can do and you can get different effects. And what I tend to do is when I do that sort of technique is when I'm not totally happy with what I've got, I'll then spray water on it to change it again. So I'm adding some red just to warm it up a little bit. So I'm mixing the cools with the warms because I want to and I like colour. So get that on there and I'm going to carry it on with this stencil just across the bottom. Move that one over. So it's big enough to kind of do a fast piece. Now you can chop these up into sections and use them for smaller projects. And when you start to put like black card around it, I use the two L's, which is just an L shaped black and overlay. I forgot to bring them to make a frame. And once you frame a section off, it looks absolutely amazing. The difference from looking at a visual of the whole thing. Does that make sense, Adam? Yeah, because your eyes draw into everything at the moment, but if you yeah. start cutting it down... So, if we just take this black card, I'm just going to take full pieces, um, and we did like that, you've got a section which you could use for something. Um, and if you decided that you just wanted this wee section here, like a long strip, you can do. So when you look at it in different areas, it looks completely different. That's what I'm trying to say. So, do we spray it? Or do we grab another sheet and spray these and do a different one? What do you, what do you feel? What, grab another grab sheet. Another let's sheet, let's okay. grab another No, I quite like what we've done oh, as well. Oh, thank you. That means you like it. So what I'm going to grab well. now is I'm going to grab the, um, the cream card just to show you that you can use this as well. So this is a 300 gram. So I do all the same techniques on, on all the same pieces. Uh, what I do need to do is just put some lids on here before the... Um, e we have had emails asking yeah. why in Charmaine. Did she? Bev, literally, our Bev's <laughs> just emailed him from Be Crafty going, put your ink pad lids on, you're driving him now. Yo, Team B. <laughs> but it was two separate emails. It said, put your ink pads on, and then the second email came through, you're driving me mad. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Was it in capital letters? <laughs> well, yes, it was, to be honest. Uh. <laughs> it was a slightly longer email. I just bullet pointed the main features. <laughs> And took out the words that I can say on the telly. You know when you've got good friends because you turn around and abuse them. <laughs> well. So I'm just going to spray that with water. And I'm going to place it down on here. I'm going to move that one to one side. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to go rub. So you can either do it on top and rub with the tissue. Or you can go on top. We're going to get... Woo! That'll be fun. You can get that one. I'm not going to show you because I'm going to turn and grab again. And we get what we get. You can see there is no plan to this whatsoever. What we get is what we get. Now, you would probably, I like to leave it to dry naturally. You might want to give it a quick blast. But if I take the tissue, I'm going to pull up some of that puddling that's in there. But I'm going to do that because I want to do speed on this. I'm just going to dry that off just with the tissue a little Even bit. Even that, though, as subtle as it is, you think, well, what, what is it? That, that's nothing. But you start putting your figures on top of that now. That really does work, and it just make your background pop a little bit. Alu Sims taught me about backgrounds. It's worth, it's worth doing your backgrounds. There we it go. It just brings your main element forwards. There we go. You Look know, you that. put two characters on and you've got a background, you can trim it down. You've got, you've got, you know, if you chop it into four pieces, you've got four toppers for a card and you put your well, elements of, on the top of it. Because of the characters as well, yeah. and if you turn that sort of landscape, you sort of got like the Aurora Borealis, the northern lights that you've got going over with the characters underneath that you could really go to town. And it's just these ideas that you can really start working at. Works, doesn't it? It really does work. Yeah, yeah. It works really well. And if you bring, where's the other tree? Bring your tree into it. Why not? So you, you can keep messing around, messing around. Playing is what we do. So I really like that one as is, but we're going to play a little bit more because we've got time, yeah? Yeah, we've got right. time. Okay. Three minutes, coolie wooly, chocolate moolah. So we've got this one. So what? how did I do it last time? Like that, like, yeah. like that? Right, so we do it the opposite then. So to show that you can. Now, what I can do is I can I can position and place. So I'm being, being a bit more precise, but you're not going to get perfect. So you never get perfect from me. I just don't do perfect. It's just wrong. So we're going to hold the tissue and we're going to press. You are perfect in every way. 
perfectly strange. <laughs> That's me. There we go. And I'll admit it. So we're getting areas, so we're moving it about, and it's kind of making like the stencil, you know, work for its money because it's it's making it bigger so you didn't need the like an A4 one because you can move that about and see what we've got on there. So positioning random again ish but I've placed it where I want and there's still ink on there for something else so um, but that be me being really tight so get me dirty tissue open it back out and just give it a pat down because I know that I want to do the next one which is hiding over here so oh I really like that when you like something stop so I like the first one on its own so I should have stopped but I want to do all three together just so that you can see that it can mix now we'll add the red in and the yellow so give that a sprink and because you've not got too much ink, it shouldn't, in theory, make mud, she says. So what we're going to do, well, down on the counter this them. time? Yeah, whatever, whatever you feel. Whatever you feel mm. an urge. Actually, I'm going, to, I'm going to do the same sort of thing and place it. So just like what I've just done there, um, she no, says. I might change my mind. i do that. And this is it. There's always options. I haven't actually pressed on very well, so you're just getting a little bit. And I think, heck, just go for it, Charmaine. Give it a go. Where are we going to have you up there, that way? That there. So, do that one. Lift, have a noose there. And we'll add some more down here because there's lots of ink on there. A little bit of colour. So you're now just getting little bits of it, if that makes sense. But then that makes for a quite an interesting background. Or at least I think so. Mm, somebody might say, see, they've gone quiet in me, so they preferred it as it was before. <laughs> now we're all watching. <laughs> oh, and you look down, yeah, when you're in an aeroplane and you look down and you see all the bits and pieces and you try to figure out what they are or where they are, depending on, yeah. So what you've got is that was, that's the full one, that's that one. Right, so in the ears, they're like this one. Let's, like change, let, one. let's change it. So that is really, really bright, yeah? It is. Okay, so we like it, sorry. We liked yeah. it, but you've seen it. So you've seen it, let's change it. So let's oh. get, um, I'm not being precious. Let's get another piece. So it's nice and wet. It's running and it's doing its thing. It's whether you like it or not, but you've seen it before. And let's see if we've got, we can pull from that print as well. And then you can chop all these down and layer them up and you get a cool background. Now this is the butterfly effect for me. What I used to do when I was a kid, you do one, you fold the page and you get a funky thing. Oh, that's right. a Rory Bollianis for me. And yeah. that's the one that I'm gonna run with on the next hour and build a scene underneath. Oh, I love a cliffhanger. Oh, <laughs> start checking out your baskets. Ash and I will be back at four o'clock for final call, but what will be left, who knows? Uh, thank you, Charmaine, my love, always well, a pleasure. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Uh, it's just tidy in a way. Let's go for a lunch. Uh, <laughs> uh, always a pleasure to work with Ashman. He's full of ideas. Full of ideas and hints and tips on how to make your life easier. And once you've got the right tools for the job, your job does become easier and you start enjoying it more. Um, we've only got 20 seconds left. Start checking out your baskets if you've got anything in them. Um, yes, and you can watch all these shows back again on Rewind for more hints and tips. Uh, right then, don't you go anywhere. There is so much more to shop for here on the wonderful world of the craft store. I will see you tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, bright and breezy. Uh, stay then. Have a fun day of crafting. Yes, indeed, the next three hours look a little bit like this. Alioni and Janice are up next, next door. Then it's springtime with Harvey Art very busy. Then it's the quilting trading post is up next. Later. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selective Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. 
Hi, I'm Anthea. Uh, I'm from Quilting Antics. Quilting Antics started around 2011, 2012. I'm never really sure. At one point, we nearly became the cushion company because we churned out so many different cushions. But we'll do bags, we'll do cushions, we do book covers, we'll do things for your sewing room. So don't miss the Quilting Antics shows. Did you know you can continue watching the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection if your TV supports it, or via the ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type the craftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite TV shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Good afternoon to you. Yes, come with us into that wonderful, mythical, magical world of Lavinia. Um, and also the magical, wonderful, and sometimes confusing, but yet exciting world of our Leone. <laughs> and Leslie. How are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm marvellous, thank you very much. Absolutely marvellous. Uh, we did a show earlier on today uh, with the stamps that we've got for you. My word, we were busy. They're all brand new and they are incredible. I know you're a huge fan, Leone. Yes, I've been a huge fan of Lavinia for years, years. I mean, way before I even, like, you know, started my professional uh, uh, crafty journey. And, yeah, I think... I I think they're just a uh, beautiful, you know. Um, Tracy's uh, artwork is beautiful. It's instantly recognisable. It's about the detail, you know, like um, the the hair or the when the fur is, you know, all the little wispy bits. The detail is exquisite, um, but also she just it is magical. Yeah, you it know, is. her stuff is magical. She's got such a, an incredible imagination and you absolutely want to be part of that world. You certainly do. And the great thing is you can be part of that world. Even if this is your very first time buying a stamp, as soon as you get it home, as soon as you put the ink on, as soon as you place it onto the paper, it will come alive. It really is truly amazing. And when you get your stamps home as well, just take a moment. Take a moment to have a look at all the detail that's on there and that will truly truly inspire you as well let's take you through the sets we've got some incredible prices some wonderful stamps i mean detailed artwork that you've probably never seen before it truly is remarkable let's go for the first set that we've got right here your item numbers at the top of the screen three five seven zero three two this is astrid my word this is incredible when you see the stamp we're going to go close up now every single eyelash you've got the eyebrows there the detail in the hair the way that's flowing is it flowing in the wind is she in this water is it just 
that way because it's natural. You can doodle inside that. You can change the color of it or have it quite simply as that beautiful monochrome image, which in itself is incredible. Down on her shoulders as well, it looks like she's wearing something, but maybe that's just an extension of the seaweed going around. It really is incredible. We've got some beautiful samples to share with you in a moment, but you've also got a wonderful poem there as well. Now, I've not got my glasses on, but I'm going to give this a go because I do know Leonie has stamped this out. So it does say, uh, I will, tr yes, I'll read it on the monitor because it's good. Stormy seas rolling in from the bay, fierce and wild on this dark day. Waves whisper to us and lure us closer. We stand and listen in complete exposure. The enchanting melodies rise from the ocean, stirring up a deep inner emotion. She reveals herself to the sacred few, a water spirit, immortal and true. Good, isn't it? Isn't that amazing? Mm. And I think it did well there because the last line was being obscured by the stand, so <laughs> I did very well. Um, but something like that could be very effective, can't it? Uh, not just by placing it onto a card, but maybe putting it into a journal, for example. And that could be something that you read back day upon day. There's also that fabulous circle or water um, mark style stamp in there as well that you can use. But of course, you can use these in conjunction with other stamps as well. Looks stunning, doesn't it? And if you like that effect with the circle as an aperture, we've got some masks and some stencils coming for you. Now, using this in such a way, you can see here that beautiful detail in the background will really make sure that Astrid sticks out for you. But adding colour as well, each and every time I believe that you stamp this image out, it will change for you, which is just simply wonderful. Experiment with your backgrounds. Uh, have a look at the different words perhaps that you've got in your stash as well. And once again, each and every time you stamp this out, what an incredible, incredible image this will be and it really will unleash your creativity and your imagination. £24.99, 357032 is your item number. Right, next up, the, uh, this one blew me away. I walked in, every time I see Tracy's designs, you know, I, ju I just stand there thinking, how? How did she do that? It's the talent, of course, within and Leonie and I have decided that Tracy does belong to mm -hmm. the tribe, the collection, <laughs> the village of, of fairies. And she does, yeah. She we, does. We decided she's part of the fairy world. The is she community, not? yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but take a look at this one. Again, the detail. Think about the detail that you're getting here and just how stunning that is as a focal piece, if you excuse the pun, because it is an eye, but as a focal piece, just having that on a white space, even just on the packaging there, with just the, the colours going around the outside, it's that image that draws you you in absolutely stunning but what are you going to do with yours we were talking earlier on about using this maybe with a mirror plate or a mirror stamp so then that you could have two eyes you could try that at home uh, the eye itself just to show you here in a sample how beautiful is that and you can change the color of the eye to match the person that you're sending the card to so it really will be bespoke you could experiment with the center of that stamp and you could perhaps try and maybe etch an image within uh, the pupil of that stamp. Absolutely stunning and beautiful. But for $16.99, you're getting two mini stamps with this as well. This is why this is incredible value for money. So not only are you getting that beautiful, gorgeous eye as the focal point, you're also getting the smaller stamps as well that come with that collection. There you go. So you've got the stars, which you're going to use time and time again. Or could that be some fairy sparkle? Mm -hmm. Not the stars at all. Could be fairy wishes. They could be fairies themselves. Indeed. Flying mm. over to you before they take the form of the fairy. Um, I know. I believe in them too. I mm -hmm. do. Uh, and then we've got those beautiful words there. So you've got fairy, you've got celestial spells, sparkle, enchanted dreams, uh, mystical, mythical, spirit, delights. That is absolutely fantastic. And that will make an incredible background as well. Just to show you here, 
in the background. Isn't that lovely? So it doesn't always have to be the focus of your project. You're now starting to build and create your own backgrounds with the stamps. 028830 is your item number, just £16.99. pence. do not miss out on that one. That is incredible. Right, in true Tracy style, in true Lavinia style, we have the mushrooms and we have the fairy. But please come on in and have a look at this detail in here. First of all, we've got the silhouette, which is marvellous for working with because it means you can concentrate on your background. But when you come in closer to the detail on the wings of your fairy, when you see there the wings... You can see all of that detail in there. I just find that incredible. I really do. Maybe what you could do if you have some uh, scissors, because it's a good sizable stamp, you can see there. And I've got uh, large fingers as well. Um, that's quite a sizable stamp. So what you could do, it'd be really nice if you were to stamp that on some acetate maybe and just bring the wings forward so uh, they could stand proud of the card. Beautiful example here. This one is by Joe Rice. Uh, lots of colour. We've got that lovely uh, moon in the background as well, mixing with other stamps in the collection. £26.99. So you've got your toadstool there or your mushroom. Uh, you can colour that, uh, whatever colour you like, or have it as a silhouette. I think it would look gorgeous is a silhouette I really do and then you've got that lovely fine detail of the meadow grass and again when you get your stamps home please just sit for a moment and take in all the detail and the quality of the stamp that you're getting that fine fine detail of that grass there when you start to stamp that out whether you're using that in your foregrounds whether you're using that just to build your patterns up in the background you're going to get all of that detail and it does make a difference because that's the kind of style of grass that you see in the meadows that fine fine grass and now it's captured in a stamp for you what a fabulous collection there's a freedom price on there as well 24 pounds and 49 pence 385 111 is your item <coughs> excuse me is your item number oh i don't know mm -hmm. i'm fine <coughs> frog in your throat dear it's a bit of chocolate, actually. Oh. <laughs> a bit of chocolate and biscuit. <laughs> Thought I was hiding that there, but mm. I wasn't. Uh, right, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, this is an incredible one. Again, £20.99 is a wonderful prize because not only are you getting the main focus point of your stamp collection, you're getting the words, dream, inspire, art and love, and you're also getting the fish as well, the mini fish, which is brilliant. I love that. I really do. But let's take a look at Jalanda. Jalanda. Yeah, look at now. Can you remember, Leone, the world, the word for the for the tentacles? Ten oh, tentacle. Ten tendrils. 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 It's the lovely tendrils. tendrils. They are lovely, aren't they? I think on here they look like ribbons. They look like ribbons. It could be fabric. It could be curtain. It could be the fabric of the sea. Mm. Absolutely stunning. And I love the detail on the top of the yeah. Jalanda as well, that dotty detail. Yeah. So everything has been thought about there to give you that motion, to give you that movement. And look how, um, who's done, which sample are we looking at there? Uh, the bottom up. Can't see who's done that. Um, I'll have a look in a moment. Um, the person that's put that together has put the fish in between, if you can see that. So it's a very, Aww. very cool sample. I'm just going to lean this forward so I can see the name on it. Oh, it's Susan. Susan, that is lovely. I really like that. And I like the use of the blues as well. Uh, very, very clever. But if you wanted to add colour, you can do. I think anything under the sea, anything that flows, anything that has that vibe to it is very relaxing. And I think you'll find this very relaxing to stamp with as well. Maybe in your journals or on your artwork or maybe a card as well. That's a great example of it being stamped a few times. So we've got that collection of jellyfish. But they are absolutely beautiful and a long way from the jellyfish that we used to see on the beach in Skegness when we were told <laughs> to run, run, dear Lord, run mm. as fast as you can. Uh, but not with this one, not with this one. Mm. You'll sit and you'll colour and you'll enjoy. £20.99, 398839 is your item number. Now, stencils we've got for you here. Your stencils, is it three quarters of the stock has gone? Three quarters of the stock has gone of your stencils. These are beautiful. Leone was using some of them uh, in the earlier show and also the mask as well. Let me just pick up a piece of black card because you're probably thinking, where's the masks? What are you talking about, Janice? What are you talking about? It is the moon masks. I'm just going to try and pop them all onto the piece of card together. If I can hold these together, that really will be um, a feat. There you go. I can just about do it. 
So we've got uh, your stencils there with the different beautiful gorgeous patterns on there that being similar to the sea the water on the sea or it could be pebbles it could be a stone path for example uh, bubbles under the sea um, and then your stencils are accompanied by your masks for creating those apertures and backgrounds 18 pounds and 99 pence what a fabulous price what a fabulous price build and create your own backgrounds with these and your own background papers even your rice papers if you can buy the plain rice papers uh, which i know are available eight two three four nine seven is your item number for the whole collection there it's great isn't it five pieces in total now next we've got some inks for you and again uh, Leonie was using these in the earlier show so you've got your Versafine Claire I always thought it was called Versafine Eclair <laughs> Eclair but it's not it's Claire yeah Versafine no, Claire. not edible not edible at all please mm. don't try um, and then you've got Tracy's very own brand elements um, and you've got two different item numbers so uh, the first item number 168491 that's for your two large Versafine ink pads so you've got your nocturne and your warm breeze and then the two from our Tracy and from Lavinia stamps you can see here down the bottom there you go you've got your dye inks here and these were lovely when Leonie was using these um, earlier on £10.99 and that's for both that's excellent value for money, Leonie. Yeah, it's really good. And they are really nice, rich ink pads mm, of these and yeah. beautiful colours. They certainly are. They, I can't believe that price. That's incredible. Uh, 313 717 is your item number if you want to go for those. Can I ask Leonie just a quick question? Yes. Uh, Leonie, these are dye yes. ink pads. Yes. We have other descriptions of ink pads available to us. We do. Uh, why dye ink? What's that, why is that so special? Your dye ink will allow you, sorry I'm colouring him. Uh, your dye ink will um, allow you to, to do loads of different watercolour techniques, which is fabulous. So obviously, you know, we can um, use them on the gel plate, we can use them straight on our stencils on our mask we can use them for blending which is really important um, and obviously they give a really nice soft blend especially if you use them with a brush that's lovely but you can work with your smoothies and everything um, they'll dry as well so you know they'll dry on your coated cardstocks but they'll dry on your your regular cardstock so Excellent. it means you've got multiple uses for yeah them. you certainly have and at 10.99 my goodness what a great price 313717 uh, right another option for you now uh, we have got the brushes, but I'm trying to remember the name that we've given. Multifarious, multifarious, which means you can use these for multiple things. <laughs> and they're very, very useful. Uh, you're getting 10 of the sheets of A4, and you're also getting your brushes, which I just I love. I, my only my only downfall of using brush shows, and I don't think it is a downfall, I just use too much. Mm -hmm. And they just explode with colour. They are amazing. But there's lots of different techniques that you can do with brush shows. It's not just about spraying water onto them and making great backgrounds. There's loads of techniques. So do go and have a look online. You will be amazed. These are three of my favourite colours in the, in the brush shows. You've got your grey, your purple and your burst lemon. They look brilliant together they really really do 12 pounds and 99 pence you also get your spray bottle as well for your water five six eight two double four is your item number and then finally another really cool little package for you you've got your eco glitter um, and this is lovely the two colors you've got in here you've got the blue and the purple really good chunky size glitter as well and then you've got the green and the gold, which is lovely. I don't know, I, I said two words that I went, lovely. Uh, and you've got your quickie glue pen, because of course you can add to your details and you can um, add your glue and then put your glitter on top so you don't over glitter. And then you've got this brush as well. And Leonie was using this in the earlier show. It's a gorgeous brush. It really, really is. £16.99, 661290 is your item number. That is going to be great for your blending. Uh, right, let's head back to Leonie and have a look at what Leonie is doing. By the way, if you've got any examples you want to email in, it is studio 
at thecraftstore.com. Had to think then for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> it it was, was a good pause. It was a good pause. Good pause. The power um, of the pause. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so I started this in the last hour. I must admit, I have taken it a bit further than just leave it. So what I've done is just using the beautiful sentiment stamp that comes with it. So this is the one that has got that, um, that lovely verse on. And I do like using these not just as your main stamp, but also as your background. So I've used it with a little bit of the, the grey, but then just using it with a little bit of the Sahara as well. It really works, and it's just tapping that on, because it does make such a beautiful background. It just really, really works. So I have done a little bit of that, and now I did use the star. So I'm mixing these up. I love this little star stamp. You will use this a lot. And I've used this with the Warm Breeze ink pad, actually, because I thought, and I must admit, I didn't use it even on a blog. I've been a bit lazy, but the star is lovely because I love how you can just get it, just get tiny little stars here, there and everywhere. It looks wonderful in her hair. It's such a good stamp is this one. See, all these little extra stamps, when you save them up, they just, they are your your go-tos, you know, because you're the, the your filler inners, they're your backgrounds, they're, they're the bit that, that make a page, quite frankly. It makes a page. There's a little star, it's absolutely exquisite. And I even like the teeny tiny little dots on here as well. I think they're quite fabulous. So I've used the star, and as I say, I've used that with the warm breeze. Now, I love the warm breeze because it's a really nice, rich colour. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, I've then started colouring her in and colouring her in. Um, and I've added with this one, I have put some grey underneath. And you can see, I don't know if it's ice cream, but it does look a little bit darker on my telly than it does in real life. So I've used the grey over the top, the um the actual brush or and it's lovely is that because it just it it sort of covers the yellow but it doesn't and you can still see some of the sahara underneath and i really like that i really like that sort of textural finish that it gives me so loving that at the moment then let's work on top of this so what i've got is i'll just move them out of the way i also adore um these stamps as well now of course with these these ones come with these come with all of the little jellyfish don't they Yes, with our gorgeous Jolanda. Um, I really like these because I think these will work across the board. You know, for any of the stamps that you're using, I think they're, they're absolutely uh, beautiful. So I'm going to use one of these. And again, I'd like this to sort of melt into the background, but I do want to see it a little bit... Um, a little bit stronger. So I am actually going to use, I'm still, oh no, I'm going to use a green, you know. I'm going to use the pine. So let's stamp that out with the pine. And these are just beautiful, beautiful inks. And that is going to go, let's have a look at her, where I'm going with this. So that I'm going to bring at the bottom here, like so. Just gorgeous. I mean, that is such a good stamp. Really, really beautiful stamps. As I said in the first hour, when you're using these inks, I mean, these are gorgeous, rich inks. So if you overstamp, I overstamped a bit there. If you overstamp, really saturate your, your stamp and then stamp it off onto your card. And what you do, you don't actually get the impression, but you do get the ink. And actually, that ink then you will use. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it isn't. It, it actually looks really, really nice. So don't waste the ink. And I know I'm a little bit obsessive with things like that, and, and obviously getting worse, but it's a really nice way of um, of using all those inks as well. So pop that to one side, because that's my my extra. I'm bringing this one in again. now. I used in the earlier hour, I did use this stencil. So I used it for a really washy background. Now we want to intensify it. So we want to, um, thank you, our Janice. So we want to make this stronger. Now I haven't cleaned the stencil off yet, but I'm not too bothered about that because I know the colour that's on there. I know it's a Sahara. So I know if I mix it with my green, with the pine, it's going to work. So I know that isn't an issue. So I'm going to take the pine. And what I'm doing with the brush, and as I said before, this is strong ink. If I just pick a tiny bit of ink up like that, and if I show you on here, if I then go straight in, and I'll show you. If I go straight in, I mean, it actually looks quite nice, but it can be quite hard, dark, you know, so just be very mindful of how you're applying your ink. 
that, I mean, that looks beautiful. If you want it intense, that looks beautiful. But if you don't want it intense, just, I'm doing it again, just throw things. If you don't want it intense, just be really mindful of that. This as ever, I will be cutting down. So that's why I'm working on a bigger piece, but that will be cut down eventually and put into one of my um, my journals. Now, I don't want this straight up. I want it, I want a flow. Realistically, her hair's flowing that way. So realistically, it should also be flowing that way with the hair. Shouldn't be going against the tide. But then again, she's a water spirit. So does she flow with the tide or does she flow? I think she'll flow with the tide. So let's have this flowing with the tide. So picking up the, the green, I'm taking a little bit off on my mat. And I know I can pick that up again later. And the lovely thing with this is, so the stencil I've used in now in two different ways. So the first way, I actually inked straight onto the stencil and did a print with the stencil. Now I'm actually using it as a stencil. Then you can see just how effective that looks. That is such a good stencil. And again, you can get such a gorgeous flow with this. Hardly using any ink. I mean, you don't really need much ink at all to create those beautiful backgrounds because it is a really nice, rich ink. Picking a little bit of the ink up, getting rid of it on there, and then, again, applying that ink. So, see. And you can just see, doesn't that look fabulous? So I'm having it coming in this way, and then I'm going to have it just coming out from here as well. So we're not working over a face. I'm just, and as I say, I didn't clean the stencil, but it absolutely doesn't matter. There. See, I love that. And I quite like that busy background. I think the busy background, even on this, I think it absolutely works. If you need her to pop, however, what you can do, now there's a couple of ways you can make it pop. Normally I go around with a dark shadow, but on this one, I'm tempted to go around with a little bit of white gel pen. So taking it like that, then get my water brush, and I'm just going to blend that white gel pen out gently so it's not too harsh. But rather than a dark, oh, do a little bit at a time because it is drying. So rather than a dark shadow, drop shadow, which I normally do, I want her to have a really nice light drop shadow. So she looks like she's got this beautiful sort of glow. Do you know what I mean? Because I think, because she is mystical and magical. So having a glow just seems to, to work. Do you see what I mean? So it gives you that beautiful sort of uh, glow round. And I might even do, let's have a see. I might do a little bit up here as well. Just to show you what I mean. Let's do a bit more up here. I do like your white gel pen. It's, um, it's such a, a, good, a good product. And it works with these beautifully. So see, you just end up getting that really nice, serene sort of glow going round her, which looks absolutely beautiful. And I might just bring a touch, not much, just on the lips there as well. See, it looks, I don't know if it looks like, yeah, on my screen it looks different to how it looks to me, but hopefully it looks to you how it looks to me, <laughs> if that makes sense. Now, just to finish off colouring in, I'm going to take the rest of the green off here, and this is the ink pad. So I'm picking up the green with my water brush and just colouring in because, of course, you can do that. So if you just pick this up and start to colour this in like so. The beautiful thing is with this, I mean, I was tempted to use um, my my uh, pastes as well, you know, with the um, with the stencils, because I think the paste was all beautiful on there as well. I'm happy with that. I'm going to cut her down before I, I decide to finish that off. And I will cut it down and put it in my journal and then show you the finished result. But before I actually do that, I am going to use some of my glitter. And look, look, this is going to go so well with her. I'm now utterly going to completely cover it in glitter. Um, I'm not, but that glitter is so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. Beautiful. I kind of want to put it everywhere, but I'm just going to pop some in her hair. And I, this hair is fabulous. She's got such amazing flowing hair. So you can absolutely have the glitter sort of flowing through her hair as well. Now, you do get your gel pen, uh, your clicky uh, glue pen, sorry, and your glue pen, it dries when it's blue. 
it's still sticky. Um, then it dries clear. When it's dry clear, it's still sticky, but it won't smear, which is why it's such a good um, gel pe uh, glue pen. It's, it's one of those. Your quickie glue pen is an absolute staple in your crafty stash. So just popping that on. And I must admit, I am getting carried away, but I, I'm dying to use this glitter, you see. Put some more little bits on her stars, like so. See, she's so beautiful, isn't she? She's so beautiful. And then get my paper and get the glitter on. Like this. Look. So, with this glitter, what you've got in there, you've got those big, chunky, gorgeous, like, copper elements. Then you've got um, a green in there. You've got blue. But you have got super fine as well as chunky. So it gives you a real... Oh, look at that. See, look at that with the glitter. That looks fabulous. Let me just pop this away and I'll hold it up to the camera to see if you can catch that properly. Because have a look at her. She is ace. See, isn't she fabulous? See, I think with her, she's your water spirit. But I think with her, I, I don't, I think, I, I, they don't all want to be cute, do they? No. Your water spirits. Because some of them, some of them are, you know, some of them can be a little bit, you know, that, she I'm does just, look a bit fierce, <clears throat> and I love that. I think it's I amazing. Think she's beautiful. I'm just looking at that from from the side, it's almost like she's under the water, and mm. the green on top is a reflection of the water as well. Like she's looking, like she's emerging yeah. from yeah. the deep. And you see, she needs to be fierce yeah. because she those eyes. I mean, those eyes are just fabulous, aren't they? Oh, I love that image. And I think this one gives you a lot of freedom in your colouring in because mm. you don't need to use regular skin tones because she's, a, you know, she is... A, an amphibian. A, a, yeah, yeah. So she definitely doesn't need to be Would a regular skin tones. Would she be an amphibian tones. or will she be a mammal? Uh, she'll be a mammal. That's, well, who knows? She's magic. A hue mammal. A hue mammal. Cross between a human and a mammal. A Mate, hue mammal. Yeah. You, Mammal. She's amazing. She is amazing. And she that really, glitter really is perfect for You're this, right. isn't it? Because I wouldn't normally oh, I associate Leone with glitter. I know, right? Uh, but that, oh my word, it changes everything. So it's think beautiful. beyond dousing everything with glitter and just use it wisely as we've done on that with the kit that we've got for you on the show and I think it does make a difference the glitter that you use right let's run through that set that Leonie has been using with Astrid how amazing is this you get a beautiful verse and you also get your bubble stamp as well 24 pounds and 99 pence a couple of more samples to show you to inspire you uh, with that uh, verse you can use that on the inside, the outside of a card, use it in a journal, use it as a background that Leone was using, just to show you some more colourways that have been used in the creation of these pieces of artwork. This one is by Rosemary, absolutely stunning. And that purple and pinks have been brought through, but it works so, so well. So you don't necessarily need to have that contrast. Maybe just a lighter colour in the background and a lighter colour on Astrid herself. Really like this, the way that the white frame has been used and she's been stamped just off piste, as it were. Uh, now, not just cards, how about something as a gift? Um, this is a great idea. So you could stamp on a piece of paper and pop it onto a little tin like this, open it up, and then you can have your poem on the inside. How lovely is that? And then you've got all these little inspirational quotes and pieces inside so think about that with your stamp set we've had an email in and this is Sharon from Australia oh my goodness Sharon um, that is absolutely beautiful isn't that lovely <laughs> Let me, oh, let me file that under no thanks. I thought that's what my producer was actually saying. I was going to say, that's not very nice. That's an amazing picture to send in. Oh, it says that on there. That's what brilliant. was going on there? <laughs> um, that is incredible. So, sh although these are, um, well, new today to us, yeah. Sharon must have bought it previously yeah, yeah, yeah. in Australia in another uh, way. So, how amazing is that? Uh, let's do what our cousins and sisters and brothers in Australia are doing and stamp and joy colouring in. 357032. Thank you so much for sending that in. Any other images or pictures or thoughts or questions, just email them in. 
Um, it is uh, studio at thecraftstore.com. Right, let's move on. Let's move on. This next one is stunning. I love this. I can see lots of different shapes in this next stamp. I can see like a snail type, uh, type uh, shape in this. If you twist it and turn it, I can see a bird in there as well. And that's the beauty when you get stamps home, seeing what you want to create from it. It's absolutely stunning. The more you get into it, the more fine art detail that you've got in there is incredible from the eyelashes the detail on the eyelashes you've got the eyebrow the details in the eyebrow you've got the droplets coming from the eye itself the detail within the eye and all of those little tiny dots in there to build up that shape absolutely stunning a couple of samples to show you here uh, this set gets you the eye the feature it also gets you the uh, the uh, words and that fabulous star stamp as well. That's stunning. That is by Elena. Um, isn't that beautiful? Elena? Eleanor. Eleanor. Um, absolutely stunning. Maybe a bit of glossy accent in the middle there to make that eye really, I was going to say pop out, but that would be wrong. Stand out. Make it stand out. Um, how about putting them onto your front of your journals as well to give you that inspiration and the background made and created with the stencils that we've got on the show for you. 028830 is your item number. £16.99. pence. Now, the next set we did demonstrate this morning. You can watch that again on Rewind if you want to. Um, absolutely stunning. I love this. If anything says fairies, it's the actual fairy itself and the mushroom or the toadstool, depending on how you colour it. You've got that gorgeous fine grass art in there as well. And you've got your words. A couple of samples to show you here, which really are stunning and breathtaking. This one is from, um, wow, this one's from Tracy that I'm going to show you now. It reminds me, this particular sample, oh, I've dropped it, is that good? It reminds me of something from the 1920s, like a photograph that was taken. And then it's been coloured in, like the Technicolor. Um, I hope that's coming through the um, TV sets at home with that colour. I know we, our monitors are quite bright in here. But you've got that lovely... Um, beautiful almost like a sepia style yellow color in the background it's done so so well absolutely love that and then here's another one just using your fabulous toadstools in there just the top of them as well how gorgeous is that and then we introduce then we introduce Una, isn't that lovely? And look at the detail in there as well. Just about to go, just about to land, maybe just landed on the toadstool and there's a meeting of all the other fairies down there. Who knows? £24.29. pence. It is an excellent price and you can take these into your imagination and then beyond uh, by some of this artwork to inspire you. 385111 is your item number. Now, let's go on to Jolanda next. Um, beautiful sea urchin jellyfish. Absolutely wonderful. I say sea urchin because if you just took the top part of the stamp there, it would make like a sea urchin, would it not? Absolutely stunning. Or a ball gown if you want to draw the lady on top. That would be quite incredible. Um, here's a lovely sample from Susan. Uh, and I really like this because this is stamping once, stamping again, and then building up that image. If I turn this to the side, can you see how that's coming forward? How lovely is that? That is stunning. Maybe, here's the thing, maybe you've got a fish tank at home. Not on the inside, on the outside, you could stamp this looking in. So you've got a backdrop. You'd freak your fish out a little bit. Don't keep fish tanks. This is not Janice talking. This is her conscience. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, three nine eight to eight three nine is your item number. Twenty pounds and ninety nine pence. And the stencils proving to be extremely popular. Oh my goodness! In fact, they're limited stock. Limited stock for your stencils. You've also got your acetate circle masks as well. I'm going to pick these up to show you. Probably can't fit them all on the same card because I don't want them. I might be able to do it if I hold them that way. 
Here we go. Wait a minute. There you go. Got it. Uh, so those are your masks that you can use to create those brilliant uh, moon um, apertures and circles. So you can mask out the area that you want to be white in the background and create your background. Um, 823497 is your item number. Let's have a look at the website. This is where you can go to to see all the different items on there. We've got the inks available to you. Go and have a look at the five-star reviews. We've got your brush shows and your ink pots in there. You've also got those beautiful glitters that Leonie's been using throughout the demonstrations and their thick, chunky glitter. Beautiful, beautiful colours. Right, let's head back to our Leonie, although I called her Dennis earlier on, which could be a name that might stick. So, let's go back to Dennis. Thanks. Thanks, Trev. I think it's because you're looking a bit Dennis the Menace today. I don't oh, know why. Do what? Is it because of stripes? Proper, and your little boots as well. And my boots. Me, I'm in the boots. Dennis the Menace fan My club. boots that the other day I saw. Little Lola trotting off. <laughs> oh, and she's such a monkey. <laughs> Honestly, it's like Lola. And she looks like you're so cute, you can't really tell her off. You end up giggling, but oh. And who's Lola, just in case no one knows oh, her? Oh, if no one knows who Lola is, yeah, yeah it's my dog. It is a dog. <laughs> it's not like my best mate or anything. It is my dog. <laughs> um, yeah, and she's ridiculously cheeky, Aww. but ridiculously gorgeous. Aww. Okay, so what I'm going to do here... Um, yeah, I've got, um, I, I do think we've got cream card as well, but I keep using the white card because that's the one we've got on the show. Uh, but what I wanted to do really, really quickly, um, I've got the, the white card, but I'm going to bring in a little bit of colour. So what I wanted to do with this one, something a little bit different. So you know you've got them round masks. Now, the thing is with these, I know with these... Um, these are... Um, are they limited to start the mask now, did you say? Right. The limited stock, so um, I've got my sunburst lemon. So what I'm going to do is have the mask in place like so, and then I'm going to take uh, my brush off. So I've got my sunburst lemon first of all, and I'm going to pop a little bit of the sunburst in there. Remember, when you're using brush off, you need the tiniest amount. So just a little bit there like so, and then I'm going to take the beautiful purple. And again, the tiniest amount. I don't need much because I do actually want to overstamp on this. So I don't I don't need really strong colours. But so just popping that there. And I always say that. I always say I don't need much and then get really carried away, like Janice said. Before you know it, it's like, oh, all the colours in the box. And then we're gonna put the tiniest amount of grey in there as well. Which is beautiful beautiful okay so now spritz so you've got that on there so keeping the stencil in place now i haven't stuck this down so remember it the chances of it being 100 percent perfect are are limited but but when you look at that it is staying within that stencil so you've got that beautiful color but it's staying within that beautiful stencil remember with the stencils you do or the mask sorry you do get the outside edge and you get the inner edge i am going to take another piece of card just bob that over the top like so because i want to lift up some of this off there and I might as well lift it off the card. I must admit, when I were practicing, so I've already picked up, and now that is beautiful in itself. I love the colours, absolutely gorgeous. So already a background in the making. Then lift this one off gently, and you've got that beautiful circle. And I just adore the colours. Now, normally when I use brushes, I do let these dry natural, just because of time. Um, I'm not going to. I'm going to cheat and lift a bit of the colour up. I am going to clean my stencil or my mask off so I'll just uh, blot this while I'm blotting we're seeing an image um, and this is from uh, with oh wow that's amazing we think it's Lita which is an amazing name and that is gorgeous and that's that um, beautiful um, new stamp my new little toadstool and that is absolutely sensational it's got the grasses oh man that is amazing your moon looks so real that is such a beautiful piece. Thank you so much for sharing. This is why I love seeing your samples. This is why I love seeing your inspiration because they do look so interesting. Things like that, it's like, wow, absolutely wow. But the thing is as well, me and Janice were talking about this, and please don't think you need to be like, you know, an incredible artist to get something beautiful. Honestly, with um, the, the wonderful um, stamps and things from Lavinia, the, the thing that 
that makes these incredible is the fact that anybody can pick these up and create something beautiful because they are beautiful. You know, it really helps that they're beautiful. Now, what I'm going to do, I am going to take this stencil. I am going to use a blue this time. I want the blue because I've got the purple. So I'm going to take the blue and I'm just going to go over it. The reason I'm not using the Versafine Claire for this is because I want um, a water-based ink pad because I want this to, to move. So I'm then going to spritz so then I've got a watery um like a watery ink and I'm just going to bring this over here oh our, um, our, our um, emails are absolutely working this time <laughs> this morning we weren't sure but this yeah today oh, <laughs> oh it might have been it might have been user error <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, we got it <laughs> found it and what I'm going to do again is blot some off now I, I like this because I'm not going to completely oh look at that what a gorgeous gorgeous stencil that is and then the other side I'm just going to take that stencil and just go on the other side as well so I've got I've got some white space on this one lift that off yep adore this and then lift excess ink off and then it's not too much but I just love it because I love the I just love that stencil such a good stencil okay let's go in with our main image so the main image is absolutely the eye what I love about this I mean on this card you can do all sorts on this card it's top quality card stock but with something like this it's multifarious our new word uh, with something like this it will allow me um, to, to add so many layers of colour but with something like this as well I mean oh where have I put me magnets oh, that's interesting Leonie's lost her magnets of course she has um, with something like this I normally wouldn't stamp on it and like something heavy like that but honestly this stamp because it's such a strong stamp it'll work I tell you what I'm gonna do before I do that I'll just give it a really 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 quick blast dry oh let's have a look at pictures while I blast dry Anne has emailed this in so wow okay so Anne has been commissioned to do a project for what is this a bottle box wow interesting and they're amazing wow and these are all the first three ones and yeah they're beautiful so she's got the uh, the tall stool on there as well um oh beautiful oh yeah and the fairy on the other one oh they're absolutely amazing and thank you so much for sharing absolutely stunning 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 and um, thank you so much everyone yeah we love love seeing what you've been creating it's always so exciting then it is i mean yeah I, I Lavinia have a massive following and I think it's it is it's all because of that quality now I'm going to put it here realistically I work, kind of want it there with the eye there because that works but I'm not oh yeah I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it and just hope it see really I think it looks a bit better if it's down like that let me just see if it would work that way on bear with bear with folks we need to spin it and see no that don't work for me <laughs> the, isn't it funny it's like no the heavy side needs to be on that side which means that will have to be there but it needs to be dipped down a little bit otherwise it'll be too high up I hope that makes sense that's just me being faffy um, okay so I am gonna stamp this in black I want it to stand out so um, again the uh, oh I picked up the gray saying that um, so the nocturne it's a good quality ink pad if you haven't already got it and the thing is with these stamps you want an ink pad that will give you all the detail because they have got detail this eye is sensational it's such a gorgeous stamp the di every little dot you can see every beautiful eyelash you can see I mean it's such an incredible image I'm using my stamping platform because I know my car stock might have been a little bit wet so I thought if I use my stamping pl platform then if it doesn't stamp right I can go again I mean I love that I have over inked it there but that's okay I'm not going to worry about that no oh, I love that image it's so strong it's so strong even on this background even on a heavy background and it's because that image is such an impressive image if you want then to that to stand out more get a white gel pen and then just go in with your white gel pen and where it's dotty I'm gonna dot with it 
Okay, so follow the stamp. You know, follow the, the actual design of the stamp. So where it is dotty, make it dotty. Don't make it solid. Because then it will give it that um, texture. And of it, I mean, as soon, look, doesn't that look amazing? As soon as you put your white gel pen on that. Because it knocks back that background. And it really makes that pop. Done it. Oh, I love this image. White there. White there, white there. The the stamp is showing you where to apply the white, and that looks absolutely phenomenal. I mean, yeah, these images. And then let's go. I'm going to get my pen, so I have got my fine liners, because obviously these are my favourite, favourite. And um, let's give her purple eyes, or a purple eye. Okay. Now... With this, as I've gone on, I don't. I think it looks. It doesn't look as purple as I want it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a two tone. So if I scribble that one, and then I'm going to go in with a lighter blue. So it's going to be. Um, it is a two tone, but so it's not too dark. I didn't want it to dark. I want to see some colour. So let's bring in the blue as well. So the blue. And remember, we are working over the brush holes, so that you know you. You will activate the brush holes as well if you're not careful, depending what product you're using, because they are water-based. If they haven't all sunk in, I mean, if they've all sunk in, I should be fine. And I think these have. I think I've heat set them enough, to be fair. There we go. Oh, isn't that a fabulous image? I mean, it's just amazing. Now, I would colour that in. I'm not going to colour it all in because of time, but what I will do is show you how I'd finish this off. So, you've got that beautiful eye. You've also, remember, you've got that incredible um, stamp. Now, I, I love that one. Um, the Celestial, the Sparkle, the Delight, Dream, Spirit. That is, again, just magical. So, with this one, I'm going to bring this in. Um, and with that, I've actually, I like the yellow in that background. I think that looks really, really effective. So what I'm actually going to do is take my lemon. I'm then going to just take a little bit of, uh, get it out your pot first. So get it out the pot onto my glass mat. Now, it's funny, actually, because your glass mat, some techniques you can't do because of a glass mat. But with this, it's actually quite handy having a glass mat because if I get... I don't want to add too much water to this because I don't want it to um, fine. So, essentially, I mean, you could actually put this on, um, you know, a piece of foam, like you cut and, um, cut and dry. Because if you've got a piece of foam like that, you can essentially make your own ink pad. That's that's what I'm attempting to do, is pick up the ink. So hopefully I've made that wet enough. So picking that up, so it's the same yellow that I've used in the background. And I don't want it to be too intense, but I want the colour. And I can see that. I hope you can see that. So it just gives me that lovely sort of soft colour so it's in the background but it isn't I can see it it's there it's given me another layer it's given me um, more sort of texture to that and actually that colour it allows me to have more colour it's interesting because with the um, using the brush or like that you know when it's really watered down it goes really yellow but like that it's got a real orange look to it so it's really different how it, it's it's interesting how different it looks so i've got that i am going to take that again though and actually i'm tempted to use black but i'm going to stop myself using black and i am going to use the the gray so i'm going to go in with my morning mist as well just because this stamp is one of my favorites i mean i've got a lot of favorites but just because I do want to really, I want to see some in words as well. So I am just picking it up and just, oh, I adore it. Right, I don't want too much. Don't go too mad with this. Just have it so you can see your spirit. There, look, perfect. So, got the spirit. I'm then going to take my um, lovely little, where did I put it? My stars, which I did have right next to me. Where have I put them? Um, Da, da, da. Bear with, bear with, bear with. Oh, there they are, see? I covered it up with my stencil. Yeah, they are. Oh, do you know what? Teeny tiny, but these are mighty, mighty little stamps. Um, I am going to put them on a block this time just to save me faffing. 
So, uh, yeah, these, you need these in your life. And I'm using that blue again. That blue is such a good ink pad. It's a beautiful, beautiful colour. I love this because now, look, this is all a background. All your words disappear into your stars, but your stars disappear into your, your beautiful eye. Then it just doesn't it make it look even more magical. Oh, I adore that. I mean, I adore that. Just lovely. And then just working that until you're, you're happy with it. Um, I don't want to go too mad, but it's one of them that I end up getting a bit too carried away with this one. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it's one of them. It's like, oh, we'll one more spoil it. But no, it doesn't. Love it. Absolutely love it. And then, obviously, you have to take one of these because these are just exquisite. That one, like this. And then popping that just there like that that's my gorgeous art and do you know what i'm going to do just to be fussy i'm going to take the black and i'm going to do that thing that i what did you what say <laughs> what did you say <laughs> she got a biscuit <laughs> she, uh, she's all right she ain't got the biscuit there. just to come just to clarify i'm not eating a biscuit <laughs> Right, now, and we'll pass over to Janice. Whilst Janice is just doing a few reminders, get all quickie gel pen, and then this is made for glitter. So on these points, now, I'll do that while Janice reminds you, then when you come back, it's going to be a glittery gem of a wonderment. Um, over to you, our lovely Janice. Uh, do you know what? I can't wait to see the glitter on that. Right, we've got a picture to show you. This is from Kerry. Kerry, that is absolutely remarkable. And I do believe you may have used the mask to create the moon there. How lovely is that? And the stencils that we've got for you on the show. It looks like it. Um, absolutely stunning. I love that. Now, the four, thank you very much for sending that in. The four stencils that we've got. Well, we've got three stencils and then we've got a set for you. Let me pick this up we've been very very busy these are beautiful stencils and you can never have too many stencils but you've also got your masks your circles and your masks for creating those moon effects uh, which is amazing and you've got some little instructions on the back of the packaging to let you know how to use those particular um, acetate circles and markers uh, just to show you that the instructions on the back when you get them home so you'll be okay with that 18 pounds and 99 pence 823 is your item number lots of people have gone for those this hour so if you have just joined us or if you are still deliberating get them in your basket they're absolutely fantastic uh, right jalanda isn't it jalanda Jalanda, Jalanda, I always get that wrong. Um, this is another marvellous um, stamp set. We don't see enough of jellyfish or under the water creations like this. I don't think we do. Uh, so this is a fabulous, fabulous way of getting this stamp set into your collection. Tracy has excelled herself yet again. Absolutely adore every single detail on there. Dream, inspire, art, love. And you get that little fish as well. Don't forget that little fish is so, so important. Uh, you can see there from the samples just how beautiful that is together. 3988 item number 20 pounds and 99 pence. Next up, Next up, we've got Una. Oh, my word. If you're going to go for any of the sets, you've got to go for this one. Uh, 26 99 You've got that beautiful fairy image just crouching there, just sitting in the moonlight, sitting in the sunrise. Not all about moonlight. Could be in the sunrise as well. Uh, 385 111 is your item number. And you've got the mushroom in there. And you've got that beautiful grass. And you've got the words, Freedom Members. You get a discount at £24.29. So that is an excellent deal, isn't it? If you're not a Freedom member, £26.99, but you can become a Freedom member today. Triple eight, triple eight in your basket. We've got an image to show you, another one. This one is from Fran. Oh, Fran, how love I love those trees in the background. That's stunning, just sitting there. It's almost elf-like, fairy and elf-like crossed together. Absolutely incredible. 
$26.99. That is the price of the stamp set you've just seen, but we'll change the details now for you for Simi. The eye that Leone is using. Wow, what a stamp set. This absolutely, that's better. Uh, this absolutely blew me away when I came to the studio. When you get it home, take a moment to look at the detail that you're getting. That smaller stamp set in there with your stars, and you've got the words as well. $16.99028830. We are rapidly running out of time, but we've got another image to show you here then we'll jump to Leone that is amazing who's this out front who's it Susan thank you very much from Susan to Leone thank you you shall show you mine because I have finished it don't show if you can see it wow uh, oh, see look at the glitter isn't it beautiful imagine that's... that on fabric yeah yeah and I, it's just one of those stamps that um, they're all amazing can i say thank you to lavinia thank you to the team it's been an absolute pleasure representing you today i am over the moon so thank you ever so much thank you everyone please do check out your baskets We've got springtime with hobby art, I believe. Our oh, Catherine's in the studio. Uh, Quilter's trading post after that, and then Dolly Dimple's one day special penultimate hour. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. You'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce and it's all very much mixed media, so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows with Stamps Away. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamp range covers a broad spectrum of imagery. We started out with architecture, fairly cute, fairly uh, folksy, very well received. This has since been broadened out into vehicles, people, basically everything works around a scenic image. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me. They're made in the UK. Most important was a picture this. And we have so much more to bring here. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel, and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand-illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. On our shows, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Very good afternoon to you all. Yes, this is our second hour with Hobby Art today. We had a very, very busy show earlier on. In fact, you're looking at the most gorgeous samples that have been provided by the design team. This particular stamp set that you're looking at here as well was extremely busy. This is the Goldfinches. We are at limited stock. We're going to have a quick look at this and we're going to go straight to Jenny, I think, to see more demonstrations with this because we're worried that they're going to sell out very, very quickly. Uh, I'm going to say a good afternoon, of course, to Jenny. She's here ready for demonstrations. Very good afternoon, Jenny. Hello. How are nice. you? 
I'm fine, thank you. It's nice Wonderful. to see you again. It's, do you know what? I've just sent you before the hour. It's a long time since we've yeah. worked together, so I'm yeah. really looking forward to this. I am just going to give you the details for the goldfinch, and I'm going to show you one or two more uh, beautiful samples as well. The details are on the screen. It was very, very busy. We can't get any more stock of this. We have checked. When it's gone, it's gone. $14.99 is the price. We'll have another good look at the stamp set itself in a second. 708-324 is the item number. You are getting... 13 individual stamps there. Let me show you this as well. This is absolutely beautiful. Big stamps. Look at the thistles there. Uh, well, they're teasel heads, aren't they? Is that what they are? Teasel heads? Teasel, right? yeah. yeah. Beautiful. You've got the bees, you've got the love butterflies. Them. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that by this sample as well. Isn't that gorgeous? absolutely gorgeous no wonder this has been so so busy we've got lots of samples actually but i do know that jenny is raring to go with a demonstration 708 324 is the item number if you want to go for these make sure you check your basket out as quickly as possible but we're going to head over to jenny and see this particular set in action so jenny over to you right okay Oh, I've lost the card. There we go. So the card that I'm doing, first of all, is this one. Oh, how lovely. Okay. Um, and the reason I'm sort of rushing into this is because this is going to sell out. We've put two lots of more stock on, but it's still going. So I, I wanted to get this last demo in quickly before you we sell out. You will have to be quick, Jenny, because I can tell okay. you it's going very, I'll very just quickly as well. on the floor. I want. Right. So to start... I'll start with the goldfinch, okay. and then that way, if it sells out before i finished, oh. I can do the starry colours, and we've still got those on the website. Well, um, so I'm you using, know what, Jenny? I'm using, sorry? We might have to stamp that very, very quickly. Okay, right. Um, I've, I'm using my um, press to impress. I'm putting my goldfinch on it, pulling the press down, and then inking it up. Now we do have the stamping platform available as well, don't we, Jenny? There it is. We've got it at the bottom of the screen for you as well. The press to impress. If you haven't got yours yet, everybody recommends this one, of course. 24 268144 Oh, Jenny, guess what? Guess what? It's, it's sold out. Gone. It's gone. Okay. We um, knew it would. Shall I colour or not? Yeah, go on. We'll let you colour. Okay, right. Well, look, I'm going to talk through this bit quickly. So basically, I've got a nice, beautiful image there. Um, you can just elongate the um, the branch if you want oh, to, okay. just with a black pen. And then cut round it so that you have um, a white line round it. The reason being, whoops, one of my sticky things has come off. The reason being, let's find another one. <clears throat> the reason being it will show off the card oh, if does, there's a white it? area around. If you cut straight to the line, the black will disappear into yeah. the background. Um, then just to colour, I'll do it very, very quickly. Um, the other thing I've done is I've stamped It's Your Story and you. then I've just cut that into bits and I'll show you the colouring on that in a moment. We have still got those. It's a, a new stamp set that's on the show. So we'll quite quickly shortly. I'll just um, colour. I'm colouring with my clean colour. So this one is um, beige okay. and this one is blush because it's sort of buff coloured um, a uh, goldfinch so I'll go down like that I'll just pull it out actually with the blender okay just to lighten what it what pens are you using there again Jenny it is a beautiful stamp okay Jenny, and what, what pens did you say you were using there uh, which pens yeah clean color the clean color um, there's 89 colors and there is one blender pen and the bl blender pen just moves color so if for instance i just put color on like so i can uh, just pull the color down and it will lighten it Lovely. the same here 
um, let's just find the blush again nope can't find it had it a second ago there it is so if I put the blush on here these are beautiful pens, um, I want they? it to go to almost nothing so I'll just move that color just to lighten it up and it will go it's like using um, a wet paintbrush but in a controlled way what a lovely so um, I'm I'm not going to do too much I will do some YouTubes or something with this so that uh, you can get the coloring um, a white pen is worth its weight in gold goldfinch weight in gold I did that was not deliberate um, and so if you want to um, the eye hasn't come out perfectly on this one so if we just go through can you see how oh, that yes, with the white pen how it pops Jenny. off right I'm going to stop there just because we've sold out so we I'm going to go on to the background which was we something have. now the background you're, you're going to use a different medium for that aren't you yes yes yeah. so basically when I I thought goldfinches I was thinking gold I've got so many ideas running round in my head um, that at some point I will play a lot more with this set it's really beautiful and I wanted to use the wordings as well okay. so what I did I stamped it's your story and then just cut it into bits now you could do this with the starry colors which is what I'm going to do the background with okay. but um, it's quite easy just to do it with a gold pad. Okay, we and all do we have do... those on the screen actually, the starry colours. What a great price they are as well. Lovely effects. Seventeen ninety nine if you want to go for these. You can see you are getting six colours. These are Kurataki as well, so you know these are going to be fantastic quality. You've got blue gold, red gold, yellow gold in there. You've got champagne gold, light gold, and white gold. Oh, nice. 891215 is the item number. Right, so uh, to do the gold background, uh, people keep asking me how to use these. And I did have another demo, but unfortunately, it also used the gold finches. Oh. So you're not going to see that one. I'll do it in a YouTube. But here's just a, a very quick way of that. using them and as you can see it will come out slightly differently each time and like you said you have got all the colors in there so you've got white gold which is silver these are individual little palettes oh, and nice. um you know it, that so that you can see that one is champagne gold it's yep. got the number on the back so if you drop them you know which one is which okay. i'm going to use yellow gold just because it's a goldfinch but um, there's red cold, which is much stronger in colour, uh, but they're very, very vibrant. So let me find a brush here. Now, I, I painted one thing yesterday with um, these, and I don't know whether you can see in there the amount of mica oh, that's yes, left we can in the see. bottom. Yep. There we oh, are. Wow. So all I did was pour the water away, let the mica dry, and I could actually just pick up with a wet paintbrush oh so you're and, going to reactivate that uh, use that color again there we are Do jenny you, you know the water that was in there if it was clean enough could you put that into a spritzer would that form a nice sort of um, i haven't spritz? tried that but um you notice i usually use two bowls of water yeah if i'm using the mica um once you've used it everything and i've just even though that's a tiny tiny brush i've just rinsed it in okay. my clean water yeah so there'll be a tiny bit of, of mica in there and even the smallest amount will give you a shimmer so if i paint with that then i'm quite likely to have this pretty sheen oh, i don't lovely. know whether you can see it on there but i paint um i use the clean color but i pulled out with a wet paintbrush when i was doing that one and because the water had a little bit of mica in it you probably can't see it. it's very subtle but there's a beautiful little shimmer on it oh how lovely so, so don't waste uh, yes the water i'll, I'll, I'll try it, it yeah. and i'll let you know next time Wonderful. because that's quite a good idea because i do use it in that way yeah. um you'd probably have to give it a good shake but right when you're using these what you need to do is put on the water and work it in normally i'll spritz it or put a bit of water in like that i'll go away and have a cup of coffee and then come back and by that time it's soaked in but because we want to use it straight away um we're uh, i'm i'm making it creamy i'm i'm sort of um 
working on it so that it's mixing a bit quicker than it would. Okay. We can see how creamy they are, Jenny. They're a lovely consistency once you've added that water. Right, OK. So what I'm, I'm doing is I'm just putting ah. the colour on. Let's have a little bit more there. Normally I would let it sort of, I would take a little bit longer doing this. Oh, there we go. And now you can see what's going to happen. When yeah. I rinse in there, look at that mica. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Make use so of anything that. I paint with it now will shimmer a little bit. Okay, so I should have a spritzer to hand. I'll just spritz this a very tiny amount, not much at all. Okay. And let's get a pile of black card because you can see... Um, I'm going to get a different effect each time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it down oh, that is vibrant, and let it, it do its own thing. That. But oh, as it these. dries, it's going to dry very vibrant, that's you know, beautiful. in a very vibrant way. So that's the yellow gold. The red gold is obviously a stronger colour. You've got pastel colours. You know, the champagne is gold is softer. But I wouldn't waste anything with this. And obviously it'll dry hard again, so there's no waste actually in the um, in the container. But as I go on, I've put too much water on this one, but hey, who cares? It's still Look, going to dry though, isn't it? It's still going to when get that, that dries, effect. that's going to be beautiful. We can see the mica dance in there yeah, as well. Yeah, it's very, very pretty. And as it dries, you know, it becomes stronger. So... Um, it's almost like a marbled effect that's picked up. Yeah. I love it. Um, another way I often use it, I'm just going to put that to one side, I think. Right, OK. So all of these, you know, um, what happens is I keep a pile of card like this and I'll use them. But sometimes I'll look at one and think, oh, that's far too nice to use. <laughs> just keep it. Of course, if you wanted to dye cut flowers or something as well, so you've got the effect on the petals of the flowers, that would look really nice. Sorry. If you wanted to die cut with it, you know, a oh, nice yes. background of yeah. petals yeah. or leaves or something, that would work beautifully as well. Um, I, let me just show you, although I'm not going to do this one, um, another way of using it is, can you see on this one, it's just sort of splattered. Oh, yes, yeah. I've painted with it, so... Um, when I paint with it, I use a very, very fine paintbrush. If you put it on too thickly, you'll, use the picture, you'll lose the picture underneath. You'll lose the detail yeah. because it will, um, you know, you will lose the image if that you're too heavy-handed. So I just use it in small areas. But I do like um, Lisa on my design team. She calls this the, now what is it? The boing technique, she calls this. The boing technique. We'll see technique. why in a minute. So Wonderful. with this, doing it this way, you put your water in like this, but you keep it um, a lot wetter, okay. not, you know, it's not so controlled. And then you hold your brush at the end, and this is why she calls it the boing technique. Uh. And that's a lovely way of creating. There's lots of ways, so I will at some time when, um, you know, I, I will get uh, do some samples in future um, demos. And then you just let that dry. Okay. Well, I love it, Jenny. Everybody, give that a go. If you've not done the bone technique before, then you certainly want to go for those beautiful paints as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Details still on the screen. Now, we'll be back with Jenny in a little while. Of course, we've got lots more to show you. We've only shown you the one set so far. That is now sold out, so let's have a look at some more for you. Now, this is absolutely beautiful again. We've got walkies for you. You can see why it's called walkies, can't you? Look at the little dog there. Yes, you've got that gorgeous, scenic sort of... Um, theme running through here as well you've got the dog with the ball in its mouth you can see the the dog walker there in fact it doesn't have to be a dog walker you can build these in so many different ways in fact they could be hiking they could be doing anything couldn't they only 14.99 again for this particular set you are getting 12 stamps and i've again i've got some gorgeous samples to show you we're looking at one of them there love the colors in that one as well absolutely beautiful this is very very clever as well look at this so you're looking out of the window that's so beautiful Item number 435935, if you want to go for this. I love the colours in that as well. Now, this has been another very, very busy set. 
over 60 percent of the stock has gone oh jenny these colors that have been using these samples are just stunning aren't they beautiful there's the little dog there again you know, i'm going to show you every one of these because i you know i don't like to miss anything out the design team worked so hard look at this on different shape card as well 14.99 for those 12 stamps we may see more of this one as we go throughout 435 935 as i say is the item number be quick with this one because it has been a very very busy one let's move down again because we've got more for you now we've got over the style so another beautiful scenic stamp set here but oh i love this one as well these samples really do show off these sets beautifully half the stock has gone on this one we're looking at one of the samples there next to the stamp set itself there is 10 individual stamps on this one of course you've got the style that's where the name comes from but you've got much more than that besides as well beautiful aren't they again for scene building telling those stories these are going to mix together beautifully with other stamp sets that you've already got as well you know whether you're going with the bigger cards the square cards the smaller cards the dl cards it really doesn't matter i think many of you will want to build up beautiful images that you can frame and use as pictures on the wall as well that's what i'd be doing i think because i just think these are stunning 151601 is the item number if you want to go for that particular set and it's another new today now moving down again we've got another new today for you as well all oh, the little things now this is where you'll find those sentiments so very very useful let's have a look at some of the sentiments actually i love the fact that you've got the different fonts here as well i do have some more sa uh, samples to show you as well so you've got different size sentiments different size fonts all very readable but very different in style you've got the typewriter style there you've got bigger fonts you've got bolder fonts you've got more handwritten fonts in there so a lovely lovely array of different designs here again only 14.99 these have been busy as well you've got 16 stamps was it three quarters of the stock gone on this one yeah have been busy 205960 i am going to say and i'm pretty certain on this because we did try and check beforehand i know we definitely can't get the gold fin finch anything else that goes that is it we can't get any more stock today it's just, it, yeah just had that confirmed it has been confirmed so do not miss out on anything 205960 if you're looking at the sentiments there the little things i love that oh i'm in love with this next one now this one has been seen before it's a returning favorite but that means of course even though it's been on before there'll be many people that haven't caught sight of this one this one is limited stock again i've got some beautiful samples but there's so more in the studio behind me as well the design team have worked so so hard only 10.99 for this set nine stamps in total absolutely beautiful so much character in the hair isn't there look at that and there you've got the smaller versions there. look oh yeah what is he thinking the hair you know if somebody had pinched his carrots you know <laughs> what is he thinking has he seen something is he wondering is it time i can cross the road you know is it are his friends visiting we don't know it could be whatever you want it to be this is what i love about stamps you can tell the stories very very busy on these as i say zero five nine one eight four i can tell you these are looking like they're very very vulnerable they're about to go again hair today day gone tomorrow in fact no no hair today gone in a minute i think that's the case for this time zero five nine one eight four check those baskets out Oh, it has. It's just gone. I've just had that confirmed as well. Well done. I love that. Absolutely love it. Right, we've got another one for you as well. This is another returning favourite, the Highland cattle. They're always favourites again, aren't they? The Highland cows. You've got the thistle in there as well. You've got the trees. Again, a beautiful scenic stamp in there. Great size stamps to build those scenes, build the perspective on your samples as well or on your projects. Yeah, we've got a name for this uh, this particular character here, but I'm not going to say it live on air. Uh, I've just heard it down my earpiece and I quite agree. <laughs> it's one of our floor managers before he's got his hair cut. 721475 is the item number here. Again, you can see those beautiful samples using different techniques. Oh, look at this with the thistle. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Jenny, your design team just work wonders, don't they? I don't think Jenny can hear me actually. 721475 is the item number 1099. Let's go over to the website 
and of course you can see everything that we've got left there are some items that have sold out so if you try putting them in your basket they will say if they've gone low five star reviews of course as well if you are looking at those pens as well we've got a three-way flexi on those don't forget about the Kurita kurataki uh, paints as well we oh have we got other colors there we've got a color set oh no we've just got this one for you today 17.99 beautiful results you saw with those backgrounds that jenny was building up there i love these such a lovely consistency they are very busy actually 891215 don't forget to check your baskets out on those as well right okay now i think we're going to head back to jenny jenny can you hear me Yes. Oh, it's wonderful. so far away, know, aren't we? I know. It's like it's like being the other I end. I need of a, a megaphone, I think. But yeah. anyway, I'm handing it to you for another demonstration. Okay. Right. This is the next one that I'm going to do. Okay. And oh, this beautiful. is uh, using over the style. Love it. Quite a simple one to do. So again, I'm going to use my press. I find them quite useful for this sort of thing. And the first thing I'm going to do is to put um, my wording in. And I'm using memories. When, we, when my children were young, we used to walk an awful lot. And to me, that's a lovely memory. Um, we still do, but... <laughs> And so many people have taken up walking a lot more since uh, the pandemic, haven't they, as well? Yeah, yeah. You know, to yeah. get out in the fresh air where they can. Well, I've we have a dog now as theme. well. So um, uh, my daughter work, walked 155 miles last really? month. Really? <laughs> oh, oh, not all in one day. In no, whole, not in oh, one day, no. Thank goodness for that. <coughs> Excuse me, over the month. Right, so what I'm going to do now, actually what I'm, um, I'll br take that out for a moment and put that just to one side. I'm going to use the squirrels on this one. Okay. So rather than stamp the, the scene and then find I haven't got room for the squirrel, I'm going to stamp the squirrel first. I could do this on the press, but he's such a um, tiny little fella. I can quite easily stamp him like so. Oh. And then I'll go back to my press and I will take the memory stamp out, put this in. And I, I, this is my favourite press. I've tried several and this is the one I use in my workshops. Because, oh, lovely. We do have yeah, them available, the... of course, if you want to go for the, the platform itself. We'll bring those details up again for you so you can see them. Right. I'm positioning my where I want that, my Lovely. star, and obviously it's smaller than the card, so um, I'll show you what to do about that in a minute, but I'm actually doing a workshop, an online workshop of course, on, and it's a live workshop on the 8th of May using these two sets, oh, and lovely. you would be crafting along with me so that you can do it at the same time we would start we're starting quite simply we're doing three cards and the last one is building a, a much bigger scene oh, how wonderful. Um, so it just gives you the, the, the you know teaches you um, seen it so if you're buying the stamps today um, you know have a look on our website because you might find that quite interesting to stamp along definitely make sure again you check those baskets out everybody then because when they're gone they are gone right what i didn't say before i stamped this when you stamp anything um make look for the straight lines so the the posts coming down and the posts going across just make sure they're straight before you stamp yeah Right, I'm going to take that out Lovely. and I'll just put that to one side. I'll put that over there. So there's my, the start of my scene. Now I can get that back again for a second. I can do one of two things. The scenes are meant to build up. So in this stamp set, you have actually got leaves. Can't find them at this second, um, but I have got some leaves from that set i know i put them to one side oh the leaves are lovely because, as well i'm just looking at the samples um, I'm, here i'm messy well. because i've been out of the studio since the last show because i had a flat tire on the way up 
Oh, and I've been waiting Jenny. for the man from the AA to come and sort me out. Jenny, while you're looking for those leaves, I'm just going to show the samples again right. so everybody can really appreciate what they're getting here in this set. You can see those gorgeous leaves around the framework of the main image there. I'm going to show you more than one sample so you can, again, appreciate the ways you can work with this particular set. Love, love the birdie sat there as well. This is a beautiful set, isn't it? This is so useful. 151601 is the item number. You can see the leaves have been used in all of those samples, actually, only 10.99. Make sure you grab yours and don't miss out on that online workshop when it happens as well. Have you found it, Jenny? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, lovely. It, it wasn't essential anyway. I, I sort of uh, was talking out aloud, really. Um, so you've got this one that, that's in the set. So you can use this to, um, to uh, fill the, the gap to, you know, um, build up your scene. But also, you could even use the uh, the f leaves that are on there. I'm going to use this one. Okay. And all I'm going to do is just stamp like so, so that it in uh, yeah. increases the scene. And then what I would do to fill that in, even if you can't draw, you can do this. Just do some little bits so that it joins up. I would then leave that to dry for five minutes because there's quite a lot of ink on there. Okay. So here's one I did earlier. But with this one, what I actually did was took the same stamp out of the press, I inked the leaves, turned it sideways and stamped it. So it's another way. So each one's yeah. going to be different. You know, Wonderful. it's just using what you've got there to... Uh, to build up your scene and of course um, all our scene it's are drawn by Sharon file so if you've got other scene it's no doubt they will um, you know they will all fit together so again I've got that gap there so um, the first thing I'm going to do is um, you can do either do this before or after you finish the line but I'm going to do it before I'm going to stamp my little squirrel on the fence Aww. okay even though there isn't a fence there at the moment yeah and it then looks like just he's using balancing very well there Jenny and <laughs> it looks like he's balancing very well there <laughs> and then just go along and you can see the line isn't st completely straight anyway so even if you can't draw it doesn't matter if it's a bit wibbly wobbly yeah, you that. just join it up and that's the way you can make something that's a bit small fit the gap and here, like I said before, even if you can't draw, you can just do a couple of little marks or else just paint it green and yeah. put some, you know, yeah. berries or something in there afterwards. Oh, nice and what I well. quite like to do if I've joined it up like this is I just like to sort of copy some of the lines that are there, you know, and so even if, so you can make it into to wood. Love does it. that make sense? It does I hope make so. Sense. Right, and this one hasn't got the squirrel on because this was the one that was already dry. Okay, but it is better if you really want to include something to to do that first and then position the rest of it um, around it. Um, another thing that I do, but they're, they're around here somewhere, um, I stamp loads of butterflies and loads of squirrels and dogs and what have you cut them out and then you can stick them onto the scene so if you have trouble with your perspective something like this you can stick it on so that it's in the right place if oh, that makes really sense yeah, you can work out exactly where you want it afterwards it. okay so going back to how we started the day with the cloud my cloud um stencil it isn't in the show this time but it has been on before and we'll be back again so nice quick simple sky just check my and I'm just pulling up and you just turn it round so it's not the same either way the effect straight are. away is just amazing isn't it and let's find a little bit there we are there's a little bit there so we're just going there. I'm not worried that, Love you know, it's gone on the wood a little bit, but that's fine because we're going to do a darker colour over the top anyway. Um, and as I generally like to do, I'm just going to make, I'm just going to um, 
make it easier to color by breaking down the colors what i might do is just because that bit is sky i'll just do a little bit through there okay and that's sky too so that i can see where i'm going so what i'm going to do next is just put a bit of color onto my tar and this is my new favorite at the moment rustic wilderness if i were to put that straight on the card whoops that's the one with the gold in it if i was to put that straight onto the card um it would be very very strong okay. it's a very strong color so what i'm doing is i'm watering it right down and what i should have asked for is clean water but it's quite quite it's going to have quite a nice effect because i can see the shimmer in that so we're going to have a shimmery Oh, wonderful. Picture. Hopefully we'll be able to okay. see that then, So Jenny. all I'm doing, first of all, is just putting a bit of colour over... Oh, it's so pretty. It's gold green. <laughs> there we go. I just think that little subtle hint of shimmer works very, very yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. There we are. So... Oh, I really like this. Accidental. Oh. Thank you. See, happy accidents. Right, so my water has been taken away to be changed. Okay. okay. Can't finish that bit. Oh, yeah, I can. There we are. There's enough on there. So um, basically, this is the way I like to work. Just... Uh, it breaks it down. It doesn't look so scary then. You know, you haven't got such a large area to colour if you can see where you're going. And it means that if by any chance I miss some bits... Thank you very much. Okay, if, if I miss some bits, you can see where you're going straight away. Um, it won't matter. Can you see how shimmery that is? If you give that a little bit of a tilt or maybe hold it to the front camera, Jenny, I think we might be able to pick it up a little bit. There we are. We can catch it. Yes, you can see the gold in there, can't yeah, you? Yeah, it's really, really oh, shimmery. Wow. I don't mind that, but I obviously um, that um, you use it to your advantage. Yeah, of course. But um, it, this is a magical scene, this one. It is, um, it is sparkling beautifully. Right, so now I'm going to use my clean colour pens just to colour in. Okay. And I, what I can do is just use the colour. I could use my blender, but I'm actually going to use just a pale colour. This one's flesh colour. Actually, it's called natural beige now. It used to be called flesh. And um, just using the two pens, I'm going to um, change the colour slightly. I don't want it all the same colour. So light and dark and i'll still put some more color onto this in a minute okay so i always think this is the boring bit for you it's the bit i love i love to color and these pens are excellent if you think you can't color buy some of these if you if you're not up for the um you know buying the 90 that's 70 uh nine 89 colours and the one blender pen. Oh, lovely. Then is that the just... full range, Jenny? Sorry? Is that the full range? No, That's the full it? range, yeah. They've, they've recently added the last eight. It was 80 pens. Uh, no, nine colours, rather, and one, and one uh, blender. So, but that is the full range. But if you can't... You know, you can buy them singly as well. And that's a great bonus as well, even if you've got the... Um, the 90 you will find that you've always got favorites and um, it's so annoying to have um pens that when you run out of your favorite color you can't replace yeah, them definitely. whereas with these you can buy them individually as well 
another so bonus it... as well. We've got flexi on these. You can split it three ways. Maybe you've got a birthday coming up or a special occasion. You can get your family to club together and buy for you. That would be really, really good. Maybe you go for some of the stamps as well. You want to pop those into your basket and split the cost of those. They are a considered purchase. We totally appreciate that. But you are talking the best quality pens. These are artist quality pens. We can see when we're watching Jenny there, those brush nibs, how beautiful they absolutely are. Just watching you, Jenny, I know you do colour. You are a colourist. But we can see that, you know, very quickly this is building together and yeah. how you're drawing out that colour. And this is so achievable by everyone. Yes, this is it. Um, I, I love it when I'm live at... In the in the good old days, uh, pre twenty twenty, when um, I used to go to a lot of the shows, you know, Birmingham and so on, um, and I love to demonstrate because it's nice to have a live audience and yeah. they ask you questions and then you know that you're doing what they want to see. Um, Yes, and, and uh, it was like red rag to a ball. If anybody said, oh, well, I can't use them, I can't colour, I'd make them sit in the seat and teach them Aww. because they are just so fantastic to Aww. use. Let's hope those days come back, Jenny, because we yeah, don't Yeah, not too them. long, I hope. Um, right, so we just carry on here. So um, you can see I can change it completely by just adding a little bit of grey. Grey's underrated. It's a very useful colour. Um, and again, it just changes it because wood is the same as grass. It's never ever going to be just one colour and it just makes it a more realistic picture. Um, all right, can I find any kitchen? Do you know, I hear that a lot about grain. It's not just yeah, it's with paper crafting dirt. and pens, it's also with threads in soft crafting as well, how useful the grey threads are. Yes, yeah, yeah. they really are. Um, and you know you can shadow and so on definitely right um, what I, I've gone over the edge there as long as you do this fairly quickly uh, this is watercolor card I'm working on so if I just go into that area and flood it with clean water okay. then I can oh, bring that, that color that. Like out uh, but oh, wow. if you've left it for an hour uh, that stain would probably be probably be there but um, I would never waste the card for something as small as that. No. If I couldn't get the colour out, I would just do a few leaves then, colour yeah. green over yeah, the top, and uh, sort of sorted. Um, right, so what I'm going to do now, um, I won't do the whole thing because this will take some time to do. This is the actual bit of the card that I really, really love. Um, and... You know, I love the colouring, but um, you notice I don't go um, one colour in a large area. I'm just sort of doing it quite randomly. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if you miss some bits because you put that grey on first of all. Okay. And it's amazing what you can do with two pens. So um, I know if you watch me, you've probably seen this before. Let me find a dog. Well, we're green. picking up new viewers all of the time, um, Jenny, which is great. So welcome aboard here at the craft store. If you are new today, if you've not seen Jenny before, if you've not seen the hobby art before as well, if you're liking what you see, just another reminder, when these stamps have gone, they are gone. We've already had sellouts throughout the day because there was another show early. In fact, the stamp that we're working with now over the style, 70% of the stock has also gone of that one. Now we're looking at uh, walkies there we just saw, but over the style is the one that Jenny's working with. Details are on the screen there for you. 10 stamps for just 10 151601 There, we can see the style and the set itself right there. Lovely. Okay, Jenny? Now is I'm using the tip-to-tip -tip technique. Um, what I've got, wait, I'll just wait a second till this comes back to its own colour and then I'll show you. Just a reminder, I know I've, I, I do this technique quite a bit. So that's yellow green, that's deep green, but I want something in the middle. Okay. So all I do is take the dark colour onto the light colour. Don't do it over your work because you can flick the colour. And then it's going to start off fairly dark like this, but quite quickly it's going to go back to its own colour. 
So you are getting multiple shades just with those two pens. Yeah, you that's it. You can you can actually. So you don't need everyone in in you know. I mean, it's lovely to have every color, but you can do. You know, they will mix together, so they're very versatile. You get every color imaginable out of them, and you can see just using the two colors mixed, I can literally do the whole uh, picture with the two colors well, coming together beautifully but I, I do it randomly i don't sort of start in one area and move across yeah. because then you tend to go from dark to light so i'll just flick all over the place and uh, um, it gives you a nice uh, natural look okay um i want to change this slightly i want okay. this to be a bit more realistic so i'm starting in an area at a time I'm just putting a bit of colour down and then using my wet paintbrush because it's a large area so I could use the blender but it takes a long it what would take longer fresh green so is. you can see I'm changing it as I go along so let's have a mid green and it doesn't all have to be the same colour um, in fact it's quite nice if it isn't Jenny, that but works it will so just well, mix doesn't together. It? What a difference! I was loving it before, but now you've done that, it really has made such a, a, a large amount of difference. There, it's really brought the squirrel fire. And I know he's not coloured yet, but it's really brought him forward. It's given you that perspective because of the shading. Right. So um, there we are. Still very twinkly, I'm afraid. But hey, that's. And if you don't like it, that's a little bit um, bright for me. I'll just, um, I could mute it down or I'll just use another shade. So what have we got here? This one is olive green. This is quite dark and you can see, be careful of your, your paper. Don't damage your paper, but you can do wet to, uh, you know, wet on wet. You can put the pens down and just move the color Lovely. over. Okay. Right. Um, let me do my squirrels and I haven't got an, I have got an orange, but, um, I, because I was out with the AA man, <laughs> I haven't sorted out from this morning. So I'm making an orange. So what I'm doing is I'm just mixing the two colors together and then I've got an orange. Now that's quite bright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my beige and I'm going to just go over the orange like that. Okay. I've actually only ever seen one, um, one red squirrel and that was in France. Really? I've, never, I've not seen any in this. I've not, I don't think I've seen any in recent years, but I have seen, I have seen them in the past, but yeah, they are a disappearing breed aren't they yeah which is so sad it is sad so I can pick up the color from there you know lots of ways of using these pens and if I want to if I wanted a little bit um, let's make a bit more so that's yellow a little tiny bit of red in there and if I want to I can put a bit of brown on like this and while it's still wet don't allow it to dry um, you can pick up with your blender pen whoops that's not the blender pen there we are so mix that in and we can color with that as well there's some beige on there so that just um, brings it down a shade and there we go oh. So you can get the tone you want. So you can see, you can change it to how you want it. Oh, that's lovely. Um, just to put a bit of extra colour in here, obviously I haven't done all the leaves yet, which would make a lot of difference to the picture. Um, of course, um, yet. But if you want more colour in there, you can literally sort of put some yellow this has still got a bit of red on it this was the one I was using just now well this is a lovely thing Jenny because you could make that any time of the year couldn't you it could be yeah. spring it could be summer it yeah. could be autumn and but you can pick up the color 
So, okay. you know, they are really versatile. Jenny, we can let you carry on colouring those leaves if you like. We'll have a bit of a recap and then we can come okay. back to you and have another look at that. Uh, I think we'll still have about 10 minutes left. So let's have a recap down the counter, see what we've got on offer here. So, of course, walkies. Let's have a revisit of this one. 70% of the stock has gone. Do have a good look at the samples we've got. Do have a good look at the stamp set itself because, of course, you're getting 12 individual stamps here. It's all about scene building. You've seen how with the style there that Jenny has built up a lovely little scene you can really extend on that as well you know use the elements that you want perhaps you're going for the walkies and the style stamp set they will certainly work together very very well i'm just going to show you these wonderful samples again 14.99 if you want to go for this particular option 435.935 i adore the colors in that absolutely beautiful again very well done design team you worked so so hard there we are. So that's our walkies. Then, of course, we do have over the style. This is the set that Jenny's just been working with. I've got to say, those leaves, I think, are one of the most useful stamps I've seen. Of course, it's going to work with everything else in the set, but using it in conjunction with your other stamps as well. And there you can see some of the butterflies on this particular sample that you will find in the sets that Jenny's brought to us as well. $10.99 for over the style. Ten stamps in this one. There's another beautiful sample at the front, and you can see all of the stamps that you're getting there. Love to watch how Jenny extends on that as well using a fine liner pen working you know the fencing so you can put the squirrel on there or extend on that particular design as well 151601 is the item number for that one that one is very busy then we have the little things now this is all about your sentiments this is a lovely collection of various different sentiments in different fonts different sizes there's something for every occasion this one is actually limited stock now when it's gone it's gone do have a look at these Oh, never let a stumble in the road with the end of your journey. That's a nice one. I like that. I might have to pinch that. I like that very much. I love sentiments. You know, when you see them on cards, perhaps they mean something to you. Perhaps they would mean something to the person that you're sending the project to, of course. You know, choose however you wish. But, of course, they mean different things to different people. This is why sets like this are very, very important. 205-960 is the item number. One more sample there. You are my sunshine. Look at that. Oh, I was going to say I'll send that to the guys in the gallery, but the way they've been throwing the abuse down my earpiece again this hour, I don't think I will bother. There we are. Right, another returning favourite here as well. We've got the Highland Cattle. Another favourite. Oh, this one's gone limited as well. I am not surprised. Do have a look at the thistle in this set as well. You've got all those trees, so again, you can build up the scenes, you can build up the perspective. This is a beautiful card. Look at that. Gorgeous. Ten ninety nine for this one. You are getting twelve individual stamps all in this one set. Another one of the thistle there. Love it. Let me just show you the Highland Cow again as well. Seven two one four seven five is the item number. Now we do have the Kuritaki Ganzai Gambis Tambis. Uh, paints as well. These are the starry ones that Jenny was using. I absolutely love these. These have been busy as well. $17.99. You are getting six different golds there. Half the stuck has gone. 891215 is the item number. Of course, you're going to use your water. Don't throw that water away. We've seen how Jenny has worked with that water to get that lovely sort of glistening effect, that shimmery effect when she uses it in conjunction with her other pens as well. 891215. Right, Jenny, we can go back to you again if you don't mind. Right, yeah, I just thought I'd finish this one off because it's, uh, it's such a simple scene, but it's in the detail. So what I often do, but wait till it's dry, is I'll just put some white lines on there and it just makes the picture pop a little bit. Okay, this one will probably be destined for the bin, but... Oh, um, Jenny, no. You know, it gives you the idea of what you can do. Um, this morning I was using the Winker Stella glitter pens. Yeah. And um, these are fantastic because they, it, it's a hard tip. But okay. it, again, it puts glitter in. And particularly since I've got a lot of shimmer in the background, these are perfect for just adding a little bit of colour. So in here we'll have some berries. Okay? Nice. And that just introduces a bit more colour, you know, you could use any colour you like. Uh, blue for the bluebells or red for poppies or what have you, berries. Um, but it's a way of introducing colour. If Definitely. you want to do it with the clean colour pens, 
then obviously these are meant for large and fine work. So if you want to do it, um, the berries, then hold it upright and do the berries uh, that just way. Just using the very tip. Okay. Because uh, if you do it on the side, then you won't get a berry, you'll get um, a flat line. Okay? Yeah, got it. So that's that one finished. Lovely. <laughs> Beautiful. Right. Do you want to just show that finished one with the with the mat and layering again, Jenny? Just so the camera, so we can see we well, can see the finished sample with the layering. Yeah. Um, so all I've done here, this is a five inch card, uh, which is one hundred and twenty five millimeters. I reckon that's probably one hundred and ten, and this is one hundred and five. The oh, watercolor lovely. card, and literally just that um, little layer makes it pop off the card. Wonderful. Oh, Jenny, thank you. We've got another update, actually. Oh. We've got another sellout. Another sellout. Oh. We've lost the Highland cattle. Well done. Check those baskets out. No more stock. We cannot get any more back today. So well done on that one. Another sellout. Wow. Right, Jenny, we've got six minutes left. How long? Six minutes. OK, well, what I'll do is I'll just do a scene. I won't have time to colour it. But this is what why I love these sets. Um, they both work together anyway. Uh, but you've got some beautifully large elements in there. So literally, if we just use this scene, I'll move my press o paper over. OK. Um, we can position this where we want it. Okay. So this is from the walkies. In actual fact, I think I'll put it slightly to the side there. Righty ho. Bring my press down. Just ink up. And these stamps are such a you know nice size and the the idea of the press is because this has got so much detail on it um, the idea of the press is if it doesn't come out perfectly it's actually not bad at all but I will just um, whoops, put a bit more ink on that There we go. Lovely. And literally, you have a scene. Right, what should we put on? Pheasant or dog? Ooh. It's called walkies. Let's I'm put the dog on. I'm hearing cries of dog Whoops. from the gallery, Jenny, if that's all right. Right, OK. So we just have the dog. And he. this one's quite a large one. You've got um, oh. dogs of different sizes in there. But as long as he's in the foreground, it's fine. He, it looks as though he's looking into the picture. And um, I did one there. That's one with the pheasant. Oh, lovely. But you can see how I've brought it together, the picture together, by just putting some This is that handy little leaf stamp again, isn't it? And from just the turn tile. it so that you're happy with the, the result. And by joining it to the side, Let's put a bit more grass there, even if you think you can't draw, you can, you can do some grass. And we just put some little bits in there. And once that's coloured, it all becomes part of the scene. So quite easy to do. And I tend to do the same at the side. Because I've done it to one side, this would actually, I could actually do this on a much bigger card. But there, we're just... Do that and even if you think you can't draw, you know, you can make the oh, scene yours. Look at that. So and then you just uh, colour in the the usual way. Jenny, so, that's beautiful. Yeah. So this I would because of the corn there, I'd probably make that yellow and a cornfield and uh, this could be uh, earth. But um, I can start to colour, but obviously we're not going to get um, a long way with it. Let's use the cloud stencil just because it's there. And when you go back to your um, sponges, just check before you add any more ink. Yeah. Because there's ink on that stencil and there's probably enough ink on my sponge to give me a really good... Let's turn it round. There we are. 
I tend to exaggerate it when I'm doing it on television so it shows up properly. You but know, you can do quite a nice so well, subtle, um, you know, effect. Gorgeous. And again, this is, I would normally sort of get my base colour on and then do the detail from there. But um, what I will do instead is I'll just start colouring. You know, you do it your way. Um, you might not like my way of... Um, of breaking it down but I just find it easier when you've got a, um, a, a large picture to to break it down and see where yeah. you're going right so let's find our dark green again okay we've got just over a minute left Jenny so I'm just going to finally just say it again don't forget if you're going for this particular stamp set this is your walkies it's an A5 stamp set you see the details there 12 individual stamps these are big stamps on here as well you've got those smaller elements when it comes to the dogs you've got the walkers on there as well just build up those scenes they are beautiful 435935 is the item number Jenny, do you know when you're back again? Have you got a date? Um, yes, I'm on in May. I think it's the 27th. Oh, wonderful. Oh, we'll Might look be the 29th. To that. I'm not sure. I'm sorry, I forgot. Well, we will make sure that everybody checks those dates and do join us again. Don't miss out on Jenny shows. They're all, always, always an education. Always very busy as well. We had a lot of sellouts in the earlier hour. We've had more sellouts in this hour. Do grab what you need because when they're gone, they're gone for today as well. It is the final show for Jenny. Don't forget about those paints as well, those starry paints. They're absolutely beautiful. It's, they've been busy. Um, Jenny, thank you. It's been an absolute delight as always. Seriously, always an education as I said, <laughs> watching you there. Everybody always picks up so many tips. There is much more ahead. Don't forget about Jenny's workshop online as well. What date was that again? 8th of 8th May. 8th of May. 8th of May. So check those stamps out. Make sure you've got yours ready to follow along with that workshop. It's going to be an absolute treat. Oh, I've so enjoyed that first hour. Menu's coming up. I will see you soon. Oh, looking forward to this. We've got Quilter's Trading Post. I've got an hour with the ladies later as well. Dolly Dimples One Day Special. That's the final call at four. And then we're going to visit Joanna Sheen Magazine Box Kit. Exciting news. For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations, as a company, launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dyes, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. We'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows.
good afternoon. Now, I am joined by the lovely Pam and Emma. Good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon. Hello. Lovely stuff. You've got two shows today, is that right? Yes, we have. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Three Very and exciting. seven. Seven o'clock. Yep. Lovely yes. stuff. Um, now, we are talking, we've got some wonderful brand new kits for you today. So, we're starting off with our Flowers United rose quilt fabric pack um so this is going to make our lovely oh where's it gone it was behind me i was just literally about to look <laughs> yeah. at it um it's going to make a um fabulous quilt for you so basically you've put in all of these lovely um fabrics yeah you've got all the fabrics to make the top of the quilt including the binding and then you just add the wadding and the... Yeah, add your own wadding, choose whichever weight or yeah. style that you want, and then your own backing as well, depending on what your needs might be. Amazing, yeah. lovely. So what, what type of fabrics have we got in here? Are they all cotton? They are all cotton. They are all 100% quilting grade, patchwork and quilting grade cottons. You've got all sorts. So there's a fossil fern there from Benetex. Beautiful fabric. Mum uses that a lot for her applique. Yeah. You've got yep, another one there in another shade. Beautiful. Mum does love a purple, don't you, Mum? Oh, I do love Oh, I'm purple. with you, though. You're both oh, yes. pinks and purples, aren't you? We are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> love those. Now, look at that beautiful fabric. Beautiful pattern. Look at that. For the border, that's just stunning. Isn't it? That beautiful floral is absolutely exquisite. You're lucky you got that one, because Mum loved it. I had to prize it off her. Oh, really? Yeah. It came out of my stash. Not good enough. Nice. Well, she did take a whole bolt home with her. I had to get it back. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Nice stuff. And then we've got, again, some beautiful, beautiful fabrics here. Oh, and the reds are extremely rich, aren't they? Aren't oh, they, they are. just yummy? Yeah. yeah. Two completely different sort of styles, but they just go together so well. It's such lovely colours in fossil ferns, all different yeah. ones. Beautiful. So we're going to show you the quilt now. So this is what you're going to be able to make. Isn't that stunning? Yes, you can see that there. Are they, is it fairly easy to do, those blocks? Yes, very straightforward. You are, the, I think, the most complicated is a half square triangle, and if you don't know how to do it, it's really easy. The okay. applique is showing you. very easy. Oh, the applique is I shall be demonstrating normal. that, and it is yeah. one of the most simple um, appliques that I do. Yeah. yeah, amazing, beautiful. So then you can see you've got the pattern here, that, so that will come with it, is that right? The pattern to make the, the uh, patchwork and to put the quilt together is there. That's it. you do need an extra pattern for the applique. Lovely, which we're coming yeah. to next. So if you can, go for the two. I'm just going to show you. So this is 59 It is on a flexi um, payment, uh, two payments of £30. Item number is 915060. But yeah, People, if they can, they should go for the applique book as well, mm. shouldn't they? Yes. Yeah, because that's got the rose applique pattern in it. it that, the rose applique doesn't come with the quilt. Okay. It comes in that pattern pack there. Right, there you go. Um, so you've got the applique pattern, and you've also got some worksheets as well. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah, you've got four worksheets. You can make the cushion that you're seeing there. I have got it here. Sample, look at that. Beautiful you can put any sample. of the applique blocks in it. Yes. So your choice. So there um, you go. Amazing, look at that. That's the frilly, frilly cushion, frill around, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. yeah. Excellent. And then you've also popped, hang on a second, just There's a little, little bag. The little mm -hmm. bag, little book bag, yep. Again, we like the frill, so there is a frill on the back. Look there, the there pocket. it is. Yep. Amazing. So that's that one. Lovely size bag, actually. I really like that size. It's going to fit all your books and pieces, bits and pieces in there. That's yep. great. And then you've also popped for us, hang on, hang on. Table runner. Look, Look at, at this. That. Isn't, that Ooh, isn't that pretty? So there we've got the thistle and the shamrock, but again, you can put any of the blocks in there. Mm. If you fancy, you can have all three the same or all three different, whatever you fancy. Yep, lovely stuff. With a bit of an Irish chain. Oh, it's wonderful. Mm. Nice. Okay. And then, of course, the quilt pattern is in there. Lovely. I think I've got, have I got <coughs> one more? I've got, hang on. I've got, oh, I've done another bag for you just to show you a second bag. Oh, um, oh, oh there's loads of lovely samples. There's so much in there. It's, oh, there's the blocks on their own. There oh, this go. is great. Look at this. So we've got the blocks. Here we are. And this one. Amazing. And here are our fabulous daffodils. Great stuff. There should be a shamrock in there as well. Yeah, have I missed it? I think he's underneath the rose. Underneath the rose. It's hiding. It's very shy, the shamrock. Today. Oh! There found it is. It. Nice there we go. One, that one. Beautiful. Though. I really like the shamrock. It's cute. Excellent. Okie dokie. Right, so it is uh, £14.98. Uh, you have got a £10 saving. Um, now, let's have a little flick through. There we go. So we've got our applique block patterns. 
all showing you how nicely you can put this together. Uh, machine embroidery tips for pivoting. Look at that. Um, you've also got your big patterns. Nice. Oh, gosh, I've just been given an update here in my ear. Right, so if you want to go for that, £14.98. Item number is 966452. Right, so our fat quarter bundle, the rose option, oh, is already technically sold out. Oh. I haven't even shown you this yet. <laughs> there we go. So that has gone. But you have got two more options. So you've got the daffodil option, which is this one with our beautiful yellows in. Um, and then you've got the thistle and shamrock. So again, go for these to go with your applique patterns. Yeah, those, mm. are, the, those are the colours that are going to make those blocks up for you. That's yeah. fantastic, isn't it? So only two left. Uh, they are just 13 99 So basically, if you can go for one, two and three, that would be great. 13 99 item number is 360 Wow, so fat, fat quarter bundles, either or, either or. Okay, moving along then. Um, We've got our spinner quilt. Is this right? Spinner, spinner. I really went to town with this name because it's a blue sky spinner quilt. Wow. <laughs> but, you know, don't ask me why I did that. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. So we've got two options. Um, and am I right in saying it's the border that makes the difference? Yeah. You're going to get a jelly roll with both and it's going to be whichever fabrics you've got in your jelly roll. All of the same sort of styles and colours. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, you've got two different borders to choose from. Which is... This one, which is, so it's this one here, that is the diamond, because you can see that you've got the diamonds on there. Or you can go for the spotted, which is this one. Very there you go. They are very similar. We just wanted to give you as many kits as we oh, possibly yeah. could. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, it's lovely. They're going to um, be equally as nice. Nice. And we do have a finished sample, we which do? we're just going to show you. Um, the colours are fabulous, aren't they? Mm, yeah. Um, and then you can really see the border there. Um, it's really pretty. I like, really like the blocks on that one. They are really fun to make, actually. As you saw, they're made with jelly roll strips, but it's a really simple block to make, but really effective and fun to do. Yeah. Half square triangles is all they are, isn't it? Almost. Almost, kind of, yeah. But not Almost. quite. Yeah. There not we quite. go, we're having not a quite. nice look at that one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a little conversation here. In That's all right. <laughs> right then, so you can spread the cost. Two payments of £30 for either of those options. Really pretty. Lovely. Again, you just need to add your wadding and your backing. 057533. Moving along, we have got the winter in the bluebell kits. Here we are. Just having another look at these. So we've got some nice soft colours here, haven't we? Yeah, it is the winter in bluebell woods range from Lewis and Irene. Those are all the fabrics from that range, plus a couple of extras. Um, and they just go together so prettily. And they are. They're really warm and cosy colours. Mmm. Um, so this one makes actually quite a quite a nice large quilt. Mm. Am I right? Yeah, it's not a bad size. This one. It's oh, it's behind me. It's behind me. There it is. Yeah, it's a nice throw. It would fit on the top of a single bed as a as a throw. Top. Yeah, it's a, a topper. Top, yeah. Yeah. And if you look really closely, it's got animals in it. Oh, bless you, Emma. Sorry. <laughs> <That's all> right. <laughs> uh, it's got lots of lovely animals in yeah. it. There's some foxes, some deer. Oh, yeah. We can really see that there. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. Nice, isn't it? Oh, that's adorable. Okie dokie then. So again, if you want to spread the cost, two payments of £32.50. Uh, 679208 is your item number. Next then, we've got our Cats About Town. Uh, we're already busy for this one. It's really adorable. Hmm. Again, look at these fabrics. Look, here we go. You can see. So we've got some like feature blocks, haven't we, in this one? You have. So you've got a panel of these great, um, well, how many is there? Two, four, six, eight blocks there eight pussy cats. so we put them all in yeah they're all sorts of sort of things they're really fun we're a bit of cat fans aren't we oh i'm a, I'm a yeah. definite cat fan so. uh yeah i'm i am too yeah i am too. Ah. there you go so yeah you've got a bit of everything in there <laughs> in a box because all cats are like boxes you got them in a taxi i'm not quite sure about that my cat's never been in a taxi well your no. cat anyway no that's cute isn't it? Cat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, yeah adorable uh, right then, so if you want to go for that uh, set of fabrics, um, and again you'll get the pattern, uh, I, it's 49 .99. item number is 733497. Now, it does have a freedom discount, it's £44.99, and, and of course it's on Flexi, and if you're a freedom member, your postage is covered. L look at that, first Flexi buy payment is £22.50 if you're a freedom member. 
Yeah. Next then, we're going for a lovely pattern bundle, nice big bundle here. So this is the quilt bundle. Now, what have we got? Okay, so we've got the uh, Busy Bee, Simple Pleasures, Liberty Star, Prairie Rose and uh, Flight Plan. Yes. Nice names. Thank you. Emma I think makes better, them up. a bit shorter, these ones, yeah. She always <laughs> makes the names up, Emma. I have fun doing that. Nothing yeah. to do with me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we kind of just went with all of our quilt patterns that I thought would go together as a nice little bundle for you. Yeah. That's lovely. I really like the flight plan one. That's a really good, that's a layer cake pattern. Yeah. And we had some fabric, fabric range, some of you might remember it, that had aeroplanes on it. So I went with a pattern that went with it and I thought, well, I've done this pattern now. I like it. So you can use it with any fabric you like, but it's a great man's quilt because we know we don't do many things with men on the whole as a That's quilt true. designer. That's true. Like that a lot. Lovely stuff. All right, then. Now, I just want to check with you because on our system, it's saying there's a week's delay on this. Is that correct or that's not correct? That's not correct. Okay, so good. Straight away. We just wanted to clarify yeah, that. Yeah, sure. Wonderful. Uh, £19.89. pence. Item number is 485043. And then next, we've got the Becky pattern set. So we've got the Baltimore quilt, the bags, and the bunny. Oh, the bunny's really adorable. She's so cute. Mm. Yeah, she's great. Becky bunny. So I don't know why I put these together. I just felt they worked together. Well, they Becky look bag, really good. good. Yeah, yeah. obviously so the, applique, the applique on both the bag and the quilt are of the similar vein. Yeah. Um, and the Becky Jib Bunny. Well, who doesn't want a bunny with everything? Absolutely. Uh, Twenty-nine ninety-nine <laughs> for all of those patterns. Item number is 507828. And then you've got a set of patterns next to you. What I have we got do. here? I do. This is our log cabin set. So we've got log cabin harmony quilt in the cabin wall hanging. And then, of course, cutie bear and bunny because you need a bunny with everything. Absolutely. Yeah. Very, <laughs> very traditional patterns, those ones. Nice. 1999 469505 is your item number. Do give us a call 0173 <laughs> or go to our website thecraftstore.com. Right, over to you then, Pam and Emma. What are you going to start with? I'm, I'm going to start and show you how to do the um, uh, rose on the quilt yep. with a, um, a plique because it's very simple. It's the most simple one I think I've done. Um, in the book, you obviously get all the different patterns. And they are full size patterns. Everyone is full size and they're mirror imaged. That's the, um, I'll show you what to do with that in a minute. Uh, and that is the pattern for the pieces. You trace them out um, and it tells you how many in each one that you want. For one block. For one block. Yeah, you do this each for the four, is it four? Yeah, four different blocks. Now when I trace them, it is a good tip to Put, try and put them all together as close as you can for one colour that you're going to put on one piece of fabric. Yeah. So they all come close together and then when you stick them down, you're not wasting fabric and it's so much easier because you don't have to cut them round twice, you only have to cut them round once. Yeah, got so you. You're going to okay. separate them out onto the different fabrics, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you and just, then... what you do is you, if that, they, and you just cut it down there, cut round this, this edge off here obviously because you know you, you don't want to waste that and then just stick them down on the different fabrics that's what I do stick them down to the back of your fabrics and cut them out on the lines yeah. for anybody who's not done that that's right so this is your fusible webbing glue on one side paper on the other it's got a lot of different sorts but um, yeah yeah that's the one we like that's the one we like right now what you do is you get your pattern and that's another um, interesting thing that we do with our books is because they're not big enough to have full size on a normal size book we have them so they're all folded out now you've got a cross in the middle there and what you do is you get your fabric. make sure you've got the right side I mean I won't tell you how many um, quilts I've made with them one with side the up fabric, the wrong mm. yeah the background fabric yeah. the wrong side yeah <laughs> You, can't, can't, actually, you can't actually see it though. You'd, you'd have a job to find out if you did that, so I shouldn't worry yeah. too much. Oh, that's good. All right, so what I do, you put that on there and you can see through it, so you can see where that, well, you might be able to, I can't, I'm a bit too far away. Right, so you put your cross on there, so you know you've got that in the middle, and then you get a couple of pins, you only need two. Or you could use um, binding clips if you want to. You could use binding clips, yeah. You just want something to stabilise it while you... Don't try do it with one because it will shift and then you'll have a dif you'll have difficulty putting it in. I'm going to stand up and do this in a minute. <laughs> you also find if you put your two pins at one end, you can also flip back if you need to. Yeah, so it's quite nice like that. Then what you do is you get your pattern, 
that you've cut out, you cut round very carefully on the on the line when you cut them out, when you stuck it onto your fabric, and then you peel it back. I always flick it from the back, and you a good sturdy flick. You're not going to hurt it. It doesn't yep. fray yep. because you flicked it from the back. Make sure you've got the shiny. It's shiny. If it's not shiny, just put that back and flick another one. And that one will be fine, the one you pulled back and it wasn't shiny enough because just the glue... means the glue's not stuck. If it's not stuck, you can always give it a quick But it still stays iron. there. I find it still stays. Yeah, it depends how right. well it's stuck. And then you move this around because they're not all the same, these here little bits. Oh, I've done that Your right the first time. Well done. Yeah, and I haven't got any of the other little bits. Oh, you didn't do the no, edge bits? I haven't got those because they're all on that piece I've still got to do. Okay, oh. okay. Right, and then, and then you just stick your leaves on and then glue them all down and then... And don't worry, if they don't fit exactly perfectly, it doesn't matter because nobody's going to see that pattern once you've taken it away from your fabric. Right, let me sit as down As you've again. got it in the right sort of area. Right, here we go. You also need to mark in your lines with yeah. a pencil. That's what I was just going to show you. That. Oh, sorry, Mum. There you go. She's going right. to show you that. Yeah, you Ooh, take, yeah. don't take your pins out okay. until you've marked... <laughs> we won't be able to see it if you do. Good point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then you mark it with a pencil where you can see round. Now, these little pieces here, if you haven't cut them out exactly right, you can just trim them with the scissors. I've done that with one of these, so they're not always exactly right. But you stick those on the top, obviously, round oh, the edge. Oh, you mean these pointy end yeah, bits? These yeah, these pointy, pointy them end bits, better. just trim them to fit, it's fine. Right. You have a problem. Yeah, OK. Let me move that away. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to get my machine going. I'll set it up for satin stitch and I'm going to show you the leaf first and how easy it is to do it. I've got a real open toe foot. It's not got a bar across it there at right. all. I find if it's got a bar across, it's, um, it's like you've got a, a fogged up windscreen. windscreen. You can't see well enough to oh, do it easily. It's much better if you've got the real open toe. Well, you've just cleared a little tiny hole in your fogged up windscreen. You're trying to see the whole road in one tiny little That's hole. That's right, yeah. and it's not good, is it? No. I've got this set up at 0.8 for the length of the stitch and 2.5 for the width. This machine sets it up automatically, but you can alter it if you want. Now, I've stuck the needle in, and I know which way it's going to come across because I can see it's on the left there because it moves across obviously from side to side you need to put it where you can see that it should go so the needle comes just across to the edge of the fabric can you see that yep all right now when you want to move it now because i'm doing this really slow i shall need to stop it if you go a bit quicker you won't need to stop it okay it's like going around a bend in a car <laughs> and you, yeah you use your foot thing like an accelerator and you can Make it go slower and faster as you come to a bend. Lovely, okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, if you go too slow, you can lose control really easily. Yeah. It's a lot easier to get around that corner. So yeah, don't yeah. go get, rushing yeah. around the corners because then you can't turn it quickly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly like you're in a car. If you can drive a car, you can do this even more easily. Right, here we go. So you come down to the bottom. Okay. You can go a bit quicker on the straights, you like you do in your car. When you get to the bottom, you're going to have to do a three point turn. Now you go slowly, stick it in there, turn one, one turn. Now I will stick the needle on the outside of the turn. And then you can move it. It's probably more than a three point, but sometimes you have to do that, don't you, when you're in a car. We call them three point turns, but they're not necessarily. I did like a 24 point turn, I failed that test. <laughs> oh, bless you. See, I was really worried about parallel parking. And that one, you know, you have to do, or at least when I took my yeah. test, it was like you had to do the two out of the three. And yeah. luckily, I didn't have to do that one. Oh, see, I didn't have, for some reason, I can't parallel park to save my life now, but I, when I was doing my test, it was not a problem. It was backing round the corner was easy. Three point turn I failed on. Isn't it interesting? Yeah. I mean, that's the easiest thing to do with. No, don't you worry. It's a, <laughs> but tests are nerve, nerve wracking yeah, things anyway. It was so. Now, I don't hold it here and try and slide it round with my fingers here. It's much easier to hold onto the material like you're holding your steering wheel and steer it round. Much easier to control it. Now, I went over a few stitches and then I've got a fixed thing on this machine, but you could just cut it off. When you've done that, now I would say do the leaves first before you do your um, stalks or veins or whatever. 
because yeah you're going to go over the top yeah you're going to you? go over the top of them and do your leaves before and the stalks before you go around here because it's easier to go over the top of this the same as you're sticking them down in order starting with the thing at the bottom and working the way up that's kind yes. of the way you want to do your satin yeah. sticks yeah, yeah. you it? do it just the same yeah, yeah. now i'm going to turn this right down to naught 0.5 for the width of the stitch. Oh, that's that's the length. Silly me, what am I doing? I don't know. I can't see it. For the width of the stitch. Now I want this turned down to 0.5. That's a, that's as small as I go. Because I'm going to make the the top of the vein on the leaf look pointed. Right. I don't want to. I don't want a flat end on it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Got you. Yeah. Now. Few stitches. Yeah. Turn it up to one. A few more stitches. Turn it up to 1.5. A few more stitches. Two. Now I don't go higher than two. On the veins. No. Yeah, me too. I always do a slightly narrower vein than I do a normal satin yeah. stitch. Is this yeah. in the instructions or this is just down to you? It's in the instructions, I think. Oh, okay. I'm Wonderful. not sure. Just, no, actually. Well, 2.5 is in the instructions. This vein bit is not no. because this is up to you yeah. whether you like it. We're just telling yeah. you how we yeah. do it now. Yeah. The first applique that I did and the first quilt I've got with, you know, serious applique on it, I did flat ends on the veins and they don't look anywhere near as good as they do doing uh, that. Interesting. And it's so okay. easy to do it. Yeah. Right, I'm going to do two all the way down. Because I'm sure that's what I did. But you can do 2.5, it doesn't matter. This is what you want to do. Yeah. It's your embroidery. And this is embroidery, really, isn't it? So yeah. you get down to there, and it's not, it, you don't have to um, worry about going a few stitches over. Don't leave any gaps, but don't do few, a few stitches over. Now, I'm not going to do the other leaf because you've seen that. I'm going to show you something else if I've got time to do that. I'm going to put some different colour thread on. Okie doke. I've got a bobbin fill on the bottom, so I don't need to change the colour on the bottom. The satin stitch I never do. You can put the same colour top and bottom, sure. but you're wasting thread and you're um, having to keep changing it all the time and it's a nuisance. Yeah, so right. it's kind of okay. like a clear... Yeah. Well, it's I mean, not a plastic you... thread, but it's a, it's a nylon thread. Yeah, it's a nylon thread. But if you don't want to use that, what I would say would use a very fine polyester, cheap thread yeah you can get I, plenty of those i mean i tend to use the cotton because i've got a lot of different colors in cotton and that will work but you've got to test your machine in your um yeah. tension on your machine because yeah. it will be a thicker thread than your yeah. top so see how your machine yeah. pokes with it before you commit to it okay Doug. now the first time i did these i went round that that's not that that's not as easy as as um you know it going right round something that's not got those little corners on so this time when i made this quilt i didn't do that i found a better way mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> now 2.5 now i'll go around just the bottom edge of this and now the edge is on this side so i've got to watch that side that's the edge of the applique right Just I'm just going to do one petal. No worries. If you've got anything in your basket, do make sure you're checking out. Or maybe I'll do two out. so you can oh, see what I'm doing. Round there like that. Okay, okay. See how I'm just steering it round, round to that corner, and then up, and then do the same with the next one. And I went all the way round like that. Oh, you cheat. I'm a cheat. <laughs> I've done this block and I didn't do it that way. <laughs> so you jump it basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good idea. I mean, there's nothing complicated to this. You don't even have to go around that tiny corner. Because uh -huh. I'll show you what you do when I get to the. Um, when you've done all of those, you go all the way around every one. You don't need to cut the threads in between. You can just do that all at the end. Right, like that. So just imagine I've done all the way around. Okay. Ow, just chopped my thumb there. It's not good, is it? Not very hard though, because I never chop things very hard when I'm doing that and then I don't get blood on it. <laughs> right, so I've just done all of those and then when I've done it, oh, not that one, I'm going to do this one so you can see. 
Right, and there we go. Okay. This is 2.5 again for the width. Cut that off. I've marked this with a light pencil, a white pencil, so I can see it. These are all done, obviously, in an ordinary um, pencil. Maybe you when you get to here, yeah. it just go straight around the top. Well, so you don't have to do that. Little no, do you? no, you don't. No, it's perfect. I was in a hurry to do this because I made this all in a few days and I needed to get it done. So sometimes when you're under pressure, that's when you come up with these new quick things. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you don't need to go too slowly either because it's easier to go around smoothly if you're going at a reasonable speed. You don't have to rush, but just take, do a steady speed. Yeah. Maybe I can do it a bit quicker than some people might. Because, and, yeah. now, I only went halfway down this one. You'll see in a minute why. Okay. So when you get round that first one, you stop halfway down. Um, put your foot up. Down there. Okay. Right. Stick it in there. And then come back up the other side. And if you catch that thread in, then you haven't got to cut that off. And it's... it's Really good. Yeah. Yeah, I do that. Make sure you do that over that one yeah. and just go over it and then around you come. I will say I would have filled all these in, but I'm not too worried about doing that because I know that I can go up to them easily. But if you're a beginner, you probably wouldn't be able to do that as easily. This is a really good set of patterns for yeah. beginners. I've had it is a good beginner. Thing. Yeah. This, especially this pattern. Yeah. Sorry, my lovelies. I know I'm, I am. I am lifting up because of the, the, we're so far away, and I'm watching on the monitor. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, I can't wait till we can all be together. I know. <laughs> I miss coming down the council with I you. I know, right? I know. Hey, yeah. Although I'm a bit lazy, it's quite nice just sitting here doing nothing. No, that's fair <laughs> enough. That's fair enough. Look at that. That there looks absolutely beautiful. It's really lovely, isn't it? Yeah. You're seeing this really close up. Mum's really good at this, mm. so when you're close up, you always see every little imperfection. And I can't really see any there, but don't no. be put off by that because mine are not that perfect that close up. But when you're looking at them at the right distance, as a whole, yeah, yeah, they look really good. Amazing. Yeah, and it is. I mean, once you've had a bit more practice, even you get better at it really quickly. It's not as bad as learning to drive a car. Much easier. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Um, I, what are, you, are you all right to hold it up so we, just we can oh, see right. it? Yeah, is yeah. that all right? Lovely stuff. We'll just come to it and have a nice little I look haven't at it. done it, obviously haven't done it all round. Just those little pieces that you wanted to see. Yeah, nice. It's at the bottom. That's at the bottom edge. Like. Yeah, there you can we see go. that. Look at that. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much, Pam and Emma. Right, I'm going to do a recap, if I may. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. So if you would like the applique pattern, it is here. And you're going to be able to make the four different projects. And I've got them here. So we've got our fabulous shamrocks. Lovely. Got some great boards. And then we've got our wonderful daffodils. And our thistles. Let's turn it that way. Here's our beautiful flower. Love that flower. Uh, then we've got the bag. Just check this bag out. Look at that. That's wonderful on a bag. Nice little frilly bit at the back. That's fab. Uh, wonderful cushion. Love these samples, aren't they great? Again, another nice little frilly bit. And then, of course, we've got the table runner. One second. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Loving these. Nice, nice, nice. Okie dokie. So, yes. So you've got your wonderful book there, the applique book, and then you've got your four project worksheets. Is that correct? Excellent. Uh, £14.98. Now, you've got a £10 saving, which is an excellent deal. Item number is 966452. Now, if you do want the fabric to make the beautiful quilt, which is just absolutely stunning, here it is. You can see the beautiful quilt. Isn't that nice? But look at these fabrics. Look at the, the border is absolutely delicious. This fabric here, look at that. That's what I'm, I'm going to open it up. Let's have a little look because it's just so gorgeous. Hang on a second. 
Isn't this delicious? That is just beautiful. Isn't it yummy? It's mm. so summery. It's wonderful. Mm. Oh, marvellous. Uh, and then again, you've got all of your lovely other pieces. So all you're going to need to add, of course, is your backing and your wadding. But that is just yummy, yummy, as Emma said, fabrics. Beautiful. Hang on a second. Uh, so you've got all of those wonderful fabrics. Uh, it's £59.99 uh, item. Or, of course, you can spread the cost. Two payments of £30. 915060. Now, we've already had a sellout of our fat quarters. Now, but our remaining options are both limited stock. So you're going to get your four fat quarters. And again, you can use them for the appliques that we've just seen in the book. OK, so this is your daffodil option. So lovely colours for the leaves and the daffodil colours are marvellous. And then you've also got the thistle and shamrock option. They're 100% cotton. They are absolutely beautiful. Again, I'm going to open another one out so you can see the size. Here we are. Beautiful. They're fabulous because they're not just flat colours. There's no. all this kind of variation in there, so it gives you a really good natural effect. It's lovely. And what brand did you say this was? It's Fossil Ferns by Benetex. Amazing. Mm. Wonderful. Um, right, so um, either of those... Ah, right. OK, do be quick if you want these, because once they're gone, they're gone. £13.99. Both options are limited. 360333. Then, OK, we've got the Sky Spinner. <laughs> so you're choosing... So basically, the fabrics are the same. The only difference is the border fabric. This one is the diamond. There you go. And this one is the spotted. But just look at these. I love that. Love that navy. Look at that with like this sort of this. The splodges. The splodges. It's yes. another fossil fern, but it just went really well with this range lovely. of fabrics. It's lovely. Beautiful colours. And so just look at this. They will vary strips. depending on which jelly roll you get, but they're all in those sort of tones and ah. colours. So, mm. yeah. Oh, I see. Ap apologies then. Yes. That's all right. But you're getting a good idea of what's coming in there in the colours. Nice. Beautiful. Very, very similar. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Good stuff. We've got a sample to show you. Here we are. I mean, just look how beautiful that Isn't is. Yummy. Yeah. Like that. Very much so. All right, fifty-nine ninety-nine. Uh, you can spread the cost on flexi buy. Two payments of. It'll swizzle round in a second. Uh, Thirty pounds. There you go. Zero five seven five double three. Okay, moving along then. We've got our Winter in Bluebell Woods quilt kit. So again, you're just going to need to add your backing and your wadding. But there's some really nice fabrics, very gentle fabrics, I would say. Look at that. I love the one with the touch of red. I think that's beautiful. Touch of red. And then you've got all your animals in here. Well, let me try and find them. Look, with our foxes. Hang on a second. I'm going to pop that there because then you can see it a bit better. You've got foxes, you've got deer, you've got bunnies. Oh, it's absolutely delicious. Got a nice little owl there. There he is. There he is. Um, uh, so you get all of your lovely strips and fabrics. Uh, and it is £64.99. Item number, oh, and of course you can spread the cost. Two payments of 32 50 Item number is 679208. Then we've got the cat. Oh, no. Katie just said we've got sad news. Oh, oh they've run off. Yeah, the cats. Naughty pussies. <laughs> yeah, they have, they've run away. Right, we've technically sold out of these, but you do need to check out your baskets. I know it's, it's so easily done, done, isn't it, sort of watching the demos, and then you realise you put something in your basket, and then it gets kicked out of your basket, and somebody nabs it. So um, just make sure you check out, and then you can relax and enjoy. Uh, if any do bounce back, we will let you know. Then we've got a lovely pattern bundle. OK, so let me get this right. We have got our uh, Prairie Rose quilt, Simple Pleasures quilt, Liberty Star, Busy Bee, and the I love the flight plan. I think that is my favourite out of all of them because I like geometric shapes. Yeah, it's, there's something very pleasing about that. Yeah, mm. and the fabrics that are on the on the page like that have been used because they're not because there's light and dark light and shade yeah that's yeah. the nice thing about layer cake is you usually get a good variation but within your layer cake of light starts medium prints small prints large prints so that's a really good one for that because it gives you a nice sort of mix throughout mm. love that so that is 19 pounds and 89 pence item number is 485043 
and then we have got our Becky bundle. Uh, so here we've got our Baltimore quilt, we've got the Becky bags pattern, and we've got the Becky bunny pattern, and they are all really adorable. Look at her. Look at her floppy ears. Oh, no. So sweet. She's doing quite well there. She's usually very shy. Ah. Uh, mm. It's how her little legs are together as well, her little feet, <laughs> how they're pointing in. That's adorable. Right, $29.99 for those patterns. 507828. And then we've got our log cabin bundle. There you go. So you've got the log cabin harmony. Uh, you've got the wall hanging. And then you've got the bear and the bunny. And again, they're really, really sweet. As a bundle 1999 item number is 469505 uh, we've had another sellout see we are busy here uh, we've now sold out of the daffodil option and also the shamrock and that's it we cannot get any more of those um, so thank you very much for purchasing right then um, what would you like to demo then Pam and Emma I thought we'd go over to the blue sky spinner jelly roll quilt kit <laughs> That is a mouthful. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Love that. Sorry about that. It's all good. <laughs> right, I thought I'd show you how easy and fun it is. I really like this one. So you've got jelly rolls, so there's lots of different fabrics in there, and you're going to choose from those to split it up, and it says so in the instructions. You're going to split it up into lights, darks, and then, I, would, I guess, medium. I've written it down as, let's get the wording right, medium to dark. Are you right so, to spin it around to yourself and then we'll get it on the, the, the actual... Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. But that's so much easier. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, OK. Yeah, so you've got your lights, your darks and your medium darks and it tells you how many strips of each you'll need and what to cut out. So I've done my cutting, some yeah. of my cutting. And then you're going to take two strips. Obviously, there's a lot more to it, but I'm going to show you how to make up one of the blocks. And you're going to sew... Two of the strips, as it tells you, I think it's the medium, dark and a light together into um, a long strip set. And that is because it's the quickest way to make the... Let me see if I've got a picture for you. Nope. Doesn't matter. I'm going to show you what it's going to make. Ha oh, ha, that would be easier, wouldn't it? OK, and if I've got my ruler, which I forgot to get out... You're can making... I just say something, mm. Emma? Yeah, of course when you can. When you stitch um, strips together like that, make sure you pin them. Right, OK don't do it without flatten them out together and pin them okay. and then machine them because if not you'll get banana shaped strips and they're not so easy to cut up ah no, that's, that's true again really good tip there yeah okay so once you've got those sewn together i press to the dark because it's the easiest way to remember to all go, always go in the same direction and on this time you can press the dark because you've got a light and a dark or a light and a medium and then we're going to line up i like to line up my ruler with the middle seam really yeah they should be the same they should be deadly straight but if you've not sewn it quite so well the middle <laughs> seems the best way and we're going to trim off the end and then I want two and a half inch strip uh, pieces because we've got two and a half inch strips we've used up half of inch half an inch of it because of the seam allowance so we're going to need another half for the seam allowance on here if you've not done this before you know, won't know what I'm talking about but if you have you probably do so you're going to end up with um, a heart, what, what would I call that? Two squares. Two squares. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, and you're going to go all the way along and cut as many as it says in the pattern. I can't remember exactly how many, but the pattern tells you. Okay, so I'll do a couple of those. Well, we need four. We'll do four for our block. And it is that simple. It is quite satisfying, isn't it? It is. It? Yeah, yeah it like looks satisfying. It. It's quicker to do it this way than it is to join. You could cut them all into little squares and then sew two squares together, no, but this is the that. quickest way to do it. <laughs> no. We like speed, don't we, when we're quilting? I'm not a patchwork as much as Emma. <laughs> but, you know, that is the easiest way. Yeah. I want to get on to the fun bit, and squares are a bit boring, so we like to do that. <laughs> All good. I'm going to quickly press this. OK. Just because it's annoying me that they're not flat. OK, they're flat now. Good, good. OK. <laughs> press we're them on take... the right side as well. You don't press them on the back. I'm going to show you how to do proper pressing. Shut up. Oh, good. <laughs> and I mean that really nicely. I love you too. <laughs> I love you too. Yeah, you're going right. to need right. shush, shush, shush. Yeah. Two squares and one strip that you're told to cut in the pattern. The easiest way to do this is to mark the back of your squares and mark them diagonally. Ruler or not, I mean any pencil will do because you're not going to see it. You want one. If you're going to use a pen, make sure it doesn't seep through to the front. Okay. Nobody's going to see these. Yeah. Okay. I just find it so much easier to mark them. It takes a minute or two. And then we're going to get our strip, and I'll make sure I do this right. You're going to put your square on one end of your strip. 
And if you're passing it to your mother like I am, I'm going to put a pin in if she loses it on the way through. Yeah, <laughs> and I stick them on the wrong end. Then. <laughs> you do. <laughs> and you're going to be sewing along that line, okay? Straight along that marked line. So yep. there you go, mother. Sew along that marked line for me, please. Amazing. And I'm going to get her to do three more because we'll need three more. Come on, machine. Move yourself. <laughs> Right, so are you chain piecing? I can do. Oh, I, I do. would, yes, if it was would. me. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> now, because this is a random quilt, you'd have all different colour strips, and I'd put different colour squares. Um, and you can make this as random or as not random <laughs> as you like. Um, and I'll show you what I've done in a minute. I tend to make one block up in all the same fabrics, and each block is different then. So I'm just going to give these to Mum so she can sew them for me. And I want one off, please. Okay, can you okay. cut that off for me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to pull it out of the back a bit or I shall lose it when it yeah. comes so. through. There's another little tip here. If you if you um, pull the, fat, the work out of the back of the machine while the machine's going, you have to do it a bit gently, um, then it twists the threads together and it doesn't come apart as easily. Oh, yeah, show me what you mean by that. Yeah, I'll do that in a bit. I'll do that with the last one. I'll show you with the last one because when you're chain piecing, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I'll do okay. that with the last one. All right, now, we'll go back to me then while you're saying that very yeah. boring. Claudia? No, yeah. it's so good. <laughs> you don't need to watch I'm going to do something this. exciting. No, not really. Okay, so I've got the seam. Yeah. Um, I'm going to trim off the excess, so it's always the piece away from the middle of the fabric. So it's that bit there because when you fold this back, you're going to end up with the corner on there. Now, the reason right. I'm stating this is I've been on a class and I've told somebody to do this, and bless them, they've, they've trimmed off the wrong side, and then you end up with just a little square, <laughs> which is no good. So make sure you've checked that you need to trim off this side. Okay, doke. Now, you can do it with a rotary cutter if you really want to be absolutely perfect, and then you end up with a perfect quarter-inch seam, and everybody will think you're wonderful. <laughs> but... Oh, not on the cutting mat. There's so people who actually see it before you yeah. it, though. I'm going to show you how I do it in a minute, and you'll go, oh, well, we obviously. <laughs> but there you go. Right. Fabric, big piece of fabric on the bottom. Press it along there. Don't touch the arm with your finger because it's hot. And push it, push it over. And then you get a nice flat seam. If you want to iron it from the back afterwards, you can, but you don't really need to. You just want to get that seam as open as possible. So always push along. And I like to push so that my iron goes straight along that seam that way. Right. Okay, it's the right way to press. Yeah, patchwork. Now, what I was going to say. We're going back to you. You see this? <laughs> slowly. You, you slowly pull it out the back of the machine like that. Okay, okay. If you I've, if I've... you don't put a little bit of tension on it, then it will um, pull it down under the machine and snap it. You see, look, and then that's together. Then you've got both your threads together. Yeah. And then they won't tangle down into the machine as easily. I've got two machines, and one machine quite happily does that, and the other one snaps the thread. It's a little humbug. So try it on your machine. It's a really handy, good technique. That's what they do in tip. factories. Yeah. Machining factories where oh, you I make. Oh, I see. Mm, I've done oh. a bit of that in my past. Have you? Yeah. She's done a bit of everything. Yeah. Mm. What did you use to make in the I, factories? It was homework, but I had an industrial machine at home, and right. I made trousers for Sterling Cooper. Oh. Put the zips in and the side seams and yep. pockets and all sorts. Yeah. That's amazing. I made bridesmaids' dresses and <gasps> teddy bears, all sorts yeah, of things. Yes, fab. Oh, I made um, collars for Marks and Spencer's pyjamas, just a pile of collars. But you had <laughs> wow. to keep them in order or they'd get onto the wrong bodies. Oh. Ah, that's it. Fascinating yeah. stuff. Love oh, it. Yeah, loved it. I loved the machining. I've done any of those things. Like machining, I do. <laughs> Yeah. It's in your blood, isn't it? It is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we come from a long line of shoemakers. Oh. Right. Um, yes. Shush now. Um, <laughs> I'm demonstrating. Shush, I'm in the flow. Um, so you could rotary cutter if you want to do it perfectly. Me, I just use a pair of scissors, cut it about a quarter of an inch. Um, and then again, press it. Now, oh, let's say I've pressed that one. Where's my good one? There we go. So now you need the other side, and you're going to do exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. Draw it. I tend to go through my whole stack of squares and draw oh, the lines I on the back of them, too, but yeah. I haven't done that today. <laughs> so now, this is kind of where I use my, my pictures, and I know that I want my, my parallel lines to go the same way, so all you've got to do is go that parallel line, parallel, diagonal, yeah. sorry, that right. diagonal line needs to go parallel with that diagonal line, so it needs to go on there in that direction. Hmm. Got you. Okay. It's easy. 
it's not hard at all. No. But just make sure you pin, right? Well, you don't have to. Oh. Um, no, but if you're passing it to your right. mother, she tends to let go of them and get them all wonky. <laughs> so How I've rude. done that before. That was pinned wonky. Hmm. Well, you've still got it in the right place, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> yep, that was right. These are small enough that you don't need to pin them. If you feel more confident pinning, go for it. It See, is better. You yeah. can get on a nice little roll with this then, can't you? Yeah, you really can. Yeah, yeah. I have all my different strips and all my squares together, and I will sew them in fours so that when I'm making up my block, and I'll show you again this in a minute, one block has got all the same fabrics here. Oh, I'm showing you the wrong way up again, aren't I? Sorry. All the same fabrics here, and all the same fabrics here, and all the same fabrics here. Yeah. So that will be one block. So as I say, I do them in fours like I am now. And then each block is different because the next block will be maybe different fabrics. So I'm going to quickly do these because I haven't done them that yet. You don't get bored when you do something like this, no, you know. I do I if see. I do them all exactly the same. But this is really good from that point of view, isn't it? It's yeah. a fun one to make. Mm. And once you've made one, if you've got any jelly rolls hanging around. Mm. As we have. Yes, I bet. Got a few. We've got a few in our stash. Oh, hey, um, why? <laughs> So, I'm going to hand mum these, mm -hmm. again with the parallel diagonal line, piece them up and then she can do that and then I can just show you how to put this block together and you'll see how simple that is and you'll go, why do I need a pattern? <laughs> and I'll go, you're quite right. We better be quick then because um, we're running out of time, Emma. Mm -hmm. We have about ten minutes left. Whoa, not a problem because we're practically done. Mm. See, that's how quick it is to make a block. No, that's great. Isn't it good? It's a really good block. And yeah. it looks really quite fiddly, and it's not. Mm -hmm. I'll have to ask, which Pam have you got next to you there, Pam we've, doll? We've gone back to good old Unicorn Pam. She was the first fancy creation. Right. But we just felt she was kind of in keeping with our flowery theme today. Yes. Yeah. The flowers on the skirt. That's really and if cute. You, if you tune back in at seven... Yeah. You will see some more unicorns and dragons and all sorts. So Ooh. she fits in well with seven o'clock. Oh yes, so is it a got... different show at seven? Yeah, yeah oh, yes. Ah, uh, lovely. So do make sure you are ch tuning in. Lovely stuff. We've got stuffies and all sorts. You've got what? Sorry, stuffies. stuffies. A bit more of a stuffies. fantasy hour. Oh, I shall have a little look. Yes. I'm, I'm That's what we later. call them, stuffies. Stuffies, yeah. That's such a stuff good name. You're nearly there. She's nearly there. Nearly that's there. great. No, that's great. He's zipping along. I'm going to quickly trim these and press them. The pressing is exactly the same with the other piece. Okie dokie. Now, this doesn't really matter which direction your seams go, but it's just easy to start with the bigger piece of fabric on the bottom and then push the top over. But we're not going to be... I don't think we're butting many seams on these blocks. Oh, she's lost the corner a bit there, haven't you? I've it up a bit. You see, it's sort of jumbled up a bit. But that's all right. We won't worry about that. I'm really not cutting them very well, but it doesn't matter because nobody's going to see the back of this when I've quilted it. You wouldn't do that at home. It's just you have to do it quick, don't you? Like yeah, I'd make this a little bit neater at home. But I want to be quick for you. So these are all pressed now. Well, they are now. OK. So we've got our picture. I like a picture. And we're going to lay it together. And this is where you'd put them together in fours. But I'm just going to lay them out for you. So that's one corner, that's another corner, this is where you're spinning them now. So that's another corner, Okey -doke. and that's another corner. So you can see that that then gives you four blocks and then you join your four blocks together and that's your block, that's it. That looks really good. So you're only making two different strips. And that makes that, that one block. Nice. Are we able to have, I'm just asking my director here, are we able to have one more look at the um, finished sample? That would be so nice just to see, see the rest of it. Mm. Uh, but it's a, it's a really, really beautiful quilt. Look at this. Lovely nice. Yeah. Okay, so we'll probably have about f five, six minutes if you want to, if you've got some, a quickie of something. Ooh, Shall yeah. I leave you to have a think? Because I'll, I'll just do a quick... Uh... You can do. I have got something I can do. Oh, amazing. Thank you. OK. Right then, so we have got our wonderful choices here of our Sky Spinner. OK, so the choices in the border. Um, 
you've got an idea of the colours that you'll get, but this one is the diamond, so you can see the diamonds there. And then we've got the spotty one, which is here, so that is the difference is the border. But then you've got those lovely strips. So it'll be these sorts of colours, but aren't they lovely? They're sort of so... There's something autumnal about it, I feel. Uh, the finished quilt size is going to be... 40 by 48 inches there it's gorgeous two payments then of 30 pounds if you want to spread the cost item number is 057533 now the applique pattern book uh, has been very very busy and it does also come with those lovely flo floor four projects um, so we could see we've got our wonderful floral i love that flower i think it's absolutely gorgeous and then we've got the thistle and our daffodil and the shamrocks <coughs> excuse me uh, 14 pounds and 98 pence sorry you've got a 10 pound saving item number is 966452 right then i'm going to hand back to you if that's all right Emma <laughs> yeah, and Pam. Sure. Hmm. i've got to show you really quickly how Emma's going to do the patchwork sorry shush no, that's fine. Um, how simple the patchwork block is to go with your quilt, the um, mm, applique quilt. Yeah. So I've got the pattern here and you can see that I've given you the, the pictures on how that quilt, that block's put together. And the only non-square piece of fabric is a half square triangle. Now other people may have shown you how to do it. I'm going to show you too. Okay, so you've got your two um, squares. And the thing about the half square triangle is... Um, so the easiest way to make it is you cut your, your square, you always add on half an inch for, for seam allowances, don't you? So if you want your half square triangle, then you add an extra half an inch. So every diagonal so you do, you add on half an inch. So for half square triangle, it's half an inch extra. Right. So instead of a two and a half, you cut a three. Okay. For a quarter, quarter square triangle, which is diagonal that way, you'd add another half on, but we're doing a half square triangle. So I've drawn my diagonal line. I've got two ready. I'm going to pop it on there and instead of sewing down that line, you're going to sew a quarter inch on either side of that line. Mm -hmm. Or your mummy's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And once you've done that, foot pedal. you've pretty much made two half square triangles in one go, which is what I love about half square yeah. triangles. They're so quick. Here we go. We've got, uh, we can see the finished sample, that lovely Same. bright one. That's, That's so it. pretty. Isn't it lovely? I really like that one. It's very striking. Yeah, the, the, both the blocks and the applique really do stand out, don't they? Yeah, they do indeed. Right, how are you going, Mum? Back to you, Pam. So to look like the wind. She so <laughs> <It> does. <laughs> right, lovely. So the last step is, again, you could rotary cut that. I use a pair of scissors straight down that line. Yeah. Now, again, you usually have a light and a dark fabric just to give you definition. So you would open these out and you would press them to the dark, which means you want your light colour on the bottom, dark on the top, and ooh, push it over that way. There you go. Just use the front of my iron to get that fabric over, and then it's a case of pressing it. And this just means you get a much better shape. But the thing about this adding a half an inch for the diagonal, the half square that I was talking about earlier, is you will need to trim them. Some people say um, an eighth of an inch difference, yep. but we don't do that. We make sure that we do that and then trim them down a bit because they're all perfect then. Yes. It's so much easier to put it together at the end if you've done that. Lovely. It takes a little bit of extra time, but it's worth it. Yeah, totally um, worth it. I mean, yeah. no matter how well you sew, you always find that, that when you're sewing and pressing on a diagonal, the fabric mm -hmm. stretches. So you'll see that... I'm trimming off not straight pieces, but I'm getting this dead straight. And I will use a ruler that has got a diagonal line on it, and I'll line that diagonal line up with the middle of, with the join in my fabric and trim it around. And now that is a perfect two and a half inch half square triangle. Yeah. Mm. And I've got two of them. And they're so much easier, as I say, to put them together if you do it like that. Yeah, mm. much neater. Mm. And then you've got your pattern, and you're going to be popping them all the way around the edge and a couple in the middle. And the rest of it is either a strip or squares. Yep. You can see there. Perfect. Very simple. Thank you. That was, that was good timing there. Thank yes. you very much, Pam and Emma. Thank right you. then, so let's have a look at these gorgeous fabrics. Um, so you get all the fabric that you need for the front of the quilt, and then you just add the uh, wadding and the backing. Uh, so let's have a look at these fabrics. Again, I'm going to open this one up because it's so nice. 
I love this fabric, loveless, so beautiful. One second. There you go, look at this. Isn't that stunning? It's so summery, it makes me really happy. Yeah. Yeah, love that. Love In that. Pinks and purples. Oh, Perfect you can't colours. Go wrong. I'm with you. I love those colours together. <laughs> love those colours together. Um, let's just fold this up a little bit. Um, and then you have also got these beautiful fabrics. It was almost like. Do you know what this reminds me of is um, in, in terms of paper crafting when you've got, like, got a distress ink or something and then you throw water at it and it's the, the colour lifts? Yeah, it's like almost like marbling as well. Yeah. Yeah, all that kind of thing. It's beautiful, isn't it? You really can see pretty. ferns in it. If you look carefully, you can yeah. see a ferny shape. I think there's yeah. one. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Mm. It's a fantastic fabric. It's been around a long time. Has it? It's always been around as long as I've been quilting. Yeah. Yeah, nice. mm. with lots of colours to choose from. I know, you can see, because it's so vivid, isn't it? Mm. And then we've got these pieces, beautiful greens, and your reds. Oh, thank you. And you've got your oranges. This one's a really nice sort of ochre colour. I like the swirls mm. on that one, very yeah. pretty. And then, so where do, the, where do the whites go? Sort of in the back of the block. The, the plain whites or the one, the tone on tones, are they a yeah. PK fabric background? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. And then those, I, these, look at these deep reds. Oh, they're absolutely stunning, aren't they? <laughs> Beautiful. And then again, we move on to a, a little bit of a ditzy floral and our fabulous ferny green. Lovely. So you've got the pattern there. Uh, you've got your fabrics. And uh, two payments then of £30 if you want to go for it outright, 915060. But we would recommend going for the um, applique book as well with this. Yeah, else you won't have your rose pattern. Unless you want to put something else on it as the applique, but you will need it for the rose applique pattern. Mm. I love that. Yep. Really, really nice. Um, thank you very much, ladies. Thank you. Thank we, you. I'm, I'm going to come back into the studio and see what lovely fantasy <laughs> objects then you're putting out <laughs> yeah. for later. That sounds yeah. good. It'll be fun. Amazing. So the ladies, Pam and Emma, will be back at 7pm. Do make sure you're joining them. Can't wait to see what they've got lined up. Okie dokie, we are approaching four o'clock, which means it's our final call for the one day special. Yes, indeed, we have got Charmaine in the building with uh, Dolly Dimple's one day special, followed by Joanna Sheen magazine box kits. And after that, Fabric Freedom launch. Hi, I'm Anthea. Uh, I'm from Quilting Antics. Quilting Antics started around 2011, 2012. I'm never really sure. We love wildlife um, and often our designs incorporate lots of British wildlife. We're, we're really well known for that. At one point, we nearly became the cushion company because we've churned out so many different cushions. But we'll do bags, we'll do cushions, we do book covers, we'll do things for your sewing room anything if it pops into our head and we can physically make it then we'll go for it as i said the buzzword is all about fun for us on our shows we always like to have lots of fun there's always lots of laughter and hopefully you'll learn a few things that you didn't know along the way so don't miss the quilting antique shows Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. I hope you enjoy watching us and crafting with La Blanche. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family-run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. All 
of our MDF products are produced in Devon, in the UK, and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows. to you it's four o'clock that means of course it's time for the final call of the one day special we have had sellouts already so we haven't got everything for you but of course if you haven't seen the show before stay with us for this hour you can of course watch on rewind as well um dolly dimples that means one thing that means one very special guest has got to be here with us and she is it's our charmaine oh, hello I'm special again oh, you, <laughs> are. Thank you, you are you are do you know what if there's ever a show to put a smile on your face Charmaine it's one of yours it really is thank you thank I you, adore dear. these I've got to admit I will put my hands up. I was very busy yesterday um, packing things still so uh, I didn't get to see the launch but of course I'm so pleased to have this hour let's have a look at what we've got available for you now the one day special itself did sell out last night but but you can still get the dies in the complete collection because that's what we're looking at here when it was the one day special now we've got stamps as well a wonderful wonderful collection loads of lovely samples to show you as well the details are on the screen of course any savings that would have been on the one day special are carried over they would have been 10 pounds saving there we've given you another 26 pounds on top but if you're a freedom member it gets better let's have a look look at this an extra 40 pounds and 99 pence that is delivered of course now because we can spread the cost we can also offer that to you as well three payments of just 44 pounds and 96 pence let's go through everything Charmaine because you are getting so much here there is in fact 87 individual stamps here there is indeed isn't there there <laughs> is and 16 dies as well so as we like to say a lot of metal for your money yeah and obviously with the dies you've got both sides of the dies as well very so true it's like double double bubble double bubble <laughs> double bubble there you are look at the wonderful packaging here so this will give you inspiration of how to color where to put the highlights and the shading as well now the stamps are available individually so you can find those for 10.99 but of course the savings are in the collection some of the larger ones are uh, uh, priced at 15.99 there are two different sizes here as well we just showed you the one size there so if you want to look at these individually you certainly can do the complete collection, as I say, that's where the savings are, that's where the value is. So if you can afford to go for that and split the payments, it makes it a lot, lot easier. Tell us more about the dies then, Charmaine, because they are double-edged. You can use both sides of them. Yeah, shall I get my little folder out and explore Oh, can you? So I know we've sold out of the, um, the journal um, bookie thing. But um, if we visualise not having those cut and it was a straight edge and you glued them together, but you can get the gist of these. So if, if I just take them out of that, like that, and I take them ones out of that, like that, I'll leave that one in. Out you go. Close, close. You can see how I've done this one on the slant. And that I almost like looks that. like a zip, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay, so I've done that one on the slant. So you get like both sides of them as you do most dies. Let's just clear that off. I didn't think I was doing that so quickly. <laughs> oh, should have been a bit more organized. So let's have a, a mess about with these. So if I take this sheet and this sheet and place it in there, okay. you've got the straight edge yeah. and you've got the straight edge here, but with the little um, holes inside. Yeah. So when you're cutting, it cuts this way, but keeps in that side. So if you'd I cut it, it further up that way, so wherever you'd cut it, obviously, if you'd cut it up further that way, you'd have a bigger piece there, depending on the size of your die cutting machine. But if you take this one and you turn it around like that and you haven't visualised no holes at the bottom here because that's a separate die, which has gone bye-byes again, oh. every time we bring it, that just sells out. So we glue it down at the bottom like that. You've got a pocket then if you wanted to use it as a pocket. Of course, yeah. Okay, if you didn't want to use that one as a pocket, you could use this one as a pocket if you wanted to do pockets. If you put the dies in together, two, two together, you've got a double-sided one, if that makes sense. Love it. That, you know, you can mix and match them together to make fancy borders. If we two, turn it like that, the way I've done this one is, and laid it out like this, if they were all glued together, you then got turning pages. 
and if you'd got the holes in there and you put rings in you could have it as one of them flippy ones okay and you can make those pages the width you want as you say there, exactly because, yeah yeah depending see, on where you cut the edge like this one has come from that side yeah. so you've got the bigger one i could have turned that die around and cut it turn the die around and cut it the other way and then it would have been more like that does that make sense yeah it does yeah. make sense so you can have it as large as you want what i've done is i've is it graduated yeah, yeah yeah or stepped it or stepped it yeah. down i just make random yeah, words the graduation, that's so i've right. stepped it down so normally we say we'd have positives and negatives but in dolly town we just go with the positives so <laughs> this is one side of the die that is the other side of the die yeah. so i move that one so i move that one like that come on you little devil then this one and this one let's get them in order now yep they go together oh, like that yeah 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 that one and that one I they like go together one like that does that make sense yes it does right this one and this one go together no they don't i'm telling lies because that i oh yes they yeah, do right this one is actually the one that i put in to go with this one does that make sense yeah so if i want to cut it out i can cut it out together like so like that to make a funky border i'm going to sneeze guys. right got it yeah oh i like that as well that looks really effective Phew. well I, I cut them both oh bless you charmaine excuse, I'm excuse me over the shoulder boulder older right here we go so you've got that fancy border and if you move it again like that you're getting another fancy border so you, i know you've seen quite a few of my ranges can you see these mixing with other ones definitely yeah and you see how you can build it up again and again with funky colors whichever colors you want so the negative of this one which is our positive positive is this one and i, I absolutely adore that one it comes out of there which everywhere around it very is like quirky that. isn't it, it as well is. do you know i love the colors you've worked with there because to me you want those bright well you can go with anything you can go monochrome you can go grungy but the colors work so much interest if you're building these up as pages or the edges of your cards as well do you know, you've explained that very very well charmaine and it does show you know what you get in value for money here as well because there's absolutely no wastage whatsoever no there is i mean look at that tiny little piece that i've chopped off yeah. I did, I did that it was um k rota i think they're here these two she said with that one die alone if you were to die cut it and then trim off the sections so if i grab that one because i did it in a previous hour and i can't remember what time because i've no idea what time it is right now to be honest <laughs> um and i never have i don't know what day of the week it is final call i can guarantee that charmaine <laughs> this okay, is the last show for then. you today so it was done with the bumpy one and this is asking it's in mach machine and this is the straight one that goes with that if that makes sense yeah. so you can have the two together so what we did is we chopped off the one at the top and then a straight line and did away with that one right, okay. and then did the same with this one but oh, the next clever, one down and that was her idea and you can just keep going with that so it's as like well. an index card or it's, a page turner yeah, it is yeah. but then with the bits that we've cut away if you take two of those pieces that we cut away you stick them together and you've got like a top tree is it is that what it's called Topiary tree. Topiary tree. Oh topiary yes. Bush. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You now know now what I mean. Now, now. might be the wrong name, done. but yeah. no, that's <laughs> right. Get... Topiary tree. So you yeah. can do all sorts. You can it. make mountains. There's cards where the girls have made oh, mountains. Oh, do you things. know it's endless. What are the shapes. Absolutely. But what can you do shapes? Whatever you want to do. Absolutely. And we've got some more beautiful samples. Now, remember, the dies themselves, the one-day special, sold out. So the only way you can get the dies is part of the big collection. Stamps are also included. Of course, you can go for the stamps individually, two different prices. But let me just show you one or two of these samples. I absolutely adore this. Look at this. I mean, that is a great use there of not only the stamps, Charmaine, but the edges as well. I mean, the interest in this. I love the colour scheme also. I was just saying about the bright colours. This is a little bit more sort muted, of subdued, muted, muted it? but it yeah. works so, so well, doesn't it? Yeah, and a sneaky pop of colour in there look from the back that. of the papers. I love it. Oh, look, that is absolutely fabulous. Again, if you want to work with your cards using those dies as the edges there as well, along with the stamps, it works every single time, whether you're using double edges with fancy detail, one edge there, but do have a look at these stamped images as well. They're absolutely beautiful. There, <laughs> look, the dog house. Oh, look at the doggy. 
I love that. That is coloured so well. Who I, did that I one? Love, I love the colours That's on that. That's traces. Tracy's, Isn't uh, that uh, fabulous? Colouring, um, without coal pens is absolutely amazing. It really is. But look, even your tags, again, showing how you can work with the dies and the stamps as well. I'm going to show you one more because this one did catch my eye. And again, if you're going for the big collection, the use of those dies... These are different papers. This is one of Lou Sims, actually. But look how Lou has used those dies to create this beautiful, beautiful album. So you can see the pockets. She has mixed in on the edge die number one with this as well, which was the first one that we brought with the Divas. Um, so you can see that all three of the ranges go together. Those circles are done with one of those. But you can see that number two and number three in there. Now, she has all, set, all three sets, and she didn't... She didn't know when she'd used it with the Child Bella show and went on and went, oh, she's used the ones that have not been released So she yet. gave a sneaky peek before you actually <laughs> no, she launched didn't them. No, she didn't realise and I didn't have the heart to say anything because I didn't want to pull uh, to pull it from the show because you've seen how much work well, she's done. There's a lot of work in there. But you can achieve the same sort of uh, sample there, product there as well. Look at these cards. The whole collection is on the screen for you. 324743 if you want to go for Those characters are so adorable. 60% of the big collection has gone. Remember the one day special has already sold out so just a reminder for the final time at the moment the only way you can get the dies is to go for the big collection you've got two die sets there but did we say 16 individual dies yeah and you can use both sides of them you've mm -hmm. seen how you can do that 87 stamps included in that selection there as well now we have got more for you because we've got stencils as well so let's have a look at those of course these are going to go hand in hand with everything we've already seen but of course they were also standalone as well now I have got a couple of boards in fact there's more than a couple here. These are lovely. Three quarters of the stock has actually gone. Love these, Charmaine, because, of course, you've got, you know, a whole background there. Or you can use just sections. I love how this has been done. So it looks distressed. Well, all I've done with it is I've inked through. And then with the ink that's on the stencil, I sprayed the stencil ah. and, oh, did, course, and did I the mop-up. So that was mop-up number one. Right. And then mop-up number two is in front of me in a minute. Okay. But we'll wait until you finish there. Okay. I've showed it throughout the hours. Well, there's another exactly stencil. So you've done the, the same, same thing, thing exactly there. Exactly the same thing. Nothing fancy. Doesn't that work So you well. can see the whole image and then, and then the mop-up. And the same with that one. Love it. And they no all work in conjunction with each other as well absolutely fantastic and you can see here how the stencils work of course with the full collection with the dies and with the stamps as well so you've got your broken circle in there you've got the diamond maze and you've got the diamond flower all for just 14.97 and nine pounds saving throughout the one day special show 629252 is the item number i love the fact that they've got the holes in there so you can put them in your ring binders as well well yeah they all are yeah, they all fit brilliant. in the ring <laughs> all fit in the ring binders but we no sold excuse out for again. losing them put them safe <laughs> <laughs> right now, we often see, in fact, we usually see from Charmaine and Dolly Dimples, of course, the backing papers to go with the selections that we've got on offer. And there's no difference here today. We've got these for you as well. Just $12.99 for 25 sheets. Now, normally, you get 24 sheets. You've got an extra yeah, sheet. Yeah, normally you do 24 in a pack, but... Um um, Anne-Marie had uh, free reign on this, so she mixed them up with some of her bits and pieces and some of my papers as well and kind of tweaked on it, but I left her free reign with it, apart from that one where I said, we've got to have some borders <laughs> with papers, so it turned into uh, a 25 pack. So Anne-Marie is the designer who's designed the stamps and designed um, the papers today as well. Oh, wow. These are so, so cute, aren't they? Look, look, look. And, of course, the papers, they're uncoated, so you can stamp on them, you can emboss on them, you can tear them, you can spritz them, you can do whatever you wish with them. Uh, again, use in conjunction with everything else that we've got. Twelve ninety nine is the price. A £7 saving if you want to go for those papers. Very, very quickly, I'm just going to skip through these because I have got other copies here, just so you can appreciate what you're getting. Love the fact that you've got the little characters in the corner there. Oh, lots of interest going on. Love the colours in these. Absolutely beautiful. So much detail. Oh, I like that one, Charmaine, with the fish bones and the, yeah, uh, the dog bones. Yeah, that's obviously her artwork there. Oh, that's amazing. Love it. Wonderful. 372-399 is the item number if you want to go for these. Right, let's head over to Charmaine for the first demonstration of the hour. What are we going to see, Charmaine? Right, let's get the die cutting machine over. Yeah, that one in. So we've got the die cut. We'll start with the die first. So what have I got? Here we go. 
did. I thought I'd put it in the machine. I have a feeling, I have a feeling. There it is. Oh, gee, Phew. you couldn't be organised if you tried. <laughs> right. When you think you are. So I've, to, I've placed one die in. Now the bumpy edge is going to the outside, which means that will be the cut line. And this edge won't be the cut line. But what it will give me is it'll give me this nice edge. If I just take it in a little further, we will have a um, piece that will come away from it. So in the previous hour, I did some of the stencils and some of the cleanups. So we'll have this bit and this bit, if that makes sense. It does make sense. Um, and you've got instant borders ready to go, haven't you, then? That's it, because, you know, we put these things to one side and we start playing around and we end up with um, other bits and pieces, don't we? And then we just add this and we'll just add that and there's this tiny little bit of paper and we'll stick that on there and you've got a card dish bottle. Wonderful. Yeah. Just to check as well, Charmaine, obviously you're using a larger machine there. These will go through your standard A5 machines, but you want the larger pages, that's where the bigger machines come in. Yeah. So all, all the dies in this, in obviously this length, will go through whatever size machine yeah. you've got. If you're wanting to place them like that or place them on an angle, then obviously you would need to have a bigger machine. Okay. I will say when you're turning them that way and want to do it that way, it depends on your machine whether or not it's going to cut properly yeah. because of the pressure because it's only running through it goes in slowly 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 stop yeah. so it will depend on machine so you've okay. got to know your machine okay Lovely. so if we take this one off and we've got that fancy edge there i give it a annoying tap and you know it's not all come out of there Where's my brush? It there he is. This is where you pass it to the presenter, and we can't do this anymore. I know. So they, they get away with this. doing this, don't we? Don't you don't miss this bit, though, do you? Pop? No, I don't mind okay. doing that. There's something not right about you, love. <laughs> 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 you can get me back later on something else. Uh, no, this is this is the bit that I absolutely detest is the poking out of bits. So yeah, either a, a whack and that, but don't whack too figur figurously. Figurously. Why am I like that you end up uh, bending them so I'm going to position that in again so okay. bumpy edge is cutty edge and if you're unsure just press down and you'll you'll feel the cutty edge and uh -huh. I'm going to place that in there like so okay. so that I'm going to get a wiggly border on both sides Love and it. I'm going to keep this bit for another border yeah okay and I'm going to do the same with that if you've taken it too far over it breaks off in sections but that's obvious isn't it so get my sandwich going so your sandwich of whatever machine your preference is and in and back again bouncy bouncer and out the other side and of course, if you wanted to do two different dies to have a different border, then you can do. Uh, it's just, well, oh, just, sorry, one second. Oh, is it misbehaving your microphone? Oh, we'll just let Charmaine sh sort out a microphone. Remember, details for the big collection still on the screen there. This is the only way you're going to get those dies. Two thirds of the stock has now gone. Remember, there's a £10 saving that would have carried over from the one day special. It's not there now, but we still give you that saving. On top of that, if you're a Freedom member, you're getting an extra £40.99. 87 stamps, 16 dies. We can split the cost, we can split it three ways, so it really does make it a little bit easier for you. Just 44.96 now, another in a month's time, and then a month after that. 324743 is the item number. These characters are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you've got everything that you want there. You've got characters, you've got animals, you've got the trees, you've got the clouds. Look at that, the wind as well. Oh, you can have so much fun with me. I adore the frame there. That card that I did show you earlier on using that frame, coloured in a completely different way, you get a completely different look, but it is wonderful. You've got all the toys and the kennel there for the, you know, the cat. What what do they call the scratchy thing that the cats? Is it a cat post? I think they call it a scratch post, don't they? Scratch post, that's yeah, good. The rope that wraps around the... It's like I'm dancing, isn't <laughs> <laughs> The rope that wraps around the centre is the scratchy bit. And yes, so, it is. Then the top is like the seating area. Yeah, yeah. 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 Scratch oh, post, yes. I'm sure it is. You've got everything you have. So, pet lovers, this is for you as well, but you've got so much in this one bundle. 324-743 is the item number that you need. Charmaine, you all right? Back, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, my max happy. It was dangling down like some crazy pendant there. <laughs> Not that you know that I need a mic. <laughs> 
So I've decorated the second one, and while you were just going for it, my dear, and filling in for me, I poked out the bits that were still just um, popped in there. So we take this one off, exactly the same as before. You notice that I'm using um, the low tack masking tape yeah. as well, just to hold it in position. Okay, and then with the, um, either give it a flick and see how easy they come out, or you can take your, you know, your pokey tools in there. So we'll just. I'll sweep that up later. Move okay. that one, pop that one down, and jig you over there. You can sit there, matey. So if I just take my pokey tool in there, I can just pop out the bits that are just sat in um, the holes there. You know, some of them come out really, sit, yeah. really easy, kind of fall away, and other ones just need some gentle, I'd say gentle persuasion. I'm using a giant pokey tool with them. <laughs> <laughs> gentle yeah, persuasion. You will make me a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh. so what we've got is this is the background. That's the piece that we've uh, trimmed away. So it was a full sheet that I did in the previous hour. And these are the bits that are remaining, okay? Yeah. It, it stops the... I'm starting with a white piece or, in this case, with a cream piece. We've already got something going on in there, yeah. whether we want to add to it or not. And then we look at what we've got. There was no thought process really about what I did when I created these, because if you watch the previous hour, that was one and that was another. That was all neat and tidy and the light, but I still spread it anyway. Oh, have you used a mixture, the three different stencils all three, there? All three stencils on it. Love just it. went for it willy-nilly. So, And this is like one of the mop-ups. So it's, it's toned down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a piece of black, Okay. And I'm going to pop that underneath like that. You see, instant transformation, isn't it? It's when got you like see the black there. boom yeah. ability, hasn't it? It certainly has. Right, then this piece here is one that I did on a Facebook Live. And if I spin that one round, so I've done the same sort of process, but I've added some little tiny dots to this section here. We could pop that underneath if we wanted, or we could move over you. Mm -hmm. We could pop it behind here like so and make it a bigger card yeah. um, and then this is the bit that came oh, out like with the that. middle of it so same process but what we did is we put the dies closer together so instead of far apart we put it closer together and we had this bit taken away from one These side so and clever. a bit taken away from the other side. Just, so each section that you do however big you want to make them by putting in this die and the opposite that goes with it together, you get different effects. Does that make sense? So with this one, I've used the same die here and here. And with this one, I've used the same die, this one. Yeah. But on the other side, I've used kind of the straight wiggly one, yeah. if that makes sense, yeah, that is it. meant to go with it. Very effective. Yeah? OK, so we can layer up different bits and pieces. So we could make it even bigger and do a bit of paper piecing. So it's similar colours that I've used. And we could pop that underneath because I like the pop of black and take it like that. And then we could add another strip of black underneath there. Or you could say, you know what, Shaman, it's just a little bit bonkers. We don't need as much on there. Bonkers and we can move it off. Though. There's lots and lots of options. So we could make quite a few cards. We can bring in some characters that I've stamped Aww. and coloured in. Oh, she's and adorable. Place them on. And you've got quite a fast card no. there, really. Apart from the stamping and colouring in that takes me a wee while. But then we can use some stamps to go with that as well to add to it. So we're going to grab um, a ink, a thingy, one of them. What do they call them? Uh, a skinny slim. Oh, don't knock everything off. And we're going to go for some background stamps. So on the, um, the dog's house, dog house, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Don't forget say. everything we're showing you in the big collection there. The only way you can get the big collection, or the dyes, I should say, are in that big collection. They've sold out as part of the one day special. That went last night. This is why we were off to such a busy, busy start. Everything that you're seeing in front of me here is part of that collection. So all of those individual stamps, 87 in total, if you count them up across those sets, 16 of those dyes as well. We've seen already from Charmaine how you can make multiple, and I mean multiple different you know processes that you're putting together there different size pages different borders different edges you could sit for a month and you still wouldn't have exhausted all those opportunities there
Everything with that saving, £10 carried over from what would have been the one day special, plus if you're a Freedom member, another 40 99 On top of that, delivered free, of course, 324743. That's the item number. We can spread it if you want to take advantage of the Flexi Buy option three ways, just £44.96. We see more of the characters here as well. Now, if you haven't got the budget for that big collection and you're loving some of the characters here, you can go for the stamps individually. There are different prices is dependent on the size of the stamp set so if you've got a particular character or certain elements that you really really love we will keep details at the bottom of the screen so you can see those details but do have a look of course at those individuals so you can see which ones are the ones that you want to go for so back to Charmaine okay what I've what I've done is I've used the um, this one off of the dog's house to create those. So I've inked it and then carried on stamping, then re-inked it and carried on stamping. So you've got different shades of the same pink that I've used. Now I'm using this board, lovely border one here, which is on Betty and Red. So Betty and Red is the one with the... Um, oh, um, 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 it... With Betty anywhere. It's a... Um, it's a fox. Fox, yeah. Oh, that <laughs> man. <laughs> It's been a long 24 hours. It, it, it could be five minutes and I'd still got my, <laughs> my words all muffled. So I'm going to carry on with the same border, down the border. That sounds a bit bizarre, doesn't it? And then re-ink that as well and down the bottom end there. So just slide you down the bottom. There we go. And we've got a nice long border with the arrows, or, or you might say the love arrows, because if you stamp it, obviously, that, that way around or that way around, you've got the little hearts in as well. Yeah. So we've got something going on there. We've got something going on here. And we've got these two characters to place in there. Oh. And if I grab hold of... Da, da, da. I love that the dog's wearing antlers there. But if you wanted to take those away, you could, of course. Would you like me to take his antlers no, off? No, no, no. I'm not Are you to, sure? No, I can do you it. You can it's, do whatever you wish. It's seconds. You, I'm going to leave it. Leave them on. Okay. It's okay, matey. You can leave them on. <laughs> <laughs> he's happy. Oh, so, there's the wind. There's blowing. the wind, and he's puffing away. But what I want to do <laughs> is I want to give him some um, cheekage. We've got to have a bit of cheekage oh, in there. Oh, yes. That's so the all most. I've used is I've used a light blue um, alcohol pencil and literally kind of followed the line art, and that's it. Really scribbly quickly. Okay. And then um, I'm just going to add some pinkage to his cheekage. <laughs> okay? So just round and round in circles, oh. softly there. Nothing too artistic or anything you know anybody can do this just softly softly with your pencil um i've stamped it on the mixed media paper so card so you'll get that texture there as well just a little bit of pinkage in there like he's really going for it and puffing his cheeks it does out. make a difference doesn't it, it defines yeah i mean you don't have to be mega mega artist to do this because i mean have you ever seen a cloud that's going like that <laughs> <laughs> Every day, every day when I travel to work, I see those clouds. <laughs> Did they shout down to you? Yo, Catherine, how you doing, matey? <laughs> so we put that wee cloudy on there, and we pop these two characters. So I'm just going. All I'm going to do now is stick these down, Catherine, and then I'll move on to the next demonstration with them. If you want to do a okay, recap, okay? Yeah, we can do that. Let's have a few more samples because there's so many. I always feel mean when we can't show you lots of samples because the work that goes into these is just incredible i adore adore this character pick and flex, pick and flex. i know absolutely beautiful and every time you change the hair color the color of the outfits you get a different look of course the way that you color with the different mediums you're going to get different looks i mean there's glossy accents that have been added here or glazes to the eyes there as well ah, they look really warm and cozy for winter don't they as one of the little outfits love the characters how they're peeping out from behind of course the use of the dyes there with the stamps incredible we've got the stencil on the show we've got the papers everything works so beautifully oh how many people in your design team uh 10 now i think is there yeah there's 10 got, it, oh, it's good because then i can break break them up that sounds barbaric you know it covers for <laughs> well i'd say it covers the holidays but you know that's not going oh. on is it but you know uh, things happen and stuff yeah and also when i'm doing shows that are quite close to each other or you know if they've got something on so it means some of them can some stop for a while so yeah 10 10. Oh, these are amazing. Oh, well done, everybody. Are they all ladies? Have you got any guys on the team? No. <laughs> do, do men? 
We have a little place where we moan about them. Look at that. <laughs> Sorry, guys, in the years, but, you love know, yes, got to have Adam some retreat. He would love to be part. Do you know, an honorary member, perhaps, for a time, or design team member. These are just, just fabulous. Oh, I've just spotted something else. I've got to show you this. Look at this one as well. This is another great use using those dyes as well. Oh, Isn't the character Charmaine is just beautiful, aren't they? They're so fun. I love, look, I love look that one. And that's just that's using the them on the bottom. So, you know, like if you've got your tags and things, you can add them to the bottom. I tell you, they'd be good <laughs> on Paola's uh, dye as well, wouldn't they? They would. They really would. But then you could use in conjunction with your dyes as well because you can yep. put those edges on and have the quirkiness of the album as well. But, you know, whether you're using straight pages or whatever, those dyes they're a must have that's what i think so all of the dies 16 of them all of the stamps if you total them up between those sets there's 87 of them and we've got the flexi for you as well we can split this three ways we are carrying over that saving from the one day special that has now gone we're giving you the extra savings on top item number is all you need now three two four seven four three now do take advantage of that freedom price we don't always see such generous prices let's tell you how freedom works if you're new to the channel of course have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away, or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888, and join Freedom today. Hello again. Yes, let's remind you about those stencils as well because we've got those for you. Now, these have been very, very busy getting all three of these for a great price of just £14.97, I believe. 80% of the stock has gone. You see, I do remember. I remember those bargains without them being on the screen. I recognised these straight away and thought, that's a really, really good buy. <laughs> yes, will I be shopping? Who knows? Who knows? £9 saving on these today. You know, even without that, they're a bargain. I love the fact that you can put these in your ring binders as well. So keep them safe i'm going to show you the boards again i love the positive and the negative so to speak from the stencils of course always use the ink that's spare on the stencils you get the most amazing effects there so all three of these there you've got the broken circles there you have which one's this one then is that the diamond Oh, is that broken, the broken, that's broken circles? Broken circles, Catherine. What's this one? That one is diamond maze. That's the diamond maze. So that's yeah. the broken circles. You are getting all three, so it doesn't really matter. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Flower. Diamond flowers. There you are. Six two nine two five two is the item number. And then, of course, we do have the backing papers for you as well. As I give the details, I found another sample that I think it would be criminal if I didn't show you this as well. I think it's probably been created using everything we've got on the show, to be honest with you. But the details for the papers are there. You're getting 25 of them. Remember, you can still add to these. You can spritz them. You can emboss on them. You can stamp on them. You can just use your inks around the edges. You can do whatever you wish. Tear them. They cut beautifully with the dyes, of course. Of course, you've got characters already into these papers, but also using the stamps, you can really build these together. Look at the use of these dies again. It's so, so clever. I adore this look because you've got the different depths of the pages, but you can cut them into sections as well. Use the papers that are here. A great price at 12 99 because, again, you've got a saving, and it's a £7 saving here. These should be 19 99 Again, a bargain as they are, but make the most of the twelve ninety nine price point here. Three seven two three nine nine is the item number. Everything can be found on the website. Everything is there individually as well, apart from the dyes which are sold out of course. So if you've got a favourite character, if you've got a favourite animal there, if you want to go for the wind or the trees, they're there. You can go for the dog kennel, you've got the toys for the cat there and all those goodies. Wonderful. All different prices for you. Ten ninety nine or fifteen ninety nine. Don't forget the stencils, the complete collection is there for you as well. With that 
flexi buy if you are going for that anything else that you add into your basket you can split three ways as well now there is card stock on there five star reviews do have a look at that uh, always you know Charmin brings it to us with the dolly dimple shows you can see by the reviews everybody loves the card stock so do make sure that you stock up on that as well we've got great savings across the board there wonderful stuff right Charmaine back to you are you all right to come yeah on? yeah yep so Lovely. this is um this is the one that I've just finished you see oh, I love it address. look at that leave it like you come to me <laughs> I've turned slightly no that's fine we can see yep. love it okay get rid of okay, that and yep. we'll uh crack on with another one wonderful okay so what I've got shove him at the front there we go and um, we've got Colin. So Colin and marmalade. So I'm going to use Colin and marmalade. And that is this set here with the nice little pussy there. So we get Colin inked up. And come on. <laughs> I and love then, it when you ink them and suddenly their eyes are there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like, and you do like to go back in and, and re stamp the little eyeballies just so that they're really standing out though. So that might be because I'm on the mixed media card, which has got a slight tooth to it. It's kind of not super, super smooth, but it's got a little bit of a tooth in there, but it's not too, too rough, if you know what I mean. It's not okay. like the, the yeah. bubbly texture. So a little bit more ink on eyeballs. And then we're going to cover him up and do a little bit of masking here. So he goes down like so. Do, do, do. Nice and easy to cut out. And okay. pop him down. And then we're going to get marmalade. Marmalade, come on, out you pop. <laughs> so marmalade is just going to be sat behind, like sneaky peeking. There we go. And then put that one back and close the book up. Yep. And open and ink. And there and you can see marmalade coming to life already. The ink. Okay, so marmalade's behind. I don't know what marmalade's on, but she's there. <laughs> there we go. And then when we reveal that, that's, oh, that's no. the simplicity of masking. But we're not going to finish there because what we're going to do is we're going to leave that on there. And we're going to grab the mask for marmalade. It's the first thing that I do is I stamp my stamps. When I buy a stamp or I... Um, or of my own made is I stamp them onto the paper and then cut them out and that becomes my mask. Okay. So I'm going to pop you two down there and then I'm going to grab a stencil. So I have got one pre-done but I'm just going to change it up a little bit from the one that's pre-done. So we will have, ooh, we're just going to go with those two. So okay. I'm actually going to use the magnets of, there we go. Like that and hold the magnets in position right, got you. and then we're going to get a brush thingy yeah oh did i put the one away that one right okay well we're going to go with that color instead that's me talking to myself there <laughs> no new there so i'm going to get some ink so i'm going to go with um it's like a lime green and it's called twisted citron so we'll get a f you little swiner. Of course, you could use a repositionable glue, but I forgot to put some on. Stay there. You can see through your stencils, so you can kind of judge where your pieces are. So we'll get a little bit of that going on there and a little bit down the bottom. And I'm aiming mainly for just some of these circular bits opposed to the broken circles okay, that are yeah. in there. There are broken circles in, but we get that one going on and we'll lift that off and have a nose there. Oh, yep, a little bit of colour there. Pop They're that. great stencils just for drawing through as well, aren't they? Oh, they I? are indeed. You know, it's what we first started with, with when we started getting stencils, wasn't it? With the alphabets yeah. and things, it was just drawing on it. So pop my magnets back where the peoples are. Okay. Mama Lev have one. I call another one. Ooh, now okay, I'll go fast. 85% of the stencils has gone. Grab yours. This is final call, of course. Take advantage of the £9 savings, 629252. You don't have to choose because you are getting all three. These are some of my favourites that I've seen you do, actually. I like all your stencils, but this, I really, really do like these a lot. Yeah, there's, I've got, a, I've got a pile of them now, but they do all, well, I mean, I've got all the rest of them behind me. They do all work in conjunction with each other, Catherine. Yeah, I am kind of sticking 
to these three at the moment but they do mix and match with each other quite well and I'm just going to leave that little bit of colour we can have a nose in there and again what I've shown on the previous hours is I spritz that and add it so I just leave them two stencils there I'm going to leave those two colours because I know that I'm going to pull that away um, I actually like it in black and white. Imagine if you were doing one of those like colouring books yeah. and then you send it to somebody else where it's uh, you got the image, the background done and then the images are just These are there great for and you coloured in. Aren't yeah, they? they're perfect for that. So what I'm going to use now is on Anne Marie and Milo is um, this background stamp. So we're going to pop that in. So we're going to make a funky background and we're going to use um, a coloured ink. So I'm going to stick with the colours that I've used, which is the turquoises. Oh, you don't know I love about you know everything that about you do, do as well? <laughs> and I think of this, especially when I look at the, uh, the dyes. <laughs> Giggling away to herself. You, you know what, years ago, Charmaine, when we were crafters, what do you mean um, when we were well, crafters? Well, when we started crafting, <laughs> when we started crafting, and we had the workshops and things, and we didn't have the products that we have now. We seem to, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it seemed to me that everybody had to have everything symmetrical, that we wanted to balance everything so, so well. Four gems, one in each corner. Yes. Does my noodle yeah. in. It and absolutely does my noodle And the dyes had to be in. perfectly symmetrical. The flowers had to be symmetrical. Uh, it's, I don't want to say you've broken the rules, because I don't think there is any rules in crafting, but as time's gone on, I absolutely love the fact that things aren't symmetrical anymore, and you get that so well. Looking at the dies, you've got those different size lumps and bumps, you've got the different edges there, and it's the quirkiness that, to me, makes it such a good product. I love breaking the rules, Catherine, and, <laughs> you know, the rules to me never exist, because unless yeah, somebody says right. why. You know, if I, if I say why and I get an answer, then I could understand it. But if you don't give me an answer to why the rules can't be broken, then I'm going to break them just on purpose because I'm naughty like that. <laughs> Within reason, no, you know, not things in law. But, yeah, when it comes to, like, the parents well saying, don't touch this and don't touch that and don't, <laughs> and don't do this, I mean, you can't use my dressmaking scissors. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, actually, that, that is a no-no. That is a no-no. Yeah, I soon got my own scissors and I soon got shown how to... Yes, I was a naughty child. Not much has changed. Oh. <laughs> Somebody once asked whether or not I was a twin because there was a photo of me looked completely different at the same age. And as I was flicking through and they said, is that your twin? I said, no, it's me. <laughs> and my mum said, oh, I couldn't handle two of her. <laughs> <laughs> You're unique, Charmaine. I never I'm, could be another one of you. When I'm on about my two, she says they're nothing compared to you. <laughs> 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 they do something that winds me up. She's going, yes. <laughs> 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 yeah, revenge is sweet. <laughs> uh, live long enough to be a nuisance to your kids. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going in sticking with the same colours and um, because I can, I'm going to add a bit of pink and I'm going to use the same stamp or shall I add another one? Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. Well, I've got more, so I will. <laughs> yeah, go on then. So well, last, the last one, one that I'll use on this. What set was that out? Did, I not, we did I not say? Is this for your you shopping list done, or for you doing your you job? Did. <laughs> Uh, I will see if I can This is Anne Marie, Anne Marie, and Milo. So you have to watch Catherine because right. she's, she's not actually working. She's doing the shopping list. Anne Marie and Milo. And Milo is the that's the dog with the antlers on, isn't it? That's the one. Yeah. And then we are going to use. Do do do. What are we going to use? Um, today I have a plan. I did have a plan, but I can't. See. Ah, there you are. Here we go. Here we go. We will have Ella and Theodore. So we're just going to go for the dots. Okay, okay. so Ella and yeah. Theodore. So whip to woo the owl. And here comes the pink because I just can't do a card without having some pink. So I'm using Archival because I love these little dinky ink pads and they're cool and awesome. Let's just move the masks off there so you can actually see the characters and you're not looking at some dirty bits. Okay. So we'll get the pink in there and we'll dot it about like so now oh, when it comes my. to the big collection three <laughs> quarters of the stock has gone lots of you are coming in now this is final call remember every one of those stamps 
The dies that you've seen being used are part of the big collection. Yes, you can go for individuals if you've got favourites, but you know those background stamps, those worker stamps, we call them. you've got the focal points in there, you've got all those different characters. Do you know, how can you choose? That's the thing, you can't, can you? I love the fish pones and the, the ball of wool there, of course, to go with marmalade. You've got the dog, you can take the antlers off. That frame, Charmaine, I think is genius. I've got I've got the frame done here. We'll oh, we'll, yeah, we'll do it. the jumping and jump to that in a minute. So I move them to one side. I can't believe how much he's gone. I'm just thinking about packing. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't like that. Oh, thing. look at the characters, though. I just, they're a little snug and warm. You know, you can dress them up. You can colour them how you want. Their eyes are beautiful, aren't they, as well? Put the glazes on their eyes. You know, use your masking effects as well so you can build up those scenes. Again, I love to say this, and it is so true with all stamps, really, but some work so much better than others. The storytelling side of things. You know, you really can build up those scenes, tell those stories, whether it's a card, whether it's a book, whether it's a colouring book, whether it's an album, whether it's in your journaling it all works i think i'm having a little bit of a flush here oh dear <laughs> yeah because i'm all okay i'm just hot <laughs> <laughs> i'm hot <laughs> what do you think Catherine? so this is the I one that, that i was great. going for so i've just done some color and i've used the same sort of um the same stamps but obviously i've added in the um the stencil I love the white space. So do I. I absolutely love the white space. If I wanted to, I know I have got, yeah. Okay, so here's one that uh, Tracy coloured in and cut out. Oh, look at that. And I pop that on there. And I've probably got one. Actually, that works very that well there. because now that really makes the colours pop in the background, but you're not losing the character either. Yeah, there's one that I did. So I've got marmalade, and what I've done with marmalade, if I just pull this back, oh. I've stamped out his little collar. Oh, oh wow. baubles! There, can you see with the little yeah. fish? So I've stamped out the collar and cut it cut it out. You can stamp it over the top, and it just about um, covers up the little um, leaves that he's got on there. But we wanted it so that you could mix mix it about. I love so the just little pop fish. That. I've not even spotted those yeah, before so you pointed it little out. Little fish on on there <laughs> dangling. You know, like we do, we give them bells and things. Yeah. So if you just slide him in behind like that, so it can give you a visual of what. You know, it could look oh, like whether it be there. with the collar on or take the collar off. Come here, collar. Oh, I like it yeah. on. I like the And I fish. love the white space. Yeah, so you know, do I. I agree with you there. We pop a bit of black behind it, so take it off the map. And we pop a bit of black behind it with one of the borders. And it starts to stay there. It starts to come to life. Do you know, that would make a great journal page. You could write down the side in that white space if you wanted to as exactly. well. Exactly. That's why I leave, I leave yeah. things open. No, so really this could like be that. a happy birthday, get well soon. Yeah. It, could, it can be whatever you want. If we remove, remove those bits off of there and we position that on the top, having some creeping in, you've got the same sort of principle again. So that's that one. Over to you and I'll grab my sheet of cards and show okay. you next one. Okay, wonderful. Let's have another recap. Up. So with the dies, remember the only way you can get these is part of the complete collection. The one day special sold out last night. That's how busy it's been. 16 dies. If you missed the previous shows, if you missed the start of this one, you are going to use use both edges of these there's no wrong there's no right you can extend on the size of the pages it gives you that fancy cut the way you can lay these up as well you've got the quirkiness you've got the non-symmetrical element there which i absolutely adore all of those stamps as well when it comes to the big collection 87 individual stamps within those sets 16 dies but far far more ways of working with them you've got everything you would want here but of course if you have been collecting from dolly dimples these characters are going to work with previous selections as well the dies are going to work with the previous selections everything will work together now we have got great savings 10 pound was carried over from the one day special as a freedom member you are saving an extra 40 pounds and 99 pence if you're not a freedom member join because you will get that saving even if you join and opt out in a, a month or two give it a go because you will save that extra saving there everything will be delivered to your door without any further charge and we're splitting it three ways as well so anything else you're popping into your basket you can split three ways as well make it affordable today you will just be paying 44 pounds and 96 pence another month for the rest the whole lot will be shipped to you you're going to be making all sorts of wonderful wonderful projects you can catch the shows on rewind take inspiration from the packaging, take inspiration from the samples we've got here. Love the little teapot there, the stay warm. Isn't that sweet? With one of the yeah, characters. Some tea bags oh. It's just a lovely idea, that, isn't it? And one little character oh, just sat on there. So it's done with the backing papers, one little character, pop some tea bags in, 
um, and the papers to make the square at the front. I, I think that's it. awesome. Do you know, Ross, our producer, did say something earlier on in the show as well, and I didn't sort of vocalise, but I'm going to say it now, because he's, he's quite right, actually. It's not often I say that, but he is. <laughs> These are like theatres. You know, you could build a whole theatre there. You could make little puppets on sticks and play with them as well. Oh, we did have a girl who made us a theatre with did one you? of the CD-ROMs, and we brought it oh. in. There were sheets, that oh. thing, lights on, curtains that drew oh, and everything. Oh, I love it. Oh, you yeah, these really would work fun, perfect with a theatre. They would. Do you know, I can see all the characters in a little scene for Christmas as well in their, their woolly clothes, you know, with the snow in amongst the houses and the towns of Dolly Town. Oh, beautiful. You can give them whatever colour hair, whatever colour outfits you want. The owl is absolutely wonderful. All the characters are wonderful. Do make sure that you check your baskets out. This is final call. 324-743 is the item number. Let's give you a reminder of the other things as well. The stencils have been really, really busy. I am not surprised. In fact, they're so busy. We've gone limited stock on these so make sure you get them. I'm going to show you the boards again, simply because if you're going straight through the stencil with some ink, this is what you're going to get. When you then spritz your stencil with the remaining ink, then you can take an impression that looks just like this. Do you know, in a, in a way, I actually prefer the second one. The, it depends what you're doing, doesn't it? But you're going to get all sorts of projects created with these. Mix them together, as we've seen Charmaine doing. You don't just have to use one at a time. You can certainly build these up. They will work with all the other stencils you've already got from Dolly Dimples as well. Love these, all three of them, for £14.97. Don't miss out on that saving today. A £9 saving there, 629 252 And then finally, we've got those backing papers as well. Oh, I've, got, I've just found another little sample. I don't know what's in this box. I'm going to have a little sneaky peek. Oh! Oh! Oh, look at this! Oh, wow, who did this one? Uh, that is uh, Jojo. Oh, wow, oh, look! Oh, look, how clever is this? It is. When it came to me, I looked at it and it's got, you know, the acetate box at the top of it. And then one of the little circles with the little ribbon was just peeping through that. Now, I've done that on a card before. Oh, I think wow. I did it on the lines. But I've never done it as the box. And I was like, wow. That so when so you actually clever. pulled it from the top, it opened it up. And I was like, what an ingenious idea. Oh, I see. Idea. Yeah, so you just saw, oh, so that it is kind clever, of like slided it? and popped it into it. And Leonie opened it. She said, oh, I've no idea how I'm going to get that one together. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I thought well, when that, I opened that it. might be my so challenge now inside, for the rest of this hour while we go, come back to you in a second. Through. It's, it's so clever. Oh, nearly did it then. And that it's... is such a clever idea. Well, you can achieve the same thing. Go for the papers, you're getting 25. Normally, you see 25, you're getting an extra paper this time. Just going to quickly flick through these again so you can appreciate what you're getting there. So give the details. A £7 saving here as well. 372-399 is the item number. I do want to get back to Charmaine, though. We've only got about five minutes left. So can we squeeze a bit more in, Charmaine? OK, what I've done is, um, luckily, I've already got it uh, Peter Styler. So I've inked up this, uh, the stamp. So this is the border stamp off of the ma uh, something mice stamp. I love that border. Yeah. And it's got look, little mice up there. There's a little mice here. Now they remind me of the sweeties. They don't, they don't, you know, like mice. Oh, I think yes, he's ever so mice. cute. And oh, yeah, the, the sugar mice. mice down at the bottom, or little white mice, whichever ones you do. You've got your balls of wool, your fish scales, and that. But I just thought photo frame so you can build them up you can decoupage them and all i'm going to do because obviously i need for speed is i'm just going to color one of the balls of wool in and i'm just going to use a um, pink alcohol pen and okay. i folded this over as a card but i have got one done as, as a frame and i'm just going to do little flicks in the direction of the wall now if you're really really clever you could do the weave of the wall you know how it like plaits oh. but i'm not being clever so just going to the edges and the same yeah. at the other side. So leaving like a little bit of white in the middle, the same at that side. And again at the other side. And then do the same over here. Do, do, do. This is one of those tricks again that every time I see you do this, Charmaine, it gets me. It's like magic. Because it's simple, it isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it makes that ball of wool look more dimensional. It looks as though, you know, it is a ball of wool. Yeah, I mean, you can do it. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, whether or not you're doing this on some socks, you're doing it on tights, you've seen me doing it on so many different things where you're just leaving a little bit of space either side of it and then just go in with my pencil. And soon as we get the pencil out, um, and I like using um, a navy blue, let's do it. I've got a, a pink out, but I am going to use a navy blue-ish 
Oh, violet blue today. And where the line art is, we're going to go over that. So I'm pressing on a little ah. bit stronger than I normally do for that. Yeah. And then same again around this bit, where that ball of wool is Look overlapping the there, nice. just like that with the blue. I don't like to use black too much, and, I'm, I'm, and I find grey a bit boring sometimes, so why not have blue? Now that works very so well. So put that under there. And it, you know, blue is one of my favourites of the colours. And then we'll add in that blue again as well. Now I'm being really soft on this so that it's it's picking up. Can you see like the grain of the paper? Yeah. I keep showing the same thing. So I'm being really soft on that and mixing that colour that over the top. Wonderful. I'm not going too hard, or else it just cover up the pink, and then that has just been a waste of time. But it turns it into something just a little bit. A little bit different if that makes sense and then same at the other side so now i've shown you how to color a ball of wool and again that shows you how you can mix your different <laughs> mediums you know your alcohol pens with your yeah. your various different pencils it works doesn't it so yeah so well. or if you've got watercolor use your watercolor first slap yeah. on a coat let it dry and go in with your pencils because i would say most people have got more confidence with the pencil so it's light pressure on here because the paper is is doing the work to give it that that texture there you can go in and spend a bit more time what i tend to do is i go off and make a coffee come back to it and go yeah that's okay when i see it from a distance and i'm not there with my head right up close yeah. and personal yeah give yourself that bit of break yeah because you do you criticize yourself yeah, you and do. you just keep going you keep going you keep going it's not right it's not right hey it's that's crafting amazing. have fun i haven't done the twirly bit but here's one that i did earlier and um oh, it's, you see the colors that. this one's stronger stronger colors on there but that's that one and i've done the same technique on his bum bum on his cheekies <laughs> around his ears and a little bit here Look i've added a little bit of the uh, crackle paint over the fish i don't know why oh i do know why because that's the man that told me to <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit down on the fish scales i made a whoopsie because i cut off one of the fish, fish scales yeah but it's been chewed so it doesn't matter you know the break i hope it's not stuck in mamley's throat Oh, that's all I'm gonna say. No, not at all. Oh, we we actually we made an earring out of it. So <laughs> what I decided then is I was gonna stamp another one of the wee mice. So this yeah. mouse, I just pressed on and stamped that, and I, I cut him out and coloured him in in the same colours, and then he's gonna go sit in there like that. And oh. then if we take a sheet of, um, mm -mm -mm. Oh, would you believe we're in the last minute? Where's this hour gone? <gasps> Let's get some paper underneath quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, yeah, let's see the end of this. Remember to be checking those baskets out. If you want the complete collection, that's the only that way one. you're going to get the dies. This is final call. The price will go up. If you haven't got yours, it's 6 o'clock today. But take advantage of those massive savings. If you're not a Freedom member, join to get that discount as well. Charmaine, that is absolutely fantastic. Well, that's fantastic. ready for some Love photos it. in there. So I've got my, uh, my cat photos, which are going to go in there. Oh, amazing stuff. Yes, do check those baskets out. Charmaine, thank you so, so much. I'm just hearing you're back again tomorrow, Charmaine. Are you? What are you doing tomorrow? I don't like mornings and I don't like speaking to anybody. So I say, can you be here? It's over in the morning and 11. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got another show. Oh. It's completely different tomorrow, a little bit different than what you're used to with uh, We're out of time. Dimples. We're out of time. Menu will come up. Join Charmaine at 7 tomorrow. In fact, don't wait until tomorrow. Stay with us right now. We've got Joanna Sheen magazine box kit, and then we've got Fabric Freedom. That's the new one-day special for tonight. And then we're back with the ladies for Quilter's Trading Post. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selective Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, luscious and stencils. 
We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dyes and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us for our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dies and flower stamps. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows Good afternoon. Now we've got a really gorgeous show for you this hour. We've got some wonderful, wonderful inspiration. We've got the lovely Lou live via Skype. Hi, Lou. Hello. Howdy. <laughs> oh, do you know what? You know what we've all been saying about looking at people's backgrounds? I love it. I, lo I love the shelving you've got going on, how neat and tidy it is. Thank you. It's sort of my second home in here. It's five minutes from my house, so I love it. Amazing. Well, it's so lovely to see you. So what we've got here, first off then, is we've got some um, magazine box kits. Now, I love these because they are so filled with inspiration and you always get goodies to go with them as well, don't you? Absolutely. This is why it's not just a magazine. It's a premium magazine. Yes. I always that the extras that you're getting are worth more than what the magazine's worth, to be honest. Uh, and they're supposed to be freebies or extras. Um, you've got some beautiful, beautiful things in here as well, haven't you? With the stencils, the dies, the stamps, so whatever sort of craft that you're into as well is going to be covered. Absolutely. We're just going to have a look at the stamps now. Um, oh, look at this. So celebration, nice little glass of wine, nice. Uh, and then we've got thinking of you, lovely sentiments. I mean, these are your staples. You're going to keep going back to these, aren't you, Lou? Oh, yes. I mean, you're covering so many different occasions there. I mean, within the stamps, you've got things like anniversary, thinking of you, like you say, congratulations. So you are really covering all bases. I think you can't go wrong with flowers yes. as well, especially roses. Very romantic. I'm the same, um, Lou. <laughs> that stencil, it's just stunning. It's so, so pretty. And you can use that with texture paste. You can use it with your coloured inks if you want to, your spritzes, or you can... Um, emboss it with a rubber mat in your machine, which adds a lovely effect too. Nice. Now, we've got a little bonus. We, basically, we've got different bundles here. So we've got a little bonus, um, and then I'm going to flick through the magazine itself, um, with mm -hmm. the uh, Eat, Drink and Be Merry. Um, now, this is worth $9.99 on its own. Right, so... Yes. Th now, the box set is normally $12.99 on its own. So if you go for this option, you've got, look at that, there's an £8 saving. And it's amazing anyway. Um, I love the little extras. We've got Christmas pudding, got a little cracker. There's a glass of wine, a Chris, uh, what did I say, and a bottle. But then let's go to the main event because so much inspiration by um, Joanna Sheen. And you're absolutely right, premium magazine. So I'm going to have a flick through. Um, have you got... Any sort of favourites in here, or it's just all luscious? Uh, it is. It is all luscious. It's all absolutely beautiful. Now, um, everything in the magazine is using the, let's say, the kit that you get with it, all of the tools and things. So you're going to be able to make every single one of the 71 projects in this magazine. Wow. Um, you just need to add in, obviously, your inks, your cardstock, uh, your adhesives. But as you've just got to there, Alex, you can yes. see there's free... 
there's papers and they are really good quality paper as well. So there's embellishments, toppers, um, sentiments. There's obviously backing papers as well in there. There's decoupage pieces to cut out. Um, so you are, you've got a full card kit, even just in those papers, if you pull those out. And because they are in the center of the magazine, mm. you can just pull them out. They're not going to affect your reading of the magazine once you've used them. Oh, these are so beautiful. Such pretty, pretty papers. Do you know what I really like magazine kits for, actually, as well, is, I don't know about you, Lou, but sometimes I can get a bit overwhelmed with how much stuff I've got in my craft room. Whereas when you've got the inspiration all in this magazine and you just go by the dies and the stamps, like we've just said, you can sort of get yourself out of a crafty rut. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it, absolutely. That's one of my top tips for anyone who's got, sort of lost their crafting mojo is to say, just pick three items yeah. and try to make something with those three items, nothing else. Um, and that's really, that's exactly what this magazine is doing. It's giving you a, a small bundle of items and then giving you, like I say, 71 projects, that's yeah. 71 ideas just with that, just using that you you can take this away with you now we're starting to go away a bit more and visit friends and families and things so this can be your little on the go crafting kit totally agree with that now i can't get over the price 14 pounds and 98 pence you're getting the magazine box kit with the 71 project you've got dies you've got stencil you've got several stamps and you're getting the eat drink and be merry so we're covering the whole year to be quite honest aren't we um just 14 pounds and 98 pence this would also make a really great gift for somebody who's starting out uh, into their crafting mm -hmm. journey. So um, an amazing £8 saving. Do check out your baskets. I adore magazine box kits. Premium, no less. 844264. <laughs> now, if you do just want, so we're going here now, if, or if I take this away. So if you don't want the eat, drink and be merry, there you go, uh, then we can do this for you at just 12 99 But personally, I would go for just a couple of pounds more where you get this fabulous die set. So that, that's my recommendation. I'm sure most of you are going to do that. But this is, so without the die, it's 12 99 for issue 13 um, and those lovely goodies that come with it. 201439 is your item number. Next then, so we've got different options for you. You can, you can get issue 13, which we've just seen, with issue nine okay and so this one is the christmas issue isn't it lou issue nine absolutely this is one that i'd probably be um make, taking advantage of the offer yeah. but then putting this magazine away until sort of october november when i start doing my christmas cards in fact usually for me it's even later than that <laughs> me too yeah um it will be a nice surprise for you because Christmas doesn't go out of fashion, does it? It's, Absolutely. You know, they're always going to be relevant um, for every year round. But again, we've got, um, a, a, rather than a stencil, we've got an embossing folder this time. And then we've got those stamps, we've got the dies, we've got the papers, and then we've got bundles of inspiration inside the magazine using those exact tools. So once again, you've got the inspiration, you've got the photo step-by-steps and things, and then you've got the kit to do everything as well. Excellent. I'm just going to have a flick through then uh, this particular um, uh, magazine. So issue nine, 76 festive makes. Love that. I mean, even down to the project that's on the front cover is adorable. Um, so we've got our, obviously our inspiration, but check this. Oh, my gosh, that's really cool. Oh, I really like this, Lou. Yeah, it's brilliant. What you can make with paper is amazing. But if you think of things like teacher's gifts, yeah. I don't know, uh, childminders, the people who have fed you pets while you're away, all that sort of thing, that's going to be absolutely perfect, isn't it? It's wonderful. I love that. And you've got, also I like, you know, you've got step-by-step -step instructions. It tells you what mm -hmm. else you might need. Like, do you need your, well, you know, you need your glue, you need your cardstock, etc. Uh, but um, it's all going to be the things that we've already got in our crafty stash. But then everything else, as you said, it all comes with the magazine. Oh, I see we've taken the papers out for a second um, they are on the counter oh I'm going to show you that here we go so they're they're here um, they're really nice oh and we've got a template as well I've just realized oh yes sorry I forgot about that no as well. don't worry Apologies. um yeah so the cracker template as you saw as you were just flicking through there's a couple of uh, cracker shaped um, projects some are three-dimensional to actually put on your table or give with treats in yes. some are just like you can make a cracker shaped card if you want to but again these papers are such good quality they are beautiful papers they're smooth so Aww. you can stamp on them 
perfect weight for die cutting as well. If you want to do spritzes and mixed media and that sort of thing, they will hold the, the water content in your mediums too. They won't wrinkle too much. They are a magazine quality print paper. Yeah, you can. I can really, I can t de definitely testify that. Is that the right word? You know what I'm trying to say anyway, because I'm yeah. feeling it. <laughs> there you go. Um, really, really nice. Again, look at this deal. This is just incredible. So wait, we're talking, I think, did we say 71 projects in this one and 76 in the Christmas? Look, that is going to keep you busy. That really is. Um, just £16.98 pence with a £9 saving. Really, really good value. Look at all of your goodies that come with it. Item number is 322148. Oh, we have got some images to show you, um, some finished samples from the magazines. Uh, this is from number 13, but it's all right, you're going to get number 13 in with this bundle. Uh, let's have a little look. Oh, this is gorgeous. Are these yours? Are these what you've done, Lou? There'll be a selection of mine. Uh, we've got other design team members. Some may even be from Joanna Sheen herself. Oh, amazing. I love it. <laughs> They've been crafting with a nice glass of wine, it looks like. Of course. <laughs> oh, no, look at this. We've got stepper cards. We've got all sorts here. That's just beautiful. So beautiful. Ah, now here's um, the die, the like additional die that you get in the first bundle, the eat, drink and be merry. See, just one pass through your die cutting machine and you've got a card, haven't you, Lou? Absolutely, and I can definitely, if we get time maybe at the end, I'll quickly whiz that through my die cutting machine to show you how well it cuts. Uh, amazing. Right then, now, um, oh, we've got more, we've got more. I didn't know how many we've got. Um, so beautiful easel card in a heart shape. Go I, love that it's, I love that the images have got petals scattered around as well. It adds to the romance. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> nice, they're beautiful images, so I'm so glad we've got those to show you. Uh, now, coming up next then, we have got some stencils, right, we've got sets of three here. Um, with this one, we've got the Harlequins, the wonderful web. Oh, I like the web, that's cool, isn't it? Uh, and, oh, it's stunning. Yeah, I like that. And you've got the uh, Harlequin. I mean, I love a good stencil because sometimes if, um, sometimes if you feel a, a piece of artwork is missing something, a stencil background is just perfect, isn't it, Lou? I am a huge, huge fan of stencils, um, always have been. They were one of the first things I actually purchased for my craft stash because they are inexpensive, but they can do so much. They're what I call a multi-tool because, um, as I mentioned with the stencil that you've actually got in the Joanna Sheen kit number 13, yep. you can do um, spritzing with your inks. You can do ink blending with like your distress inks. You can use your texture pastes through them. You can emboss with them in your machine. Now, I'm going to show you quite a few of those techniques hopefully in this hour if not in the later hour tonight as well and show you how much you really can get from stencils because I, I love them I really do <laughs> wonderful wonderful right then um so for this set of stencils 10 pounds and 97 pence we have got some more images so let's take a little look um so here is a really pretty honeycomb card and um I think everybody l loves bees you know how how essential they are I think that's great um we've also got the harlequin one love that now, the next ones, because we haven't got them quite in the right order, but um, these backgrounds, we're going to see them in a second. But for this, uh, for that last set, that's 1097. Um, and your item number is 230923. OK, then we've just pounced on the second set here. Um, so in this one, what have we got? Yeah, this one's where we've got, I love a Moroccan screen. I don't know what mm. it is, but I find it, I don't know whether it transports me abroad. I don't know, Lou, but I just, I think that's such a pretty design. I, it really is. It does for me as well. It makes me think of nice warm evenings, warm yes. holidays. Um, especially if you do your teals, your burnt oranges and your golds and things. Um, but these ones are a little bit different to the last set. Besides the designs, they're actually six by six. So right. they're not the, the longer, taller ones. OK. Um, but you can repeat the patterns in any of these if you want to. Um, so you can make them much, much larger if you want. And again, all of those techniques are available to you using these three. Wonderful. So you've also got the pretty florals and the mixed circles. I think we've got some more lovely samples to show you. Here we go. Uh, using the circles. I think we did have one with the Moroccan theme. There it is. Nice. And then there's also one with the floral. I like seeing these. They've been sent in. It's wonderful. Uh, just £10.97 and pence for the set of three. Uh, six by six. Five one one five five seven is your item number. Um, now, we've got another fabulous set for you uh, because we've got our beautiful banners. Now, they, they're real essentials, aren't they, these 
Lou? Absolutely. They're a really good size banner as well. Uh, what I found is that they're not too large to sort of um, distract from the focus of your card, but they are large enough to, to be seen and show up. I'm going to use one on my first demonstration for you to really show you them. Um, but then what we're getting is obviously we've got all the different shape banners, um, all different curves and things, but we've got the uh, words, the sentiments there that work in the banners. And we've actually got, say, so we've got, for example, it's your day and yep. happy birthday a couple of times so that they will fit in any of the different banners that you've got there, Excellent. which I find really handy. Love a good banner, love that. All right, then, uh, so uh, £16.98, and pence, and again, with the sentiments, you've got things that are never going to go out of date. You've got your happy birthday, happy anniversary, get well soon, perfect. And they'll all fit, as Lou said, in here. Uh, £16.98, and pence, item number is 521459. Next, then, we have got our labels. La lovely label dies. And again, we've got some more beautiful stamps. Oh, I like these stamps because they're like in a bit of um, a bit of a, a cluster. They're what I call worker stamps, Lou. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So um, small but mighty, I yes. guess you'd say. <laughs> um, yeah. So these stamps, along with these dies, they'll work together beautifully. You can just adorn a corner of one of your labels if you want to. You can have these say the butterflies fluttering out from behind the labels. Um, but alternatively, you can just use them completely separate if you want to. They make amazing backgrounds, particularly if you use them, say, with um, an emboss a clear embossing ink and then add your ink over the top and things like that. Yeah. Um, the labels are a really good size as well. I think you've got them on a board there, Alex, I can just see. Yes. Um, they are an amazing size for stamping lots of different sentiments and things in. And you can have them either orientation, each of them as well. So if you've got your sentiment stamps at home already, some some larger ones, many of them, I'd imagine, are going to fit inside of these. Perfect, aren't they? Um, and of course, you get your what I call your innie and your outie. Um, yes. Nineteen pounds and ninety-eight pence for that bundle. Item number is five six three nine four four. Oh, we've got an image. Here we go. Yeah, perfect. See, it's, it makes the sentiment a real centerpiece, if you know what I mean. Absolutely, it draws your eye into your sentiment that way. It's always yeah. framing it. Nice. OK, coming up next then, we've got our tag dies. And again, this comes with some really, really lovely and uh, never go out of fashion stamps. Um, so, oh, this is cute. We've got little borders. Can you repeat those borders, Lou? Yeah, the borders are repeatable. Um, you've got corners in there that will work on all four corners of your projects. Um, you've got the oval, which will obviously fit inside the oval of the tags dies that you've got there. And the dies, I don't know if it's clear from looking at the packaging, but you've actually got three of each size. So they're three nesting ah. uh, dies for each shape. Plus you've got the small, medium and large of the little hole punch sort of dies. Um, and the great thing is they're all on one piece, as you can see there, so that you're not going to lose them either. Yeah, I like that a lot. So that's good. Uh, th yeah, I didn't realise there was three myself, so that's really cool. Uh, right, £19.98. pence. Got a few images to show you. 211264. Here we go. Again, another really nice um, focal point for the cards. They're just great fun. I mean, you can even make literally tags for your gifts that you're giving to people. Um, right. Absolutely. Yep, then the next set that we've got. I just want to double check. Are these, can I just ask my producer, are these separates? Okay, two separate item numbers. So let's start with this one then. Okie doke. So we've got our uh, 18 dies, sentiment dies. So we've got with sympathy, best wishes, new baby, retirement, graduation, congratulations, get well soon on your wedding day. Um, again, they just take you through all of the main events that we go through in our lives. And they're just 9 99 I think that's fabulous. Yeah, brilliant price. I love that you get the drop shadow die with each one, so you can die cut just the word. But if you need something to sort of make that word stand out on your, maybe you're putting it onto, I don't know, a patterned paper, for example, and you need it to just have a shadow behind it to make it stand out, those drop shadows are going to work really well for each one. Excellent. So 18 dies there, and then we've got another set for you. I do really like the font. So this is your family favourites. Here we've got happy birthday, thank you, just for you, new home, with love, thinking of you then you've got father's day valentine's day and mother's day do you know how much i i know it's only once a year but i always get my mother's day and father's day and valentine's day out always so another great set to have in your stash and i think even lou even if you've got you know dies at home that say happy birthday it's just nice to have a variation of a different font in your crafty stash because it depends what project you're doing 
Absolutely. When you've got something like, um, you might have loads of happy birthday stamps or dies, but you just want the right size each time, yes. don't you? And what I love about this is the happy and the birthday are separate. So if you want to use them without the drop shadow and you want to uh, maybe put them one on top of the other, you can do that. Or you can just use happy and put another word. So I don't know. Do we say happy Valentine's Day, happy Father's we Day? We can there do, we go. yeah. Um, or we can, you can just say birthday if you want to, or with love on your birthday, as I think it's another one I actually put on a card today using these sets. So they all work really well because across both of these two die sets that you've just seen, the words are all very, very similar in size, if not exactly the same size. So you can mix and match all of those words. Yeah, I like that. Um, now, Lou, do you need a moment just to get your camera set up? Oh, yes, I'll change that round now. Excellent. Thanks, Lou. Um, so if you want that set, it's 999-067-216 is your item number. Here's the website, so then you can see everything else that we've got. I would say, please go back, um, please go for those uh, box sets. They are so fabulous. I love the box sets because, like we were saying earlier, if you do, and it happens to all of us, where sometimes, you know what, I look in my craft room and I want to start a new project, but I'm actually a bit overwhelmed because I've bought too much stuff. Stuff. And I'm like, I don't know where to start. Having a magazine box set is just fabulous because you just concentrate on that and you just concentrate on what's in the kit. And the fact that they've all got some wonderful bonus dies and stamps is just absolutely marvellous. Really, really marvellous. Okie dokie, as ever, you can give us a call 01733 or go to our website, thecraftstore.com. It's sinking in now. It's sinking in the name. It's getting in there. It's getting in there. Right. Um, so uh, without further ado, then, Lou, I'm going to hand back to you live via Skype. Lovely. Thank you ever so much. So I have got um, the magazine here. And what I wanted to do was, uh, first of all, just focus on the papers that are inside on a project. The majority of it, just the papers, because I wanted to show you if maybe you are picking this up for the first time and you don't have a die cutting machine or you haven't yet started to explore inks and blending tools and things, you can still do lots and lots of crafting. So um, the papers are beautiful. Now, I've, I know you had a quick flick through them. Mine are you but I have prepared everything for the next two hours. I've created oh, um, card samples as well, and I've still got so much left. I mean, albeit it's all a bit cut up, <laughs> but worry. I've got so many papers still left. There's a lot here, so um, you're not going to run out very quickly. Fabulous. So the first thing I did was I took two of the papers, and I took the one that has... <laughs> it, it was evening when I did this, which is maybe what sparked this, but I took the one <laughs> of the, um, the bottles of rosé in the glasses. Um, I just think that's such a pretty blush pink colour. Yeah. Um, for any age as well. It doesn't have to be just for adults, because I just think they look like pink lemonade, to be honest. Um, really, really pretty colour. And then I took the white paper as well with the little roses on. So nice, delicate ones. Um, I popped them into my trimmer and both of them at the same time, because my trimmer could handle it, I did cut um, strips of these down so until I had lots of strips. Now, I've put most of them, I'm weaving them, so I've put most of them on my project already because it does take a little while to do this. But just so you can see um, what I was doing there, I've started here. Now, I'm going to talk you through um, how I started this because that's probably about 10 minutes work there. Okay. Um, and the way I do it is I always cut myself a piece of a solid cardstock, just scrap cardstock, that's around about the size that I'm going to want for my project. So I've got a base to start with. Yeah. And then I started by laying down all of my white strips that I'd cut and I did them all at half an inch. This is actually, I have to say, this is inspired by one of the projects in the magazine. I believe it was Glynis okay. who did the project in there. So shout out to her. She's inspired me to do this. I've, I've altered it a little bit, but um, it just gets so much inspiration from the magazine. Um, so I laid down, first of all, all the horizontal strips. I wanted to make sure that the strips with the pink on were vertical just because of the glass and the bottles on there, just to make sure they're the right way up because you don't want to spill any of that. Um, so I laid these out and then I glued this end down, just a tiny dab of glue on all the strips on the left hand side. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter which side as long as one end of the strips is all stuck down. And then I just started weaving. And every now and then I'd add a little dab of glue at the bottom here or at the top, maybe, just to hold everything in place. But once they're weaved, they do all hold themselves really mm, well. Nice. And actually, while I'm here, I can show you the reverse is all 
ha it just happens to be that the back of both of the papers was the same. Yeah. The same beautiful colour green. And that just looks like a beautiful textured background. So you don't have to choose different coloured papers either. You can just do it with one shade if you just want texture in there. Nice. So I've just got two more strips that I'm going to quickly weave. And it's probably quite quite obvious how you do the weaving but I'm just going to do this live anyway and you're just going in and out or under and on top of each alternate um, strip here and once you've got sort of one one end in you're fine you just keep going so make sure you go under and over the opposite direction to what you just did on the previous one so you can see there I've gone I've gone over the first under the second then yeah. I'm just going to take a little tiny dab of glue and just pop that underneath this the bottom piece here now I've made this slightly larger than I need it as well um, just so that I can trim all the edges when I'm finished so if there's any edges that weren't quite right that's why the top doesn't match up because um, the strips were ever so much larger oh, I see yeah than uh, my base card so I'm not worried about the top I'm going to trim that down and I'm just going to finish with my last strip so that needs to go then underneath this first one and then feed it through going under over under over as we go and um, I think the hardest thing with this is just getting started because as you see once you get started with it then everything just holds itself together so it's, it's a, really the first couple of strips it's a really nice effective look actually I really like this it's really beautiful. I must say, one thing I wish I had done was to ink all of my strips. Oh, okay. um, if you ink them, with, whether it's a nice pink or whether you've got a brown or something, if you can take the time to add a little bit of ink to each of the edges, that really does add even more sort of shading, shadow dimension to each of the strips and makes them stand out even more. But right. um, to be honest, my patience <laughs> doesn't last long. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, if, if you're making a really special card, then absolutely, you'd probably be absolutely fine sitting and inking those, particularly if you like things that like repetitive like that. So now I've got my entire sheet here and I'm going to leave it on this board. That will just help strengthen your card. Um, but then measure that and trim that down to size. Now I'm going to do that in just a moment. So what I did next was I took, I've got my card base. This is an eight by eight card base. So it's quite a large one. And I think with the large embellishments that we've got, the toppers that we've got inside the magazine, you can afford to make large cards with this. You're not going to have lots of white space. Um, I cut myself a white frame, a lovely white frame here as well. Um, I've bought, made that, I want to say it was seven, um, seven by seven, I believe this piece of cardstock is. In fact, I've got my inches here, so I can double check that. Yes, it was seven by seven. And then I measured in, I think it was an inch. Again, I'm going to check it because I don't want to give you any wrong measurements. That's yes, right. it was an inch. In. So the square in the middle is then only going to be um, seven, five by five, this square here. Yeah. So I've cut that one out and then I can see how much I need to trim away from my edge here. So I just need to take the smallest bit off the top there and that will fit over the top. So I'm just going to bring my trimmer in and I can cut everything at once there through all of those layers because the paper is, it is a good strong paper, the paper inside, but it's not too strong. So I'll be able to get my trimmer through these layers without a problem. So there we go, a little bit of a click at the end. And that's just trimmed that down enough. So to put that to the side. And very often little pieces like this I won't throw away. I'll okay. save things like um, maybe shaker cards and <gasps> things like that. You know, I love a good shaker card, Lou. <laughs> Absolutely. So you can definitely always use your scraps okay. for things like that. So I'm just going to now glue this card down. Um, this weaved panel I'm going to glue straight down to my card base. Just make sure, first of all, that my, my bend, my fold is on the right side there. Putting that over the top there um, I've got my white frame but I just want to show you before I stick that down I wanted to mat on top of that um, a green frame to tie in the green for these leaves again one of the papers that comes in the magazine uh, if you see you've got the option of the pink I really like the pink as well that's pretty um, but I've got it's really pretty isn't it but I have got pink embellishments so I thought actually we'll go with the green so I'll turn know. that over um, now, how I did this was um, I knew what measurement I needed the outside of the green panel to be because it was just um, maybe a half an inch 
smaller than the outside of the white frame. So I know this was seven by seven. So I think I actually cut it to six and a half by six and a half, maybe. Um, I will double check the measurements for you and shout if that's incorrect. But I wanted to show you how I cut out the inner window of this so that it matched with the same for size frame. So imagine this is my, my um, square that I've cut from the green, but okay. without the window cut out. Right. And all I did is I placed over the top my green so I can see I've cut that that's to the right size I've got the nice border around the edge I'm just going to take um I think it's here somewhere didn't get that ready a little bit of um low tack tape and just tack this down very quickly so this is actually going to be the reverse on here so tack that down now I'm going to turn this over and what I tend to do is either take a pencil or a pokey tool and just run it along the inside of your frame. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, it doesn't matter if you go off a little bit because, of course, you're going to be cutting the middle out. And then just release everything and release your tape as well. I'll put that on my die cutting machine because I'll be using that in a little while. So I've now got, I don't know if you can just see it in the yeah. light anyway, I've got score lines there. Perfect. Um, and what all I'll do is I'll then cut just inside of these score lines. I tend to use a craft knife and a ruler, but I can now see exactly where the inside of the white cardstock will be. I'll bring that in ever so slightly, the same amount as I did on the outside, and that will give me my white frame with the uh, matting and layering frame for over the top. And you can see we've got a nice even border then yeah. over there, like so. So I'm going to glue this down on here. You can do inking around the edges and things, but I think if you start inking around the edge of one thing, you need to continue it through your whole project with yeah. the same colour ink. Tie it all in. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Uh, but like I say, I really wanted to make this project uh, so it was accessible for people, even if you've not crafted before mm -hmm. and you've just got maybe a little bit of cardstock, some uh, basic glues and things, so you can still do this without any tools and such. So there's my... Um, nice matted and layered frame. I'm going to use a nice wide tape on the back of this. Okay. Just to raise it up and give it a drop shadow. Just get my scissors. Because I'm not in the uh, studio with you there, Alex, I'm losing things. <laughs> Don't worry. It's, uh, <laughs> it's very odd not having everything, everything in the same place as I would if I was there with you. Yeah. And whereabouts so. are you, Lou? Uh, I'm in Suffolk, so I'm on, on the east coast of Suffolk, so it's about a five, ten minute drive to the coast here, oh, which is nice. lovely. Yes, yes. You live by the coast, don't you, Alex? Oh, yes. Um, I'll be going back late Sunday night, but next I've got next week off, so I'm very much looking forward to going to the seafront. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Lovely. Yes, that will be... I'd imagine it might be busy now. I might be well, starting to get busy again now yeah. with uh, visitors. But yeah, it's been lovely here, long walks along the beach. Mm. It's been nice and quiet. There we go. So just popping that over the top, as you can see, I've now got a drop shadow um, underneath it as well. So that's made lovely front of my card. And mm. it's sturdy because we've got a lot of layers there. Yeah. So to um, decorate this, I've taken an element from the magazine and I've hand cut this out. Um, I've actually been cheeky. I haven't cut some of the middle pieces, but you can go in with your craft knife and just snip those out if you want to get really fussy with it. I didn't feel I needed to do that because I've got a nice green background. It's sort of blended in. Yeah. So again, I'm just using a glue. If you want to strengthen this, you've got a couple of options. You could um, pop this onto a cardstock and then cut it out if you wanted to. I'd use a wet glue. Or you could put something like glossy accents over the top afterwards. It will give it a shine, but also really strengthen it. So there's a few um, a few things you can do there. Fab. Uh, I've also got the wine glasses that I've cut out. And there's quite a few different options for the wine glasses within the um, magazine. So I've got another one here that I didn't use. That's the bottle and the glasses. And there's some more in there as well. So you've got lots and lots of choice. Um, I think I'm going to actually come in with my foam tape for these. And just pop a little bit of foam tape. Now, this is a really thick. I can't tell you where I got this from, to be honest. Um, just because I don't know, <laughs> not because I won't tell you. I just can't remember where I got this from. That's fair enough. Um, but I've got a nice deep foam tape. I'm sure there's lots of um, tape on Ho Chandra. I know there is because I've had some before. Um, 
pop this on the back and this will lift this up and give it the same sort of height as the rest of the frame. Yep, lovely. Let's just peel these off. Um, this is black. In fact, I'd probably, uh, if I could pop, uh, pop round and get some more of my adhesives, I'd probably use a white tape again if I was going to make this card again, just because we've got a lot of white and not so much of the darker colours, but yeah. black foam will I've just tucked the stem of one glass behind the flower, one in front, just nice. to give it more dimension, so it looks as if it's sitting amongst the flowers. And just to finish this off, I have um, just cut here one of those banners. Fabulous. So you could see the size of it. Let's take, um, let's see, shall we use happy anniversary? I think it's definitely an, a sort of an, a wedding anniversary style card, isn't it, that we've got here, that we're making here with the roses and or the wine glasses. So I'm just going to pop one of these in here and just pop my magnets onto my yeah. banner there. Now you can use this banner either upwards or downwards mm -hmm. as such, either way. And you've actually got elements within the stamp set here that will uh, utilize both shapes. So just take these out. I'm going to use happy anniversary. So I'll just place that. So it just fits on there perfectly there we go lift that up and stamp that i you always use um, a folding a stamping platform if i can because i prefer to stamp lightly and build up the color um, if i need to rather than making sure i get it all perfect in one go there we go perfect lovely nice yeah no issues with that at all i'll tidy that up in a moment and that will just sit really nicely yeah. there over. I'm going to use, uh, I've got some white foam tape. It's not quite as thick. I'm going to use white tape. Hopefully doing this hasn't just smudged that stamping that I've done. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't know until I lift it up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Come on. This is the, this is some of the tape. I don't know if I was saying to you, Alex, some of my tape I actually left in my car. Oh, no. It was really warm. <laughs> um, and it, I'm still finding which rolls they were and some <laughs> the backings don't come quite as easily. There we go. So just popping that over the top. You can see how that banner is just a lovely size, mm. isn't it, to sit over the top there. Yeah. Um, and majority of that, besides the sentiment, have come from the magazine just from those papers but as you can see there's a lot of different sentiments in the magazine that you could um, switch this around with so if you don't have a die cutting machine or you haven't tried stamping yet and you're still uh, not at that stage there's a lot you can do just with the insides of the magazine amazing that looks beautiful Lou thank you Thank you. Cool. We'll be back with you in a short while. Um, if you're just joining us, we've got some amazing magazine box kits here. Premium, no less. They come with some fantastic goodies. So first off, um, Maggie, because you've got different options of how you can buy these. Um, let's have a flick through the magazine first. So, and then you get the goodies to make the projects so that you don't have to go off and, and sort of look for anything. Obviously, you're going to need your essentials like your glue and whatnot, but you even get cardstock in here, which is fabulous. But all of these different pieces of inspiration, 70, there's 71 in this particular um, book, which is issue 13 uh, and then you can see we've got the papers in the middle uh, you've got some toppers you've got sentiments you've got some florals i just love these they're decent sizes as well and can i just say again the quality of the paper is really good it is not flimsy by any means and then we get to some more inspiration there's so many projects it tells you about what little extras that you need. Um, but yeah, it's gonna keep you busy. And if you're feeling like you've lost your crafty mojo or you're new to us, you know, a lot of people do channel hop and they find us and then they go, oh. Um, and also you've got like, some of them will be nice quick projects. Some of them will be take you longer. So, you know, you can judge what you want, which project you want to do. Now for this particular bundle, you'll get issue 13. You'll also get these fabulous dies, aren't they so pretty? Here's the stencil. It's a beautiful frame, isn't it? I love the stamps. Again, we've got sentiments. We've got the glass of wine. Um, you've got, I mean, I love the fact you've even got the cork there. That's so sweet, isn't it? I really like that stamp set. That's, again, it's one of your essentials. 
Um, and then you've got a little addition here. Now this is normally, have I got this right? Yes, yes, this is normally 9.99 on its own. So for just, you know, two pounds really, thinking about it extra, you'll get it because the magazine box kit is 12.99. Um, and you know what? Here's a nice sample. There you go. But it's, it's worth it. It's worth it because I'm trying my best actually this year to make a couple of Christmas cards every month. I know that a lot of people do do that. Um, and so there's no harm in having a Christmas die to start you off. Um, and I like this because we get, you know, with just one pass through the die machine, you've got a card anyway. And then you've got some extras. There's a, a little bottle. That looks like a champagne bottle to me because of the... Uh, because of the shape of the label that it's on it. Then we've got the Christmas pudding, your cracker, and a nice glass of bubbly. Just £14.98 for all of that. Uh, an £8 saving. Gosh, uh, 844264. Now, if you don't want to spend an extra £2, you can just go for the box set itself. Uh, a few of you have done that, so that's what you're going to get. But obviously, most of you are going for the bundle with the Christmas die, uh, or you are going for, oh, we're going to see it again. Ah, oh, lovely. Here's our, here's our Christmas die. So remember, that comes in the bundle that's £14.98. pence. Ah, oh, it's cute. It's cute. Right, if you want just the box set, 201439. However, you might decide to go for issue 13 and issue 9, which is taking you into Christmas. Now, this one is the one that's the most popular one. And again, I'm not surprised because that's only £16.98 for everything that you've got here. £9 saving. Um, and this one includes Christmas. So again, I'll have a little flick through the Christmas collection. 76 projects in this. But remember, 40%... 40% of the stock has gone. Again, you're going to get papers that will come into the centre. Got loads of inspiration. Oh, look at that. So that's where you use your template. So I'll quickly whiz through here. But some really fabulous, fabulous pieces of inspiration for your projects. Love that. Now, here are the papers with uh, issue nine. And again, they are not flimsy. They are really nice. You've got toppers in here. Uh, they're double-sided. Oh, lovely traditional scenes look, really pretty, really, really pretty. Got some that are sort of um, a little bit more religious in here. Fabulous. OK, now you're also getting, so obviously you've seen what you get with issue 13, but you're also getting with issue 9, the embossing folder. Fabulous frame, that, isn't it? Then you have got your wonderful stamps, eat, drink and be merry, I like that. You've got the fork and the dinner plate. Let's see, there's nothing on the plate because the turkey's been eaten. And there are oh, there's a little, little gingerbread man. Oh, some mince pies. Lovely cracker and candy cane. And then at the end, uh, you've also got some dyes. So here we've got that. Oh, you know, it's a lovely mug of hot chocolate, isn't it? Or it could be um, mulled wine, couldn't it? Because you've got your cinnamon stick and your orange there. Okie dokie, so for all of that, for everything that's in this bundle, that's such a lot, for just £16.98, an amazing price, 322148. Then, uh, very quickly, we've got uh, brand new today, uh, with the saving, you've got your set of three stencils that are um, slightly larger, these are five by seven, you've got your Harlequin, triangles your wonderful web which you're looking at there and you've got the honeycomb so useful our stencils uh, 10 pounds and 97 pence item number is 230923 then we've got our lovely set that's got the Mor so that these are square now these are six by six you've got your moroccan you've got your lovely mixed circles and you have got the florals look at that just three of them three of them for just 10 pounds and 97 pence 511557 is your item number now um these are the banner dies that come with the sentiments that will fit in the banner dies which is just lovely um again i'll just very quickly show you the board hang on which way it doesn't really matter which way probably this way yeah you can have them any which way that you want so there your banner dies, got loads of those. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of those. Oh, it says it on screen. Why don't I ever read the screen? And then down here, you've got uh, happy birthday, happy anniversary, get well soon. So they're kind of your staples that you'll keep going to. Um, on your christening, that's a lovely one. 
special friend. £16.98, £4 pounds saving, 521.459. Next then we've got the label dies. They're a decent size, they really are. They're a lot bigger than the packaging. And you've got the uh, stamps, which are just fabulous workers. I love the hearts. Lovely clusters. I love we've got a cluster of lips. I think that's really good fun. Um, and here we are, here are the labels just to show you. They're a really, really decent size. And you can keep them landscape, portrait, whatever you fancy. Um, just 1999, no, 1998 is the price. Item number is 563944. Next then we've got the tags. And um, here we've got some stamps like you've got lovely repeatable borders, florals. Really, really useful stamps on each of these sets. Um, really functional to build up your scenes. And then again, I'll show you the tags because there's more than you think. Uh, there's more than you think here because you, you can see you've got three that nest and then the little reinforces. And I love the fact it's all one die so you're not going to lose all the little pieces. Excellent. Just So you've got 19 dies and 19 stamps in this for 1998. Uh, 211264. OK, so some of your favourites. I'll just move this one out of the way for a second because they are separates. So there you go. So here we've got our um, sentiments. The with sympathy, best wishes, new baby, retirement, graduation, congratulations, get well soon on your wedding day. And it is, as Lou said, really nice that you kind of get that drop shadow effect. So that's that one. 9.99, item number is 025796. And then... We've got our family favourites. I'm just doing this because they are separate. Here we've got the happy birthday, thank you, just for you, new home, with love, thinking of you, Father's Day, Valentine's Day and Mother's Day. Again, 9.99, item number is 067216. Lovely stuff. Do make sure you're checking out your baskets. There's some real bargains on here and really good, useful dies and stamps, etc. Um, now, so Lou, we're coming back to you live via Skype. I don't know where this hour's gone, but we've only got about 10-ish minutes. Not a problem at all. What I really wanted to do was show you a technique using the stencils because we've actually got um, two bundles on the show plus a stencil inside your Joanna Sheen number 13 magazine. So um, this is a technique that I only really discovered recently, and I, I absolutely love it. I love the effect. So I'll be as quick as I can with this. Oh, even don't if worry. I don't get a card finish. Still got 10 minutes, so don't worry. Oh, it should, it should be okay. Most things are prepared and ready and dried and things. So what I'm going to do is, uh, this is the wonderful web one, by the way. Yeah. Um, I'm going to actually, first of all, ink the stencil using an embossing ink. Now, this one's got a bit of a pink tinge to it, but it doesn't matter because... Um, it all dries clear eventually, but I'm, I've got a surface underneath my stencil here to protect my mat because okay. it is a sticky ink. It is an embossing ink, so it's super sticky. It will stay uh, wet for quite a while. And I'm just pressing the flat surface of the ink pad into all of those little details that's on the mask there or the stencil. Some people call them masks. Some people call them stencils. Effectively, they're the same thing, really. Oh, okay. uh, so I'm just going to flip that over so I know for later that's all clean and dry now. Uh, and just carefully holding the edges of this, I'm going to press this down onto a piece of paper and with some tape, just hold that in place there. So this is just a smooth white cardstock. I think it's about 250 GSM. So nothing special, really. I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine um, into my workspace there. Hopefully you can then see that. Yeah, perfect. And just because I want to show you the sandwich. Now, obviously, I'm using a big shot. There's lots of other machines on the market. But if you want to do this effect, you will need a rubber mat. These come in lots of different colors. So I've got a thin black one that came with my machine. You can buy them individually as well. Some For some people, they will be a tan color, a light brown color. Uh, and there's blue ones, all sorts on the market. They all do the same thing. There's a rubber flexible mat. Yeah. You'll put that underneath your paper with your stencil on top, and I've obviously put the ink side down onto the paper, and then I'm going to run that through my machine. This is the same sandwich as I would use if I was die cutting, so it's going to be quite tight, um, but it's not too tight to go through. If you took a plate out, that would be not enough pressure then, um, and some of the mats are a little bit thicker than this black one, so yeah. you would then need to take a plate out. All the machines have instructions on using embossing mats. So I'm just going to take away then my tape carefully before I move 
the stencil at all. So just remove this gently, being careful not to tear my paper at all. Now, if I lift that away, first of all, oh, nice. you can see we've got beautiful embossing. I'm going to show you the other side as well. So you've got the option then of using either side. Now that just makes a really lovely subtle background. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. If you want to use it that way. Now imagine this in mirror card as well. It's beautiful. Um, but what I'm going to do, you're probably not going to see this very well. So I'm going to do it in a coloured embossing powder. But for my final project, I've actually done it in a white embossing powder. And I've already got that ready and set, so I don't need to use a heat gun. Okay. Um, but I've just sprinkled embossing powder over... And oh, you can look see it sits in there. Yeah. And then I've heat set that. Okay, so I've done the whole thing with a white embossing powder and then I've heat set it. And I've got one I've already done for you so you can see. You can do it in colour, of course. I love the effect of the white. So let me just bring that in. So that's here. I don't know if you can just see the white in there, but yeah. we're going to see it in a moment because I'm now going to add some ink. Now, very quickly, I've got some of my own uh, textures ink here. Um, this is should be on. Um, I was going to say it. The craft store. I oh, know. <laughs> I'm the same, Lou. It's I, taken me ages to get the name oh, right. I know. I, it will still be months for me. You're doing it nearly every day, though. I'm. I'm really bad. <laughs> no, don't worry. Um, <laughs> so I'm not even using watercolor paper for this, but you can use watercolor paper. Um, but I'm just going to wet my paper. Do half at a time. I'm not going to do the whole thing, and I'm just going to start adding some color in here now and you can see that embossing then resists all of the ink that's going on and of course you've got not only got the embossing that's resisting you've also got the raised areas that just look really beautiful in here as well you can mix the blue and the green to have uh, more of a turquoisey color um, and i'm really just sl slapping this on to be honest i'm not i'm not being very precise with it at all as you can see um just brushing over the entire thing. And I do think there's a lot to be said for allowing watercolours to air dry okay. as well, because what you'll get is colour pooling in places. And I'm just going to come in with some deeper, darker colour and just dab in areas. And then I set that aside to dry. Okay. And I have one here that I dried earlier. I used a bit more green in this one. Um, oh, lovely. There we go. It's absol I absolutely love the effect mm. of that with the white in there and that's all done with the stencil it's just a shame that i can't show you really with this camera the the bumps the detail the relief that you've got in there because we have got um everything sort of raised mm. up the colored areas raised up hopefully you can just sort of yeah. see yeah yeah brilliant yeah debossed. so let's just see about putting this all together now onto a card very very quickly have i got time yep all good couple of minutes yeah so again i'm just going to take this onto a white card base that's um a little bit larger than the piece of paper so the with the stencil what i usually do is i work on a larger sheet of paper so i'll work on a sheet of a5 and then i'll uh, trim it down to size once it's dry rather than trying to work on the exact size cardstock because there's bound to always be a little bit that you're not quite so keen on or didn't quite go right when you're working with paints and inks and things so I'll trim that down afterwards so I can trim off any edges that didn't quite work um, I've got then one of those banners again I've, I've actually gone for a black banner this time mm -hmm. um, let's pop that on using my foam tape I'm just going to cut it down pop a few couple of pieces behind here so again I have gone for the black foam tape now because that will work really well with the black banner yeah pop that in the middle so this has actually gone from the very traditional um sort of theme that joanna sheen has running through all her projects to a very contemporary yeah. style of card here um but it really does depend doesn't it on the colorways that you yeah, use absolutely um, and the accents so for this i just this wondrous web now when i first saw it i thought oh halloween um, but actually, no, it is just a beautiful pattern that can be used for absolutely any occasion. Uh, and lastly, I have got some uh, li tiny little sequins that I'm just oh, going to nice. pop on. Here. Yeah. I'll pop my glue on first. Now, whether or not these will hold without falling off, um, if I haven't got time to let the glue dry. So I usually work in odd numbers. 
So one, two, three there, and then I'll come over to this side and do three down here as well. Cool. And that hopefully will finish that off. Oh, I've got another one on my finger there. That's handy. <laughs> I think that one's actually stuck to my finger. There we go. And last one down there. So uh, like I said, that's a slightly different way of using the stencils, hopefully a way that might encourage people to give stencils a go if you've not used them for a while. Yeah. Um, and the later hour at 9pm, I'll be doing some more traditional stenciling as well, some ink blending and things. Fabulous. Thanks, Lou. Do you want to um, reset the camera so we can say goodbye to you? I will do that, yes. Marvellous. Give us a thumbs up when you're ready. Right, so these stencils proving very, very popular. You're liking these? Um, now, I just need to... Wow, have we? Okay, I just need to say that we have got very, very busy phone lines. Um, very busy. The website is your fastest way to order if you want to get your mitts on these. Um, so in this collection, you've got your Harlequin triangles, um, the wonderful web and the honeycomb. Really like these. Just £10.97, 230923. Now, if you want the other stencils with the Moroccan screen, I really like this Moroccan one. I just love it. Uh, you've got the Moroccan screen. You've got your mixed circles there. Actually, I've just seen there's more detail to that than first meets the eye, actually. Uh, and then we've also got the uh, pretty florals. They're sweet, aren't they? Uh, Ten pounds and ninety-seven pence. Five one one five five seven is your item number. Okie dokie, this is the st one of the stars of the show as well as those stencils. Uh, you can go for issue thirteen and issue nine, and sixty percent of the stock has gone. Mm, this may sell out later because Lou is uh, back on at um, nine o'clock. I don't know why. I, I don't know why I hesitated. I'm with her. I'm with her. Uh, so let me have a flick through the Christmassy version. Here you've got 76 projects in here. There you go. Look at these projects. They're fabulous, aren't they? I love that you can make a cracker. You do get dies and stamps, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but look at all this inspiration. Oh, I love that gift bag. That looks really gorgeous, doesn't it? I love you get orange segments as part of the dies. So we've got some things that are both contemporary, like that's really contemporary, but the previous one was, um, oh, look at this. So the, the previous one was really traditional. Isn't that nice? Doing your own Christmas dinner menu. Oh, I really like that. Now I can see why the plates have gone in. That looks really good. Again, we've got some traditional. We've got some that are a little bit religious. Oh, so nice. Um, and don't forget, you've also got papers in this one. Well, you've got papers in the other one as well. But So we've got, uh, they're double-sided. Double, oh, we are running out of time. I've just realised. Okay. Um, and then you're also getting your embossing folder um, with the Christmas one. And you're getting the stamps and you're getting the dies. Uh, and then you are also getting issue 13 with this, with some extra freebies as well. Again, you've got, um, you've got the dies, you've got the stencil, and you've got the stamps. Amazing. £16.98. pence. Item number is 322148. We're approaching limited stock now. That's shot up, hasn't it? There you go, approaching limited stock. Uh, and then last but not least, the second most popular bundle is if you go for issue 13 on its own, but it does come with the, f the f bonus goodies that I've shown you, but an extra uh, eat, drink and be merry die. That is worth 9 99 Well, so basically for an extra £2 um, on, for, for the magazine, then you're getting this die, which is really good. £14.98, 844264. Um, thank you very much, Lou. You're very welcome. Lovely. We will see you at uh, nine o'clock this evening. So uh, have a little, have a little break, <laughs> cup of tea or coffee. We'll see you then. <laughs> Thank you. I'll see you soon. Take care. Nice. Uh, so that was Lovely Lou live via Skype. Right. As always, don't go anywhere because it's six o'clock, which means the launch of a brand new one day special. Yes, uh, Sasha's in the studio. We've got Fabric Freedom, some gorgeous fabrics coming up. After that, we're back with Pam and Emma for Quilter's Trading Post, and then I'll join Sasha. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. 
At Stamps Away we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. You'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce, and it's all very much mixed media, so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows with Stamps Away. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamp range covers a broad spectrum of imagery. We started out with architecture, fairly cute, fairly uh, folksy, very well received. This has since been broadened out into vehicles, people, Basically everything works around a scenic image. The stamps are all hand drawn by me, they're made in the UK, most important to us a picture this, and we have so much more to bring you. Hi. I'm Ali from Alice Stitch Fingers. I've been sewing for most of my life. It's a passion of mine. I really enjoy all aspects of sewing. I'm creative in lots of different ways as well, but sewing is the one I'm most passionate about. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish. And then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me. Well, a very good evening, everyone. It is six o'clock, so it means, of course, the launch of a brand new one day special. It's all about fabric freedom. We've got some great bargains for you as well. We've also got a lovely guest with us. Oh, it's my pleasure to work with Sasha again today. I don't get to do this often enough. Uh, how are you, Sasha? I'm good. Good. It's been so nice. So we've passed. I know. In the corridor, and now we're together again. I know. I it think they're trying not to put us together because we giggle too much. <laughs> Well, do you know what? We're going to try and curb that giggling because we want to, you to appreciate the value of what we've got here. Now, when it comes to the one day special, you're getting 12 metres of fabric. Now, there are three different options when it comes to colours here. So let's have a look at this. This is the one day special, remember. So you've got your brights, which run right the way through from that gorgeous green all the way through to the red here. Don't they look amazing? They're beautiful, oh, wow. aren't they? Absolutely they really stunning. are. It's, it's like I've had a whole rainbow in my sewing room this week. It, honestly, it has been a pleasure to work with such beautiful bright colours. I am colours. not surprised. Oh, you think of those sunny days that we've been having recently and they just make you smile like those fabrics. Well, the second option, we've got the darks for you. Again, a lovely selection actually here because we're going right through, Sasha, from the black. We've got the grey into the greens, those earthy colours through to the blues. And then the deep wine colour at the end here as well. Again, yeah, and they're beautiful. They're so different as well for your range of darks and I think that having that bit of blue and the dusky wine there as well because it's not a pink it's like a dusky wine and then going into that wine burgundy color Wonderful. Um, I, I just think they're beautiful and these are for your I would look at them as more your masculine yeah. quilts your masculine gifts as well as your accents of your applique and things like that definitely and that's the other thing with this bundle that I found really really useful is things like when you are doing applique your eyes or your outlines of things or different bits and pieces like that that you not necessarily want to cut into those fabulous really patterned fabrics that you've got at home 
but that's why I like to keep a big beautiful. stock of planes beautiful. in. Beautiful. Well, we do have another option for you as well. Let's have a look at the light. So we're running through. Oh, that green is gorgeous. <laughs> That's kind of a sage green. Love that. Right through the pastels there. You've, you've still got nice bright colours in there, but they're a little bit softer. You have got, you know, beautiful fresh colours here as well, Sasha. Very you? spring, aren't they? Very yeah, spring. very much so. Very much spring. So. Beautiful. And, and again, you know, I know I always say it, but this is 12 metres you're getting yeah. in a bundle. If you can stretch to getting all three, you have got the most amazing stock of plain fabrics you have got every color under the rainbow that you're going to need and you're also gonna if you are doing I don't know fabric rolls or you've got some charm squares or anything like that and we always need something that we haven't got at home yeah this covers the range it certainly you match does. them with anything it really does. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, well, do you know, I want more than one option. Just bear with me. If you're going for the one-day special, you are getting the choice of those three options. You've got an £11.10 saving there. Now, we have got a complete collection. We do like to do this. So if you want to go with all of these fabrics, that's all 36, you will carry over those savings from each of those options. On top of that, we're giving you another £4 as well. And we're going to split this three ways if you want to take us up on the offer. So three payments of just 33 pounds and 15 pence these are your beautiful polyester cottons you're getting a meter of each color these are 44 inches wide if we break this down per meter it is just two pounds and 76 pence per meter that is a ridiculous price i've just got to ask as well sasha obviously we've talked about applique we've talked about quilting but this this is going to wear really well isn't it it's children's clothes bedding definitely anything like that even if you've moved into um, a new house and you want to put something up at the windows and you don't want to pay out an awful yep. lot, this is another great idea. Don't let it put you off that it's poly cotton. Don't let that put no. you off because sometimes people can be a bit, well, at this price, you do need to snap this up because yes, definitely do. it does so really lovely. And it's Beautiful. just about having that whole range of planes at your at your hands that That's you've got it. there. For 276 a metre, remember, so 36 full metres is what you're getting if you're going for that big collection there. 954 275 is the item number if you are going for that collection. Now, I think we're going to get over to Sasha very quickly in demonstration, but before that, I just want to mention a couple of happy hours. I don't have them here with me, but we can show you pictures. So first of all, we've got the Grey Stars Brush Cotton. Now, there's two metres here so ignore the limited stock that shouldn't be there we have got stock at the moment two meters of this 44 inches wide this is beautiful brush cotton of course really lovely and warm 12 pounds saving just 9.99 for this hour 011282 now we do have another happy hour deal for you we've got the geometrics for you this is also a brushed cotton again you're getting two meters this is 58 inches wide oh that's nice isn't it? it's really striking now the prices will go up at the top of this hour different happy hour deals i believe for each show so make sure you grab yours now, just 1099-528-630. Now, we do have much more available. Do go to the website and have a look at everything. We will sort of recap and show you a few other items throughout this hour, but we want to get to Sasha as quickly as possible. So, Sasha, where are we going to start? So I'm jumping ahead of you just a little bit. Okay. I don't normally do this. So if you get a chance to have a quick look on your pick and mix, I'm going to be doing this little bag. Um, which you, you can use as a little um, tote, basically. And it's really easy to change the sizes on it as well. Um, but we have got these coming up a bit later. So I'm just going to um, show you very quickly how we do Sasha, this. before we do get to that, we will, because we're going to those pick and mix, we will just show you the options, actually. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Now, these are metre pieces. They are poly cotton again. You are choosing any four so you will see the fabric that Sasha's about to work with let's just go through the names we have the leopards look at the green there beautiful color you've got the leopards there with that darker blue so the navy that's your leopards navy we've got leopard sky then we have the little pooches in pink we've got the giraffe in navy giraffe in purple giraffe in the orange oh, i'm loving this one look at this one <laughs> we've got the small clown stripe there then we also have the medium clown stripe just pulling that back so you can see those stripes there now we're moving into the fabrics that sasha's going to be working with we've got the white option first of all for you then we've got the gray 
Then we've got the pink that Sasha's going to be working with. Oh, I like this next one. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Strawberry fields. You've got little ladybirds in there as well. You've got the white. You've got the pink. You've got the navy. Then we have the Swan Lake for you. Pink, mint, and yellow available there. Oh, these are fun, aren't they? Look at the puffins. They've got little hats on. You've got the navy and the red there as well. We're classing it as blue, blue and red. So $13.99 for any four. Remember, these are a metre each. So that's four metres in total. For $13.99, 325-292 is the item number. Back to you, Sasha. So the, that is an amazing price. It really is, isn't it? It is an absolutely amazing price. And um, the, the colours in them are just amazing. And, and they're really nice to work with as well. So I've had great fun. So I'm just going to show you quickly on the table. So we've got a few things planned um, for tonight and tomorrow. So I'm going to be looking at the bag first. Um, and then using the planes in the bundle, we're going to be looking at some um, applique. Wonderful. And you see on here that I've actually done the darker blue with the lighter blue, and then so I've played around a yeah, little bit with that the colours. Really well. So they're really, really pretty. We're going to be doing um, one of my mats that go on the table in the garden, and um, so you can actually put your dinner mat in there, and you can put your knives and forks in there as well. And then the quilt behind me, which is using um, some of the planes, we're going to be looking at that rail fence block as well. It's oh, got a busy day. A very busy, busy day. Busy very day. busy indeed. So let's start with um, this little bag. So as I was saying, so you could use this as a little tote bag just if you're nipping oh, to the shop. It's a lovely size, isn't it? Yeah, it, and it is really, really simple and it's really easy to change the actual measurements. Let me just make sure that. Do you know, I'm thinking if you go for the one day special or the big collection as well, if you wanted to recreate the same bag or a similar bag in the plain bright colours, you could stamp on there, you could use your fabric pens and draw on them as well. Do you know what? It'd be a lovely idea. If you made, if you've got children or grandchildren and you made them a little bag each in the fabrics, maybe with a plane, and give them some pens or pencils that they're allowed to draw with and let them do their own designs onto oh, the fabrics. Oh, yeah, that would be amazing. You could throw it back in the washer and they could do it all yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. That's a really good Aww. idea. So I've, if anybody wants the sizes of this, just give me a shout on Instagram. You know where I am, Sasha Sews123, and I will happily give you the measurements. But this is um, 10 by 12 I'm using. So I've got some wadding, and then I've got two of my rectangular pieces. Now, I'm just going to quickly use a little bit of um, spray adhesive. Okay just to fix in place and um, just so really it just holds it while I'm um, sewing and moving it around and because I haven't bothered quilting these but as I say you you can do if you want to so at this stage if you wanted to quilt them this is the stage that you would actually quilt them once you've um, just made sure that they are fused a little bit to your wadding okay. so they're not going to move around so if you wanted to do just a little bit of quilting as i say you don't have to do much and this is what i love about any you know the, the spray glue because it is repositional it's not That's permanent stuff, isn't it yeah so i mean it's the easiest way that i find to do all my quilts and um i actually do quilt layering for people okay because some people just you know can't use it so you obviously have to be aware of fumes and things we are very busy on the pick and mix, actually. I'm not surprised at that price. I think a lot of you are probably going for more than four. It is oh, any four I would. for just $13.99. These are metre pieces, not half metres. These are full metres, I, three, two, five, absolutely. two, nine, two. I don't know which ones, because like you, I love the strawberry ones. Yeah. But this giraffe and the rainbow that is inside, it, it's just amazing. I just love it. And the giraffes with all the different colours in there, so you could put any different, you know, if you've got any of the planes we, that you've We do bought. have giraffes, but they're actually zebras. Oh, oh <laughs> First Google of the day. It's my geography. Is that animal? No, that's not animals either, is it? <laughs> no, it's not animals. Geography isn't animals, is it? Okay, anyway, we're going to move on. It's a difficult day today. <laughs> 
we know what you meant. They're very lovely zebras. They're beautiful zebras. Anyway, we're going to move on and we're going to sew a quarter of an inch all the way down and across the bottom. See, I'm, I'm no good with me animals. <laughs> <laughs> Although I should... so quite frank now, it doesn't really matter what you go for here with that pick and mix at that price. There I are mean, giraffes you, in there. There are giraffes. We've got a number of different colours, so you can go with the zebras and the giraffes as well. Okay, it's because I was looking at this fabric that I've got here, but that's well, not even that's, giraffes. That's, that's, that's not a giraffe either. No, no. <laughs> so let's just not go there. Let's not go there. Do you know, it's the, it's the excitement of being able to get my nails back on and my hair done. Oh, That's what I'm putting it down to. I've got to say, your hair is looking absolutely lovely today. It is the excitement. I actually couldn't sleep the other night because I was so excited. Oh, bless you. I know. I've noticed as well we've both got animal print on. I know. We're just... But which animal? Which animal are you, Sasha? I'm a, I'm a goldfish. <laughs> What am I? I'm, oh, I'm, oh, I have no idea what I am. I think I'm a crocodile. Oh, Who knows? Goodness me. <laughs> anyway, I was going to say that the zebras, <laughs> this zebra print is my favourite. It's already falling apart, look. Um, it is my favourite, this one. I do love it. And it's almost got the effect that you've done stamping yourself on this. So if you have a friend that isn't so crafty, but you make them crafty gifts, I'd be quite naughty and maybe say I've even stamped the fabric myself for you. Yes. Yeah. So. Do you know you could make little crafty bags and fill them with goodies, couldn't you? I just, I just think they're beautiful. They are. I love bags like that. They do make great gift bags because they're usable, usable afterwards. But it's a nice way to present something. It is. And this, this tote that I've actually found is so easy to do. And once you know those measurements, you're just using your rectangles. Once you get the idea of your box bottoms, you can do it very easily. Um, and they are actually really, really quick. So I'm just going to show you a way of doing your box bottom. Okay. So we have sewn our um, U shape. I know my letters. <laughs> Depends which way up it is. It could be an N. I know my letters. It's... it's Half a W. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to fold those corners. And I thought I'd be really, really clever and use my chalk marker, which I'm not going to see because it's on... Um, oh, can you tell? I'm just tired. <laughs> so oh, we're going... Long, a long 24 hours ahead, Sasha. I know. It's all good. It's so all, all that good. excitement you see over at Hair and Nails. Is that what it is? So yeah. because I haven't... Um, I can't grab a pen at the moment. I'm just going to stick a couple of pins in where I'm going okay. to So sew. how far have you measured, measured from the corner? Two inches. Two inches, right, OK. And then we'll do the other corner as well. Hang on, I haven't caught that. Um, yeah, we're going to do um, about two inches. But again, it depends how deep you want that um, box to be on the bottom. If you wanted it to be a little bit more taller, then do it two and a half or three inches. Okay, yeah. I would alter it with what you are. Yes, yeah, so it's totally the size. adjustable. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, but I would definitely think about the size of the bag you're doing. If you're doing a bag that's, say, 20 inches by 16 inches and you don't want a two inch on each side, you'd yeah. go maybe to like a three and a half. Okay. So, and again, I'm just going to line up to the point my two inch line. And then normally, as I say, I would um, chalk mark, but um, yeah, unfortunately, you can't use your pins. White chalk are definitely mark. doing the job. Just as you are pinning that, Sasha, I'm just going to let everybody remind everybody actually, because the pick and mix is so busy. But we know you found something else on the website as well. We're going to show you some details of something else. You have found this. We haven't got them here in front of me, but on the uh, website you will find these bundles. Now you've got the print and the plain. Now this is a mottled print. I love these. These are really nice. Look at all those different colours there. Many. It's oh, they beautiful. Are nice, aren't they? And wow. the marbly type that goes with it the actual uh, matching fabric again it it's they just a great package aren't they? Oh, really really good we've shown you a few different colors oh look at the plum 
Oh, that's my favourite so far. Now, if there are any you want to see live, email in. Tell us the colours you want to see, and we'll see if we can show you those. But you have found them. They are very busy. Very quickly as well, I can tell you when it comes to the complete collection, that's all 36 colours, a metre of each busy on this 10% of the stock has already gone we have got savings if I remember co correctly it was 11 pounds and 10 pence on each so you straight away you've got three options there so you've got three lots of 11 pounds and 10 and we're giving you another four pounds on top of that that's where you get those big big savings and a flexi as well three payments of 33 pounds and 15 pence nine five four two seven five I right, knew it's gonna be a popular one yeah I knew it was tonight so, I've, as you can see, I have stitched along. Okay, I've just done okay, a yeah. um, normal stitch all the way through. And then I am just going to chop this off. And if anybody's got any ideas, whenever I do boxed bottoms, I always wonder what people do with these little bits. Like, oh. If anybody's got any ideas, like... Oh, I know, I do. What? Turn them the other way so you can see the fabric. I'd put them on headbands and make little ears for cats and foxes. Oh, and, and giraffes. And giraffes. <laughs> and zebras. <laughs> I was thinking about, you know when you go to a carvery? Right. You know when you go to a carvery? Yeah. Like when we were allowed out to yeah. eat? Yeah. And those little things they used to give you to hold the plate oh, if it was hot. Oh, yes! I, w I wondered where you were going with that one then. <laughs> Any more great ideas for those little box bottom cutoffs? Do let us know. Studio I've got at like the cross door. Com. I've kept them. I must have a hundred. Uh, yeah. I want people to email in now with more suggestions. I really do. What I can do with my box bottom corners. <laughs> I've just got this vision of you at the carvery now, carrying your plate with those little uh, little triangular pieces. With giraffes or zebras. Or zebras, yeah. <laughs> so, we turn this one the correct way. Okay, and now I'm going to... I've got some little handles that I've cut. And from each side seam, I'm going to measure... And again, you know, this is completely personal preference. Um, this, you know, this is completely up to you where you would like them. Um, but I think I'm going to go an inch and a half on this one. And then I'm going to come over to this, this seam, this side. And again, I'm going to do... Okay, so this looks a, a nice, easy project for someone that's quite new to sewing. If you're a little bit more experienced, it's still a nice project because they're so, so usable. And of course, you can bring in the quilting element then, can't you? Yeah. You mentioned earlier. Yes, definitely. You could, you could practice all your free motion. Oh, yeah, that would be nice. So, I like to work out my handle. I'm okay. quite particular on how I like my handles to um, fall. So I always try and think like, well, that's going to be up that way. So I need it this way. So I, I always have a practice in my mind first. Okay, yeah. About makes sense. Lining up my handle and how it's going, how it's going to go. And then I line it up with the pin. And then we're going to pop that one there. So that. Yep, that one's okay. And then you're going okay. to do exactly the same the other side. So you're going to go to that edge seam. You're going to pop a pin just in the inch and a half. And you're going to do exactly the same the other side. And then when you do pop your handle again so let me just have a practice no I want it to go that way I think better to check now than stitch all the way around and then unpick I know and bag handles to me are, are a bit like a nemesis there's two things no actually there's three things in the sewing world that just do not like me that is bag handles 
I don't know why, I just have a real issue with bag handles. I really struggle. Curved piecing, complete nemesis curved piecing, <laughs> and zips. Show me a quilter that likes doing zips. <laughs> Not many of us. Oh, do you know, do you think, do you think Honestly, the handles be are going to be right? Honestly, there'll be quilters out there. There'll be Sasha, quilters. we've got faith that these handles are right the first time then? Now you said that? These ones? Yeah. Oh, I doubt it. <laughs> We will soon find out. I doubt it. I'm just going to do um, a bit of a tacking just to make sure that it stays in place. See, look, it's moved again. And this is why it's really important to get that pinning really, really well in there. Do you ever do any basting stitches or tacking stitches when you sew, or don't you tend to use them? To be quite honest, I do stay stitching around a quilt. I like to stay stitch. So once I've done a quilt, I like to stitch a larger stitch all the way round the outside. And yeah. something like this, I will just tack it on like I'm doing now. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm sort of a go with it girl. I do like my pins and I do like to just and then I do blame everybody else when I get when I finish sewing it and I turn it through and then something happens and it's all moved and it's everybody else's fault it's not mine well if we need to blame anybody Sasha blame Mr Baker in the gallery do you think I normally blame James <laughs> <laughs> he sort of walks in he's not here though is he no he's <laughs> so not you can't blame him <laughs> we'll just, yeah, we'll oh, just no. blame the director yeah Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. No. He's nice. Well, James are the director. The director. Oh. Well, James is all right are as well. Are you getting mixed up like you did with your zebras and your <laughs> giraffes there? Oh, I, I tell I, I, I could be. <laughs> no, he is he's lovely, our Mr Baker. So, we have handles that are not greatly sewn on, as you can see, but they are in place. Okay? Okay. Now... Our lining you are going to do exactly the same thing the same process what I've done with the um, outside with your lining you're going okay. to box bottom but you are going to leave that really important hole the amount of times I've sewn that hole up <laughs> and then I've had to unpick it and then what you do is we leave this inside out okay and we yeah. put this one inside like they're having a little hug Oh, we are very busy on the clown stripes, actually, both the medium and the small. Let me just show you those again because one's hiding a little bit. There's the smaller one. Both are over 40%. We'll come in a little bit closer so you can see. So this is the smaller one. This is the medium one. This is the one that Sasha's using. I would say don't wait on these. These are absolutely flying. I'm not surprised, actually, when you look at the polycottons that we've got with the one-day special and the big collection and the other fabrics we've got, oh. they're going to work with so many. Definitely. Definitely. And They're I always flying. think a stripe is so good for things like binding. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Stripes look amazing on binding. So I don't know if you want to do a recap while I'm okay. just pinning, but what I will say is when you pop this all inside, make sure you pop your handles inside. Okay. Got it. And so they are um, down inside in between the two layers. You're just going to line those side seams up and I am going to pin all the way round and then I'll start sewing. Wonderful. Right, we will be back with Sasha in a second. Let's go through those different options for the pick and mix again. Now we're starting, let's make sure we've got these animals right. We've got the leopards first <laughs> in the green. There we are. Love that green. That is so, so nice, isn't it? Then we've got the leopards in the navy. Really striking again. We've got the sky for the next one. Now, this is a nice one. We've got the pooches in pink. So, if you're loving your dogs, got all sorts of different dogs on there. Then we've got the giraffes. <laughs> They're the ones with the long necks, Sasha. Okay. Uh, we've got the navy. We've got the purple. And we've got the orange. Now, look at these, particularly just look at those three we've just done. And now look at the clown stripe. Look how well they go together. So, if you're looking for the pick and mix of any four, Oh, they would work so well together, wouldn't they? So you've got your um, your small stripe, 
You've got your medium clown stripe. They are very, very busy, I can't tell you. Then we've got the zebras. Now, there are different options here. We've got the white, first of all. We've then got the grey. And then, of course, the pink that Sasha's currently using. I really do love these strawberries, you know. Look at the little ladybirds on here. They're so sweet. Now, we've got strawberry fields. We've got the white, so we're looking at the background colour there. We've got the pink for you as well. And we've got the navy. I, I do like the navy. Oh, I can imagine little girls dressing that. A frilly little dress, that would look beautiful. Third of the stock of the navy is already gone. That is very busy as well. Then we have Swan Lake. Look at the little so swan pretty, disappearing isn't it? into the water. Oh. If you want to do little girls curtains and the bedroom oh they would just oh, look that would beautiful be nice, wouldn't, wouldn't it? it yeah gorgeous so we've got pink we've got the mint and we've got the yellow for you and we've got something I, i've fallen in love with the puffins as well i think these are just adorable we've got the blue or the red and some of the puffins have got little hats on as well look <laughs> at that look oh this is this is sailor hat little straw boat to there oh they're beautiful aren't they 13.99 for any four you've got a two pound saving here three two five two nine two now we do have something else that we didn't mention earlier on so i'm going to show you these as well we've got the cotton mixed yarn now i particularly like these because we've got tartans See, straight away, I love tartan anyway, right, but um, I'm already thinking Christmas projects, backings. Definitely. You know, but really, any time of year. Now, these have all got quite fancy names. We've got Black Watch, which is a very well-known tartan. Uh, we've got the small Royal Stuart for you there with the, the beautiful reds. We've got the Dress Stuart. We have Thompson Camel. Then we have Royal Stuart. The next one is Mini Black Watch. Beautiful. And then we have Campbell Dress Modern, and they are all beautiful. Now, this time, it's a pick and mix of any three. These are half metre pieces. It's not that often we see tartans. I love these. 11 94 is the price. You've got a three pound saving, 710489. Just going to give you a quick reminder about the happy hour as well, because the prices for these will go up at the end of this hour. Now, you've got the Grey Star Brush Cotton. You're getting two metres there for 9 99 You are saving a whopping 12 pounds. So, way less than half price. That price will go up in about half an hour's time, 0112. Then we have the geometric triangles. Again, a great buy, another happy hour deal for you. Two meters again. This is 58 inches wide. This is your brush cotton again. Only 10.99 for those two meters. 528630. Now the polymix sheeting. We've got more polymix for you. Now have a look at this one. This is a really good buy as well. Five meters at 244 centimeters wide. This is a huge piece. Only 19.99. Now there are different options. You've got white. You've got ivory. You've got black or the red oh and you can go for more of this you think about that think of the width there 244 centimeters that is nearly two and a half meters in width in width and then you've got five meters of those five pounds saving 1999 we've got some great buys yeah so this one we get asked the um the wide sheeting there we get asked to bring back time and time again because it is such an amazing price you know, five metres by nearly two and a half metres for people that do um, long arming on quilts, if they're dressmakers to do their um, twirls or things like that, um, to do cheap curtaining or curtain lining, anything like that. It's just such yeah. a popular one and it is an absolute bargain. It really is. And um, don't forget, if you buy it, you get it on a continuous cut as well. So if you buy oh. more than one, you will get it all on a continuous piece which is even better yeah it, yes, it really is such good value. fabric freedom are good at that aren't they the continuous yeah everything lengths. does it yeah, yeah um, they do everything comes on a amazing unless we stay but what i will say about the tartans just going back to the tartans um i really love tartan but i, I find tartan well. quite heavy sometimes this isn't a heavy weight tartan this is a light weight tartan so this is great if you want like i really like the um the white with the red and the green this one. yeah so if you wanted to make like tunic dresses or lighter dresses or lighter dungarees for the summer or dungaree shorts or things like that i can see in those sort of tartans that would be really nice actually i'm thinking as well if you've got something that's reversible or something where you turn the cuffs yeah, up definitely. that would look great because it's not that really really heavy thick winter yeah. tartan these are um lighter weight tartans so Amazing. you know don't think of them just for winter 
think of them, you know, as your summer um, definitely. You know, bits and pieces as well. Definitely. I mean, little kids, dungaree shorts and oh, things and tartans sweet. and things. How, oh. how sweet that. Right, okay. Now, before we get back to Sasha, we've got something else we will mention as well because we've got some fat quarters for you as well. Uh, so we're going to bring details up and show you these very quickly. These are the Mottled Effect Fat Quarter Bundles. These are different to the ones we mentioned earlier that we showed you on the website, but you have got four fat quarters here, so you've got the mottled. These are pretty colours as well, aren't they? They're oh, Only eleven ninety nine as well. They are so pretty. Really, really pretty these I love ones these. are. These are the pinks. Uh, now... We're going to show you these, I believe, on images, just to make sure we know the colours of these, because on the website, this is what you're going to see. So you've got the blues, you've got the reds, the pinks, they're the ones we've just seen live. We've got the neutrals for you there. Oh, they're nice. We've got the greens for you. Oh, we think that might be jewels. Duck egg greys, they're nice as well. Lovely. Do have a look at all of those on the website. The appropriate fabrics will, of course, be with the names, so you can you can really look and decide which colours you want. Eleven ninety nine eight seven zero three six six. Brand new today. Great prices right across the board here. A very very quick reminder of the one day special. With the one day special, you are getting me to pieces. You've got three options. So you've got the option of the bright. So we're running right through from the green all the way through to the red. These are your poly cottons. They're forty four inches wide so that's 12 one meter pieces for each option so you could go for that option or you might want to go for the dark so we're running through from the black right through to the wine there beautiful colors I agree with Sasha you know they could be a little bit more masculine maybe you've got a neutral color scheme or you want to keep it a little bit more earthy that's a great option and then of course we've got the lights as well I particularly like this green again here but lovely lovely colors there so 12 in each option you have got an 11 pounds and 10 pence saving per option those savings will be carried over so that's three times that'd be 33 pounds and 30 pence won't it yeah and then on top of that we're going to give you another four pounds so that's 37 pounds and 30 pence that's the saving if you're going for the big collection they work out at two pounds and 76 pence per meter and we're splitting the cost for you as well. We're splitting it three ways. Three payments of £33.15 and pence if you want to take advantage of the Flexi. 954 275 if you're going for the full collection. Right, back over to you, Sasha. How are we getting on with those handles? So, they're in there. They're Wonderful. safe at the moment. Phew. And we have pinned all the way round. And then what we're going to do is I do quite a generous quarter of an inch stitch. And I go, I'm going to go all the way round and then I'm going to go backwards and forwards over um, where I've done, where the handles are. Right, for just extra to, stability just to, and strength. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because as I say, I am, um, I do like webbed handles as well because I think they, they give such a nice look um, and they're nice and tough as well they're nice tough and durable yeah they wear very well don't they do you know and going over where the handles are especially if you're going to give to a child you really want to make sure you secure those well don't you yes. the clown stripe that you're using there Sasha is very busy in fact three quarters of the oh, stock has gone no. on that particular one that's I on, need the, some of that. on the medium stripe on the small one even more of it's gone 80% of the stock has gone you need to be very quick on those wow now I need some stripe <laughs> I do. I, I just love, love, love the striped fabric. It's just so bright. It's, um, yeah, it's great. And it goes, you know, if you buy, a lo um, you know, the pick and mix and buy all of it in the stripe and then get a couple of the bundles, I mean, you're pretty much yeah. set for so many projects, aren't Definitely. you? Definitely. Especially reversible things. And so I'm just going to go back over that handle again. Thinking as well, I mean, you mentioned the place setting for, that you use out, outside. Obviously, you can use them inside or outside, mm. but you mentioned outdoor. And I see all these fabrics as beautiful, you know, pieces for your patio area. You know, you, if you're dining outside or you've got friends around, because we can have one or two people around at the moment, can't we? If it's yes. just for yourself, it makes you smile. Whether you're using these as linings or whether appliques we've or, mentioned. Yeah, or with some of the pick and mixes. Or, oh, there's the giraffe. Let's <laughs> Well, leopard. Yes, it's a leopard. That one's a leopard. Love it. With the zebra. And on here, actually, I've got the striped 
background. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this pocket tomorrow. But yeah, I just think these are such a good little idea to pop. They are lovely, aren't Because they? we're having to be very careful at the moment, and they're saying to people that when you go to people's houses, to sit outside, obviously, but to take your own yes, plate and your cutlery. that's a really good point, So actually. you could make your own dinner mat with your plate, with your knife yeah. and fork. When you've finished your meal, it can go back inside your dinner mat, yeah. And then you can take it home, you can wash your plate up and chuck your mat in the wash. I love that idea. And it's going to protect your plate if it's a ceramic one when you're travelling with it as well. You know, I just thought it was such a good idea because you don't want to be asking people to wash your things up because that's the whole idea yeah. of being safe. And I just thought it's such a good idea. So if you wanted to, you could bring the flap up higher, um, to, you know, so it was more secure or even put a, a button or a, a ribbon across to tie it up. But I just thought the fact that you can just chuck them in the washing machine is such a good idea. Now, so everyone's loving that clown strap so much, uh, Sasha, that the, the small one is now limited stock. You need to be very, very quick if you want that one. Make sure that you grab the four that you want. Well, we've got them a pick and mix of any four details still on the screen, but it is extremely busy. But I'm, I must say, with the this print, it just works perfectly because all the colours that are in the zebra are all in this stripe it's it's amazing so we're just turning this through okay i'm just going to make sure i poke these corners out we had any ideas in yet on what to do with oh, our? oh yes those little triangles oh no we've i think ours were so good yeah, they... nobody else can beat them we haven't had any suggestions yet uh... still my carvery idea still think that's the best one take my own little plate holder <laughs> with me so if you are at home and you're obviously again I tend not to slip stitch um, I tend to just run this through the um, sewing machine to close up this hole but I just turn those edges inside okay give it a little press do you know what else is very popular in the pick and mix? I'm not surprised at this one actually. It's one that I've kind of fallen for a little bit, and it's the puffins. Oh, uh, do you know I can see so this? Sweet. My bathroom seaside. Is it? Yeah, I've got a seaside bathroom, but my toilet upstairs is separate. So, in my bathroom, it's just the bath and the sink, and then the toilet separate. And I was thinking, how gorgeous would it look with those puffins as little Venetian blinds? Oh, that would be nice. Do you know, both options are very busy as well, the red and the blue. I wouldn't be surprised if people are going for both colours together. Because red and blue, it's just, oh, it just works, doesn't it? And I think sometimes novelty fabrics can be really, really expensive. And yeah. if you are somebody that likes to make an awful lot for, say, um, Linus or local hospitals or things like that, I know that in the um, first lockdown, we were making an awful lot of scrubs yeah. and scrub yeah. outfits and things. And so children that are also having operations and things, they, there is a charity out there as well where you can make little pyjamas that they oh. can wear into surgery and things. Because really? Lily had a pair, yeah, when she was having surgery. Um, so things like this, you know, four metres for this price, I know, it's you ridiculous. can really stock up yeah. on doing your charity sewing um, and not have to worry about your fabrics that are, you know, 14 16 pounds a meter not that anybody minds obviously but you can just do so much more when it's so cost effective it really is the well, one that you can't get anymore is that smaller clown stripe because it's just sold out you still we've still got a little bit of stock of the medium but that is also very very busy it's busy across the board to be fair on those pick and mixes but you need to be quick you need to be quick if you've got favorites because the i hope i've been are going. saved a meter i hope james has been on the phone he will be in <laughs> serious trouble so it's very difficult when you have got your stripey fabric um to actually close up the hole with a thread that you can't see obviously so if you're doing a slip stitch it's fine because you wouldn't see it but i've just used the navy thread just to close that okay. in i'm just going to make sure i've turned my iron up a little bit and then we're going to pop the bag lining inside and we're just going to ease the lining inside because we're going to give that a press. I'm just going to pin 
down as I go. We're just admiring your pincushion there, Sasha. Do you want to tell us what animal that is? It's Larry. It's Larry the llama. It's only because I collect llamas. Do you? Llama... I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm llama and alpaca mad. <laughs> and anybody that buys me anything, it's normally to do with llamas or alpacas. And my mother-in-law, actually, for my birthday, bought me um, a llama, um, a llama trek to walk them and I can't wait the only thing is I have to take a bow tie with me oh because I can't walk a llama unless it's got a bow tie on <laughs> because llamas <laughs> should have bow ties it's how my brain works I'm really sorry but I think they look so much nicer with things around their necks so I'm going to make them bow ties or scarves Oh, well, I can tell you, our Katie was producing. She's been. <gasps> she's been on one of those. She says it's absolutely brilliant. Oh, but see, I she can't did say may, maybe not touch their necks because they don't like it. You might have to wear the bow tie, Sasha. No, it's got to have a bow tie. Oh, it's got to have let a us know how you get on. Yeah, but I probably won't be allowed. <laughs> but in my dreams, if they want to make my dreams come true, then it's got to have a bow tie. Oh. We have this conversation in my house about llamas and bow ties and James <laughs> just nods and agrees now because he just knows, he, he dreads to think what I'm going to think. Just things bother me sometimes and I, I had a lot of contemplation and thought about llamas and their necks <laughs> and it's a very boring space <laughs> and they could do so much more to accessorise. Is that what it is? Yeah, I could do a whole programme on llama well, accessorising. What, what about a giraffe? Because that's got an even longer neck. Would you put a I don't really neck know it? what they are. <laughs> 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 oh, we're going to show you, Sasha. There, there we are. Look, there's there a giraffe. There we are. Yeah, but you see, he's got such a nice pattern. Why would you want to cover that up? True. You True. Know? And they are very, very tall. <laughs> And I'd have to get up on a ladder, and it brings in all sorts of health and safety <laughs> oh. complications. See? That's I think these things. Have to think these things. Health and safety, complications, giraffes, too tall, they'll be fine. <laughs> Llamas would look much cuter with a scarf or a bow tie. A scarf, a bow tie. Um, yeah, don't, wouldn't they need a matching hat as well? Oh, they would just look adorable, wouldn't they? <laughs> see, Larry's actually got glasses. <laughs> you see, he's actually got glasses. But, yeah, oh. and a little blanket with pom-poms. Oh. But, um, I mean, I'm not going to ride him. I don't think you can is ride it, them, can it, you? Can you ride we've, them? We've got a guest to us, alpacas. <gasps> okay, Tracy Hay, is it? Tracy Hay, yes, yeah, she has alpacas. Uh, I think there's another guest that comes here as well. There's a soft crafter. Oh, see... Not far from me, there's a place that um, breed alpacas where you can also do alpaca walking and that. James wouldn't let me have one. Oh. Just wouldn't let me. I was going to bring him home and everything. Oh. Yeah. That's actually why the wedding got postponed. Oh, well. Yeah. That's try right. a little bit of persuasion, Sasha, yeah. because apparently you can't just have one. You've got to, they're quite sociable. You need more than one. Yeah, but he'd be indoors with me. James can be in the garden. I've got so <laughs> many visions of this. Oh, dear me. And he'd have to be called Larry. <laughs> Larry or Loretta. Uh, Unless it was an alpaca. I've, I've got a Loretta. Guess what my Loretta is? You'll never guess. It's not an animal. It's, like, it's, a, it's a laser machine. A Loretta laser machine. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Isn't that a moped? No. Uh, Isn't that that's a lot of Bretta. Oh, the mopeds. Of course, oh, they're available. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> you can find me on Instagram, <laughs> Sasha Fancy123, Sasha Saves. Oh. I don't know if I'll be seen again. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that is a Lambretta, isn't it? Yeah. Not a Lambretta, because obviously you can, but can you ride? <laughs> a Loretta? No, a... <laughs> no, an alpaca. An, an 
lawnmower. Oh, I, don't, I, don't I mean, know. I wouldn't personally get on a lawnmower because it might have a bit of difficulty there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've never heard of it, but if I mean, somebody if you, knows if, different, if don't let us know. Lot, if I was a lot slimmer, can you imagine that coming up the road, arriving on a llama? <laughs> With a dicky bow on. Don't. I sent James a picture. James, if you're at home, email in the picture and oh, the yes, guys please. will do something in the gallery about what I sent you that I wanted for my birthday and how we said I was going to arrive at the craft store. They will take out the price in the shop, please, <laughs> please, if you can do it now before the end of the show. Oh. What's the studio email now? Well, if we get that, if we receive that, we'll see if we can. It depends what else is on the picture, but we'll see what we can do. And it might be a later show as well. Oh, Sasha, you must share it on your own social media as well. It is a children's ride-on llama. <laughs> and it moves and everything. <laughs> Oh, goodness me. Oh. Do send it in just in case, James. Studio at thecraftstore.com. It would be hilarious. <laughs> so, we have sewn. Should we do some sewing? <laughs> Should we get hey, back to sewing? you finished that bag. You've done really well. It's done. So, this is what I was saying by this is so quick and easy as a little um, lunch tote. Just, you know, oh, if you're just nip into the shop, just put in your purse, your sunglasses. You know, if you're just going to the park with some friends and you've got that awesome lining inside there. Oh, I mean, fabulous. look at that, so that little bit of colour. Absolutely Isn't gorgeous. That? It does make you smile, doesn't it? Oh, thank you, Sasha. Thank so, yeah. you so much for so that. So that is your, um, we have a matching pair with a little lamb in the Amazing. middle. Amazing. Oh, right. Let's have a bit of a recap because, of course, this is the one day special. Let's give you the details for that first of all. The one day special is a great buy because you're saving eleven pounds and ten pence. We have got those three options. Let's go through those again. So, right from that almost emerald green there, all the way through to the reds. These are your brights. That's your first option. You've got twelve one meter pieces, so twelve meters in total. Each one of these fabrics is forty four inches wide. The next selection you've got, of course, the darks through from the black there right through those greens and browns and blues through to the wine color there so again another 12 one meter pieces and then the third and final option in the one day special are the lights so we're going from that almost sage green all the way through to that beautiful fresh lemon there as well really really pretty colors 11 pounds and 10 pence is a saving per option so you're only paying 34 pounds and 48 pence per option there you've got 12 full meters four six one three one four Five is the item number. Now, if I remember the mass that I did earlier, that would be £33.30 if you're going for the full collection that is carried over to get all 36. We're still going to give you another £4 on top of that. So, essentially, what you're saving there is £37.30. And we're splitting it three ways for you. You've got so much fabric here, you're going to find something for all of those jobs. Maybe you've got something in mind for a lot of these now. Maybe you're not sure. But how many times do you come to do a project and you think, oh, I haven't got the right colour I could do with a bright red or a pastel or a dark? Well, if you're going for the full collection, you've got the whole lot there. 954275 is the item number you can see there in the picture everything's folded up of course nice and neat that's probably how it's going to arrive with you but we've got it spread out so you can really really appreciate what you're getting for your money and see those colors clearly now something else that's proven extremely busy are of course the pick and mixes now we have had a sell out this hour uh, we're going to go through again I believe of what we've got here so you've got any four to choose from that's if you're going for one selection if you want to go for more than four as long as it's multiples of four then of course you can do that now the leopards in the green is the first one we've then got the navy and we've got the sky then we've got our beautiful pooches that's pooches in pink oh they're really cute aren't they really nice then we have of course the giraffes navy purple and orange now the next one that did sell out 
Now we have got limited stock left of the medium one. So it's the wider stripe, the medium we're classing it as. That's the one that Sasha was using. We've got a little bit of stock left of that one. Then we're into the zebras. So we've got the white, we've got the gray, and we've got the pink. Of course, pink was the, the bag that Sasha mm. made there. Then we've got strawberry fields for you. So you've got that beautiful strawberry plant with the ladybirds. You've got little flowers in there. You've got the white, the pink, and the navy. I know the navy's been very busy. I'm not surprised. That really stands out for color, doesn't it? Then we've got Swan Lake. We've got the pink, the mint, and the yellow for you. And another very popular one is right at the end with the puffins, which we've got blue and we've got red. So any four for just $13.99. If you want to go for more than one of one particular item, it will be a continuous length, just to remind you. 325292. If you wanted to go for four meters of one, you can do that. So if you wanted four meters of the strawberry fields, just put your selection in four times for that particular one, and it will be a continuous length. Right, okay, so that's, of course, the pick and mix taken care of there, but we've got the tartans for you as well. A little bit different, because you're getting any three of these. Now, we're going to bring you all the colors again. So it is a pick and mix of any tea. So this is, what did I say then, any tea? Any three. You've got half meter pieces here. I love all of these, actually. I can't pick a favorite. So the first one is Black Watch. There it is, beautiful. These are, of course, uh, beautiful cotton fabrics. It's a cotton mix. You've got your small Royal Stuart. You've got your Dress Stuart. Thompson Camel. Then we have Royal Stuart for you. Lovely and all that red there. Then we have the Campbell Dress Modern. And finally, we've got the Mini Black Watch for you. Lovely. So any three. Remember, half meter pieces for these. Only 11.94. 710.489 is the item number if you're going for any of those. We've got lots to choose from. We've got some great bargains. Now, the happy hours, got to remind you, these have been busy, actually. Now, of course, the prices for these will go up at the end of this hour. I presume there's going to be some different happy hours for 8 o'clock, but this is the only time you can get these at this price during this current hour. 9 99 is going to get you two meters of the gray stars. These are 44 inches wide, item number 011282. And then we have the geometric triangles for you as well. Again, two meters here, but Such look at the width. Such a good price, isn't it? I know, it's two ridiculous. Meters. I have 58 like inches wide there. These yeah. are your brushed cottons. 14 pounds saving, only 10.99. 528630. Something else that's been very busy, and Sasha says it always is, and I am not surprised. It's your five meter pieces of your poly mix sheeting. Now remember, these are 244 centimeters wide. So they're not that too far off, two and a half meters in width there five meters if you want to go for more than one it will be a continuous length again now we've got different colors we've got the white we've got ivory we've got black and we've also got red for you 1999 five pounds saving today three four six eight three six and then oh these are lovely you did find these it's a shame we haven't got these in the studio but these are beautiful have a look at them only 10.99 is going to get you two half meter pieces so these are your mottled print and plain fabrics lots of different colors Honestly, if you look at the drop-down menu, you'll see them. We're looking at the brown, and now the sandstone is there. Um, we've got all sorts. Just have a look, because, do you know what? We've got pinks, we've got blues, we've got greens, we've got everything. The plum is to die for. I think when we saw the plum earlier, that was so nice. 188164 is the item, and there's the plum. Isn't it beautiful? There's lots of lovely ones there, isn't there? Oh, there's so many beautiful oh, colours. Oh, like the olive. <gasps> I love that one. That's oh. really pretty, isn't it? Oh, very nice indeed. Oh, you can go for as many as you want of these while we've got the stocks as well. 188164 is the item number. Complete collection, 36 metres of poly cotton. It works out at £2.76 per metre. You've got so much here, 36 colours, a metre of each. These are a poly cotton. They're going to wear well. We're talking dressmaking, we're talking your quilting, we're talking bedding, we're talking curtains. It could be line, it could be the main curtain. It's entirely up to you how you work with these. And we've got a flexi on this one for you as well. Three payments of £33.15. 954 275 is the item number. Now, Sasha, we've seen that lovely bag. You're back at 8 o'clock. What can we expect at 8 o'clock tonight? I think tonight I'm going to look at a couple of things. We're going to have a look at the rail fence block and we are also going to have a look at some foundation piecing. Oh, nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. What fabrics are we going to be using? Have you any idea? Do you know what colours? Not sure what animal, um, <laughs> but... <laughs> 
Um, yeah, our, I don't know yet. I, Ooh, yeah, I think we're going to do some with the then. planes, definitely. Yes, yeah. Um, and I was just waiting to see what was going to sell out because I knew oh, it would be so busy. so do come back at 8 o'clock, of course, and see that. Make sure you check your baskets out. We've already had a sellout on one of the pick-and-mixes. We've got more vulnerable stock on there as well. When it comes to the one-day special, you've got the choice of those three different options. But if you really want to spoil yourself, carry over those savings, take that extra £4 and go for the big bundle with all 36 colours. Oh, where did that hour go? It was a giggle, wasn't it? it? It was. We're going to let you go away now and do some research on your animals. I'm going session. to. Wonderful. Uh, I will be checking in at 8 o'clock to see if you've learnt anything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> and I'll I think you detention. need to make a bow tie for your llama. I do. I do. <laughs> Oh, thank you for joining us. Much more now. to come. I'm looking forward to the next show as well, actually. Stay with us. We've got Quilter's Trading Post coming up. Sasha's back at eight. Another giggle with Alex there. Ah, oh, that was fun. Quilter's Trading Post coming up next. Different focus to earlier. It looks lovely. Fabric Freedom back at eight o'clock. And we have another hour with Joanna Sheen. Exciting news. For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board will share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. Lovely. You've got an hour with myself and of course the ladies from Quilters Trading Post and we've got loads of goodies for you as well. Now we are going to say a very good evening to the ladies of course. Second hour for today but this is a different focus mm. isn't it? Mm. Oh, Completely it different. Is. Yeah, yeah we went with we went with fantasy toys all the way. With I this love one. it. I yeah. love it. Wait until you see these characters. Absolutely amazing. We're going to see, of course, lovely demonstrations throughout the hour. Let's have a look what we've got here because we've got a brand new today for you. This is Dexter. We've got loads of new today's actually, but this is our first one. He is magnificent. Look at his wings. 
I'm going to show you the instructions in a second. I just want to open his wings out so you can really appreciate what you've got here. The detail that you've you've put into this pattern is absolutely beautiful. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, this is mum all the way. This is where mum really thrives when she's making soft toys. Is she really puts a lot of thought into it and she blows my mind when she brings these finished samples in and I'm going, well, that's not what I expected you to do. That's so much better. <laughs> Oh, it's brilliant, isn't it? Now, these yeah. are kits, so you're getting the fabric. The fabric is so vibrant, that beautiful red. You've got the gold in there. You've got your wadding in there. You just need your stuffing, I presume, to, to include in there. Yeah. That could be a doorstop if you wanted to weight yeah. it then. It mm. could, yeah. I've got a little bit of weight in there just to keep him standing completely yeah. straight. But oh, if I you put him. a lot more, yeah, yeah, it'd be a great doorstop. Just don't put a brick in it. No, don't put a brick <laughs> in it. If you <laughs> no. hold it by its head, if you put a brick in it, its head will come off. Oh. Sheesh. Now, of course, you do get the full instructions as well so when you've created Dexter you can of course recreate him with other fabrics if you wanted to are these full size patterns in there as well full size templates? yeah full size oh, yeah. with the seam allowances as well amazing mm. wonderful we like that don't we four five four nine one six is the item number and right do stay with us because we've got lots and lots more oh look at the again i said magnificent for dexter <laughs> but that is the word i should have used for these as well <laughs> look at that peacocks are always magnificent but these yeah. are something else aren't they now let's have a look at that i'm going to lift this one up we've got a couple of different ones for you here this one here is fred oh again the fabrics look at the vibrance yeah. in the color those beautiful jewel colors Look at this, the beautiful glitter in the fabric there as well. I know. I love a bit of sparkle. And when I was choosing fabrics, I just went, oh, oh, now. Oh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> and, do you know, I'm going to turn this right the way around so you can see the stitching right through the... So much sparkle in there. Yeah. He's magnificent, isn't he? Look at that. This is Fred, $29.99. Again, you're getting all of the fabrics. You're getting the pattern there as well. Obviously, you'll want to stuff him, but he would look wonderful, wouldn't he? Wouldn't he sat, you know, proudly on a chair or, mm. you know, on the back yeah. of the sofa or something? Lovely. Yeah. 586795 is the item number. Now, you've got the choice of Fred, or you can go for the pastels. Um, still Fred, but you've got the different colour there. So it's pastel Fred. So, yeah, where does Fred come from? For a... It's my granddad. Is it? Yeah, oh. Fred Peacock. That was his name, Fred really? Peacock. Really? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> we keep it in the family. And the grandmother, Nan yep. Peacock. Oh. Annie Peacock. Mm. Oh, what a lovely... Do you know, I love it when people name their, you know, their products after mm. family members and there's always a story mm. behind them. Yeah. It just makes them even more special. I absolutely adore those. 586795. Now, we are going down the counter again. Look at this one. This one's making me smile already. Look at this. This is Dolly Dawn. Now, she's not just beautiful. She's very useful as well. Mm, I use mine at home. She was coming today, and I forgot to bring her. She'll be oh. annoyed. Your, your one, yes. <laughs> well, this one's named after my friend in America, Dawn. Oh, mm, how yeah. lovely. So she's sewing Dolly Dawn. Although, I mean, she's got sewing fabrics. You get in the fabrics with this. So she's got sewing themed fabrics, but you've also got the pattern. We had a little girl you gave a kit to. Yes. That's made it into a, a dressing table dolly with her makeup brushes and things. Oh, that's yeah. a nice idea. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She's she made it herself. I mean, she's not very old, is she? Eva? No. Oh, how no, she's wonderful. Not. No, you so. can. But they're very, very easy to make, those dollies, believe it or not. She could be a crafting dolly as well. You could put paintbrushes she in her pockets. Mm. Yeah, paintbrushes, pens, whatever. Oh, she's gorgeous. She really, really is. Can I ask, what have you used to weight then? Because this one's very heavy. What's, what we've, is in there? We've done two different options. I mean, she may have um, toy filling um, beads in it, or she might have rice in her. Depends on which one it is. I ran out of rice and toy fillings. I put macaroni in one, but she got cellulite. I thought that that's not a good idea. Oh, I think this one <laughs> yeah. might be the rice, actually. But yeah, you can yeah. really feel the weight then. She stands beautifully. If you want to go for our beautiful Dolly Dawn kit, then you can do under item number 59. <laughs> One nine zero four. She's only nineteen ninety nine. Getting all of the fabrics that you need there. Now, something like these make me smile. Oh, <laughs> do you know? I need to make myself a pin cushion as well. I, have, I haven't even made one yet, but I love these. And what a great size! Look at them. Do you know, I can see these being used as well? Obviously, don't put the pins in them. But you know, mm. if you've got young children that want to sort of play with toy food and things like they've yeah. got kitchens and things they'd yeah. be great great yeah. wonderful little toys to play with as well but they are pin cushions if you want them really lovely size now you're not choosing here you are actually getting them all look at these fabrics look at the apples on there 
Aren't they lovely? These are gorgeous fabrics. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. So I've just given you either fat eights or 10 inch squares, depending of all the colours that I've used in those. So I don't actually know how many you could make, but I'm sure you could make more than just three. They are beautiful. Do you know, I love everything about these. It's the colours, the fact you've yeah. got gingham in there, you've got spots in there, you've got the pin cushions that are so usable. All for 18 294 626 Of course, you're getting the pattern, so again, you can recreate those with different fabrics afterwards. Now, we've got a bag kit for you next. Another one, beautiful colours. Again, we've got the red, we've got the white, we've got the different blues yeah. here. Lovely, fun, novelty fabric as well that this has been created with. Oh, I've just spotted it. I didn't even see it straight away. I was looking at the, the little birds. Look at the crabs. They're so happy. Oh, they're lovely. <laughs> oh, this would really be a lovely bag to take to the beach. Oh, if you've got a picnic in there as well. Yeah. Look at the seagulls. Gorgeous. This is your Easy Charm Pack bag. Is it easy then? Mm. It says easy. <laughs> it's really easy. Yeah. Yeah, you are going to sew your squares together in a certain shape, quilt it, so uh, so it into a, into a bag. That's Amazing. Pretty much all you're doing. It's and that so is easy. a great size bag as well. That is a mm. really generous size. All for twenty two pounds and forty nine pence. Five eight nine four six at uh, four nine one. Now the size of this is thirteen and a half inches wide, and nine inches deep, and thirteen and a half inches high. So I'm just going to turn that to the side so you can really appreciate the depth of that. Look at that. So it's two full squares on the width of that. Yeah. yeah. Do you know, I'm hearing from the gallery as well, and I totally agree, that would make a great knitting bag. Ooh, it yeah, would. You've got the pattern. Yeah. Any charm pack that you have, once you've made that one up, as you practice one, and, you know, so you've got your seaside your bag, will work with that pattern. That is beautiful. I really do like that. Mm. 22.49. Now, I've got to just backtrack a little bit, because Dawn, Dawn, our Dolly Dawn, she is likely to go, I think, because, oh, She's she's very limited. That's all I'm going to say. She, she's very, 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 dare I say it, very limited. 1999591904. It could be fastest fingers on that one, but we're going to continue down the counter a little bit further because, oh, we've got unicorns as well. I never, ever get fed up with seeing unicorns. It doesn't matter how many unicorns, and they all look different. They love the fact that you've got bright colours, rainbow sparkles, and all sorts going on. Now, this is... Um, the Sparkle the Unicorn Rainbow Quilt Kit. This is such good fun, ladies, isn't mm. it? Isn't it great? Mm. Yep. You've got you've got a five unicorn applique case, hop, skip, jump, stand and sit. Oh. <laughs> That's what they're called. Yep. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they're <laughs> a minute then I was like, oh, I can't remember. This. Yeah, and then you've got that beautiful Irish chain going through it that gives a really good rainbow effect. I just really like it. That is so That's much so fun, cute. isn't it? Yeah. Now this is forty three inches square. Do you know, if you made that for someone and gifted it, oh, they would gosh. be absolutely over the yeah. moon, wouldn't they, with that? And the nice thing about quilts is even if you're giving them a, a, a kiddie quilt, it will grow up with them. Yeah, definitely. They will mm. love it, yeah. Mm. I love it, love it. Only 67 49 for that. There's a £7.50 saving. Of course, this is a kit, so you're getting all of those fabrics there. The full instruction, 674322. Now, before we talk any more about unicorns as well, we're still looking at that gorgeous sample there. Dolly Dawn has just sold out. Well, well done. Well done. I'm hearing technical sellout, so that means all stock is allocated. If we do get any bounce packs, we will let you know. But if you really, really want to keep hold of it, check your basket out. Anybody that's got it still sat in there. Right, we're stay going back to the unicorns now because we've got, oh, look at these. When we talk about rainbows, look how wonderful. I like to sort of turn these around so you can see them from every view. The rainbow unicorn is the one we're looking at here. That is such a lovely gift for someone again, isn't it? Isn't it just? And it goes with the quilt, or you don't have to have them together if you don't want them. But yeah, oh. they are a little pair. Beautiful. Look so at the unusual. little unicorn horn there as well in the gold. You've got the rainbow mane there with the yarn. That is stunning. You're getting all of the fabrics and, of course, the instructions for this one again. This is another one that I think once you've made one, you're going to make these again and again and again. Only nineteen pounds and twenty nine pence. Three pound twenty saving there. Six eight one six zero two. Do you know I wouldn't want to split that one up from the quilt. If I'm going for the quilt, I'd have to go for the toy as well. The rainbow there, gorgeous. Yeah, they look too. like they're almost kissing now. Look, oh, I just put them there. A little bit of romance going on because we've got another <laughs> wonderful unicorn for you as well. This is sparkle. 
Look I should say one. quickly, within the pattern, you're also getting the pattern for Henry Horse, who you're going to see in a minute. So you're getting ah, both patterns. Yeah. Because they're oh, made pretty much the same. Oh, mm -hmm. wonderful. Oh, we're even better there. Look mm. at Sparkle, though. These fabrics, again, are absolutely beautiful. You've got the pink with sparkling for the hooves there. The main body, of course, is sparkly. Just how the lights are catching that, we're getting a bit of reflection. I'm going to try and tilt that so you can really pick up the detail in that fabric. I love the mane on this one. These soft, mm. beautiful pastel colours. Isn't it colours. brilliant? So this is just mum getting out of her wool and mixing it together. So we haven't put the wool in there because you can choose whichever you like. And we've done them with all different colours. I mean, mm. the other one's obviously got the rainbow, but this one, she's mixed various colours together. It's really mm. good, isn't it? Yeah. It really is good. And they're so sort of tactile and squishy yes. with the stuffing yeah. in there. I yeah. love this size. A you know, someone one. just... I can imagine a little girl, or a boy, actually, carrying around with it under their arm. Mm -hmm. um, the yarn doesn't come in the kit, does it? No. It doesn't. The, the fabric, so you've got the choice of the different mm. yarns yeah. there. Yeah. We love the sample series, so do take inspiration from those. 1999 if you want to go for Sparkle, 157858. Of course, full instructions there, including Henry the Horse, and here mm. he is. Oh, he's lovely as well, isn't he? Look at his saddle. He's got his little reins on there as well. Mm. Now, you, I can see there is some ribbon in there, so do you get the ribbon for the mm. reins? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. Mm. We now just didn't include the yarn because you can choose that yourself yeah. and you'll need some stuffing, obviously. Mm. Now, I can spot that the yarn that we've got in front is a little bit different to the sample one. So, will it be the one that we've got in the front that you get? The yarn? Not the yarn, sorry, the fabric. The, the, the fabric, yeah, it's the one in the sample. It's yeah. this one? Yep. Yeah, Wonderful. It. I like that, actually. If I just move this out the way. Yeah, oh, I, I really like that one better, well. actually. Look, you've got the little stars it's Little stars, yeah. So, it is a better fabric. Beautiful. Awesome. Only nineteen ninety nine again one seven six four four seven. There is your Henry horse. He's wonderful. Oh, we've got another doll. If you missed out on Dawn, this is a little bit different because uh, she hasn't got the pinafore on in the same sense, you know, so you can store all those crafty bits or your your tools and accessories, but she is beautiful. This is Nancy doll. I'm going to give her a, a spin around again because she's beautiful whichever way you look at her. I love her apron or a pinafore again there. <laughs> She Isn't is she themed. pretty? Mm. She is themed over a certain um, movie character with... Uh, I know the one. Yeah, red red slippers. Yeah, those yeah. red slippers <laughs> that you click together. Do you know, I, I've checked, so I do apologise. I'm going to do this to our yeah, lovely Nancy. But she has got her panties on. She's got her bloomers on under there. <laughs> I did make sure that I checked before I did lift a skirt up. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's all that detail. It all counts, doesn't it? She's Whenever gorgeous. we take dollies to shows, it's the first thing us women do. Is look under dollies. It's a, it's <laughs> they all do it when they come really to the stand. Odd, but we all do it. Yeah. We do all do it. Do yeah. you know, that could be... We could rename this one Paula because she played the part in our promo. Not she? that we would look under Paula's skirt. No, no, no. No, no but no. she played... Played the character, didn't she, in our promotion for birthday last oh, year? Cute. Oh, cute. <laughs> I have to be very careful what I said there. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay, we've got a couple of patterns for you now. So, we've got Dexter Dragon and we've got the Sparkle Unicorn and Henry Horse. If you want to go just for the patterns here, you can get both of these for 19 .99. It's another new today. Doesn't Dexter look lovely in those fabrics as well? Mm. You know, when you see the different fabrics, yeah. it changes his character. We've done all sorts of different ones. We kind of went with the red because it's St George's Day today. Ah, so, yes. yes. But you yes, can do it them is, in all sorts right. of colours. Love it. Two, four, three, five, three, nine. If you want to go for the patterns, now we've got one more item to tell you about, and let's have a look at this. So, ah, oh, we're coming over to you, ladies, because no, well, I spotted, I spotted our Pam doll earlier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm moving around the way because she's not Pam, in the set. Is, but she's, oh, got, yeah. she's got a unicorn yeah. horn and everything. Hello. Look at that. <laughs> There she is. Beautiful. There we are. There's our Pam. But we've got Holly Dolly, we've got Nancy Doll there, yeah. and we've got, of course, the Sewing Dolly Dawn. So if you want to go for the patterns, if you did, did miss out on the kit and you're happy to use your own fabrics, mm. then, of course, you can still go for the patterns. 21.99, is the item number. Right, ladies, what are we going to see for demonstration? I'm going to start off with a demonstration for Dexter, Wonderful. just to give you an idea. I know I've had somebody who didn't quite understand where all the gussets have got, got to go. There's only a couple, and it is quite straightforward, so we'll, we'll show you that. The first thing you're obviously going to do 
is cut out all your pieces with your pattern pieces. Now, as, I, as we said, it's full size with the seam allowances, so you don't need to add anything. Lovely. And I've already cut mine out, obviously, else that would be really boring. And the next thing you're going to do, and you've got the... Um, I've got that right. Yep. <laughs> you've got the templates to do your tracing onto sticky stuff and then ironing it onto the back of your leftover gold fabric Okay. Um, to make the eyes and the nose. And you're going to stick those on. And instead of doing satin stitch, which you could do, because I couldn't be bothered to put gold thread in my machine, I just used a neutral thread and zigzagged it around the edge. But you can do straight stitch, zigzag. You can go fancy yeah. and do satin, can't mm -hmm. you, Mum? Yeah. But for time, I did a quick zigzag Could you round. you put the snips in to see Wonderful. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's that a good works. point. Yeah. yeah, I thought it worked out quite well. It's kind of dragony in my mind. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mum's just pointed out there are little lines on the pattern. Um, you can see this one's spine placement. Little snips all the way around. Just pop a little snip in there um, for marking so you can line up everything. Okay. So obviously, like your spines. So we're going to take one piece. And this, I should say, is in your pattern. We've got a picture of this as well. So you're going to line up your spines, which we've already made. Again, I've cut them all out, eight pairs. And when it says a pair, it means that your fabric is cut from a piece of fabric folded in half so you've got two pieces that can go right sides together okay, and, mirror yeah, image. Got it. and then sewn round mm. and it yeah mirror image thanks mum mm. and then it says leave open so i've left that open on that side turned it through and pressed it so i've now got three spines the fourth is for the tail so we'll leave that aside okay so lovely. that's what we're going to do on the pattern is we're going to line the spines up and we know that if we go back to the pattern, the opened edge is there. So, have I got it the right way around? There we go. That's the back, that's the front. So the front's going to go on that line there. I'm going to pop a pin in. But this is just for placement because obviously it's a straight line going onto a curve. So when you're sewing it round or when mum's sewing it round, she's going to sew it round as she goes. Mm -hmm. okay, but I'm just going to yeah. place it in for her so she knows where she's going. Now, straight away, this doesn't look as difficult as I first presumed it might be. It's not difficult. It's not we difficult don't at really all. We do. I don't think we do. I don't think we really do difficult. I haven't got time for difficult. Okay. Life's too short for that. I want to make stuff and I want to get made. So we try and keep it as simple as we possibly can and as straightforward. If you do have a problem, though, you can phone me up. The number's on our pattern and we will talk you through anything that you're not understanding. Great. Because mm. we all have our, our moments, don't we? We do. Right. Nose gusset, cut one of those, and we're going to go, it's the same both ends, I believe, so it doesn't say anything, so you know that you can use either end. And going back to the head, it says nose gusset placement, so we've got two snips here. So I've got a snip at the top there somewhere, where is he? He's gone. That's that one, so it's that one there, there's a snip there, I'm going to line that up with there. For mum, I'm going to pop a pin in, so she knows where she's going. And you're going to sew it round, and Mum's going to show you this, and fit it in to this snip just ah. under his chin. I'm going to start with the one under the chin, actually. You're going to start with that one? Yeah, you always have the flat bit at the bottom on your machine when you're sewing something that's um, curved. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, it makes it a lot Sorry. easier. Last thing, before she sews that, she's also going to need to put the neck gusset in which I forgot about, and you're going to line that up with the bottom of there. You can do them one at a time. You don't you have can. to do them all together. But you're going to sew it, so you might as well go all the way around. Yes, yeah, she wants me to do the job, don't you? Yep, I do. <laughs> so we're going to go all the way around there, and yeah. Mum's going to fit that in. Yep. And this is that. just basting them on so that they don't slip when you put the other side together. Yes. Wonderful. Pam, I've got to say you're looking very, very smart with your hair band tonight as well. Ladies, you've both got flowers in your hair. You're looking amazing. We well, went for flowers today. We did, didn't yeah. we? And it's yeah. got some too I've on this some. side, but you can't see them, but she yeah, has. Red flowers there. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. There we are. Details on the screen for Dexter Dragon Kit. If you want to go for kit with all the fabrics in there, we're just watching Pam now working around, of course, those pieces that have just been attached. There you go. So that's the easy bit. So it's nice to start with that bit. <laughs> that flat net piece. I did try and make you wear a unicorn horn headband again, didn't she I? She did, but, you know, I wasn't up to that. I she wasn't, wasn't into that. that. Uh, <laughs> Well, we've got Pam doll with the We have. Her hair sticking up. I was just sorting it out for her. There you go. <laughs> oh, she looks amazing. I love her. <laughs> yeah, right. So I'm going to start stitching right. this one here. Yeah, so this is where it gets. It's not difficult, but you've just got to take your time and kind of 
yeah. bend it round. Because that, that nose gusset has been cut also sort of rounded, it means it's on the bias, so it's quite mm. stretchy. Yeah. So what I'm going to do on this, that bit's easy, you just straight, straight off the end there. But this one, you need to um, bend it round. And as you go, when you get to a bit like that, you just stop and bend it round a bit more, like that. That's what I do, take a little bit at a time. That's it, just do a bit at a time. Then when you get to the next bit, you can, can you see what I'm doing? I'll keep my finger, try and keep my fingers out of the way. And then and you keep doing that and moving it round. You've got to keep these two edges together. Okay, so just take it nice and steady. Yeah, yeah. just take your time, stitch around it. And don't worry if it's not absolutely perfect, because it don't matter. They all get different characters, these yeah, um, these creatures. That is true, yeah. yeah I mean, I found there's a little bit of an indent on the front of his nose. Yeah. I don't think mine had an indent when I made him. He was a bit straighter along the front of his nose, which is fine. doesn't matter. That yeah, makes it unique, doesn't it? Yeah. There we go. You keep going round. There we are. One or two more. And that's going to come up there. And you see, it's Love just going to finish there nicely, where that clip is. Yep. Oh, I've done a good job there. You have done a fantastic job. Thanks for that one. There we are. And then with the, sp the spines, you're going to... I mean, she's sewn them in oh, with yeah, a quarter inch seam. Yet. Yeah. But the spines, you want to go a little bit less because you're just putting them in to hold them. You see how that, that's... That's come nice and round. It has, yeah. It? We'll show that nice and close. There we are. Can Ooh. you see? Oh. I'll just hold it. There we are. That's it. There yeah. Nice. Oops. There yeah. we are. Stop moving, Mum. Got it there. Yep, yep. <laughs> there you go. If we just have a look it. at Dexter as a completed item, yeah. you can see the area. Obviously, this is the nose. We can just see that area. It's the gusset that has been sewn there. So if I turn that around, you can really see how that works. That's really clever, actually, to get that shape in there. Yeah, yeah. It is, isn't it? Very nice, very neat indeed. It's glorious. You keep the two isn't edges it? together. It, you know, you can't really go wrong with it. You can do a similar thing with the. With I'm the, doing the same with the yeah, spines. Yeah, because again, you've got a flat edge going onto a curved edge. Yeah. You just curve it round. Yeah, you can put a little bit of um, gather in there. It doesn't matter. I actually like to gather those. I didn't gather mine, but I usually do. Yeah. Put a bit of a gather in them as you go. Like. That's it. Just keep pulling the bottom piece this way and and bring that round that way. You know, once you've done this, you've, you've basically done the tricky bits. The yeah, yeah. It's lovely soft fabric. It's the fabric same. You go around the other well. way, it's, don't you? It feels beautiful. It's a lovely fabric, yeah. yeah. It's, you've got fossil fern and then the spines are made from bumbleberries. Ah, yes. So, yeah. yeah. Bumbleberries and bumbleberries. <laughs> yeah, it's a long word. Whatever actually. you want to call them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So they're beautiful fabrics. And these ones down the back of the neck are more straightforward. They just yeah. go in straight, they do. It's just going to be a lot easier to sew the other side of the head on with those fines not yeah. able to slip. That's right. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give Mum the other side of the head in a minute. Okay. I'm going to grab all my pins back because she's stolen my pins. <laughs> give me my pins. <laughs> you know what you need, don't you? You need, uh, well, she's sold out. Oh, uh, you need our Dawn Dolly, because she's got loads of pins. She has, hasn't she? I haven't got so many. I think she's been stealing my pins. <laughs> <laughs> right, come here, Mother. Yeah, hang on. Oh. Right, so now this is, this is the last really fiddly bit, I would say. You are going to do exactly the same thing but putting the front of the head to the back of the head, but you're going to leave a gap in the back of his neck from that bottom of the spine, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Was that where the marking was on the... Button? It is, where yeah. that snip is on the back of his neck. And you're mm. going to leave that open there for turning later, okay. and you're going to sew them all the way around, so the spines will go in the same place. And when you get to the nose, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to ease that around, the same as you did before, and line up the, end, the beginning and the end with the snips on this side ah, of the head. Okay, and then when you get down to the neck, and you can press this if you like, but I'm going to do a finger press. Mm. You're going to go round here, and then you're going to follow around the other side of the neck to fit in. Mm. Now, I would probably put a pin in the end there so that I know that when I'm getting to about there, that I've got to kind of pull that and stretch it in so yeah. it fits. 
Okay, and I'm going to make Mum do that. Of course she is. And then in the meantime, <laughs> while she's doing that, because you've already seen her do one side, I'm and going to show you. And don't forget that you need to go round and have this bit at the bottom. What bit's the that? The flat bit. The, the the side of the head needs oh, to come I on the bottom. Yeah. yeah. So when you machine it round, it makes it easier. Now that snip's got to be pinned. I want that snip pinned oh, there. There you go. I want that pinned. So I know I've got that. I I haven't put pins in. I probably when I'm making it, I would put pins yeah. in. I've just left that to Mum because I'm like that. <laughs> yeah, I would pin this. I don't think I'd try and do this without sticking. And I stick the pins in that way. Oh, so they don't stab you all then, the way around. Yeah. Well, not only that, they're, they're more accurate. And you can machine right up to them and pull them out just before the machine needle gets to them. Oh, yeah, I learned to do that when mm. I started patchwork and quilting. Mm. I used to put them in parallel with the yeah. stitching line, no. and actually it's a lot easier to put them in sideways. Yeah, well, you do that with dressmaking. Oh, see, mm. I never dressmaked until recently. Oh, that'll be why. See, it's, this is why it's always an education here at the craft store. Oh, We're always learning new every day. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, that's right. Yeah, it is. Carry on, so. Well, that is right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I have to so. think. I have to think. It's been a long time since I made this. <laughs> Probably more than a year. Yeah, I really? made that example. So, you, you know, <laughs> Mum did the pattern. That I've done it, and I'm not a soft toy maker on the whole. But, so what, what um, have you got there then? Just, what I uh, got, I have got the body gusset, so his stomach really. Oh, I see. Oh, now, I can see it. Yeah. This is his nose gusset, which is the trickiest yes. one. Thanks, okay. <laughs> um, what I did want to say is this is actually printed on two pieces of paper, and you'll see there, joined to other paper gusset piece, and there's a dash line to join it on, so that's all I've done with a bit of sticky uh, glue stick. Um, okay. And then cut it out, and you only need one of those. So that's cut out and again there's some snips that you need to cut just two on each side there and that will line up with some part of his body oh, which is the really fun part of the pattern i always love this bit it's fun to cut out as well <laughs> there's his body with his tail on it oh <laughs> yeah it's got that nice curl to his tail hasn't it yeah. does look like an elephant's head there doesn't it but obviously that is his tail yeah, you've got that, that triangular um the spike to go on the tail, haven't yeah, you? Yes, there you go, which haven't turned through yet, but there it is. Wonderful. So there you Love go. It. So again, I've put the snips in um, all the way through. You can see that double snip there that went on the side of the body gusset, because you're going to be lining that up to okay. go all the way around there. Wonderful. See, I'm putting pins in Well, if you don't mind, ladies, we'll out. have a little bit of a recap. Yeah. We'll have another good look at our Dexter as well, just so you can see the gusset that uh, has just been referred to there is right down the front there. It's his tummy, it is. There he is. He's absolutely beautiful. Oh, I've got to do his wings. Look, you make his wings flap. 29 99 if you want to go for the kit. He's absolutely glorious. 454-916. Love him. Right, the peacocks. We've got Fred peacock for you now there are two different versions here so it depends on which color you prefer so here we've got fred peacock and those beautiful bright colors those jewel colors there we've also got the more pastel version gorgeous gorgeous fabrics i'm just going to pick up fred again here and turn these around i'll turn this one around because look at the beautiful glittery fabric that you've got really good quality fabric as well the stitch work is absolutely gorgeous if i turn around so you can see the stitch work coming through do you know that really is such a lovely item Item. Yeah, yeah, I suppose you could change this. If you didn't put the tail on, it could be a different type of bird as well. It could be a duck or a goose or something. Yeah, perhaps. you'd have to kind of, um, yeah, have a play with him a bit because he's got a flat back to fit the oh, bird on. Oh, yes, where the tail goes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. maybe I've got a duck like that, the we? But it's bit, next but certainly, you know, it's, well, it's lovely as it is, isn't yeah, it? So it's two different bad, options. Isn't he? Love it. 29.99586795. Let's have a closer look at the pastel one. Of course, these are kits, so you're getting those fabrics. Gorgeous fabrics. Absolutely beautiful. The purple with the green in. Look at that. Lovely. The whole effect is just wonderful. You've got the uh, the gold in there as well, which forms the beak. So you have got those choices, whichever is your favourite. Or maybe you want one of each. 586.795. Now, I have to skip past our wonderful Dawn because she's gone, but we have got the Harvest Pin Cushions for you. Don't have to choose. You're getting all three here. Now, it's not just the instructions, but you're also getting the fabrics. Beautiful bright colours, the reds, the oranges, the greens. 
These are a really good size as well. I mean, if you make to sell or if you make for charity, I mean, once you've got the pattern as well, you can make all sorts of different colour options here. I just love it. My favourite, I think, is actually the pumpkin, although I, I love them all. I absolutely adore these. Nine, uh, sorry, 294-626 is the item number. They're new today, 1899. There's something for all seasons there when you think about it, because the apple... And then you've got the strawberry, which makes you think of summer. And then, of course, the pumpkin. Uh, but you're going to use them all year round, aren't you? I love that so much. Right, another wonderful item up next. Oh, the bag. This is a great buy once again. I mean, I'm, if I can't, I'm just going to see if I can put this on my shoulder. Look at the generous size of this. It really is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you've got good depth to this as well. If you wanted to put a popper on there, you could do. You could put pockets inside if you wanted to. You are going to get the fabrics to create this just as you're seeing it with the instructions. A nice, easy bag. Do you know what? We're looking at this right now. This could be reversed, couldn't it? We could, if you wanted to turn this the other way, you could reverse it you as could, well? You yeah. could, yeah. Yeah, you could. You are going to have a, a small seam on the inside to turn it through, but once you've sewn that up, yeah, yeah absolutely. Lovely. Mm. Lovely, although I've got to say... It does look beautiful, doesn't it, like that? But yes, you could definitely reverse it. Maybe if you've got a bit of a stain on and you didn't want anybody to see it, then you could reverse it. 589491 <laughs> is the item number. Then take it home and wash it, because you can wash these. £22.49. Yeah. Let's have another look at the unicorns. Oh, the quilt. Can we have another look at the finished sample? It is absolutely gorgeous. Now, we will show you that. This is 43 inches by 43 inches. There's a £7.50 saving because this is a whole kit. You are getting the fabrics that you require, obviously, to make what you're seeing on the front of the quilt there. What was the name of the unicorns again? We've got... Uh, hop. Hop. Skip. Yeah. Jump. Yeah. Sit. And stand. I think we can tell which is stand and sit. Yep. Uh, hop and oh, skip I think are a bit interchangeable. I think we can see what they all are. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. They're just lovely, aren't they? And again, you could take the templates and use them in different projects afterwards. Yeah. Love this one so much. £67 and so many pence, but it doesn't matter because if you want flexi, it's two payments of £33.75. pence. Oh, you I have got that saving of £7.50. Six, seven, four, three, two, two. Yes, yeah, sixty-seven, forty-nine is the price. Reuse. I know you're going to do it. You're going to reuse those templates. You're going to make loads of unicorns. If you're going for the quilt... Don't miss out on our next item because I think they deserve to stay together. We've got the wonderful rainbow unicorn. This is the one coming up here. Now, you don't get the yarn here, so that does give you the option of changing, of course, the colours. Perhaps you wanted to pick out one of the colours in the actual body of the unicorn and do the main that colour, but it's very easy to get hold of those different yarns in various different colours. Perhaps you've got lots of scraps at home. So... The instructions then, will because the yarns are included, but will it show tell you in the instructions how to sew the yarn into there? Mm, That's yeah. all included. Perfect. Is everything? If I get round to it, I'm going to show you a completely different yarn. Oh, wonderful. Mm, do, do love yeah. this so much. Only £19.29. pence. All the other fabrics, of course, are included, including the gold that you're going to use for the horn there. You've got the pinks. You've got the starry fabric for the main body. Beautiful. £3.20 saving on this one, 681602. Now, oh, ah, right, we've just found out something. If you look at the seven day savers, we have some yarn available. So if you the haven't yarn. got what you need, maybe we've got something for you. Oh, this is a good buy, 10 balls, 100 grams. Ah, different oh. colour choices as well. So you can get 10 hundred gram balls there for just 19.99, a saving of 17 pounds and 50 pence. Oh, we've got lilac, we've got peach in there, we've you got can, lemon. You can make 10 pounds with mint. the white. And we've got mint. They're lovely colours for yeah. unicorn mains. Oh yeah, perfect. Mint would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Yeah, oh, do you know, if you can afford mm. to go for all of them, you've got 10 balls of each, then you can mix mm. them all up. Do whatever like you wish with them. 342478 is the item number for our next item, which you might also want that yarn for. Uh, no, that was the yarn, sorry. We've got sparkle. <laughs> I don't know why I... Do you know, I could have sworn I, sp I saw sparkle on the screen then. That's why I said that. Anyway, there it is now. <laughs> so this is sparkle with those lovely sparkly pink hooves as well. Again, it's up to you for the choice of the yarn. Those yarns we've just shown would work beautifully, particularly with sparkle, I think. 1999-157858 is the item number. Included in the pattern that you're going to get there is Henry the horse. He's up next because we do have the kit for Henry. Isn't he fabulous? 
There he is. Let me turn him right around. Look at his ears. Oh, he's so sweet. I love, I can so imagine children carrying these around. They're going to mm. want to hug and cuddle them, aren't they? They're yeah. really, really beautiful. Mm. They are a nice shape to just pop under your arm like that. Definitely. Yeah. Tell you what, that dolly rides on that exactly. She Aww. does sit on that horse. She has does had she? a ride. She does, yeah. yeah. She, sometimes she you rides at the shows, on. yeah. So she does. Look at that. She's just that that means nice. she'll go on the unicorns as well. She will. <gasps> yes. Let's try her. When we off. have a quiet day at quilting shows, we have been known to have a bit of fun playing with these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She is the yes, perfect yeah, size, isn't she? What we do with them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. You've got the choice. You've got the unicorns, but of course we're looking at the details for Henry at the moment for 19.99, 176, 4.47. It's good job she has got her panties on. If she's going to be riding on the back of Henry there now on a windy day, we wouldn't want that, would we? Uh, let's have a look at the details for our lovely little dolly next. It's Nancy. She's got her underskirt. She's got a pinafore on there. She's got a beautiful ribbons in her hair. £22.49. And, and look at her shoes. Yes, she is modelled on a very famous character that you may have seen in the films. But, you know, she could be anybody you want her to be. 598938 is the item number. And if you are making more than one, you've got the pattern there. You can change the colour of the hair. Maybe you want to make them to look like characters or um, other characters from nursery rhymes or something like that or maybe yeah. members of your family maybe a granddaughter or something a neighbor perhaps you can decide mm. you use the same amount of fabric for the apron and the dress so you could swap it round and have a blue dress oh, and a white apron. Nice. so that's possible yeah oh i do like that idea oh so you have got options there then yeah maybe go mm. for two of these and have one one way one the other i mean you could have a blue doll with a pink dress and a white pinafore but I wouldn't do that no, personally. No, nor would I. She'd look a bit cold, wouldn't she? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love that. 598938. Now, we've got some more patterns for you as well because, of course, oh, do you know, it's great when you can go for the patterns. Let's have a look at this next option. You've got Dexter the Dragon there, and you've got Sparkle Unicorn and Henry Horse as well. So if you've got fabrics you want to work with, you know what you want to go with, then maybe you want to go for these as the patterns on their own. 1999-243-539. And, of course, on the table where the demonstrations are taking place, we've got more patterns for you we've got those wonderful dolls we've got the sewing dolly dawn she's sold out as a kit so you can still get her in a pattern form you've got nancy doll that's the doll that we've just had you can see in a completely different color there and we've got holly dolly there and holly dolly you can see her sat proudly on the table in a little tutu oh she's lovely as well i can imagine a little crown put on her head or a hairband as well mm -hmm. so you can adapt these yeah. however you want yeah. 21.99 for those three patterns one three eight six eight nine Oh, how lovely are they? Oh, <laughs> beautiful. You can really oh. have fun, actually. The Nancy that you've been looking at up there, I actually French plaited her hair. <laughs> I had fun doing that one. Oh, so you had? Yeah, you so you, know, you really can play oh, with you these. you are clever. Look at that. I've had long hair in the past. <laughs> so so the past don't just plait. start here. You've gone all the way up. So the French plaiting. Mm. You know, you can have a bit of fun with the hair, can't you? You, you can really whatever can. Whatever you want. I put too much, to be honest, I did too much hair. I, I'm a fan of having more hair than less. So I did too much <laughs> and it wouldn't plait very well. And I went, what am I going to do? And I, Ooh. <laughs> oh, this is so much better. So, yeah, play with it, the amount of hair on them as well. Oh, so. And the little dress is made like a proper grown-up dress. It so really you, is, So you get a it? bit of practice with a little girl could practice oh, how to make beautiful. a dress. I'm showing her under a petticoat. You could put a bit of broad, uh, broad on glaze underneath there if you, you wanted to really as well, or a bit could. of glaze. Yeah. Can I just ask about the face? Because with your characters, you do exactly what I love to see. Always have rosy cheeks. Yes, you know it's what that blusher. is? It's my it? blusher. And I <laughs> use a Q-tip. exactly what I use yeah. as well. Q-tip Q -tip and a blusher. Yeah. And it works Easy. so well, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It warms the face up, it gives more character. Yeah. Just oh, looks yeah, lovely. definitely. It gives her, yeah, character. That's the word I was thinking of. Yeah, that's what you said. Mm. Yeah, it definitely. It such a difference. Right, can we go back to demonstration area? What are we going to see next, We ladies? can. Right, I've just, I've made the neck frill, which is um, a row of spines. And you have to make sure you snip in between, snip the corners off to close to the stitches and turn it through. But I didn't have time to show you how to do that because I've got to gather it. Now, you, ordinarily I do this on the machine, but while we were talking, I thought I'll just hand gather that. So I've just got a little bit more. 
Um, I think it's to nice to hand gather it sometimes, although yeah. I usually do it on the machine because we've not got time, have we? I have a I have a habit of snapping my threads when I do it on a machine, oh, so no. when I hand gather it, it's a bit sturdier. <laughs> but that's because I'm quite hand fisted, I think. So Lovely. there we go. So well, that's we it gathered. We have time wise, we have got oh, about 15 and a half minutes Ooh. left. Oh, do we really? have do we have yeah. a demonstration for the pin cushions? <gasps> we do. Ooh, do I shall I tell you what? Time. Let's do that because you've seen the most interesting part of Dexter. Okay, yeah. and you do get the full instructions full instructions Dexter. with all of the um, pictures that you need to show you how to do it. And, and it the is... other dust, it's a lot easier Ooh. than the one we just put in, and that was yeah. easy, so... Wonderful. There's yeah. actually only three pages, so it's not that difficult. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot of pattern pieces, so we'll pop that. We'll move that aside completely, and I'll show you the strawberry. Oh, nice. Now, you get all three of the pink cushions, remember, you do not have to make a choice. You get the apple, the strawberry, and the pumpkin. It's not just the pattern. And it's all the fabrics as well. These are yeah. some of my favourite fabrics that I've seen today, actually, because the brightness mm. the, and they are superb quality as well. They are really good fabrics, yeah, definitely. So, again, you've got your, your patterns. They're all full size with your seam allowances, and I've cut out two stems, as I said, as a pair. So you've got wrong side to wrong side here. We're going to quickly, with a pair of scissors, cut out the strawberry. Now the strawberry needs to go on the fold, so okay, I've got a piece yeah. of fabric folded here and I folded it so I'm not using up all of my fabric I've not put it in the middle I've pushed it as far as I can and I'm just going to quickly cut that out the the dashed lines there is just to show you where you should be sewing okay lovely so that's your seam allowance that's it I'm not the best at cutting with scissors while people are watching as a lefty, edge, though, are you really? well, as a lefty, I learned to cut with right-handed because when I was a kid, they only had right-handed scissors. There was no thing, such things as left-handed oh. sewing scissors. Not in school, anyway. Well, no, you didn't have any either because you're right-handed. No, I never so, thought of that. I just, I, I'm not the best at cutting mm -hmm. out. This is why I like patchwork quilting because a lot of it's rotary cutter, and I can use that in my left hand. But I manage. I manage. I well, can cut it out as neat as that with the wrong hand. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I can't cut with my left hand because I learned how to do it right-handed. I'm just not very good. There we go. There we are. That's it. Right, so take the pins out. Turn it the other way. I always, for some reason, I always cut with my fabric wrong sides together. If you cut it the other way around, you wouldn't have to turn it <laughs> over and do it the other way around. But it's just a habit. So now, such as your pattern, you're going to be sewing that round there with a quarter inch seam. And a bend on the bottom. And a bend on the bottom. Yeah. And you can nice see it just simple. kind of peters off there. Yes. So, yeah. and, and leave the top curved to edge it. open. Yeah, Mum's I've never made one of these, by the way. <laughs> oh, we're testing you now then, Pam. Oh, if you're going to be making these to sell, you can whiz these up in no time. <laughs> really I quick. love these. I think they, they just look amazing. They're so useful. But yeah. for anybody that does make to gift or to sell as well, this, this is a great option to go for. It really is. Yeah, they are so lovely. And everybody loves a pin cushion. So, while she's doing that, because there's not a lot to, that is the mum. No. <laughs> I've, yeah, I've also cut the strawberry leaf frill um, and again I've done it on the fold, fold on the edge of there, two, two pieces on the fold and all I've done is you open them up, whoop, she says, put them right sides together and sew all the way around the um, zigzaggy edge leaving that curved edge and the two sides okay, open. Yeah. Okay, and then you're going to open this out a little bit and you're going to get to those two ends Pull them flat like that, and you're going to sew along there. And I tend to butt that seam there, so it's one seam goes one way, one the other way, and oh, then you pull yeah, it I'll so that they flatter, meet. Like your yeah, like yeah. your patchwork. Mm. I'll pop a pin in there for you, Mum. Mm. There you are. So she's going to sew along that for me. Mm -hmm. Now, just as Pam is sewing there, I just want to give everybody an update. Actually, um, oh. Henry, our horse. We're actually going to take him limited stock. Oh. Limited stock. Now, this is for the kit, 1999 Make sure you grab yours while we've got the option. Um, here he is. Here's Henry Horse. And then you can recreate him in different colours as well. Go for Nancy doll as well, so she can sit on the back. Because they just work so beautifully together. Uh, make sure you check your baskets out on Henry there. He's fab, isn't he? Love him. There we are. We've got Nancy at the bottom of the screen there if you do want to look at the details. There we are. 176447 for our Henry. Back to the pictures. 
Right, How are we so getting on you. there? Right, now the top edge of the strawberry needs to be gathered. And this is best done by hand. So I'm going to give that to Mum to do by hand while I show you oh. this frill. Huh. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of gathering with these, I'm afraid. <laughs> She loves to gather by hand. Oh, yeah, it's this very similar that. to Dexter's uh, frill around his neck. It there. is. It's best if you don't sit, sew your little um, spikes in like okay, that. Yeah. But what we'll do is we'll just snip that out like that. There we go. That's better. Why can't I do this ah, with a machine? I see. Because uh, it's just it's too big. A, I'm not arguing with you on, on air right now. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> Stop binging. <laughs> right, there we go. So oh. that's freed up. You're going to have to go around Ooh. and snip into those points the same as you do on the, the neck, like I, I did and you didn't see me do, all the way into there. If you catch the seam, it will come undone. So just go and stitch it again a little bit further in, but try not to do that as close to the seam as you can, but without snipping it. Okay. Without snipping the threads all the way around and just to make it easier for you and I always do this when I'm doing little points like this if you've not done these before I also snip the edges off yeah so you've taken away that bulk yeah again, and, it, and again not quite as close this time but I just take the end off so you can do it like that and then just yeah take the bulk out because you've got to get all this fabric into that point when you're turning it through <laughs> so, try not to cut any of the other sp sticky bits while I'm doing it and this is what gives it the, sh the shape around the top of the strawberry to make it kind of frilly because you will be gathering this, isn't there? Oh, oh Mum will. Oh, I'm going to do that on the machine. Oh, poor Pam. We are working hard tonight, aren't we? You can't do it on the machine. Why? No, because you actually need to pull them really tight uh, mm. while you're stuffing and, and such. Mm. So if you do it on your machine, you're going to break, break it. it. You are. Yeah, it's not. it doesn't work on a machine. Now, folks, if you want to do it on the machine, I would use... A heavier weight polyester thread on your machine and then you could touch your fingers when you're trying to pull it no. <laughs> <laughs> I would also probably sew this in a in a green thread to match because as you're pushing these through you can see the white but that's entirely up to you I've done this in white so you can see where I've sewn it yeah of course um, and also I push them through with my finger all the way around how cute is that? <laughs> and then I use a pair of scissors that are not sharp on the end, or you could use a pencil or a turning tool if you've got one, and just push them out all the way around. And Mum's going to do that for me. Yeah. Then you can do the next bit. I'll do the next bit. Oh, we're getting pumped to multitask now. She, she knows oh. point. She's gathering by hand, on, possibly on the machine. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> right, strawberries done. I don't know when gathered. I last did something like that. I'll tell you, I always <laughs> do it on the machine. She yeah, always I does. I do, yeah, I would have done so that. So I've turned it three. <laughs> Again, push your finger through, but you don't need to push a point out because there isn't one. It's a little rounded finger okay. there. Everyone is loving these. In fact, I'm just hearing we've gone limited stock on the Ooh. pin cushions. Wow. Maybe Make I sure won't have to do I any more hands. Get across here the value of this kit because you are getting you are getting all three patterns all together there and all of the fabrics. These fabrics are just beautiful. I mean the green, the red, the orange is in there as well. I mean they I presume that you've got different amounts of different fabrics here, but let me just open one of these up. Let's go for the, the spotty one because I can see this is the larger of the spots. You've got the smaller one as well. This has been used in the apple. I mean, you've got everything thought for you here as well. Yeah. What you've got is you've got seven for eights. Right, okay. And two 10 inch squares, so it equals ah. about, a, a, well, it equals a metre. So what I've done is I've given you a 10 inch square in the brown because you're only going to use that for two stems. Yeah. And you've got three greens there. You don't really need a whole three greens. So I've given you the other 10 inch square in one of the greens. So you're going to have a little bit spare as well. So maybe you could make miniature versions if you wanted to, oh, or maybe a, could, a needle yeah, case to match. I don't know how many you can make. You, do, you can't just make three. You can make more than three. It really is great value, isn't it? Yeah. Don't miss out on yours. 18 There we are. Do you know, I'm thinking, as I just love the pumpkin because I would make those and put them out as ornaments yeah, in the autumn and at Halloween as well. I just think they're beautiful. Oh, I love them. They could be weighted as well. Do you know what that could be? It could be a weight for your patterns as well. Yeah, it could. Whatever you want to use that for. It's really, I love the pumpkin. That's, I think that's probably, well, no, I love them all. The pumpkin was my first one. And then I decided, you know what? You need other ones. You need other fruits. Oh, for all seasons. That's what I think. I love yeah. this kit. Uh, let's have another look at the strawberries so you can see 
the top there, this is the frilled area, the pointed area that we've just seen demonstrated there. Of course, it forms the top of the strawberry. I mean, you could make a number of these, and if you were selling, when we get back to doing faints and shows and things, you could have strawberries in a basket. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wouldn't that look lovely to display them? Yeah. Or, well, any of these, actually, the pumpkins, the apples as well, just as decoration around your home. Oh, definitely. Because you could wash these as well. If they get a little bit dusty, if you've got them out, you know, as decorations. Yeah, they're you cotton fabrics. They're all 100% cotton fabrics. I love fabrics, them. So. Do you know what I'm thinking as well? What mm -hmm. about making a really good fun game? You could make sort of stuffed skittles. Oh, yeah. And these are your your bowling balls. You could throw them at the skittles. <laughs> they're not going to hurt or do any damage. On a rainy day... On a I was going to do an over on that. Hey, I'll have you know, I won a competition bowling one time. Ooh. Not over I'm doing it properly. I was bowling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, now, we're getting way through this show, aren't we? I haven't got long left, actually. Let's have a little bit of a recap. We'll let the ladies continue on with what they're doing there. We'll come back to the ladies in a second. But uh -huh. let's remind you of one or two other items as well. The bag. We've got, oh, the bag is just beautiful. Let me show you this again, because this is such a generous size and very easy to make. It's a whole kit, including the lining. If you want to traverse it, you could, but you've got those beautiful squares, of course. Let me just turn that around, because the depth of this is nine inches. So there again, straight away, you know that with the charm squares and they're five inches square, it takes into account the seam allowance. That's where you get your nine inches from. 13 and a half inches wide, 13 and a half inches high as well. You are getting those beautiful fabrics. I love that. 22 pounds and 49 pence. You can so remake that with the instructions if you want in different fabrics as well. 589491. There we are. Stay where you are. Uh, let's have a reminder as well of that beautiful quilt. 43 inches by 43 inches is the finished size here. All those gorgeous fabrics again. Do watch out for our one day special that's coming up next as well because there's lots of wonderful fabrics that would work very, very well with these. So if you have got spare bits, you can use those as well. 67.49 is the price for this kit. This is going to make you what we can see here in the studio, which is absolutely gorgeous. Those five different unicorns. There you can see the details, 674322. This really is beautiful, isn't it? It's a keepsake. We've got the rainbow unicorn for you as well. If you're making the quilt, maybe you want to go for this one as well because they go hand in hand. But of course, if you want to go for this individually, you can do. This is our rainbow unicorn. You do get the fabrics. You won't get the yarn. You can choose the yarn for the main, but you will get the pattern to reuse as well. 681602. Then we have sparkle unicorn. Gorgeous fabrics in this one because you've got that glitter in there, the white and the pink. You've got the gold. Really beautiful. 15785. Five, eight. Henry Horse is extremely limited, extremely limited. So please check out on this one as soon as you can. 1999, if you want to go for the kit, 176447. Limited, very, very, it should say, we can't put it on there, but it should say very, very, very limited. Then, of course, we've got Nancy Doll, who does fit on the back of Henry Horse or one of the uh, beautiful. Let me just bring in, let me just bring in again our lovely sparkly unicorn. Perfect size there. Look at that. Get them to go hand in hand. 22.49. If you're going for the Nancy doll kit, 598.938. And then we've got the patterns for you. We'll show you these on a picture. Uh, if you want to go for the patterns, you can use whatever fabrics you want, the dragon and the unicorn. But you also get Henry Horse in there as well. $19.99 is the price new today for these. So if you've got fabrics you already want to go with, this is a great option, 243539. We've also got the dolls for you. Three patterns here for one price. Look at this. We've got Holly Dolly. We've got Nancy Doll. And we've got the Sewing Dolly Dawn. And she was such a popular item. Item. She sold that very quickly as a kit, so you can create there with the pattern. 138689 is the item number. Only 21.99 for all of those patterns there. The pin cushions proven to be very, very popular. There they are. Let me just lift these up so you can see exactly what you can create. I love, love, love the leaf on there as well. It just finishes it off beautifully. We've got the apple. We've also got the strawberry that we're seeing in demonstration. We'll see how that's getting on in a second. $18.99. It's a full kit, so you're getting the patterns and you're getting all of those fabrics. And there's more than enough to make more than three or use those fabrics for something else as well. 294-626 is the item number.
Right, we've got about two minutes left. How are we getting on over there? We are doing okay. I had a little bit of a mishap because I forgot to mention you need at least four strands, or as Mum said, polyester if you really want to, four strands of thread because you've got to pull this quite tight. So that was my fault, so it snapped. <laughs> um, which is why you don't do it on a machine. I did tell you, didn't I? I would put polyester thread on it. She really would because she always yeah. knows everything better than me. So <laughs> annoying. <laughs> it is strong thread on this. It thing. is. Yeah. So, I've gathered all the way around again. There's my two ends. Now, Mum put a knot in there, and I totally understood, but I forgot to tell her that you need your two ends, and I like to tie just one knot so that it doesn't pull the pull against it. I've stuffed this reasonably tight, but the tighter you stuff it, the harder it is to um, pull the gathers. Now, you want to pull your gathers so you can fit your finger in there. Okay, yeah. Now, the easiest way to tie a knot is to do it, twizzle it around a couple of times, and then it's less likely to come undone. While you're, she says, tying it, tying it, which okay, you did. Well, one minute left. There you go. Right, say I've done that tighter. You're then going to take your frill that you gather around, and she's put a knot in it again. I keep forgetting to, not to tell her that. <gasps> Pop that in there, like that. I'm again. not going to stop you, but Henry Horse has just sold out. Go oh, for the no. pattern if you've missed out on the kit. Oh, you can actually get Henry Horse in the unicorn pattern as well, can't you? So if you go for the unicorn, oh, Henry yeah. Horse is in there as well. Oh, there we are. There is the beautiful, beautiful strawberry. Yeah. Just stitch that around the top, top yeah. make the stem and push that into that hole and stitch it in. And that's it, really. I mean, I've Amazing. not stuffed it very well, but... Oh, sorry. Yeah, oh, I so want to go and make those now. I think I'm going shopping <laughs> while we've still got some stuff left. It's limited stock of the pink cushions. Will there be any left for me? 294-626 is the item number. Absolutely fantastic products, ladies, right across the board. They're great <laughs> savings. Lots of new todays. Please check those baskets out. Don't miss out on these. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, thank uh, you. No falling out on the way home, though. That's what I'm going to say. No, we'll be all right. We don't really we'll fall be all right. <laughs> <laughs>to end my day but we've got more coming up we've got fabric freedom one day special with sasha and alex and we've got john and sheen magazine box kit by Fab followed by fabric freedom after Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the saa the uk's largest and friendliest art community I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamp range covers a broad spectrum of imagery. We started out with architecture, fairly cute, fairly uh, folksy, very well received. This has since been broadened out into vehicles, people, Basically everything works around a scenic image. The stamps are all hand drawn by me, they're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring you. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. MDF products are produced in Devon, in the UK, and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows. Hello, good
Good evening. Right then, it's the second instalment of our one-day special. We've got three options for you, but we also have a complete collection, which, as always, the majority of you have been going for. But without further ado, before we take a look at these wonderful fabrics, let's introduce Sasha. Hello, Sasha. Hello. Nice to see you back. Yeah, it's nice to see you again. Yes, lovely yeah. stuff. Um, so what do you think about these wonderful fabrics? <gasps> It's like a rainbow, isn't it? It's it great. Is. They are so bright, so beautiful. And don't be the, put off by the fact that they're poly cotton. Okay. You know, what you've got to look at is the absolute amazing price mm -hmm. of them. Yes. It's like two pounds something a metre. Two seventy six. Two seventy six. Yeah. So you know, look at things as your um, applique, quilt backs, mm -hmm. bag linings, dressmaking. Yep. You know, there are so many different things that you can be doing with these. Oh. And um, it's such a good stash to have. Yeah. Because if you are somebody that does things with, you know, charm squares or fabric rolls or anything like that, and mm -hmm. you want to add a bit of colour or... Yeah. Or also dampen the colour down a little bit. Mm -hmm. This is a range for that. It's great, isn't it? Right, so what you're getting in each option is 12 one metre by... Oh, it just swizzled round. I think it's 44 inches yes. there. It'll, yeah, good yeah. stuff. <laughs> um, metres. Um, um, so you're getting the 12 one metre by 44 inches. There you go, wide. Uh, beautiful fabrics. Now, the first option here is the brights, obviously. You can see, I mean, just look at those colours. The reds, the purples, the blues. We go to greens and oranges and pinks. It really is a fantastic rainbow. Look at that saving. £11.10 saving. That is amazing. Now, that saving is on each option here. Right, so these are your brights. Next then, we come on to the darks. There we go, all the way to here. So in this option, we've got maroons and beautiful blues. Um, this is nice. This could be quite a masculine set, actually. Exactly. Mm. And if you were to buy them in multiples, obviously they come in. They come cut in multiples. Wonderful. So if you are looking at doing any dressmaking for um, shirts for yeah. chaps, Sometimes chaps like a little bit of colour in their shirts, but not too way out. So you could do your collars, your cuffs. That's a nice idea. Have that little bit there. Um, um, neckerchiefs, handkerchiefs, that sort of thing. Um, and also great for your basics, for your applique, for your eyes, for your outlines. Yeah. Bag linings. I always like a dark bag lining because it doesn't get too dirty. Mm. Um, but I must say, I love the burgundy and the dusky. This one, burgundy. yes. Burgundy. Oh, nice beautiful. dusty pink, isn't it? Really like that. So that one then is the dark option. And then last but not least, we've got the light or pastels, really, aren't yes. they? Yes. Um, and these are really on trend at the moment, seeing a lot of pastel everywhere. I just, I mean, it just shouts spring, doesn't it? And yes. it's so nice. I love the way that they've been set out, that you've got those brights, then you've got those more muted tones, and then we've got this beautiful pastel going. It's like seasons. It is, isn't it? it I is. like that. Right then, so each option, you've got the three to choose from, is £34.48 and £11.10 and £11 and saving on each option. So times that by three, because guess what? It's going to carry over into the complete collection, and you're going to get a further £4 off. So I'm going to let you do the maths there. We have got it at £99.44. Uh, it is on Flexi Buy. Item number is 954275. And the good thing is, it's not on just two Flexi Buy payments, it's on three Flexi Buy payments of £33.15. So for that price today, £33.15, um, you're going to get all 36 metres of fabric sent out to you. So I like that. I love that with a complete oh, collection. Can you it's imagine good, that, having that come oh. through the door? 36 metres. I know. Of fabric. Oh, it's just it's what you're going to do with it. And of course, if you're a Freedom member, you're not paying for your postage, which is perfect. Right, uh, we've also got some happy hour deals for you. Here we go. Now, this is half a metre by 1.2 metres of anti slip materials. Um, so, what do we use this for, Sasha? So, th this can go in. Uh, as a draw lining, yeah, it can go where your mugs and your glasses go, but you can also use it in your car to stop your keys or things slipping oh, on the top. Oh, yeah. But what I use it for a lot as well is to go strips to go under rugs on wooden floors, oh. and then it stops all that movement of um, anything like that Very scratching the floors or slipping on rugs and things. Yeah. And um, so I tend to cut it into strips and then just hand stitch it onto the back of a rug. Lovely stuff. All right, so this is a happy hour deal. You've got it at 10.99. That's a big old piece there, uh, with the four pound saving only up until 9 p.m. this evening. Six three zero six five one. 
Another happy hour deal for you. We've got the jungle safari panel. This is really sweet, isn't it? <laughs> so um, cute, isn't it? It is. Uh, so you're getting a quilt panel and a cushion panel. Now there's three options. This one is the navy. Then we've got the pink, very bright, that one. And then the teal. Oh, I like all of them, to be honest. I do. Seven pound saving. Really good. Just fourteen ninety eight until nine pm this evening. Five seven six four two two is your item number. Now we've got a really fun pick and mix. This was really really busy earlier on. Okay, so these are meter pieces of poly cotton, and you're picking any four. If you want to go for all the same, with these, is it the same, Sasha? That if you go for four of the same, it'll come as a come massive as a, piece yeah, into a massive piece. Yeah, lovely continuous cut. That's the word. That sounds That's better. That's the one. Yes, that sounds that sounds much much better. <laughs> right. So here we go. We've got our leopards. Okay, so you can get it in green. There's the navy, or the sky blue. Okay, next. This is the pooches. I love them. Pooches in pink, adorable. Then we go on to our giraffes in the navy, the purple. Can you see that? All right. Here you go. Or the orange, I like the orange. I love the orange. Yeah. Okay, so, all oh right, these have sold out earlier, but we have got them back on extended delivery. Okay, so just a couple of days, so it'll be from the 26th of April. This one is the clown stripe. That one is in small. Yeah. And the next one is the stripe, but in the medium. Okay, lovely. Okay, the next... Right, we've got the zebras next. So this one is in white. This grey, are we calling that grey, are we? Ah, oh, fair enough. It's like a taupey grey, yeah, isn't it? It's, it's not warm. so much of a grey. Mm. Um, I'd say it was a greyish. I like that. A greyish. It's a mix good. between that beige and grey. I so, agree. Yeah, I'm not sure where the greys come from on that, but I would definitely say it's more of a, a warmer grey. So yeah, totally. we'll call it a greyish. I like that. And then we've got the zebras in the pink. Then next we've got, oh, I like the strawberry fields. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, look at that. So that one's in the white. Then we've got it in a nice soft pink. And then obviously we've got it in the navy. Next we've got Swan Lake. How adorable is that? Uh, so this one is in the pink, the mint, or the yellow. I can't decide on those. And then the last one, I like the puffins, <laughs> Sasha. They're is cute. And they've got little hats on. Look! <laughs> um, the puffins, funnily enough, have been very popular. So this one is the puffins with the navy, and then we've got the puffins with the red. Uh, so you're picking any four for just 13 99 Item number is 325292. And then we've got the tartan. Now, these are half metres. OK, so these are a cotton mix yarn and you're choosing any three this time. I do like a bit of tartan, Sasha. I do. And what I liked about these is normally when you buy tartan, it's very heavy. Yeah. Now, this is not heavy, bearing in mind that it's a cotton mix. Yeah. So it's a lighter fabric. So it, it means that you can still wear these beautiful tartans, but through the summer yeah. as well. Nice. So, you know, think of things like little tartan shift dresses, um, lightweight dungarees, lightweight PJs, that sort of thing, um, because it is a lighter weight tartan. Yeah. And you don't very often see this. Normally, as I say, when you buy your tartans, they're very heavy. So this way, you can really enjoy them all year round. And um, yeah, I love them. They're cool, aren't I they? I love them. Love a good tartan. Right, so they've all got funky names, apparently. Uh, so we've got the Black Watch. Okay. Next one. Small Royal Stuart, <laughs> interesting names. I do like that one, it's very traditional. Next, Dress Stuart, Thompson Camel, Royal Stuart is this one, Campbell Dress Modern, and the Small Black Watch, which is this one. Lovely, so you're picking any three of your half metres. Item number is 710489 uh, and it's 11 pounds and 94 pence for any of those. Right, and then we've got some bundles for you. So these are fat quarters. Uh, they've got a nice mottled effect. Um, so we've got four in each of these bundles, four fat quarters there. So um, you can see we've got our lovely pinks. I like the mottled effect, Sasha. I do. I just think it gives something different. If you don't want to work with just planes, 
if you like like the um, Amish style quilts and things, doing it with something like this, a little bit different, um, just gives something a little extra to it. So it's not um, it's not mar marble type fabric. I would say it's like a light dusting in oh, places. Okay. Yeah. It's really really cute, really sweet. Nice. I'll open one up in a minute. So you've got your pinks. Uh, next then we've got the neutrals, lovely neutral colours, sort of through your beige and your cream and then a little bit of ochre, let's say. Next then we've got the blues. Again, you get all of those lovely shades. I think they're great for skies. <coughs> if you're Ooh. doing like um, wall hangings. That's or, a nice idea. Yeah, or landscapes or things like that. These work great as your backgrounds for your skies or your grass or that sort mm, of thing. I like that. Right then. So are we going to this one, are we? Yeah, this one. This one is the jewel. Oh, I like those tones. Very pretty. Next, we've got the scarlets. Beautiful. Then we've got the greens. And last but not least, duck egg greys. Right, let's open one up because I think that's important, just so you can see the effect. Do, do, do. Talk amongst yourselves. One second. So there these you are go. your fat quarter size? Yes. Are they a British fat quarter size? Um, I UK. presume they are because they're cut by metre ridge. Oh, so I, see. I would think they are. So that's Excellent. cut on the half metre and then across where the, your fold would normally be. Excellent. Right then, so for any of these bundles, you're getting four fat quarters for just 11.99. We've got some great prices on the show today, haven't we? Uh, item number is 870366. Now, do go to our web website, thecraftstore.com, because we've got all your essentials on there. Uh, like, here we go. We've got all of your fabulous materials. Don't forget the pick and mixes. They're proving really busy. Those lovely pick and mixes are gorgeous. Now, we are very, very busy for... Uh, the, oh, the which sheeting? The polymix sheeting, okay. Right, you're getting five metre pieces. It's got a really good five-star review, actually. So there's loads of your essentials that you've got there. Don't forget about your happy hour deals. You've got uh, just over 45 minutes to get those before they go up in price. Um, right then, so what would you like to demo for us, Sasha? So first of all, we're going to have a little look at the quilt behind me, which is done by doing something called a rail fence block. It's a really, really nice and easy um, block to do. And you can play around with your sizes of it as well, which is quite clever. Um, obviously, when you cut this, you're going to bear in mind um, your seam allowance, um, which obviously I use a quarter of an inch. So what you do is I've cut these at two and a half inch strips. And you're going to sew all of these together. You're just going to sew them into a group of three in whichever way you prefer them to go. Yeah. And um, just using your quarter of an inch. And you're going to go from top to bottom on one side. And then when you're joining the other, you're going to go bottom to top on the other side. It just stops it curving a little bit yes. and going like a banana. So you don't want to watch me um, joining those together, but I have got one that I have done. So when you have um, joined your strips together, I then give it a quick measure and also straighten off um, the edge so I know that it's nice and straight before I start um, cutting. Mm -hmm. So you, you're going to, you cut your strips at two and a half inches. Yeah. And then I tend to give it a quick measure um, just to see what it comes out as without your seam allowance. So it's coming out just below. I can't read it that way around. I need to read <laughs> it this way around. So it's coming out at about six and a half. Okay. So you are then, whatever width this is joined, you are then going to cut your square. Mm -hmm. Okay, does that sort of make sense? Yeah, totally. So you need four of those. Obviously, you've joined your strips, so you know that your two and a half inch seams are included in that, so it's all safe. So I'm just going to cut this. 
And as I say, you can get so many different effects mm -hmm. um, and different patterns from doing something like a rail fence. Just such, it's so quick, so quick, so And a easy. beginner could do it. You are? And a beginner could do it. Oh, I thought you said you were starting to do it. No. <laughs> um, yes, easily. Easily, easily a beginner Good. can do it. So once you have cut your pieces, I've got that one there. Have a trim that one. This is when, can you see, no, we're going to bring it here. And then you can see it on the camera. This is when you start playing. Oh, I see. About how you would like your pattern yep. to be. So you could have it that way. Mm -hmm. So then you've got this part is your main. And then when you join, because you're joining your four together to make one big block. And it's how you join them together at this stage to make your block. But then yep. when you make other blocks, it's how you actually put them together okay. to make different patterns. So, you know, we might want the pink in the middle. So you've got a lot of choice dead. you can play with. Yeah, you can just play around. Um, so you can play around. I thought I had another two there, but they've done a disappearing act. Right, so let's see if these ones are going to... So as we've just done these ones, let's see if we can put these ones together. So um, I, I quite thought, I thought the blue looked quite nice. It's, it looks very classy, actually. In the centre of this one. Mm. But it's also very, very fun, because I really like the other fabrics you've used. My zebras. Yeah. Uh, details for the pick and mix are on screen. If you want to go for any four one metre fabrics, you've got lots of choice. Now, the only thing that you're going to have to bear in mind with doing a directional fabric is you will have one that is upside down. OK. OK. So it depends where if you really can be bothered. I mean, I'm quite happy like with it. my um, zebras going um, in one direction. Mm -hmm. But again, it's completely up to you. I mean, if, if you weren't that bothered, you could have stripes in the middle if you wanted to. Cool. Oh, I quite like the stripes in the middle. It's fun, isn't it? Do you like the stripes? Yeah. yeah. Should we go to stripes in the middle? Why not? So we're going to put the first two together and we're going to just use our quarter of an inch. And we're just going to sew all the way down through. And then I just give that a little finger press because you can give it a proper press in a moment. OK, cool. And then we're going to join our next two together. So when you're joining any blocks or making anything, we always put them into pairs, mm -hmm. then into fours, then into their blocks. So even if you were just joining normal squares together, you never just join a square, a square, a square, a square. We always do them into pairs, into fours, and then into eights. OK, why is this? It just means that everything lines up much more nicer. OK. Um, everything works better. Um, if you're just doing a square, a square, a square, a square, what can happen is it can start again like when you um, join strips together. Right. And also, if you're not quite accurate, what can happen is when you get to that end of the first row, if you are, I don't know, quarter of an inch out, by the time you get to the bottom of your quilt, you could be two inches out. Mm -hmm. So at least by doing it into pairs, into fours, and then joining that four into another four, yep. you can line up those seams really, really easily. And that also means as well that you're not going to be... Um, worrying about those points and not getting those points got you because it really bugs me when <laughs> i don't get points i ended up i end up unpicking lots and lots of rows so i'm just going to again just give that a quick press 
And then as you can see, mm -hmm. now obviously we want this seam here to match. Yeah. So I'm going to fold that one on top of there. And people always ask another thing about seams. Okay, now I know that you can, we've got a brilliant cameraman on tonight, so I know he can see this. <laughs> You're making him blush. Yeah. <laughs> so, you can see we've got our seam here and we've got our seam here. I've got this one going to the left yep. and I've got this one pressed to the right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to butt them up together. So they are sort of having a little kiss. Can you see? So they sort of come in together and then you are going to pin them there. Mm -hmm. And by doing one seam to the left, one to the right, it means that they butt up really nicely. And then we are going to sew right the way down through that seam. Okay. See, I told you he's a good cameraman. <laughs> he's very happy right now. Pick and Mix is still extremely busy. You're choosing any four of those fabulous fabrics uh, and they're a metre each. It's because as I, I do as I'm told, you see, that I have my mat positioned and I, yeah. have my, and I don't move it. <laughs> I don't move it. I'm very good. You are indeed. I might forget my mic now and again. <laughs> but I'd never move the sewing machine once it's been put in place. <laughs> right, so let's move that out of the way. Fab, look at that block. That's cool. So, our block is all done. Now, obviously, I chose to complicate it by putting stripes in the middle, which, you know, obviously you're not going to get a full stripe because it, it never works that way. You know, even if I work out where the quarter of an inch is on a stripe, I will always get a little bit like here mm -hmm. or here. But I really like the stripes on the middle there. That's cool. It's very fun, very funky. So you would then carry on, carry on making your sets of four. But I just wanted to show you how quick and easy, just by having your three strips, mm -hmm. how you can just play and play to your heart's content on what way your block is going to go. Yeah. So if you have got loads of scraps, or we all tend to have one or two fabric roll strips left, which are like two and a half inches as well, mm -hmm. you know, just put them all together. You can do this um, in threes, you can do it in fours as well, and you can do it with different width, width fabrics in there. So right. you could do like three that are two and a half and one that's one and a half. But obviously, whatever that measurement is mm -hmm. across is the size that you cut your square right because obviously it needs to be in squares so whichever measurement you start off with could be two and a half could be three could be one and a half once you've pressed it then measure one side to the other side and whatever that distance is you are then going to cut that into your squares and to join your four together and then you will end up with a really nice rail block. Nice. Thank you very much, Sasha. I'll do a recap then and we'll come back to you. OK, so you have got three options for your one day special. You have got first off, you've got your brights. Uh, now, these are uh, meter pieces, meet one meter by 44 inches and you're getting 12 of them. Fantastic sort of bottle green. Lovely. In fact, I match this. Pretty much. Uh, I was feeling very pink today. A really, really nice cerise pink. Very vivid sunshine yellow. Uh, then we go on to, how would I describe this colour? It's like almost between and it's almost like a maybe. Tangerine. Thank you. That's a good way to describe it. Yeah, nice tangerine. And then we'll go for a deep orange. Uh, got a fabulous grass green. Um, then we're, I'm going to go for racing green. I'm going to go for that. I, so, I love cars that colour. I do. I know this is completely off topic, but my, my... school uniform was that colour. Was it? Yeah. Nice. Well, we called it bottle green, but yeah, that was my school uniform, bottle oh, green. Just really like that. Yeah, British racing green, let's do that. OK, so then you've got... Um, oh, we're calling this navy, are we? OK. Uh, then we've got like a sky blue... Well, let's say powder blue, sky blue, and then a really nice purple and a very, very vivid red. I love the brights. They're Paula fabulous. Red. 
Yeah, I know you always say that, Paula yeah, Red. Paula she looks Red. fabulous in red, Paula oh, does. does. Amazing. Yeah. All right, so you're getting all 12 of those. Now, that £11.10 saving, that carries over to the complete collection, and it's on all three options. Okay, so then we come on to the darks. Now, here we've got the black. We've got a very nice grey. It's a very um, classy grey, I think this is. Uh, we do have another green, which is even deeper. I'm going to go forest. It is, isn't it? Because it almost doesn't look... No, it, it doesn't. It looks darker on the screen, actually, on our monitors, but it is. Uh, then we've got a nice, let's say, sagey, mossy green, uh, nice chocolate brown, then a, a mid-brown, and then we'll go for a beige-type camel colour. Uh, then we come on to another sort of really deep navy. And then, oh, yes, Katie said French blue. I like that. Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah. And this, I know it looks like denim. It's not denim. It's just, it's almost got that sort of denim look to it. Do you know I what really I mean? like the fleck in it. Yeah, the I, fleck, yeah, that's the word. I really, really like it. Mm. And, and then we've got a fabulous dusty oh, pink. I love that. Yeah, love that dusty pink. And then you've got a really nice sort of maroon colour. Uh, so that's your second option, your darks. Uh, again, you've got that £11.10 saving. And then we've got the light. So we're going into our nice pastel range. Oh, yeah, Baker's saying these are also great for gents' shirts, aren't they? Yes, definitely. Especially really if you were good. to buy these in your multiples. Yeah. Um, you know, little girls' dresses with some embroidery on there. Oh, that's a nice idea. A bit of smocking, if you do smocking. Mm. Um, that's another good one. But definitely gents' shirts, yeah. Love it. Right then, so we've got like a, oh, I don't know, this is, um, it's almost like a, a greeny duck egg. I can't describe it really. Then you've got a really nice soft blue. This has got a hint of grey to it. This is like a little lilac colour. Um, very light peach, nice little pink, uh, purple here. This is a minty green. And then you go on to like your cream, your ivory, your white and a lovely, I'm going to go primrose. Primrose, there you are. Uh, so for the light, again, it, that's got an £11.10 pence saving. Um, so for any option, you're spending £34.48 pence today. Now, uh, it is 461315. However, so £11.10 pence times three, that all carries over to the complete collection, and then you get a further £4 saving. Now, it's really nice because we've got it on. We're doing this more and more, which I'm very pleased it's about. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, three flexes instead of two. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, if you are somebody that is on a budget and has just started out sewing, I mean, I can remember when I, you know, started up sewing again and, you know, Amelia's 20 now, my oldest. But, you know, she was really young when I started sewing again. Mm -hmm. And obviously I was really budgeting my oh, money and things like that. So if you have just started quilting and you are all or any sort of sewing and you just want to dip your finger in but mm. you really can't afford to build up your stash the flexi paint is such a good way of doing it it's lovely. because with this rain i would definitely go for the whole lot yeah because you were just covered for every single color mm. and there are so many things you can do with all of this and um, yeah, that flexi basket's brilliant. It is. It's so good, yeah. I'm very pleased. Uh, so you're going to get all 36 metres of fabric arriving to you. Um, your first instalment is just £33.15. Item number is 954275. Now, if you're wondering about flexi order, don't worry any more because we're going to tell you a bit about it. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Lovely jubbly, a quick reminder because you've only got half an hour if you want to get your happy hour deals. The first one, here it is. 
Um, so this is the safari panel. Now you've got three options. You're getting both the quilt and the cushion panels. I love matching things. So this one is the navy option. Next is the pink. It looks red to me, but still, yeah. And then the last one is the teal. Oh, that's a, you, that one is your favorite. I'm not surprised actually. There's something about teal. It's a gorgeous color. Now you've got a seven pound saving only for the next half an hour. It's just 14 pounds and 98 pence. Item number is 576422. Next then we've got the anti-slip material. Again, this is a happy hour deal. Uh, it's half a meter by 47 inches wide and it's just 10.99. Uh, it's a big old piece, that. Um, 630651 is your item number. As always, you can call us on 01733602000 or go to the website at thecraftstore.com. Um, over to you then, Sasha. So we're going to have a look at a little bit of applique, which is on um, this one with the hearts here. So again, if you're looking at just a really quick type of applique, um, like I've said many times before, I'm a great fan of looking online, looking in colouring books, that sort of thing, yep. and transferring them over into my fabrics and things like that. Um, you know, because there are so many images out there that you, you can use, um, like colouring books, that sort of thing, mm -hmm. um, just to do your own bits and pieces of applique at home. So I'm going to show you using the poly cottons that we've actually got on today lovely just to show how well they do applique so if anybody hasn't done so we've got some um fusible web yep and we're just going to put our design underneath and then we just trace i'm going to trace this through now i'm using a biro because obviously i need you to see it um Obviously, you don't use your iron off pen. We've all done that before <laughs> because it will disappear. Um, so with this one, you'll hear that it's got um, a paper. You're going to draw it onto your paper side. Cool. You're good at getting it that even. <laughs> I'm quick at... Um, I do like tracing. Yeah. I do like tracing. But how well can you see through that, actually? Don't you, can you see? Can you see here? Oh yeah, just about, just about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and if you do struggle at home, a lot of people have got light boxes. But again, if you are a beginner, top tip from Sasha: use a window. Okay. <laughs> um, I use I used a window for a long time. I just stuck my piece of um, what I wanted to draw around up against the window and then I taped my um, web on top or my fabric yep. and then I drew through it that way. Excellent. You know, I'm very conscious of, you know, people that absolutely love watching us for all their hints and tips and things. But, you know, a lot of people may not have the budget or yeah. they want to focus on building up their stash. And so things like light boxes and that will come further down the line. Indeed, yes. So then what you're going to do is we are going to roughly cut these out. We're not going to cut them out precisely yet. So you're not going to the actual line? No, we're not going to do that yet. Okay. We're just going to, because if you go to the actual line, when it comes to after you fuse them to your fabric, it's a lot more difficult to cut them out. Got you. And if you have, I mean, you know, there's scraps and things that you can save for smaller pieces. So I'm going to pop my zebras down there. And then we're going to fuse onto the back of the fabric and we're going to put glue side down. Okay. And we're just going to give that a quick press. And then I want to put the other one on here as Have well. Have you ever accidentally oh, I've done it? Oh, many times. Yeah. I still always have to think about which side I'm putting it on. Yeah. Because I've always done it on the wrong side. I've done it so many times before. And also I've tried to be really stingy and the um, 
the web has gone onto my ironing board oh, I see. as well. Right. So, yeah. I guess oh. everybody's done it. <laughs> Been there, done that one. And I still do it. I think we all do. Yeah. You know, I, I think we all do. Mm -hmm. It's, um, we get so in depth on what we're doing mm -hmm. that we just forget, I think. So we are now going to cut on that line. Cool. Because if I'd have already done that, as I was saying, you, it would be much more difficult to cut this against the line. Um, you do waste a little bit more fabric, but... Not much, then. It's really, really not much. And for the fact that it just makes life so much easier. I do love that fabric. It's so cute. Oh, it is. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and again, that's on the pick and mix, which is on screen. I've ordered mine. Have you? I have. What, what, which one did you order? I've gone for four metres yeah. of the stripe. The small stripe or the medium? The medium. Right. The medium stripe. And then I've got, so I've got, because I do use a lot of stripe and I like the brightness when it's well, inside Well, and it's lovely because it's things. like rainbow, isn't it? Which is very apt this, yes. well, last year, this year, you know. And ah, then go. I've gone for one each of the zebra. Okay. I didn't go the greys, I went the pink and the white. And then I've gone for the puffin and I have gone for the pooches in pink. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, you've really, yes, you've bought quite a bit. Nice. So you've bought, what, four, so you've bought two, two lots, two bigger yeah. mixes. I yeah. mean, at that price as well, though, it's ever so good. Thirteen ninety nine. They're really puffins, aren't they? So cute. Yeah. Uh, and I was the just so worried that they were going to sell out, and I needed to get in there. You needed them. I love them. I did. Oh, Katie's saying she'd love the pooches as a scarf. I think that would make a, re oh. a really nice infinity scarf. Actually, would look good. It would. So, hang on. I'm so just... you're just peeling it off now. I'm just peeling my back off. And then, obviously, you know, I could do with another couple, really, on here. So we're just going to lightly fuse that one on. Yeah. It doesn't take much to stick, does it? No, not at all. And if you do have um, struggle, trouble trying to get the paper off, just by scoring it with a pin. Yeah, and then lifting it. Oh, I'm all right because I've got my talons back on now. I, I was admiring your nails. See, mine are shameful. No, do you know, you will never realise. If anybody, when people come up to me at shows and things, there's always two things they say about my tattoos and about my nails. Really? And how on earth do I sew? But I find it really difficult to sew without nails. Isn't that interesting? Well, you got used to it, I suppose. I've just always had really, really long nails. And so, yeah, I've, it's... It's been really difficult for me. <laughs> <So I'm laughs> Lockdown has been difficult because of no nails. I it like has. That. It <laughs> like has. That. See, I've got at home, I know I'm totally good, we're going off tangent now, we're just having a nice chat. Um, I've got at home some really nice press-on ones, but they're like Halloween themed, but I'm a bit worried I'm going to get into trouble wearing them on air because I might like take away from the product, you know. <laughs> they're yeah. really cool. They've I got know, zombies see, and everything on. I got <laughs> some stick-on ones. Yeah. And nobody noticed, and on my last one day special with Fabric Freedom on the 12 o'clock show, yeah. I went back to the green room and I went like that with my hair and I wondered what was in it, and one of the nails was stuck in my hair. <laughs> and just as well, nobody is that close to me at the moment. <laughs> That's funny. So, That's the only thing with them. Anyway, back to yes. the sewing though. <laughs> so you can play around with how you want these to be. Um, but obviously, as I said, you know, we, we need a we need a couple more on this one. And then I would do um, a blanket stitch yeah. or I would do some sort of um, zigzag, anything like that around. Okay. Yep. Just to go around them all. It looks really nice. Um, yeah, it looks so pretty, doesn't it? But, you know, this could be a really nice table mat or you could be doing, you know, I could do this and then I could be... Um, appliqueing somebody's name on that, yeah. um, anything like that. But the other thing that I also wanted to show you was all those scraps of paper, uh, fabric that we have. Um, and this is because I had one extra block for some reason. I don't know why I had one extra block. I can't work that one out. Um, 
but it's just to show you that if you've got all those scraps that you've joined together mm -hmm. and bits left over yeah from when you were joining um fabrics together for your rail fence or or any blocks really you know don't throw them away if they're big enough to do any sort of applique for because you know we've got a lovely little heart there That's that gorgeous. we've done in the fabrics that were on the rail fence so if i was doing a border you know we could i could always i'm like, oh i can't move um what but, would you like to get shown well i was i was just going to say you know if the hearts were slightly smaller we could actually have them running up and down the border oh yeah you could do because they're, they're like matching that. with your rail fence design mm -hmm. um yeah I'm, I'm terrible for keeping all my scraps of fabric, <laughs> I, honestly, I'm terrible. Oh, it's wonderful. But yeah, so that's just a quick idea there. Amazing. So we've still got about 15 minutes. If I run through the pick and mix options, are you happy to show something else? I can show something else, definitely. Excellent. I will be back with you shortly then. OK, so we're looking at the top row here. They're metre pieces. Uh, they are poly cotton and you're picking any four. And if you decide to go for four in that same one it'll cut uh, it'll be cut as one continuous piece you get four meters right then so we've got our leopards first this one is in the green then we've got the navy and then we've got the sky they're good fun these i like these next the pink pooches that's definitely a favorite yeah i, I love katie in my ears idea of a nice scarf in that that would be cool then we've got our giraffes First, we've got it in navy, then there's the purple, and then there is the orange. And then if you want to go bright, we've got our clown stripe. So this one is in the small, and then you've got the medium stripe. Then we go on to the zebras. I like that they're sort of multicolored. It's, it's like you've got your distress inks and you've done, you've stamped yeah, it like that. Yeah, that's what I was that. saying earlier. Oh, were you? Oh, yeah, psychic. And, and they are so pretty mm. and i said you can actually get away in saying that you actually designed the fabric yourself so Could nobody you? would know unless you're watching i like that one i like that so that's with the white background then we called it the gray background but it is a very warm taupey color but just so you can see it there and then uh we've got it with the pink background then the strawberry field see what about some nice kitchen curtains or blinds with that yeah oh, totally like definitely that. yeah it's just very happy isn't it so you've got the white or you could go for the pink, which is a very soft pink, or you could go for the navy. That really pops, actually, with the navy background. Then we've got our Swan Lake. <laughs> I've just noticed, actually, I like that he's diving there in his little flippers or whatever you call them. Do we call them flippers? Do we call them flippers? You know, their feet. Are yeah. they flippers? Flippers? Mm, just feet. It's not paddles, is it? No, it's flippers. Yeah, it's ah. flip paddles. Paddles. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, I like that. No uh, so, paddles. Anywho, that's with it. Apparently, Baker's saying we, we just call them feet. Fair enough. Um, so you've got the pink background. Then we've got the mint. The mint's nice. Uh, yellow, nice and bright, that one. And then we come on to the puffins, which are adorable. So here's the blue. Look, they've got like little sailor caps on. So nice. And then we've got the red. Lovely, lovely. So any four, uh, one metre pieces. Uh, 13.99 that is a, a good old price actually for f i mean four meters worth for 13.99 good uh <laughs> 325 292 is your item number gonna hand back to you sasha is that all right yeah fine so totally off um off piece off piece i've just hand drawn so please excuse it oh lily hi lily a lily well, she'll be watching. Oh, yes. Mm. Yeah, she'll be watching. And James. Yeah. Just, just so you know watching. at home, if you're going, who's Lily? It's your daughter, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's been at home. So, yeah, so I've just drawn that by hand. So it just goes to show, you know, obviously you don't have to be the best drawer by any means because I'm really not. And we're just going to cut these out roughly oh it's such a satisfying sound do you know what i mean yeah, i know it's lovely isn't it it's the simple things in life i mean i am the worst i, I can't draw i i'm so bad at drawing um 
but things like letters and things, mm. I think that if you try and hand do them yourself, it's a little bit more personal. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. And also, you know, don't forget that some of these fabrics, you know, you can get these fabrics, especially if you get the planes, you can get fabric paints. Paint your kiddies' hands, stamp them onto the plain cottons, um, wash them. Oh, do you know what I've done? I've done a major boo-boo. Who can tell me what I've done first? What have you done? See? Oh, did you cut it to the line? No. No? Have you put this See, we on... do do it wrong. Have you put it on I backwards? Didn't... No, I haven't put it on backwards. Okay. So we'll pretend. We'll pretend. We'll be fine. We'll be absolutely... Oh, you mean because it's not yeah. mirrored. Oh, bless you. Didn't <laughs> even think, look. Didn't even think. But what we will do, just so you can see what it actually looks like. Yeah. Didn't do it backwards. Don't worry. Yeah, the eyes the eyes are all right. The eyes are all right. Ah, no, you know what you could do? I reckon it's fixable. No, maybe it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> I was thinking... <laughs> it's not. I can't even turn them around. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking, could you cut the bottom off and then turn it around the other way? Do you know what I mean? Cut across the bottom of the L. Oh, and stick it on that way. Yeah, what do you reckon? Oh, well, we'll give it a go now we've messed it up anyway. <laughs> It's all good. It's getting late. It's fine. It, normally, I forget to leave my hole open when I'm turning through. Whichever way you want to take that. <laughs> I know what you mean. So, yeah. So, as you can see... Right, shall we try it? If we went... Yeah, if you snip the bottom off. Across there. Yeah, yeah. Yes! Oh, she's good. Thanking you. I thank you. RSC she's bow. good. <laughs> <laughs> that was not Baker's idea. That was my idea. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I heard that. <laughs> that was our floor manager. Though, so that was Baker's idea. Like, no, I'm taking the credit. What a charming, isn't it? <laughs> he wants to be careful. He's in there on his own with two women. <laughs> <laughs> this is our floor manager, by the way. <laughs> He's running now. He's running out of the room. Oh dear. <laughs> no, he's really not. No, he's fine. He's All really good. he's really not bothered. I really like the blue on that. The blue on the uh the blue on the uh stripes. I know, I'm just trying to do it so it doesn't hit that blue. So it doesn't um because it will just disappear. Because if I was to put this onto here, because it's nearly the same blue, I mean it's not it's near enough the same blue. Yeah, that looks good. I think it because it in that because it's a deeper colour against the bright, then it really stands out. Yeah. It's lucky I didn't do my name, wasn't it? Because we wouldn't have been able to rescue it then. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking about it. The A's alright if you did a capital A. Yeah, the A would be alright. Is it the S? I thought, oh, I was being so... And the H would be all right. So clever by you saying, oh, we'll come back to you in a minute. And I thought, oh, I know what I can do. <laughs> all is good. We have reasonably rescued it. And as I say, you're, you're going to be quilting it. You're mm. going to be going around it with um, stitching anyway. Because obviously this isn't a permanent fix. Yeah. Um, Baker's saying this is all part of the demo anyway, just to help people at home. Oh, <laughs> he, see, he's being nice to me now, so I don't feel bad. Why, was he not nice to you earlier? Yeah, he was very nice. <laughs> there you go. He was laughing at my knowledge on animals earlier. Oh! Don't go there. OK. Yeah. So, we have a lily. So, we've rescued the lily. Excellent. It's all good. Now, people... There is a difference between ironing and pressing. Yes. And people don't get that. Now, with any applique work, you want to press. Okay. You don't want to iron, okay? So, this is ironing when you're ironing your clothes. Uh-huh. When you need to press your seams or press your applique on, we're just pressing our iron down and we're holding it. Because if you were to go like this mm. and iron if there's any edges like on here that haven't quite ironed down 
you would then take that with your iron and you would get that glue all over your fabric and all over your iron, which yeah. we really, really don't want to do. Is it really hard to get off the iron? Is it like that's it, game over? No, I mean, you wait. I mean, you can see the state of my iron because I use it quite a bit, but I obviously, but I tend to really, really rub it quite hard on the mat. Okay. And also there were so many tips and hints on how you clean your iron. Mm -hmm. I think one of them is denture Paras cleaning tablets or paracetamol. paracetamol yeah. yeah. It's another really, really good one. That's a hack. I, do you know how often I have to do that to my iron at home? And I am going to dob him in because the other half, I don't know what he does to the iron. I don't know. I don't know what he does to it. But every time, I, I'm, I'm getting flustered now. <laughs> right, <laughs> really does. Katie's like, this really makes you angry. See, I don't like, do any ironing at home yeah. unless it's for sewing. Right. I don't do any ironing at home. So the only person that can be blamed for the iron yeah. is me. So that's why I'm not going to hold my hands up at all. Uh, I'm very, very good with my iron. But hence why I press, I don't iron. Right. But yeah, people just don't realise that there is that difference between pressing and ironing. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, if you were to then go across, like you say, and then come along with a white fabric yeah. or a light fabric, you're going to get all your mm. fusible web gunk yeah. and stuff all over your um, iron so it's not good so there we go isn't that cute and then would Alex you rescued it yeah <laughs> bless you Alex rescued it so then what I would do with this because I probably maybe I might put a couple of little hearts in the eyes oh that would be sweet don't think it needs anything else because you don't want to overdo it I would then put my wadding on mm -hmm. and I would put my wadding behind I would then put my backing fabric so it is face down on top of this fabric. Okay. And I would sew all the way round, leaving a hole, turn it through. So that means then that your um, backing fabric is on the back, your wadding's in the middle. Yep. And then I would top stitch all the way round and then I would quilt these. And as I say, I would do a zigzag or um, satin stitch, which, blanket stitch, whatever you prefer to call, call it. Yep. But have a play on your machine first. Aww. Are you gonna are machine. you gonna finish that for Lily? You're gonna give it to her? It will go in the pile, Lily. W oh, bless. Sorry. She Thanks. knows. Um, they're saying, do you want to add a few hearts to it, if you want? Have we got time? Yeah, we've got you, time. They just want to see me draw hearts, don't they? <laughs> yes, they're saying you might. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> I thought you were my friends. Just blame them, not me. I just get told what to do. <laughs> right, shall we just go for it? Yeah, free, free styly. Oh, see, look, that's really... Well, that's not bad. No, it's good. Oh. See, why does one side go wonky? Oh, I'm not. I, I have to fold the page in half. Oh, see, that one was good. That one's good. That one's cool. That one was good. Yeah, we like that. So, as I say, th this is just using all those scraps that I've chucked down there for the bin. Shall we see if I can do another one like that? Oh, let's do it that way. Ah, ha, ha. There you go. <laughs> I can cheat on this one. Oh, Baker's just noticed there is a heart on your ironing mat. It's upside down. It's right by the pen. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. yes. Baker's oh, on fire. On, this he evening. really is on it tonight, isn't he? <laughs> Goodness. Um, what should we do it in? Should we do it in a bit of um, zebra? Oh, why not? Have we got any zebra? little contrast? So this is what I mean by, you know, <laughs> it's a giraffe. <laughs> it's fine. I'm being filled in in my ear about yeah, earlier on. It's a giraffe. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> a zebra is officially a giraffe. Yes. See, look, I'm starting. Now you know I'm feeling really at home at the craft store because my table yeah. is starting to look a little bit like what it does at home. Oh, nice. It's all good. No, because it means I have to spend ages tidying up them. Ah, uh, just leave it till tomorrow morning. Because, <laughs> uh, of course, you're back on at 8am. At 8 yep. and at 12 and 4. Fab. Yes. So there's one. Oh, we've got um, a bottom. 
A bottom? A bottom of a zebra. <laughs> I've missed his head, I think. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's all good. And um, by the way, if you're looking for this zebra fabric, again, it is on the um, pick and mix. You're getting four whole metres for just 13 99 If you want to go for the same fabric four times, it'll come to you as a continuous strip. Uh, just 13 99 325 292 is your item number. And you can see all the other options. They're great. I do really like the uh, stripes. They really stand out against that crowd, don't they? And also, don't forget that poly, um, that sheeting as well mm. for the five meters because it's like nearly two and a half meters wide okay and you're getting five meters and we keep asking to be bought back that's why i'm surprised that they can still hold it at that price it's an amazing price so if you were like a long armor or we're going back to yeah. craft groups now Yay. hopefully yeah yeah and that's the sort of things you can stock up for for your craft groups okay um, um because I'm... again you know if you buy it in multiples you get it in a continuous piece Okay, yeah, have a look on the website for that lovely stuff. So if we go that way and this way. So anything, anybody has any questions, they can find of me course. on um, Sasha Sews 123 on Instagram. Okay. And um, I'm really, you know, if anybody needs any measurements or anything like that, um, I can help you out, no problem. Wonderful. Hey, perfect timing, Sasha. There you go. Yay, there you go. That so tomorrow, really what good. have we got tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow we are doing the dinner mat. Okay, yeah, that looks really nice. Yeah, and we have got um, some foundation piecing and, oh, we've got all sorts there to do. Excellent. Right, we shall see you bright and early. One last quick mention, if you want to go for all 36 metres here in all of these colours. Look, it's, it's there's so much I can't. I can't stretch far enough, um, but you're getting all 36 metres and you can spread the cost not just twice, but three times. Um, £33 and 15 pence is your first instalment. Item number is 954275. Once more, you can give us a call 01733602000 or go to our website at thecraftstore.com. Thank you very much for keeping us company, but we've got another fabulous show coming up after this three-minute break. Thank you once again, Sasha. See you tomorrow. Am I seeing you tomorrow? You will. Oh, you will. wonderful. All good. Next then, we're going to join Lou live via Skype. Uh, Lou Collins, and she's bringing for us the Joanna Sheen magazine box kits. Hi, I'm Anthea. Uh, I'm from Quilting Antics. Quilting Antics started around 2011, 2012. I'm never really sure. We love wildlife um, and often our designs incorporate lots of British wildlife. We're, we're really well known for that. At one point, we nearly became the cushion company because we've churned out so many different cushions. But we'll do bags, we'll do cushions, we do book covers, we'll do things for your sewing room anything if it pops into our head and we can physically make it then we'll go for it as i said the buzzword is all about fun for us on our shows we always like to have lots of fun there's always lots of laughter and hopefully you'll learn a few things that you didn't know along the way so don't miss the quilting antique shows Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media or art journaling, join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Have you heard of freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? 
for just £7.97 pence a month. You will benefit from selective Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom Members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hello, good evening. Now, we've got a lovely show for you. Um, I was joined by Lou live via Skype at five o'clock uh, this afternoon. So if you want to catch up on Rewind. But uh, I'm pleased to say she is here again live via Skype. Hi, Lou. Hi, Alex. How are you? I am good. Thank you very much. Have you managed to have a spot of tea in between the shows? Oh, yes, absolutely. And a nice cup of tea as well. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, right then, so we'll, we'll dive straight in. Uh, we've got some fabulous uh, premium um, magazine box kits here by the lovely Joanna Sheen um, and so many extra goodies. I mean, the fact that we've got 71 projects in the magazine, it's just great, isn't it, for your crafty mojo? Absolutely. Um, so we were talking earlier about um, sometimes you get stuck with what you're going to do next with your crafting. And I always give the tip of only picking a couple of items and making something with those. This kit does exactly that. It gives you a brand new stencil, a brand new set of dies, a brand new set of stamps and all the inspiration to make over 70 projects with those items there. Oh, and the papers in, in the magazine as well. Absolutely. So we'll just have a little flick through. Um, so it gives you loads and loads of different ideas. I mean, just look at these. That's great. I love we've got different designers in here as well. So you kind of get Obviously, every every designer has a different spin on things, which is also really nice, isn't it? Something for everybody. Absolutely. Yeah, we've all got different styles. So there's lots of us in there. Um, but essentially, we all use, I say we, I didn't actually do anything in the magazine. Our team um, all use the kit that's included. So you know that every single project in that magazine, you're going to be able to replicate at home. You just need to add things like cardstock, your yeah. inks and your adhesives. Uh, but also, as we're seeing now, in the middle of the book, you do get the lovely papers. They're great, aren't they? They've got all all sorts of toppers, um, you know, uh, lovely p images that you can fussy cut. That's great. I like yeah. the rosé. That's cute. They, yeah. Oh, yes. Um, they are absolutely stunning. They really are. I love the colourways, the colour combinations. They work really well together. Um, you'll see running through the magazines that everybody, all the designs have used these papers. Mm -hmm. So, again, you're going to be able to um, make those projects exactly, as you can see there. Um, but they're double-sided too. So if you want to be rolling and folding yeah. and tearing, you want to be um, making things like, um, I don't know, like gift bags or whatever with them. You can do that and not worry about one side being white. They are a good quality paper that you can die cut as well. Good weight for that. They're smooth for stamping on. They've got a white core so you can distress and stat sand. You know, they're just fantastic mm. papers. And to get them included is brilliant because very often this sort of thing we'd get as a download and have to print off at home ourselves otherwise. Yeah. Lovely stuff. And so you, we've had a little flick through here. Then you get your extras. Uh, so you've got your lovely little dies. We've got the um, the vase there uh, with the beautiful florals. Um, they're just really pretty, actually, aren't they? And then down at the bottom, we've got the stencil, which is beautiful. The stamps have got loads of detail and we've got lots of... Um, lots of different sentiments and as a bit of a bonus we've added in this particular die it's the eat drink and be merry um, which I'll show you so now for the box kit itself it's normally 12.99 which is an amazing price anyway but just for an extra couple of pounds more you get this die and you know we were chatting earlier weren't we Lou that um, you know some people and I'm trying my best this year as well like to actually make Christmas cards literally they start in January and make a couple every month Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's uh, well, it is a good idea to get organised. I must admit, I don't take my own advice there. Yeah. Um, but whatever time of year you do do your Christmas cards. Uh, well, firstly, I don't think this is limited to Christmas. I think True. you can say drink and be merry if you're sending out, I don't know, wedding reception invitations, yeah. maybe. 
um, party invitation, that sort of thing. Um, definitely, we do a lot of that, don't we, at parties, in eating, drinking, and being very merry. Um, <laughs> but also, Christmas is going to come around year after year after year. Yeah. So you're going to be using this dye for so many years to come. It's not the sort of thing that's going to go out of fashion. You've got lots of little icons there as well that you can use that are Christmassy. Um, I just think it's a fantastic dye to have in your stash anyway. And it's a really good size as well. It is. Totally agree. So for all of this then, you've got an £8 saving and it's just £14.98. Look at that. 71 projects there and all your lovely accessories. Item number is 844264. Now, if you want to go for this next bundle, and this was the busiest earlier on, uh, oh, right, you're going to have to be quick now because it's uh, been it's approaching limited. So it's also you've been checking out your baskets in between the shows. So this time you'll get issue 13 with the lovely goodies that we've just seen. Uh, but you're also going to get issue 9. Um, and this has 76 projects in. And then the extras are the lovely embossing folder. We've got some more stamps. And we've also got some dies that has got that nice, um, it's like, a, you know, the latte cups. I really like that. Um, so, Lou, I'll have a little flick through. So we're coming into Christmas here. But again, um, just it's worth stocking up, isn't it, Lou? Absolutely. So I'd be receiving this bundle at home. I'd be playing with issue 13 straight away, like now, because it's got florals and such in it. And I'd be putting this away for the winter. It's a really nice surprise, isn't it? If you yeah. put this away, make a few Christmas things. And when you bring them out, you think, oh, I've actually got a full Christmas crafting kit to be playing with. And again, Christmas does not go in and out of fashion. It, it's yeah. just something that all these Christmas icons, you can see we've got really traditional cards there. Indeed, as you were saying yeah. earlier, there are some hints towards religious themes as well. Mm -hmm. There's some really contemporary elements as well. Oh, and we've got the cracker template. Yes. And I always forget that part. Um, so you can make three-dimensional uh, crackers if you want to for your table decor, or you can make cracker-shaped cards. You know, all of this, bringing this out um, towards the end of the year again is great. But if you are organised, then this is going to be the perfect way or perfect reason and to start getting those Christmas cards mm. done for you. Nice. And again, we get some papers, which is excellent, double-sided. And these are, oh, it has now gone limited, this particular collection. Um, and these papers, they're not, they're not flimsy. They're a really decent weight, aren't they? They are. I would say, at a guess, they're around about 180, maybe, GSM. Right. Um, maybe even pushing 200. They are beautiful papers. Like I said, they are smooth. The printing on them is stunning. Mm. Um, very often if you get printed papers, you can sometimes see the lines in them and things, but these aren't. These are absolutely magazine quality print papers. Yes. Um, and a lot of designs there as well. Fabulous. So yes, we have now gone limited. Um, Lou, are you happy to get uh, ready for the demo? And I'll just finish off the details. I shall do that, yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Back with you in a second. Uh, so, if if you do want this one, you do need to be quick. Right, £16.98. You've got that £9 saving. Uh, so, you're getting issue 13 with all the goodies and issue 9 with all the, the goodies. Um, I do keep forgetting about the template. You do get that. 322148 is your item number. Now, if you go to our website, you'll also find we've got some stencils. We've got lots of dies and stamps. Um, so it's a really nice, but we've got lots of deals on everything for you. Okay, dokie. So without further ado, I'm going to hand over to you, Lou, live via Skype. Lovely, thank you. So, of course, I'm going to be working with the magazine next, and I think I'll work with those stencils um, as a second or third demo, um, so we'll take a look at them later. There's so much in here. Um, for this one, I'm actually going to work with the dies, and not in the traditional way, because there's so many of what I'd call traditional die-cutting techniques in the magazine. There was a little snippet of a technique that I saw towards the back yeah. um, that really inspired me. So I'm going to use that. Um, I will try and find, actually, in a little while, the name of the designer, because I feel bad that I'm not giving her credit, whoever it, whoever it was. Uh, but this technique has come completely inspired from here, but a different projects that you can do using yeah. your dyes. Cool. So I'm going to start just with the two flowers. Now, these are beautiful roses. And they do fit, of course, absolutely perfectly in the vase. These elements are a bow and the tails for the bow. So you could put that around the vase or oh. you could use them instead of the flowers. 
or on something completely different if you wanted to. I think you could actually use this one as a butterfly also. Um, so I'm going to start die cutting just from white cardstock a couple of these. Now, I've got lots already cut out ready, but I'm going to um, just cut one set here for you, just so you can see how well they cut. Um, because they are really good quality dies. Now, I've heard some people sort of sometimes wonder if a product is uh, an additional or what we call a freebie with a magazine, what's the quality like? So um, I thought, well, I actually just want to show you the quality is amazing. For the magazines with practical publishing, um, all of the cover mounts that we do, which are the stamps, the dies, the stencils, they are all produced in exactly the same way as the ones that we sell on the website. So um, you, you're not lacking in quality at all. So there is one of the roses, first of all. I'm um, hoping you can see the detail in there. I know it's just on white, but um, yep. we've got a lot of detail etched in there, both embossing and cut lines that go all the way through. And then we've got the one that's slightly more closed bud here as well. Um, there we go. They are stunning. They just fall out of the die. They're just wonderful, wonderful. So I'm going to pop them to the side. And what I've done with this is I'm actually going to do, I didn't tell you about this, I'm actually going to do two cards here, but in one demonstration because oh, that's the cool. weight from this card, I'll make a second if that's okay. Of course it is. You can, we're getting a twofer. We like a twofer. Oh, absolutely. So just to show you, you can use all the waste. Now, here's a few I cut earlier, um, quite a few. Um, this is just creating a lovely textured background. So I've got a, a panel here for my card. It's going to be like a DL sized card and I've cut a slightly smaller panel on it. Now I'm working with a lot of white here uh, and that's really going to make things like my sentiment stand out. So all I'm going to do is take some of these die cut pieces and just glue them over the page, the page or the panel here. Lovely. And I'm going to overlap the edges as well. Um, as Lou, I go. so sorry to interrupt, but I have an update. We have technically oh. sold out of 13 and 9 together. Uh, now, uh, oh. if any bounce back, we'll let you know. Now, you can still get issue 13 on its own, either with the extra Eat, Drink and Be Merry die or literally on its own with its own goodies, if that makes sense. But, yep, yeah, 9 and 13, they have gone. I mean, it was great value, wasn't it? Um, sorry, Lou, to interrupt. Back to you. No, that's absolutely fine. That's a, that's a nice interruption, that one. <laughs> Um, so just as I said, just gluing these white flowers down really randomly. Now, if you're if you do ever struggle with random, I often find the best way to achieve random is just to throw them onto um, the page. Like and just rolling the dice. Just, really? Yeah. And just glue them where they land. Mm. If you do have problems with doing things randomly. Um, now, here I am leaving. Whoops. I'm leaving a little bit of space in the middle here because I know that's going to be covered up so I don't need to put a lot on there and I'm not gluing everything down if you've got something like a spray adhesive that would sort of speed up this process for you but I'm quite happy here just to be um, popping down with a little bit of glue here and I'll just do one more at the bottom I think I mean you could really fill this with lots of tiny little gaps mm. if you have time so pop that there and then of course I'm going to take my scissors and trim around the edge. So just being careful to keep the nice sharp edge all the way around. Um, you might want to go in after this and just glue down any little bits that are still peeking up. So there might be the odd leaf that's sort of still lifted, but it's up to you. Or you could leave it lifted. You could leave it with a little bit of dimension. Going around. I might need to put a little something in that corner. I feel that corner could be left a little but in fact, look, we've just had a leaf pop off there. So let's just lay that down in that bottom corner. That works really well. So yeah. now I've got a panel of white cardstock that actually looks like it's been embossed it with does. those flowers on. So pretty. Now you mm. can go in with a gilding wax over this if you wanted to. You could go in with a paint and just cover it all in one colour. Yeah. Um, Ink, your blending inks, things like that, pick it out. And I've still got lots here. I've only actually used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight die cuts there. So that really didn't take any time at all to put together. Okay. So let's build this first card. Um, so that's going to be a lovely sort of um, embossed panel on there. And I can, of course, use it 
vertically or horizontally. I'm going to raise it up on some foam tape as well, just to um, give us a little bit of a drop shadow between this panel and the backing card. Do you know what? I'm over in the studio. I'm not even near my house, and I still managed to have a pet hairs come over with me. <laughs> Same for me. Know. Same for me, Lou. My cat <laughs> sheds like anything. Oh, absolutely. I have two dogs and a cat at home. So, um, yeah, there's a way to put her in, <laughs> in my um, craft demos wherever I am. Yeah. And on, on the sticky rolls and things as well. Um, so there. So there we've got a lovely sort of background for a card. Now, I think if you're doing something like a wedding invitation, this mm. would be really, really pretty, wouldn't it? Yeah. Really elegant. You just need gold sentiment on there, maybe. Um, but the sentiment I've chosen is actually quite large. And I have chosen this one from the magazine. Oh, so it says, lovely. may the day be the happiest day for you and Aww. happy birthday. Um, but I wanted to make this into a wedding card. So I'm going to use this, but I'm going to actually cover over the happy birthday that we've got there. Okay. Um, so just pop this on again with my tape here just to raise that up it's a really good quality paper this as i was saying the weight is um perfect it does hold itself as mm -hmm. you can hear it is a cardstock almost uh, it does hold itself but if you wanted to mount this onto um an even stronger card you could do that but it's really quite durable so mm. it doesn't need be mounted onto anything um, and then I've taken now this is one of the products that's further down the counter um, in fact if I just have a little hunt I can bring those in and show you sure. so we have got the sentiment dies we've got the family favorites and the special occasions oh yes yeah uh, let's just check which one I've got this from so on your wedding day so this is from the special occasions die set here that i've actually cut these from so i've cut on your and wedding day from white cardstock and then i've then cut as you can see here you get the additional sort of shadows yeah i really shadows. like those yeah they're brilliant they're great for adding a little bit of detail so if i was to just put the wording on here it would sort of fall into the background but by having this drop shadow underneath really makes them stand out and you can add words together so i'm actually going to put those over um the happy birthday there so may oh, this day works. be the happiest day for you yeah and then on your wedding day perfect so it's just changing it yeah it's um, really quite handy i'm going to pop that again more foam tape i like to add foam tape where i can I like i like the dimension so just run that along the middle and i picked i made sure i picked a green that matched the leaves as much as possible in there to make yep. it all tie in um there are are some quite solid green papers in the magazine so you could use those as well if you wanted to so let's pop this one down first i'm going to lay it ever so gently just in case i need to move it in a moment because i'm laying the two together and i want to make sure i've completely covered that happy birthday uh yeah no i think that's absolutely fine there so i can press them down and then just as a last finishing touch i've just taken one of the roses from the papers in the middle just cut that out and i'm That's going to just beautiful. add that oh yes i like that just as a little accent um because you've got quite a lot of weight down here with the overlapping sentiment so this will just sort of echo that and balance everything out and there we go there's another card that you can follow along with it doesn't appear in the magazine so that's now 72 projects that you can make <laughs> i like um, that fabulous thank you. all right my lovely i'll just do um another quick recap for you and then i'll be back with you very shortly okie dokie so you know we've seen we've already had a sellout really really quite quickly with issues um nine and 13 however we do still have 13 left with the extra die um it's well worth it if you were to just go for the magazine itself with its goodies it's 12.99 so only an extra couple of pounds more you're getting this fabulous die and I think Lou's right, eat, drink, be merry. It, that does not have to be Christmas. You can eat, drink and be merry any time of year. Every day. <laughs> Special occasion. Now we can go out. Right. <laughs> okay, right, let me flick through. Um, so everything you're seeing here, um, you've got projects that you can use these in the magazine, if that makes sense, right? So let's have a little flick through. I love that. 
Are we talking about, do they, does Joanna talk about her dogs there? So I like the little extras that you get in magazines. Just, it's really, really nice. Right then, so there's lots of different designers. Here you go, these are the extras that you'll get in. Uh, again, I'll show you them live in a second, but you'll get your dies, you've got your stamps, you've got a fabulous stencil and you've got your papers and then look there we've got lots of things lots of lots of uh, lovely projects that you can follow along I mean just look at all those aren't they great don't they look so pretty they're very uplifting aren't they and we've got different designers throughout look at that very beautiful so nice do you know these i know the, the, my mum would love some uh, a lot of these designs for mother's day i always try and make sure i make a mother's day and a father's day card um always and uh, she still gets them out every year which is really sweet anyway i digress but there's loads of different projects in here which are jolly marvelous and then we come on to the papers so this was one of the toppers that um lou was just using and look at these papers, aren't they great? Marvellous. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. And then again, we've got loads more projects in here. So many. In fact, there's 71. Right. And then uh, we are coming on to, you've got your dies. Um, they're, they're almost as a gift with the, with, the, with the magazine. Then you've got your stencil, you've got your fabulous stamps, and then this is a bit of a bonus there. Um, only, like I said, just an, I think it's just under two pounds more. And then you'll get the dies. So you've got your eat, drink and be merry. But then these are really sweet because you've got a little cracker, a little wine glass or champagne glass. There's a bottle of bubbly. And then a little Christmas pud. What more could you want? Uh, just £14.98 with an £8 saving for all of that. So much inspiration. 844264. Now, we've got some photos of finished samples here that have been sent in. Okay, so look, we've got some bunting out of the papers. We've got a fabulous card. Did you notice whoever's been crafting there had a glass, a cheeky glass of wine next to it? I like that. There's the eat, drink and be merry. That looks really good, doesn't it? Oh, beautiful heart easel card. Um... That's really beautiful with the wreath, isn't it? Beautiful happy birthday card. I love that there's been petals scattered around as well. I think that's really sweet. Uh, now that one is actually using one of our stencils in the background, which we are just about to show you. Uh, now we've got some that are five by seven in terms of size. Now you're getting all three here. Uh, so you've got your Harlequin triangles, which is the one in the middle. You've got your wonderful web, that doesn't look too spooky, though, so that's okay. And then you've got, oh, um, Kate has just said you could do snowflakes with that. Why not? You see whatever you want to see. And then we've got the honeycomb. Uh, this is just £10.97, and you've got a £4 saving. 230923 is your item number. Then we go on to some 6x6 stencils. Um, this is my favourite. I just, I was saying this earlier, I've just got something that I love about that Moroccan feel. I think it, cause it, it's because it makes me want to go there. I've never been to Morocco, I would love to go. Uh, Katie's like, me neither. Mm. Baker, been to Morocco? No. Matt? No, none of us have been to Morocco. Anyway, um, and then we've got uh, the mixed circles that have got more detail to them than, than you think. And then you've also got the florals, pretty florals. That is £10.97. Item number is 511557. Then we go on to our dies and stamps. Now, what's nice about these, you've got your banner dies and then the sentiments will fit the banners, which is just brilliant. Um, so let me show you the dies first. We've got a fabulous little board here. And you're getting eight dies, uh, and they're a nice size. They're bigger than the packaging. There you go. So you're getting the eight dies. They're all slightly different. I like those. And then if we have a look at our uh, stamps, you, sorry, stamps, stamps, there you are. Um, happy birthday in different fonts. You've got happy anniversary, get well soon. Uh, engagement, special friend, they're your staples. And I was saying to Lou earlier, I have, I have loads of happy birthday sentiments because I, I, I always feel I really like different fonts and different sizes so that, um, it fits the project that you're making. So I, it's a bit like, you know, when I go on about, you can never have too many butterflies and too many flowers. It's the same thing for me with your staple sentiments. Uh, because you don't want to give like the same person the following year the same 
looking card, you know. So it's just nice to have them in different fonts. Right, uh, £16.98 pence for that bundle. Item number is 521459. Next, then, we've got our labels. Again, these come with um, some stamps. Now, the stamps are really quite adorable because they're little clusters when you take a look. You've got even clusters of little kisses, which I think is really sweet. And they're quite sassy, aren't they? You've got bees in a little cluster, florals. Um, your butterflies, a kaleidoscope of butterflies. And then the dies must show you once more because they are a lot bigger than the packaging, a lot bigger. And of course, you can use them landscape or um, portrait. It's totally up to you, but they're great. They're really great. £19.98, £4 saving, 563944. Then we've got the tags. Now, at first, you might look at the packaging and go, oh, I, I just get two. You don't. You actually get three that nest. Um, so it's worth having a look at. And you get the little reinforcers. What is this on here? You get the little reinforcers um, and it comes as one die. So you're not going to lose the little bits. Again, I think that's well thought out. And then coming back to the stamps, you've got some fabulous stamps. You've got some borders, which you could continue onwards. Oh, I like, I like the little hearts. That's cute. To and from. And then you've got some foliage, a nice little oval frame. They're just really good workers to build up your scenes. £19.98. Um, you've got 19 dies and 19 stamps. 211264. I'm just going to move this out of the way because it looks like you get both together, but they're under a separate item number. So, first off, we've got the special occasions. Uh, so, we've got with sympathy, best wishes, new baby, retirement, graduation, congratulations, get well soon on your wedding day. And as Lee said, they've got that nice little drop shadow die um, that you can cut out. If I turn it around, you'll see what I mean. You can see there. Once more, a lot bigger, though, than the packaging. Uh, so for this one, 9 99 That's a lot of dies there for 9 99 um, 025796. And then I'll just swizzle these around. There you go. And this one is your family favourites. Here we've got happy birthday, thank you, just for you, new home, with love, thinking of you, Father's Day, Valentine's Day and Mother's Day. Again, great staples. I would get both of those if you can. 9 99 again. Item number is 067216. As always, you can give us a call 01733602000 or shop online at thecraftstore.com. Uh, Lou, are you ready to go via Skype? I am very ready. Yes, thank you, Alex. No worries. Um, I, I apologise. I did say I was doing two for one and then forgot to do the second card. So I'll quickly... <laughs> That's all right. We've got lots of time. We've got lots of time. <laughs> Lovely. Um, so as you saw last time, to create the flowers in the background, I cut from white cardstock. Um, and we've actually then got some really beautiful silhouettes um, in the cardstock. And they are something that I absolutely did not want to waste. No, um, I love so that. When they're gorgeous, aren't they? So once I'd cut them for the original, the, the original flowers that I'd already cut, um, this was actually my waste that I was going to throw away. And just as it landed in the bin, um, which is a dark colour, I could see the silhouettes. I was like, do you know what? Yeah. They weren't evenly spaced. They weren't sort of placed. Uh, they were completely random. But I thought that actually looks lovely as yeah. a background. So uh, I'm going to work with it. I'm going to just show you how to quickly, um, if you make sure that your cardstock is of a, a reasonable size for, size for a card base when you first start, you never know what you might get in the waste anyway. And if that's small enough to then just pop onto some mats and layers and onto a card base, then you've just done two, two cards in one pass. So... Uh, just popping that onto one of the lovely green papers mm. that comes in with the magazine. I have got this corner. This corner did break away, but I've got it here, so I'm going to fill that in as well. It's been a task to keep hold of this little I bit bet. for a few days. <laughs> yeah. I'll just lift that up so you can see. Oh, brilliant. That's nice and flat on there. So then I've got a really pretty panel there. And again, I'm going to map that onto an, another slightly larger white piece of paper you can see that the roses there that i'm mm. covering up you don't have to use the backing papers but i just think that green is a really lovely green on the other side it's a light, nice sort of soft green isn't yeah, it yeah really like that yeah very so natural just, exactly now i've got two choices this on its own would make a lovely uh, card front there so um just as it is 
it looks really sophisticated. You could have it horizontal or you could have it vertical. Yeah. We do need a sentiment on it, though. So I'm just going to cut out one of these word dies that you were just looking at, Alex. So I've got congratulations here. I'm just going to run this through the machine quickly so you can see the size of the font when it's cut out. Um, I think they're really readable as well. Yes. Similar to what I used on the card here, actually. Um, but they've all got... I mean, look at this. I don't even need to use my poker tool. It's just Brilliant. come away. Good stuff. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Um, there is a coating on the die, so they will all release. I'm just going to use my poker tool. I've got a tiny little bit in the bottom of the G there that just needs popping away. And there. What I love about these as well, about the style of the font, I've just moved the white out of the way so you can really see it more on the pink, is that because it's that sort of curly, swirly font, you can just manipulate the shape of this a little bit. So if you had something that was slightly curved that you wanted to bend this around, yeah. you can do that. You can do that. So you could shape that a little bit if you wanted to. But of course, if you're going to use it with the drop shadow dies, then you won't be able to shape them because they are more of a solid shape. You won't be able to uh, be bending those shadows. So I'm just using um, a very fine tip glue here, a few little dots along the word and again the pink has come from the magazine again from on the, one of those papers so if i wanted to tie this in with one of the floral papers i know that the green and the pink would all work really well together yeah. just popping that on there see so you've got the drop shadow and then bringing my background back in see that's going to sit on there and that pink then just allows the white mm. to be seen a lot more rather than blending in yeah um i don't I don't know how well it shows up through. No, no, it does. We can see, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Um, and I'll, again, I'm just going to show you a couple of options with that. If that's all right, Alex, I'd really like to uh, just die cut that eat, drink, be merry die. Of course. Yeah, we've, got, we've, got, we've still got like half an hour. We're fine. Lovely. Before I move on to the stencils, I'd love to just show you that. Now, that on its own makes for a really lovely fresh card, doesn't it? Yeah. But um, if you like a larger card and so you want to make it a little um, even more extravagant, I suppose, quite simply just taking an A5 card base, one of the um, one of the backing papers, again, from the magazine. So this pink is then going to work with the pink um, of the, um, the shadow behind yeah. there. Just to pop that onto a card base and then this can go on the front of the card but rather than having it that way i'm going to have it this way to make a tall card there we go so it's almost looking like a stepper card it does yeah a different shape there for you so that's really just using your waist from this one a few mats and layers a little bit of extra cardstock and you've got your two cards made mm. in one sitting really there love um, that so it, it, i can't throw anything away I, <laughs> I can't i have to find a use for it um now yeah while i'm still on this this bundle as such I just want to show you how this cuts because it is absolutely beautiful. It is, as you can see, it is a really large die. In yeah. fact, I'll just quickly measure it. We're looking at four inches, four inches by four inches. Okay. But I think it always cuts best if you do it from a mirror card. So I've got a beautiful matte gold here. Mm. I'm going to just trim round it roughly. I've got a border die that will cut this nice and neatly. Yep. Going to cut it out without that border die first, just so you can see the effect that you'll get if you cut it out uh, without the die. And then I'll cut around it as well. So I'm just going to, just to make it a little less uh, boring for you, I'm going to bring my die cutting machine in because yeah. there's good. nothing worse than thinking me off and working, um, working to the side there. So there we go. Just run that, through, run that through there. Now, I'm always cutting upwards, so as it comes through, you can then see that everything's cut in the paper. I'll just run that back through this way. That's sort of a habit I've got into when I'm die cutting, is run it through one way and back again, rather than one pass. Uh, remove my tape there. And then again, look at this, everything falls out and it's just a case of removing the waste from the actual die cut. Uh, because we've got lots of swirls, just be careful that bits don't get caught up, but they're all falling out, aren't they? Mm, nice. Look at that, look at that cut. 
It's beautiful, isn't it? So I, I said, like I say, eat, drink and be merry. That just, I mean, that just reminds me of going off and, and having a nice drink down the pub with your friends, really. Yes. Um, especially at the moment. I mean, that would be wonderful to, to sort of say to people, come on, come, come round to my garden. Let's have a, uh, a nice distance. Oh, yes. Yeah. Do, in, do an invite. That works. Absolutely. So you can see whatever size cardstock you're working on, you can cut this in as an aperture. So that could actually be cut as an aperture into the front of a card base. Yep. Now we can, of course, then add in our border. This border has like a scalloped edge to it. So it's really pretty. I'm just going to make sure I line that up there. So just make sure you've got a nice even border and you've got enough of a enough of a space around the edge so you can actually see um, where you're putting that rather than guessing. I'll quickly whiz that one through there. I won't bring the machine in for that. Um, and then when you put this gold onto a nice deep colour, excuse the noise there. While it goes That's over all right, the, don't worry. The bumps on the die. Pop that side. I've got a lot of cleaning up to do. I'm not clearing up as I go. Oh, bless <laughs> you. Can't you do it tomorrow morning? <laughs> I think I'll come back to I've got some things to come back and do tomorrow anyway. Uh, let me just pop this onto a navy blue. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh, I like the gold in the navy. That's very, it looks very expensive. It does, doesn't it? That's amazing. Now, I would be paying personally, I'd happily pay the price of that bundle just for this die on its own. Amazing. Uh, I mean, to then have the magazine, everything else thrown in. I think that's just absolutely fabulous. Mm, beautiful. Ah, oh, thank you very much, Lou. I'll, I'll do another quick recap then and we can uh, move on to another demo. Is that all right? Oh, she's gone. OK, <laughs> right then. Uh, so we have got issue 13 where you will get if you go for the 1498 bundle, which is only two pounds more than the bundle without this this die um, you'll get that eat drink and be merry you've seen the size of it is a really good size and it's for any occasion it's really really not just for Christmas at the moment we are all feeling like woohoo freedom we can get outside so I like that idea make some invites and invite friends and things um, so in the magazine you are getting 71 fabulous projects I love all this. I mean, it just shows you just even a scattering all the way around on the front cover. Oh, sorry, there's a bit of a glare there. Um, but look at these projects. Aren't they wonderful? Uh, just look at these beautiful. And of course, you do. This is using the goodies that you get within the um, premium magazine box kit. Oh, there's Sarah. There's Sarah Gray. She's done a little bit. That's cool. Yes, we have her in all the time. She was in not so long ago, actually. Uh, and then we've got the papers, really good weight of paper. I have to say, you've got toppers in here. You've got beautiful florals. Um, look at that. They're double sided as well. So they're a really nice weight. They're really lovely colours. The pinks and the oranges work really well. Loads and loads of inspiration there. Uh, then you'll get these lovely dies just here. There we go. We've got the vase and we've got the florals. And then we've got, it's quite a sizable image in the stencil, if you ask me. I think that's really great. Uh, then you've got your stamps with the wine glass, the bottle. I love the fact that you've even got the popped cork. I think that's fab. Uh, and then you've also got those sentiments. And last but not least, you'll get the dies, because it's not just the eat, drink and be merry in the outer bit. You've got those little ones. I love that. Christmas pudding, bottle of bubbly. Um, Champagne glass, and then you've also got a little cracker. Marvellous. Just £14.98. pence. You've got an £8 saving. 844-264 is the item number. Right then, just while you're placing your orders, you might um, consider becoming a Freedom member. I've been a Freedom member since the very beginning. How long... What, what month are we? Jeez, we're going to be six in August. Oh, my word. That's freaking me out. Anyway, um, anyway, I've been a member since the beginning. It's well worth it. Here's Leonie to tell you more about being a member. Have you heard of freedom? Did you know that as a freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom Members badge, giveaways and crafty updates.
If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away, or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888, and join Freedom today. Now, I think um, Lou is going to be using these stencils, which are the five by sevens. I think I'm right. Uh, oh, apparently, uh, I have been given confirmation. Um, right, this one has got that wonderful web. You've also got the Harlequin triangles, and you have got the honeycomb. Lovely. Um, it's just ten pounds and ninety-seven pence with a four-pound saving. Two three zero nine two three is the item number. Okie dokie. Right then, we're going to go back to Lou live via Skype. Hi, Lou. Lovely. Hello. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be using the honeycomb one. Um, who doesn't love honeycombs and bees? <laughs> um, I think mo most of us absolutely love it. Oh, it's actually bees have been really. I say in fashion for a while now, haven't they? That they're, they're everywhere. Well, I think um, it's because we know we can't do without them. They're so precious. Absolutely, and it's really great that that is now starting to come across and be sort of common knowledge now. Um, I'm just going to create a, a bumblebee card with a cool. honeycomb background. It's really Sounds really good. easy to do. Uh, I'm going to just do some blending, but I'm also going to incorporate a little bit of that embossing that I showed in the last hour because I think so many people don't realise you can do that with your um, with your stencils, and it can be done with absolutely any stencil as well. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add some ink. Now I'm not going to ink the entire panel in one full block of colour. I'm just going to do some variations. So I've got antique linen which is a sort of a very pale yellowy colour, creamy colour. Then I've got wild honey and then I've got um, walnut stain, so a brown. So I'll just bring those down a little bit so you can see. So I'm starting with the lightest shade and I'm just going to go in in uh, three areas. And I'm actually going to go in a triangle pattern. So if I've got a little bit over here. Yeah. Um, so it's a little bit like the uh, the rule of threes and the triangle that you get in interior design. With anything, you want to make your eyes move around the page. Yeah. If I've got one here, I need something over here. Not coming quite to the top, but I can go a little bit lower with this one. And then some more down the bottom here. So there's my three areas of colour. So they are almost filling the entire area with that lighter colour, but not completely. So then I'm going to move to my next one. Now, this is my yellow blending brush, so I can use this for both of the first colours. And I'm going to pick up just a little bit because this is quite a dark colour. And I'm going to come into just an area of this yellow, but not all of it. I'm not going to cover the cream that we've just done, just a small patch of it. And then do the same on these. And I do like to use a brush when I've got a stencil like this that's got quite a bit of detail in it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because if you can use your blending tools, absolutely, they will work. Um, but I like that going around in circles with this, you'll really get in at all the angles. So just popping that away, I'm going to move to my brown. I'm not going to do a lot of brown. I'm just going to tap that and just do a tiny little bit in really just a couple of small areas on here. Um, just tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. So pick out a couple of the hexagons there to just fill in with the brown, maybe a little bit more there and here. So this is really quite a dark colour, but making sure whatever, wherever I put it, I am blending it out. I'm not just just sort of dotting it on and leaving it. So the last thing I like to do is just take my, what I call my clean blending brush and just go over everything. Still making sure that that stencil is staying really, really still. Now, I could remove that and I could show you that now, but I want to do the next stage first. And I tend to do this with a stencil if I can. Uh, and that's running it through my die cutting machine. So just remove that. If I bring the machine, just one end of the machine in so that you can see how I'm laying this up. So I've got my plates here. I'm going to take my top plate off. I'm keeping the sandwich the same as if I was die cutting. I'm going to place my mat down. That's a rubber mat, so that's a flexible one that you often get in with your machine with all your plates. A lot of people tend not to use it very much, but it really is a very useful um, 
not a plate, a very useful tool to use with yeah. your machine. Um, now, the idea is what's going to happen is as we run through this with the pressure, with this plate on top as well, the mat is going to push through the stem, through the, the paper through the stencil. Yeah. OK, so that will then leave an impression of the stencil in the paper. So it just run this through. Now, it, there is quite a lot of... Um, pressure with this mm -hmm. so you might want to just take it slowly um you might get a clunk at the end as well where the pressure's released which i'm just waiting for there we go <laughs> and then i'm going to take this out and show you that effect that we've got i'm hoping through the video call that i can really show you the effect that we've achieved now not only are we going to see what the masking has created, but we're also going to get the additional detail of having the raised areas of honeycomb where the masking, where the inking is as well. Yeah. Which makes for an, a lovely, lovely effect. Oh, so look can, at that. Yes, yes, yes. you can see that. So we've got, um, like I say, you've got the inking anyway, which looks lovely, even if it's on flat cardstock. In fact, if I just turn that over, um, I don't know the best way to show you. you no, can see that. we can really see that. Do you know what? It looks like a quilt. It does, doesn't it? It would be beautiful as a patchwork as well as a honeycomb, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah. It's really lovely. So if you just imagine, yeah, in, in here, you've actually got all the honeycomb pieces are now raised up uh, and the inside pieces, those lines are uh, debossed in there. So I've actually got one here that I've trimmed out. So I've added a little more colour to this one, but you can see I've just trimmed that away from um, the outside so it's all finished off and I'm going to create my card with this and I'm also going to bring in some of those panel dies that you were looking at a little while ago Alex yeah um, they're the, I say the panel dies I the labels they're oh the ones yeah, yeah. Um, okay now yellow and black when you're talking about bumblebees and honeycomb I think yellow and black is an absolute must isn't it synonymous <laughs> uh, isn't it synonymous yeah Definitely. So I'm using black for my matting and layering and then my yellow and white honeycomb panel over the top. I think bees can be used for so many different occasions, can't they? Yeah. Do you know, little yeah. known fact, I take royal jelly every day. Do you? Yes. It's meant to be very good oh, for you. <laughs> You are good doing that. Now, I have die cut a couple of pieces. So I've got one of my labels. That's one of the large labels. And with each of these shapes, you do get the larger and the smaller. So the nesting shapes here. So I've cut the smaller one from the white. Um, but I'm going to bring in those stamps, which I actually didn't get ready, but they are just Don't here. Worry. And I'm just going, to... there we go. just going to stamp these onto the labels and just show you how well they actually work together because they do come together as a set as a bundle so just popping a couple of magnets on there I'll, i've got one already done so i'll just do one corner here for you That's just cool. to show you either way you can have these because these are bumblebees we've got butterflies on here and all sorts there's actually some really tiny little honeybees here these tiny little bees here as well um, that you can use and florals as well so yeah. uh, you can have them going absolutely any direction. So I'm not too fussy with having, making sure they're going upright because I think bees can fly in any way they want to. Yes. So just pop that over and just show you how well, look, that just sits in the corner of that tag really perfectly. And then when you stamp the other corner as well, they just work. And yeah. again, you can see, they don't have to be in any direction. These ones are going down, they're going upwards. Um, but that's how these, these little sort of clusters of insects and hearts and things work so well alongside these label dies. So let's bring these together. There's some, pop some glue onto the black. I love how that black stands out there. It's, yeah, it's do you know this would make a good gents card as well as a ladies card? Oh, absolutely, yeah. definitely. Um, I think on this one I am going to put some foam tape rather than having the, it with the glue, so a little more of a shadow in there. Foam tape wherever I can mm -hmm. at the time. I like I like the convenience of a wet glue, but um, I do like the look of a foam tape. See, that just fits in there perfectly with the perfect yeah. border all the way around. Nice. And I've just taken uh, two of the words out of those sentiment dies. I've got new and home. Quickly pop those on. 
uh, a few sequins and that is that card done with your very own background and of course you don't have to use yellows you could use this honeycomb with absolutely any color that you wanted i'd love to see it in pinks and purples actually oh why not just because just because i love the colors <laughs> So there we go, a little bit of glue on this. So you can see how these actually, although they're part of the same uh, sentiment, they do separate yes. if you're not using the drop shadow. Um, so I think with the bumblebees and with the honeycomb there, you can get away with saying new home. And I'm going to bring in some gold sequins and just scatter these around. Again, I'm going to work in, um, in odd numbers. Whoops, if I can pick it up, because my fingers are a bit sticky now. One oh. oh, I like the addition of the sequins. Yeah, a little bit of sparkle. And I'll go in corners as well. So I'll come down uh, in these corners as well. And just have the... Diff I've got the black sparkle and the gold sparkle. So both of them just keeping with the colour theme. There. I could add a lot, more, a lot more of those if I wanted to and if we had enough time, but... I think that's enough for a quick card. We've got the bumblebees on there, we've Aww. got the background, and that's actually uh, really quite textured. That's the sort yes. of background when you you want to to touch it and feel it and feel that it's all sort of ridged and everything as well. Nice. I really like that. Hey, so Lou, we were wondering, we'll, we've, we'll still have about seven minutes. Is there anything you can show us? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I can show you that Moroccan stencil if you want to. Oh, that would be nice. i tell you what, I'll just very quickly do a recap and then we'll come back to you. Lovely, thank you. Wonderful. Okay, so we, this is the set where we've got the honeycomb from. Uh, so this is your five by seven inch um, stencils, couldn't think of the word. Uh, so you've got your wonderful web, you've got your harlequin triangles, and you have got your honeycomb. I really like the honeycomb, the way it's sort of, you've got the inny bits, do you know what I mean? The way it's interlaced, I really like that. Um, 10 pounds and 97 pence, item number is 230923. Then we've also got some six by six stencils. So here we go. This is where the Moroccan one comes in, which I adore. Uh, and it also comes with the mixed circles and then the florals, pretty florals. £10.97, 511557 is your item number. As always, do give us a call, 01733602000, or go to our website, thecraftstore.com. Um, right, Lou, should we come back to you for the last couple of minutes live via Skype? You happy? Lovely, absolutely, yes. Um, so what I was going to show you is I was going to do some gold heat embossing, but I don't think I'll have time to actually do the embossing. So we're going to have to use our imagination a little bit with it um, because I want to just show you um, how well these stencils work with embossing powder. Um, well, you know, I've got a little bit here that I've actually embossed, so it does work. <laughs> um, I'm going to take this time. I'm going to take a foam blender just because I'm going to be using embossing ink and I just find that the sticky ink holds better on a foam blender. Now, um, because I'm moving my stencil around quite a bit here, um, I want to tape it down. So I'm just going to take, I don't know what,